Chapter 151 The Mouse Fell into the Rice Vat Zhang Tuohai didn't believe a word of Myral's tempting words. Before he inherited the family business of delivering tofu, he was trained in various insurance companies. Those business managers speak much more professionally than Myral. What they say will make your blood boil. You want to immediately negotiate a big contract worth 18 million yuan. Marry by Fumi. And reach the pinnacle of your life. Zhang Tuohai, who graduated there, would naturally not be fooled by Myral's few words. However, he finally came up with a good idea, which was to take advantage of the opportunity to sneak in first and gain some benefits later. The Jolly Roger is too powerful, which is not good news for him. He didn't have a good impression of the remnants of the skeleton convoy either. What Zong Tuai wants to see most is for the two groups to fight and lose both sides. Moreover, only if he participates can he master first-hand information and have the opportunity to influence the situation of the battle and reap the fruits of victory. Okay. You successfully convinced me. But I want the drawings. If the drawings come out, I want to be the first to pick them. Zhang Tuohai pretended to be greedy for money. Yes, but our team is still in its infancy and there is a shortage of supplies. Can you first support us with 500 kilograms of meat? Myral said. You have plundered the remaining supplies of the entire skeleton convoy. Do you think I will believe you when you tell me that you have no money? Zhang Tuohai did not expect that Myral would blackmail him on the head. The skeleton convoy had some problems before. The supplies were concentrated in the hands of each squad leader. I only got part of it. If you are willing to fund me 500 kilograms of meat, I can give you the position of alliance squad leader. If the blueprints are produced, you can pick in the first tier, Myral said. Wait a moment. I'll tap lightly. Zhang Tuohai hung up Mylal's private message and turned around to dial Zhao Wanwan's private message. Myral wants to organize people to deal with you. The newly appointed leader of the skeleton convoy? Just the 12 people under his command? Where does he have the confidence? Xiao Wanwan felt a little incredible. The skeleton team's vitality was severely damaged, and more than 70% of its personnel were lost. According to normal logic, it should be recuperating and accumulating strength. However, they actually came up with the idea of running their own team, which really puzzled her. Is there anything impossible? Myral has contacted me personally. I have pretended to agree to them. Now they want me to provide 1,000 kilograms of meat to support them. If I provide this material, I can become the squad leader. Okay. Enter the core level. If you want to know their specific plans, Zhang Tuohai said leisurely. Wait a moment. Let me ask the boss. Xiao Wanwan felt that she could not make the decision on this matter. So she said immediately, It's better to hurry up. That guy Myral is very cunning. If you delay for too long, I'm afraid he will become suspicious. Zhang Tuohai said. I understand. Xiao Wanwan hung up the private message. Zhang Tuohai held a cup of hot cocoa and drank it slowly. After a while, Xiao Wanwan sent 1,200 kilograms of meat and a drawing for making a body armor. This bulletproof vest is our thanks for your report. Our boss said that if there is any important news, a thank you gift will be sent. Xiao Wanwan said. Thank you. I will try to break into their core layer. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. He checked the meat sent by Zhao Wanwan and found that it was all high-quality beef. The muscles were red and white, and his hands were still warm. Could he be killed immediately? Zhang Tuohai guessed. It's a shame to give those guys such good meat. Zhang Tuohai kept some of the best and made the rest into meat sausages. Later, he found 500 kilograms of sausages made of monkey meat and snake meat from the stored sausages and gave them to Myro. There's no meat left. Only sausages. Let's make do with it. Zhang Tuohai said. That's enough sausage. By the way, I'll invite you into a group. Please agree. Myral said and sent an invitation. Myral invites you to join the hunting party. The hunting team is the assessment team of the skeleton convoy. Would you like to join? Join. Zhang Tuohai clicked to agree. Zhang Tuohai discovered that there was an extra column behind the regional channel, which was labeled the hunting team channel. At this time, there were 23 people in the channel and new people join from time to time. Myral's battle is not small. There are more than 20 people in such a short time. Zhang Tuohai casually took a screenshot of the list. Then he asked Myral, Am I considered to have joined the Skeleton Racing Team? Will there be a logo of the Skeleton Racing Team behind my name? If the logo is hung, will it alert the Jolly Roger? Skeleton Racing Team, the sudden expansion will probably make Jolly Roger and other players panic. Right. It doesn't matter. This team is just the assessment team of the skeleton team. It is not considered a formal member of the skeleton team 
and will not hang up the flag. I brought you in just to give you a platform to communicate. After the Jolly Roger is eliminated, those of us who are willing to join will just pull people to officially join the team. And those who don't want to join can just leave on their own. We won't interfere too much, Myrol said. Okay then, when will we take action? Zhang Tuohai asked. The first step of the plan will be carried out tomorrow. However, the people are not here yet. Once everyone is there, we will make unified arrangements, Myrol said. Okay, I see. Zhang Tuohai looked through the people on the list one by one and wrote down their names one by one. These are people who will do anything for profit. So be careful when dealing with them in the future. By the way, can I sell another copy of this list? Zhang Tuohai felt like a mouse falling into a rice vat. You can sell the list for a profit. Reveal the plan tomorrow. And make another profit. No. The plan should be focused on selling. Not all of them. If the skeleton racing team is completely suppressed by the Jolly Roger. And finally the skeleton racing team is completely destroyed. And the Jolly Roger becomes the only one. It will not be the best outcome for him. It seems that sometimes internal response is quite difficult. Zhang Tuohai sighed with emotion. Then cut out half of the list and threw it to Xiao Wan Wan. This is a partial list. Let's estimate the price. Zhang Tuohai said. The boss said that a person's name is worth 40 level 1 basic materials. Or other items of equal value. Xiao Wan Wan said. Then I'll give you 20 first. So it's easy to calculate the price. And I'll bid you the rest after I collect 10. Zhang Tuohai said. Xiao Wan Wan. In the end, under Xiao Wan Wan's persuasion, Zhang Tuohai reluctantly submitted all 23 names. And only the new ones who joined later were temporarily withheld by Zhang Tuohai. Xiao Wan Wan originally wanted to use level 1 basic materials to settle the bill. But the number of parts was insufficient. So she used level 2 materials to make up for the shortfall. I'm really sorry. Xiao Wan Wan apologized. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Please do it more often. Zhang Tuohai looked at the level 2 materials and said happily, Chapter 152 of the AK-74 Favored by Fate After Zhao Wanwan agreed on a time for the transaction the next day, Zhang Tuohai went back to the hunting team to peek at the screen. At this time, the hunting team's channel was extremely busy. I'm so excited. I can hunt those guys tomorrow. I'm almost dying of poverty. But those guys are so full of themselves that they are not willing to share any supplies with everyone. If you ask me, they should have attacked in groups a long time ago. Of. That's right. It's better to use the skeleton team. As soon as you join, you'll be given a pound of sausage. I'll be the first to lead the charge tomorrow. Do you think this sausage tastes a little weird? It's not pork or beef. It doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. If it's edible. It's okay. Meat is good. If it weren't for the skeleton team, you would still be eating bread. If you don't want it, just give it to me. By the way, how are we going to deal with those guys in the Jolly Roger tomorrow? Are we going to open them with a knife? What if they have guns? I'm familiar with this. Follow me tomorrow. If you see a bad car, you will rush up to it. Break the glass with a stick. If you see good things and move them into your car, it's okay. One key to master is to be fast. And remember to wear a mask and don't let anyone see your face. Before coming here, my face was caught on surveillance and I was sentenced to six years. Why do you have to criticize a broken car? Don't good cars have more goodies? Good cars and powerful weapons. Be careful of being beaten to death. Remember, you can only rob commercial areas with windows nailed for zero yuan. Don't rob those villa areas with security guards. They really dare to shoot. And it's the same here. Swish inside the temple. Everyone below showed understanding and began to record the experience passed down by the boss. Seeing everyone sharing their zero yuan purchase experience, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shake his head. He found that this was a group of ragtag people who were integrated by interests. He had no illusions about the combat effectiveness of these people. If you use these people to attack the Jolly Roger, you will probably end up with six shoes. Zhang Tuohai always felt that this was not the whole picture of Myral's plan, but only a part of it. Otherwise, I'm afraid this alliance won't even be able to survive today. When it was 10 o'clock to watch the screen, Zhang Tuohai felt that it was not interesting and went to bed. Let's wait until there is any important information tomorrow morning. Zhang Tuohai got into the newly made animal skin quilt. The effect of animal skin bedding is indeed outstanding. Zhang Tuohai woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Although he only slept for 6 hours, he was very energetic and his physical strength was restored to its peak level. Zhang Tuohai simply washed his face and asked Xiao Yai to set off. While it was still night 
and the double time was still in effect. He would first pick up two supply boxes. When it gets daylight, I still can't figure out what's going on. There was also double time last night. But after a day of fighting, everyone was very tired, and few of them had the energy to stay up late for action. Shao Ai turned on the car lights and embarked on the road to find supplies. Zhang Tuohai continued the unfinished business yesterday, first making a customized version of AK-74. In fact, I should have done it yesterday after getting the materials from Sharon Base. But I was interrupted by Song Shao Kong. And I forgot about it later. A burst of white light flashed. Various materials disappeared. And a golden AK-74 appeared in Zhang Tuohai's hand. Zhang Tuohai looked up and down at the AK-74 in his hand and felt that it was almost exactly the same as the one in Ka Dazwa's hand. There is also the signature of President Su Sun Zongbo and blessing words on the butt of the gun. I hope every bullet you fire hits the enemy's vitals. This is a blessed gun. Its accuracy is unimaginable. Even if you shoot from the waist like Uncle Hei, you can still achieve good results. Accept the blessing of fate. Why are you so nagging? Zhang Tuohai hit a magazine and fired several test shots at the trees on the roadside. The recoil was a bit strong for Zhang Tuohai, who was used to using the A-12. But the power was about the same as that of an ordinary AK-74. And it hit pine tree fragments. It can be said that apart from the slightly more ostentatious appearance, there is almost no difference from the genuine AK-74. It's nothing. Duh duh duh. Zhang Tuohai held his AK-74 and fired out the window, adjusting to the recoil. Ouch. Suddenly, a beast's cry rang out, and the sound sounded sad and unwilling. Parking. Zhang Tuohai shouted loudly. Classmate Xiao Yai stopped the car instantly. Zhang Tuohai raised his hand-cranked flashlight and looked in the direction of the sound. He was shocked to find a majestic tiger lying on the ground and howling uncontrollably. There was a bloody mess between the legs. Zhang Tuohai looked at the tiger lying on the ground. This injury hit a critical point for it. Zhang Tuohai inexplicably thought about the system's comments on this gun. Really or not? Is this a coincidence? Zhang Tuohai casually fired at a boulder next to him. Boom! Ding! The bullet hit the boulder. But due to the angle, the warhead with a copper-clad lead sheath and a steel core was bounced away. The warhead flipped and hit the tiger's head. The bullet hit the hard skull. The lead sheath and the bullet broke through the brass cover under the action of inertia and exploded. The tiger's skull was blown open. The steel core in the bullet lost its balance and kept hitting the tiger. The tiger's mind was tumbling and jumping, turning it into a mess. The tiger's body fell to the ground. Zhang Tuohai, is it so powerful? Zhang Tuohai looked at the AK-74 in his hand in disbelief. If this gun is really so magical, then why should I bother to aim in the future? It would be better if I just follow Uncle Hay's belief in shooting. However, this current example is just an isolated sample and is not enough to prove it. More sample data statistics are needed. Of course, this is all a thing for another day. What Zhang Tuohai has to do now is to turn that unlucky tiger into food first. Advanced skinning knife thrust. Obtain 500G of tiger meat asterisk 500. Obtain tiger skin asterisk 1. Obtain broken tiger whip asterisk 1. Obtain ordinary essence asterisk 1. Zhang Tuohai happily moved these supplies to the car. Cut the tiger penis directly into small pieces and marinate it with cooking wine. Then braise it for a while. Before Zhang Tuohai traveled through time, he had only eaten braised beef whip, let alone tiger whip. It was not easy to see. The last time I got tiger penis, I only tried the barbecue method because the seasoning was not complete. This time, I want to try the braised version. After carrying the supplies to the car, Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Yai to continue on the road. Along the way, Zhang Tuohai picked up two more white supply boxes. One supply box contained 100 kilograms of flour, and the other contained a box of beer. Of course, there are also fat rabbits that are eaten every day. After organizing all the supplies, Zhang Tuohai was preparing to cook when the hunting team's channel suddenly rang. My lol at all members. Everyone is given 30 minutes to prepare. And half an hour later, the battle plan will be announced. Chapter 153 The Real Plan Half an hour to prepare? Zhang Tuohai looked at the time. It was just around 5.20 now, and it would be 5.50 in half an hour. The game system would announce today's changes and rules at 6 o'clock. Myral chose this time to announce the battle plan, which shows that his plan can ignore today's changes. No matter what the rules of today's game become, it will be implemented normally according to the announced plan. This is a bit interesting. Did Myral know today's rules in advance? 
Or is Myral's plan so powerful that he can ignore the rules? Zhang Tuohai thought secretly. However, because the information in hand was too little, there was no clue. Forget it. No matter what Myral's plan is, I'll just take care of it and adapt to the situation. Anyway, we've already finished betting on both ends. No matter who wins, we won't lose. While Zhang Tuohai was thinking, he made 600 rounds of AK-74 bullets, 20 bottles of Molotov cocktails, and placed two RPG-7S in convenient locations. These weapons are enough to give him the ability to change the battlefield situation. After a hurried breakfast, the time came to 5.50, and Myral appeared on the hunting team channel on time. My dear brothers, today we are gathered here to carry out a great plan, and that is to destroy the evil Jolly Roger convoy. Let me announce today's battle plan. We have a total of 36 members in this team, plus the original 12 old members of the skeleton team. A total of 48 people, while the Jolly Roger team only has 12 people. Our number is four times as large as theirs. So my plan is for every four players to form a formation, led by a player from the original skeleton fleet. Hit the superior force, and crush them, even if the Jolly Roger player is stronger. But and even if they are crushed by four times the number, they will not be able to escape the fate of destruction. When the Jolly Roger is destroyed, you will all get what you need. And, I can guarantee that when it is done, each of you will get a mysterious gift. Of course, the most important thing is that after the Jolly Roger is wiped out, our skeleton fleet will be the only king in the entire area. All other players in the entire area will crawl under our feet. And all the supplies will be available to us. All the beauties are at our disposal. Myral's words made many players feel excited. Many people here are at the bottom of the game. And even eating is a problem. The reason why I was approached by Myral was because of the bright future he promised. Now, after hearing about Myral's cake painting, they immediately became excited, as if they had been given a chicken blood injection. And they were so excited that they couldn't control themselves. However, in addition to these low-level personnel, there are also some sponsors, like Zhang Tuohai and the team, and their spirits are much calmer. Mr. Myral, as far as I know, who each player can encounter is randomly assigned by the game system. The premise of your arrangement just now is that we can meet together, and then meet every member of the Jolly Roger. How do you achieve this? A female player with blonde hair and wavy hair asked. It's simple. With this, Myral said, as he posted a picture showing an application. The content of the application is for the skeleton team to be upgraded to a second level team. The upgrade task is to defeat a team in the area. The victory condition is to annihilate more than 90% of the opponent's players. And the time limit is 12 hours. If the mission is completed, the fleet is upgraded to a second level fleet. If it fails, the team will be deducted a large amount of supplies from the challenger. If the corresponding deduction materials cannot be produced, the team will be forced to disband. Seeing the long list of supplies, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but feel a little moved. There are a lot of level 3 supplies alone. If he gets these things, Zhang Tuohai is sure that his strength will increase a lot. Moreover, the battle takes place in an independent map and will not be affected by the outside world. Just like the 2v2 life and death duel that Zhang Tuohai accepted yesterday. No wonder Myral doesn't care what the rules of the outside world are today. It turns out it has no effect at all. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the optional map. Arena of Life and Death. Deadly Competition. Endless Desert. Frozen Valleys. Misty Swamps. Magnificent Islands. City Ruins. And Mysterious Mazes. There are more than 20 maps to choose from. Zhang Tuohai noticed something. There was a rule under the optional map. That is, after the challenge is launched. The challenge team has the advantage of selecting the map and entering the game first for 10 minutes. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai immediately sent the map to Zhao Wan Wan and briefly sent Mylal's plan. Send this information to your boss immediately, and don't forget my benefits. Thank you. I'll pass the information on right now. Don't worry. The reward will not be small. Our Jolly Roger will never treat our friends badly. Zhao Wan Wan said. Yeah. Zhang Tuohai responded and continued to peek at the screen. That's it. But how should we get together? Another player asked. I will distribute this thing to everyone. It can display the location of the players in the same group and record the map that everyone passed by. Just hold this and you can quickly gather together. Myral said and distributed something like a tablet to everyone. The tablet says it is not turned on yet. This thing is a one-time item. When activated, it can display the location of the holder and teammates in the same group, making it easier for players to quickly gather. Moreover, 
This thing can update the map in real time and record the map's travel by players in the same group. Zhang Tuohai looked at this thing and did not pass the news about this thing to Zhao Wan Wan. His purpose is to make the Jolly Roger and the Skeleton Racing Team evenly matched and fight to the death of both, rather than being an undercover agent of the Jolly Flag. Now, the Jolly Roger can compete with the Skeleton Team, and there is no need to increase its strength for the time being. However, the weapons in our hands are not good enough. I only have a machete in my hand. Do the people in the Jolly Roger team have at least a pistol? Shouldn't we also strengthen our weapons? Said a Latin American player with somewhat dark skin. Yes, I only have three spears in my hand. We can't let us compete with players holding pirate flags with spears. Right. Other players also agreed. Don't worry. Our skeleton convoy will not treat you as cannon fodder. Everyone will have a gun and enough bullets. Myral said with a smile. Then, Myral began to distribute weapons to everyone. Everyone has won. Even Zhang Tuohai was assigned a Mauser 98K, 80 rounds of ammunition, and even a matching bayonet. Chapter 154 Betraying Each Other Zhang Tuohai looked at the 98K in his hand and was speechless. The effective range of this gun is 800 meters. The distance is far enough and the accuracy is good. It can be used as a sniper rifle. However, the premise of all this is to be equipped with a sight. Myral fired everything but the scope. Without the scope, the 98K is just a slightly more accurate rifle. In addition to the range, it is completely killed by the AK-74. From now on, this 98K is completely useless in Zhang Tuai's hands. Forget it. Keep it for now. In case you get the scope later. Zhang Tuai put the 98K aside. This thing is good as a replacement for a hunting spear. In order to boost morale, Myral gave everyone a steak and two bottles of beer. Everyone, cheers to our bright future. Myral raised his glass and said loudly, Cheers! Everyone in the hunting team cheered. Zhang Tuohai also picked up his wine glass and prepared to take a sip. The prompt system suddenly popped up a prompt sound. Be careful. There is chronic poison hidden in the beer, which will attack after 12 hours. After poisoning, you will bleed from your orifices and die. Good guy! Zhang Tuohai secretly took a breath of air. He didn't expect Myral to be so vicious and poison the wine. It seems that he has no intention of fulfilling his previous promise and treats these hunting team players as cannon fodder. If it weren't for the prompt system, I would have almost fallen into trouble. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, cut the steak in his hand, cut off a piece, and put it to his mouth, pretending to eat it. Be careful. There is a chronic poison hidden in the steak. It will attack after 12 hours. If you are poisoned, you will bleed from your orifices and die. The exact same prompt sounded. Zhang Tuohai clapped gently. This Myral actually poisoned both steak and beer. No matter whether the player eats meat or drinks alcohol, he will not escape the fate of poisoning. It seems that I was right to hedge my bets. Zhang Tuohai praised his wit. At this time, Zhao Wanan sent a private message. There were three RPG-43 anti-tank grenades in the private message. RPG-43 anti-tank grenade, also known as Molotov grenade, with a total length of 383 millimeters a weight of 1.2 kilograms, and a penetration depth of 75 millimeters against homogeneous steel armor. The killing radius is 20 meters. Note, to use it well, you need strong arm strength. What a good thing! Zhang Tuohai looked at this thing with excitement on his face. In the beginning, Rabbit relied on this thing to beat up 17 of his cousins. Even the M26 Pershing heavy tank you're looking at. Ame. Can't carry this thing. You must know that Pershing is Ame. Look at the heavy tank developed to deal with the King Tiger tank. Even heavy tanks can't carry it. Let alone these players' cars. Definitely one at a time. The kind that won't leave any ash behind. However, the only drawback of this thing is that it is too heavy. And the killing radius actually reaches 20 meters. If you don't get this thing right, you will hurt yourself and end up in a situation where your success will be ruined. If ordinary players get this kind of grenade, it will definitely be a mixed blessing. But Zhang Tuohai didn't care. He has an ice launcher in his hand, which is enough to shoot this thing 200 meters away. From a certain perspective, Zhang Tuohai is equivalent to having three simple mortars. Not bad. Not bad. Zhang Tuohai put away the three Molotov grenades with satisfaction. In the private message, in addition to the three anti-tank grenades, there was also a paragraph. We decided to use the venue map selection option. The selected map is Misty Hills. Please be prepared. Xiao Wanan said. Yeah. I got it. Zhang Tuohai quickly clicked on the map introduction of Misty Hills. 
This is a hilly area shrouded in fog. The terrain is rugged and the fog is thick. The visual distance does not exceed 30 meters. The fog contains a certain amount of toxic substances. Prolonged exposure to the fog will cause players to feel dizzy. There are certain supply boxes arranged in the hills, which contain some equipment to deal with the fog. Finding these items first will give you a greater advantage than your opponents. It's interesting. Zhang Tuohai looked at the map description and tapped the steering wheel. This map is a map that limits the field of view. Whether it is fog or hills, it is used to limit the player's field of vision. So players will encounter short distance encounters. In this case, rapid fire weapons with powerful explosive power in a short period of time will be very useful, while long range sniper rifles will be greatly limited. Moreover, this kind of area is not conducive to the gathering of players and can easily cause accidental injuries. Why did Jolly Roger choose this map? Is it to limit the numerical advantage of the skeleton fleet? Or do they have a large number of rapid fire weapons? Or maybe both? Zhang Tuohai began to speculate on the strength of the Jolly Roger. On the internal channel of the hunting team, the players were discussing the distribution of the spoils enthusiastically, and it seemed that victory was already within their grasp. Seeing the appearance of these players, Zhang Tuohai shook his head slightly. A group of guys who didn't know they were about to die. These people have been reduced to dead people in his eyes, and are not worthy of attention. Zhang Tuohai began to look at the player avatars of Team Skeleton and Team Jolly Roger one by one, memorizing their faces in his mind. These are his main opponents. The time soon came to 559. Myral immediately initiated an application to upgrade the team's level. It is detected that Myral has initiated an application to upgrade the team level. Please ask Myral to choose to challenge the team. Select Jolly Roger team successfully. Choose by the challenge Jolly Roger team. Choose the dominant map or be the first to enter the map in 10 minutes. Jolly Flag team selects advantage map. The map for this promotion competition is Misty Hills. The skeleton convoy will enter the map 10 minutes first. Map information and other victory conditions can be viewed by yourself after entering the map. The promotion round begins. Players are guided into the competition map. A white light enveloped the players in the skeleton convoy and its subordinate hunting teams. Myral was slightly stunned when he saw the Jolly Roger's choice. He didn't expect Jolly Roger to make his choice so quickly. In his expectation, the Jolly Roger team would choose to enter the competition venue first, then gather together and move forward as a team. However, now Jolly Roger actually gave up the first move advantage and chose the map. Is there anything to rely on? Malor felt a little uneasy in his heart. Humph. No matter what tricks you have, I don't believe you have any chance of making a comeback in the face of your absolute superiority in numbers. The final winner this time must be me. Myral greeted everyone in the regional channel. Don't panic. Everyone, follow the previously designated plan. After everyone enters the map, use their tablets to activate their positioning. Then report their location and notify the skeleton fleet nearby. The formal members gather together and act as a team. Understood. Many players in the hunting team said in the channel. The white light dissipated, and Zhang Tuohai found himself at the top of a misty hill. Chapter 155 Li Dike Ao is stiff. Zhang Tuohai looked around. He was at the top of a small hill. The surrounding area is surrounded by thick white fog, and the line of sight beyond 30 meters is completely white. Sure enough, the restriction of sight is a bit serious. Zhang Tuohai frowned. He opened the hunting team's channel and found that all the players on it were complaining. What are you doing? There's thick fog all around, and you can't see the road at all. It's just that the driving distance of only 30 meters is not enough. I didn't dare to drive too fast. Just now, I was walking too fast and almost fell into the river. It's so hot. It has to be 20 degrees Celsius in this place. Right. The down jacket I just bought hasn't warmed me up yet. Everyone, please open the tablets in your hands and share the map. Myral greeted in the channel. New. No. Everyone opened the tablets in their hands. Small red dots suddenly lit up on the originally dark screen, marking the positions of each player. Zhang Tuohai was still a loyal member of the skeleton racing team at this time, so he naturally turned on the tablet as requested. The red dot on the screen is the companion, while the self is represented by a white dot. Zhang Tuohai looked at his position. It was in the lower left corner of the tablet, which should be in the southwest of the map, which was a relatively peripheral area. Zhang Tuohai looked at the location of other red dots on the tablet. They were found in various areas and seemed to be evenly distributed on the map. All official members of the team marked themselves. Myral continued. Swish. 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 Following Myral's words, the twelve red dots turned into blue dots. These blue dots are not evenly distributed. 
Most of them are concentrated in the west and north. There are fewer in the south and east. On Zong Tuohai's side, there is only one small blue dot flashing. It looks like like a candle in the wind. It will be extinguished at any time. All players move closer to the blue dot closest to themselves and move forward as a group according to the original plan. Myral greeted loudly. Understood. Everyone in the motorcade responded and gathered towards the nearest blue dot. Go and take a look first. Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Ai to drive towards the nearest blue dot. Let's get into the team first. Some of the surrounding red dots are also moving closer to the blue dots. Zhang Tuohai took a look and saw that there were five or six friendly troops nearby. They are all moving closer to themselves. There are a lot of people. So we have to find a way to clear them out. Zhang Tuohai looked at the tablet and thought about a solution. After a while, Zhang Tuohai came to a nearby hill again. A class 2 commercial vehicle was parked on the hillside. Zhang Tuohai drove over. As soon as Zhang Tuohai appeared, a mixed race man got out of the car. He had short dreadlocks and a skull chain hanging around his neck. He wore a red vest and a down jacket. He had a cigar in his mouth and a skull on his waist. Glock looks like a punk at first glance. The little dirty braid's eyes widened when he saw the six-wheeled off-road vehicle that Zong Tuohai drove up. The red six-wheeled off-road vehicle, with huge waist-high wheels, sharp steel thorns all over its body, and a huge snow shovel held on the front of the vehicle, looks as domineering as possible. Even their previous boss never drove such a good car. Made fact. The cigar fell out of Dreadlock's mouth. He subconsciously turned around and took out his Uzi submachine gun from the car. Are you an official member of the skeleton team? The leader of this area? Zhang Tuohai lowered the window and looked at the little pigtail. You are one of those peripheral cannons, the person to be inspected? When the little dirty braid heard this, he became energetic. As the main member of the skeleton convoy, he naturally knew the fate of Zhang Tuohai and other members of the hunting team. They're just a bunch of cows that were skinned twice to block guns. Thinking of this, the little pigtail suddenly felt a sense of superiority in his heart. At the same time, the look in his eyes towards Zhang Tuohai also changed, becoming greedy. After all, they are just cannon fodder used to block guns, and the final assets will be returned to the team. So why can't I take advantage of them first? With this car, can Miranda ignore me anymore? Little Dirty Pig's heart became hot. He pointed at Zhang Tuohai with the Uzi point in his hand and said, Yes, I am the team leader. I declare that your car has been requisitioned. Now you get off the car. Hey, someone is here again. Why is that car painted with the pirate flag logo? Zhang Tuohai pretended to be surprised and looked behind the little pigtail. The little dirty braid was startled when he heard this and quickly looked back. But there was nothing behind him. What's going on? Before the little pigtail could react, he felt a burst of pain in his chest. The door of the six-wheel SUV flew open and hit him. Three-inch-long spikes pierced his body. Cough! Cough! A trace of blood flowed from the corner of the little braid's mouth. You? The little dreadlock wanted to say something. But he felt a huge force behind him. Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car, pulled his pigtails off the car door, and pushed him into the commercial vehicle. What are you going to do? The little dirty braid's eyes were filled with astonishment. What answered him was the clear gunfire of AK-74. Da da da. Three consecutive bursts of bullets shattered the little pigtail's head. Maid, are you the only one who wants to steal my car? Zhang Tuohai spat. There are several cars approaching nearby. The prompt system suddenly sounded. Zhang Tuohai was shocked, knowing that those players had also rushed over. Suddenly something moved in his heart. And he said to classmate Xiao Ai, Classmate Xiao Ai, you drive to the west first. Drive slower. And lead those players to the west. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai drove the off-road vehicle towards the west. While Zhang Tuohai jumped into the commercial vehicle, held the little pigtail in his arms, and kept shaking the little pigtail's dead body. Arthur! You say! My dear brother! What's wrong with you? Please speak! Please say something! There was a sincere look on his face. There was a sound of engines. And several cars approached Zhang Tuohai. Several players jumped out of the car and hesitated when they saw the corpse in the car. They stood nearby not knowing whether to advance or retreat. Are you members of the hunting team? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly, pretending to wipe away his tears. Ah, yes, we are from the hunting team. Several players announced their identities and said quickly, We were attacked by the Jolly Roger men. They killed one of our teammates. However, I also killed one of them and wounded another. Now they have run away. Let's go and chase them. Zhang Tuohai said and pointed to the west. Everyone looked over there, 
And sure enough, a car disappeared into the thick fog. This, many players hesitated in their hearts. They followed Myral here to take advantage of Chiofong. The principle is that you will die and I will take advantage. Now that they saw someone really dead, they hesitated again. Other thoughts emerged in everyone's mind. Chapter 156 What is TM's surprise? What? Are you going to betray our skeleton convoy? Zhang Tuohai shouted pretending to be angry. This. Several players were stunned by Zhang Tuohai's suddenly amplified voice. Our skeleton convoy delivers food, drinks, and guns. We also promise so many benefits. Now we are retreating when we encounter a little difficulty. Aren't you afraid that we will settle the score with you in the future? Several players looked at each other with a hint of fear in their hearts. Once the skeleton team kills the Jolly Roger and becomes the only overlord in this area, one can imagine their future. Thinking of this, two bold players reach for the pistols on their waists. As long as this person is killed, no one will know what they have done. They can just change places and rejoin other teams to continue fishing. Seeing the actions of the two people, Zhang Tuohai sneered. Do you want to destroy the evidence? Stop dreaming. I have already sent your photos to the team's channel. If I die, it will be your fault. By then, no one will be able to escape. Zhang Tuohai's words stunned the two people. They didn't expect that Zhang Tuohai would do so brilliantly and directly force their retreat to death. However, these people also reacted very quickly and immediately said with smiles on their faces. What do you mean? We didn't say not to go. Don't worry. We will chase him now. We will go now. Several people said that they were about to get in the car. Wait a minute. You are going to die if you chase him like this. Come here. I will teach you a way to ensure that you can easily catch that guy without getting hurt. Zhang Tuohai suddenly stopped a few people from behind. Is there such a good thing? Several players became interested and stopped one after another. There was no danger and they could catch the enemy. Who wouldn't want this benefit? What can I do? Asked an impatient player. Walls have ears. Come here and I'll whisper to you. Zhang Tuohai waved to everyone. Several players came closer without doubting his presence. Surprise! Zhang Tuohai suddenly pulled out the limited edition AK-74 hidden under a piece of rag and pulled the trigger. Da da da. A series of flames burst out. Several players fell to the ground. Everyone has one or more bullet holes in their vitals. In the conscience of heaven and earth, Zhang Tuohai just fired a few shots. Unexpectedly, all of them hit the vital points. Killed six players in one fell swoop. This blessed AK-74 is indeed unusual. This is a good method. Zhang Tuohai looked at several carts of supplies with great joy. If he does this a few times, Zhang Tuohai can kill one-third of the skeleton team by himself. However, Zhang Tuohai gave up the idea after just thinking about it. Because the list of the deceased is clearly written on the channel. If I dare to sneak in with the opponent's tablet, I might be discovered immediately and catch a turtle in a jar. So it's better to be careful. Using the communication function of the bracelet to call classmate Xiao Ai back, Zhang Tuohai began to search for supplies on these people's cars. It has to be said that the people Myral found were really poor. Each of them had a stove, a few basic parts, and a few pieces of firewood. The only valuable thing was a gun for each person, which was issued by Myral. There is some gasoline, about 200 units per person on average. There is no food at all, and they are probably waiting for Myral to issue subsidies. So poor. Zhang Tuohai frowned, thought for a while, and took off everyone's clothes, which would make some money. As for the official members of the skeleton team, they have a lot more supplies. An Uzi and six magazines, two pizzas, a piece of fried chicken, plus a bar of chocolate, and even a bottle of red wine. There is also a lot of gasoline, a full 400 units. Zhang Tuohai put all these things away. Finally, the hard work was not in vain and I made a little profit. When Zhang Tuohai returned to the car, he found that the hunting team's channel was in chaos. More than a dozen death obituaries were issued. He flipped through the content in the channel and realized that it turned out that two formal members of the skeleton team and a few temporary workers from the hunting team wanted to explore the way. But they bumped into the Jolly Rogers Vanguard team. Five or six people were killed on the spot, and several more died during the retreat. Only one official member of the skeleton team escaped with his life, because of his modified car and strong defense. Myral is calming everyone's emotions in the channel. Zhang Tuohai turned around and felt that this was a good opportunity to blame the Jolly Roger for the death of these people. Anyway, the game system will not announce the name of the murderer. Only the cause of death. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and immediately said on the hunting team's channel. 
The pirate flag brigade was found in the southwest corner of the map. The firepower is very brutal. Please support me. Please support me. What's going on? Speak slowly. Myral asked anxiously. He had just found out about little Dreadlock's death. But after asking a few questions on the channel, no one responded at all. We encountered an ambush by the Jolly Roger convoy. The number of people is unknown. The firepower was very fierce. They had RPGs, incendiary bombs, and anti-tank grenades. Several of the brothers' vehicles at the beginning were blown to pieces. And another one was killed alive. It was burned to death. If my car hadn't been at the end, I wouldn't have been able to escape. Zhang Tuohai shouted pretending to be panicked. The firepower is so strong? Myral was shocked when he heard this level of weapon configuration. If the Jolly Roger had weapons of this level, then his plan would have to change. He would have to let these cannon fodder consume the Jolly Flag's heavy weapons first, and then wait for an opportunity to counterattack. Are you sure? Is it really an RPG? Myral asked. No. I've watched Black Hawk down more than 20 times. And I will never admit that I'm wrong about RPG. John Tuai said. You try to lure them over. I'll set up a surrounding circle here and wipe them out in one go. Myral marked a dot on the tablet. Then what should I do? John Tuai asked. Don't worry. Someone will pick you up after you enter the encirclement. Myral said. Okay. Let me give it a try. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the marked location. It was a canyon, which was a good location for an ambush. Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Ai to drive in that direction. Go and place the few landmines we got. Myral hung up the private message and said to a member next to him. Are they all arranged? Those are contact mines. We can't control them. Whoever comes in will die. The member said hesitantly. Do as I say. The veins on Myral's forehead were stretched. My goal is to kill the Jolly Roger and upgrade the team. In order to achieve this goal, it is worth sacrificing a few peripheral members. Chapter 157 Jumping left and right to gather wool. The boy next to him glanced at Myral, hesitated for a moment, didn't say anything more, and just obeyed. Myral is not a man of faith. In fact, when Myral became the new leader of the skeleton team, there were still nearly 20 official members of the team. There were only 12 left before the action began. At least half of the remaining people were killed by Myral himself. The main reason is disobedience. In Myral's eyes, Zhang Tuohai is just a pig that can be sacrificed at any time. If Zhang Tuohai can attract a team of pirate flags into the encirclement, then all the sacrifices will be worth it. Myral buried a lot of various mines. Zhang Tuohai directly received the prompt from the prompt system. Warning. There are a lot of mines laid in the ambush circle valley. Please avoid it carefully if you don't want to turn into pieces. Damn! Is this guy Myral such a bitch? Zhang Tuohai looked startled. He didn't expect that Myral would be so decisive and would sacrifice him as soon as he came on the field. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and asked Xiao Ai to park the car immediately, then took a screenshot of the tablet's display and sent it to Xiao Wan Wan. What is this? Xiao Wan Wan quickly sent a message. Myral's defense plan. He has laid traps to deal with you and also placed a large number of mines in his pockets. Zhang Tuohai said leisurely. Is there any specific information? Zhao Wanwan asked eagerly. Mines are the top killer weapon for everyone at this stage. It can't even carry a tank. Let alone these cars. There is no specific information. I am not with the main team. However, I have a tablet in my hand to monitor the position of the Myral team at all times. Do you want it? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. Since Myral was already planning to sacrifice him, he also decided to sell Myral out. 10 level 3 materials. 30 level 2 materials, 2 boxes of happy water, and 1 koi carp. Xiao Wan Wan offered the price. Okay. Zhang Tuohai just wanted to watch the Jolly Roger and the skeleton racing team fight to the death. And he really didn't care about the price. Even if he had to pay for it, he would throw the tablet over. However, Xiao Wan Wan was still very practical and gave a lot. The most valuable thing here is the 10 level 3 materials, which are very rare hard currency. Zhang Tuohai wanted to make a limited edition AK-74, but was stuck with level 3 materials for a while, which shows its scarcity. However, what attracted Zhang Tuohai the most was the koi. Agreed. Zhang Tuohai turned off a tablet he got from other players, and then made a, okay, transaction with Xiao Wanwan. At the same time, he reminded, tablets can report each other's positions in real time. You'd better send one people come to the valley to attract firepower. Otherwise, Myral will find out the problem. I understand. Zhao Wanwan said and hung up the private message. 
Zhang Tuahai looked at the pile of extra supplies behind him. The materials were piled aside. And Zhang Tuahai also took out two bottles of happy water and threw them into the refrigerator to chill. In addition, there is a large water tank with a diameter of one meter and a height of 60 centimeters behind him. There are several lucky bamboos in the water tank. And a one-foot-long koi fish is constantly swimming in it. Good guy. It's quite particular. I just don't know how it tastes. Zhang Tuahai squatted in front of the koi tank and studied it for a long time and found that it was not some kind of equipment, just an ordinary koi. Suddenly lost interest. Wang Kai was very interested in this new partner. He lay beside the water tank and stared blankly. From time to time, he would touch the water with his paws, causing the koi to run around in shock. I'm telling you, this is a new pet. Don't think about eating it every day. Are so many sausages not enough for you? Zhang Tuohai knocked Wang Kai on the head. In fact, he also wanted to taste the taste of koi, but he didn't think of how to do it for a while. So he decided to let the koi live for two days first. When Wang Kai heard this, a look of disappointment appeared on his face. It's a pet again. It's boring. After saying that, Wang Kai laid down and began to drink the water in the tank. Why are you drinking this water? Isn't there your basin over there? Zhang Tuohai asked, pointing to the small steel basin not far away. It's okay. I'm not allowed to eat fish. I thought it would be good to take a few sips of fish soup to satisfy my craving. Wang Kai said. Zhang Tuohai, if he didn't need Wang Kai to help provide fertilizer for planting crops, he would really want to slap this stupid fox to death. What's going on in your head? Also drink fish soup. Is this true? Don't drink it all. Remember to add water. Zhang Tuohai warned and returned to his seat. By this time, Myral had sent him seven or eight private messages. What are you doing? Why don't you move? Drive quickly? You couldn't have been caught by the Jolly Roger. Right. Reply quickly. Zhang Tuohai looked at these private messages, sneered, and then replied, The tire is broken and I can't run fast. I was afraid that I would be caught by the Jolly Roger when I went out. So I hid. Then we can't just hide there. If you don't go out, how will the people in the Jolly Roger get in? Myral was a little anxious and spoke indiscriminately. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't let me drive a three-wheeled car to attract those guys from the Jolly Roger. If I go out now, I'll be killed by them in less than two minutes. This is an act of suicide, and we can't do it, Zhang Tuohai said with his legs crossed. This is easy to handle. I'll buy you a set of equipment, Myral said, and sent a lot of things to Zhang Tuohai. Car repair kit, high-grade bulletproof glass, high-grade bulletproof car body, a bulletproof suit, and even an adrenaline hormone. These things are enough to repair and strengthen your car. It's not a problem to rush out with these things. Right, Myral said. Good guy. Myral still has some stocks. Zhang Tuohai looked at this pile of things with joy. Myral has presented you with high-grade bulletproof glass and a high-grade bulletproof car body. Can you please install them? Advanced bulletproof glass. Level 2 auto accessory. Can withstand close-range shots from 9mm submachine guns. Advanced bulletproof body. Level 2 auto parts, which can withstand close range shooting from 9mm submachine guns. Install. Zhang Tuohai was polite and chose to install it directly. A white light flashed on the car. There was not much change in appearance, but the car's defense was greatly improved. The bulletproof suit was similar to the one Zhang Tuohai was wearing. So Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to change. As for the car repair kit and adrenaline, Zhang Tuohai put them away. It seemed that Malor was afraid that Zhang Tuohai would be dead and would be unable to lure the Jolly Roger into a trap. So he gave him all defensive equipment. Chapter 158 Let's Drink Tea First Zhang Tuohai changed his seat to a more comfortable position and hummed a song. Of course, since he received the money, he didn't do anything at all. He sent a private message to Zhao Wanwan. Have you arrived at the attention-grabbing person in front of the valley? Myral is about to become suspicious. It's coming. It's coming. Hold on. Give me another five minutes. I'll be there soon, Zhao Wanwan said. I know. Then I'll hold on a little longer and send me a private message when the time comes. I'll shut you down then, Zhang Tuai said. Got it. Myral almost went crazy when he saw that the red dot representing Zhang Tuai on the tablet remained motionless. What are you doing? Why don't you move? Myral asked. Don't make any noise. There are four Jolly Roger cars patrolling nearby. If I rush out now, I will definitely be beaten into a sieve. Wait until I find an opening, Zhang Tuai said. How long will it take? Myral asked, suppressing his anger. 
Let's see. I'm thirsty now. I'll drink some tea first. It will take anywhere from five minutes to an hour. John Tuohai said. Myral gives you 10 kilograms of pur as a gift. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll be there within half an hour. I'll be there within half an hour. John Tuohai happily put the pur away. The prompt system has no beeps. So there is obviously no problem. Myral presents you with 10 kilograms of civic coffee beans. Five minutes. We must move within five minutes. This is the shortest time. Zhang Tuohai said. This time, there was no movement from Myral's side. Zhang Tuohai estimated that Myral's side had nothing to gain. The salted fish that continues to swim leisurely. At this time, on the top of the mountains on both sides of the canyon, Myral's angry veins popped up on his forehead. He gritted his teeth and said to the man next to him, who was responsible for the remote controlled bomb. Remember? When Zhang Tuohai enters the valley later, he must be blown up with ordinary landmines. Never use high explosive bombs or incendiary bombs. He has my favorite civic cat coffee there. Don't damage it. Men. Chief. A subordinate responsible for monitoring the tablet suddenly shouted. He saw on the tablet that the red dot that originally belonged to Zhang Tuohai suddenly flashed and then appeared slightly in front. What happened? Myral came over and asked. Myral saw at a glance that the red dot belonging to Zhang Tuohai moved forward. He suddenly became excited. Great. Let me know. The enemy is about to enter the trap. Prepare to fight. The subordinates passed on the order. Seeing Myral's excited look, the man who had been monitoring the tablet swallowed the words that came to his lips. Myral has a very bad temper. At this time, if you disturb him, you might get angry. Forget it. It's possible that there was just a delay in signal transmission. A small problem not worth making a fuss about. That player kept the secret deep inside his heart. At this time, Zhang Tuohai had turned off his tablet and drove away from the fighting area. Zhao Wanwan has already warned Zhang Tuohai that there will be a big battle here, and it is best to stay away if you don't want to be affected. Zhang Tuohai was a person who listened to the advice and immediately drove away from the battlefield. As for who wins and who loses, it has nothing to do with him. He is just an information dealer. Where can I go to get some benefits? Zhang Tuohai pondered. He couldn't go to the battlefield area. Although his protection level was quite high, judging from the killer weapons brought out by the two convoys, he was still not foolproof. So he didn't join in the fun. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai thought of yesterday's life and death dual map. In the center of that map, he harvested a statue of the harvest goddess. So is there something like this in this map? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's mind started to move. Anyway, it's just idle time. There's nothing to lose by going and taking a look. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind, turned the car, and drove towards the center of the map. While the car was driving, Zhang Tuohai boiled a pot of water and made himself a cup of pur. It is indeed a high-quality tea. It tastes really fragrant and has a mellow feeling. It should be good to boil tea eggs. Zhang Tuohai smacked his lips and gave an evaluation. There is no way. He is just such a common person. He used to drink jasmine tea that cost 20 yuan a can. How could he drink pur tea that was good or bad? John Tuohai was drinking tea happily. But Myral was in a big crisis. The Jolly Roger team suddenly flanked his team from both sides. Although there are only a few people in the Jolly Roger. There are only 12. But the firepower is very powerful. The first two rounds of the M60 recoilless rifle killed two of his subordinates. With the 106mm recoilless gun, people were instantly killed. These two shells directly destroyed the morale of the skeleton convoy. It is true that they are gangsters at their core. But there is a limit to the gangster's firepower. The AR-15 is already the upper limit. But the Jolly Roger actually uses artillery. Who can bear this? The morale of the backbone of the skeleton convoy was strained. Not to mention those players in the hunting team who were bribed with money to make up the numbers. The timid one simply took the bucket and ran away. They are few. There are only 12 of us. We have more than 60 people. We can fight them to death even with the number of people. After victory, everyone's bounty will be doubled. In addition, each person will be given a complete set of blueprints for upgrading the third level vehicle. Plus two beauties. Players in this area. No matter how you blackmail them, the headquarters will never interfere. Myral greeted in the channel. At this time, in addition to the eight remaining backbones of the team, he also has 52 subordinates. In addition to Zhang Tuohai's hunting team, Myral also formed two identical teams. There were more than 70 people in the beginning. But now there are only 52 left. 
Myrall initially split the channel because he was worried that it would be difficult to control everyone on the same channel. Unexpectedly, he accidentally hit and hid part of his strength. Such a huge number of people surprised the attacking Jolly Roger. Although the Jolly Roger had foreseen the large number of skeleton convoys before attacking. However, I didn't expect there to be so many. However, the attack has already begun. And they can only take advantage of the panic of the skeleton convoy to harvest more heads. With the support of Myral and several key members, and relying on the huge number of people, the skeleton fleet gradually gained a firm foothold. Although the manpower losses were heavy, they finally gained a firm foothold. In addition, Myral promised a large sum of money, and some low-level players plucked up the courage to counterattack, which also caused a lot of trouble for the Jolly Roger. Caught off guard, Jolly Roger also lost three men. This caused the Jolly Roger, which was already short of manpower, to suffer. Seeing that there was nothing to take advantage of, the Jolly Roger retreated in an orderly manner, leaving corpses all over the ground. Chapter 159 A Chance Encounter with a Big Fish Takumi doesn't know how big the encirclement battle will be. However, from the red obituaries floating on the hunting team's channel, it can be seen that this battle is definitely not a small one. There are still people killed by recoilless rifles? Good guy. Luckily I didn't go. John Tuahai wiped his hands with cold sweat. I lament that these guys are really crazy. He thought he was powerful enough just by carrying two RPG-7S. But these guys even brought out recoilless rifles and mines. Sure enough, he had to be careful when traveling in the world. Zhang Tuohai was ready to drink another glass of pu'er to calm down his shock. Commander, a building ruins were found ahead. Classmate Xiaoyai said, Architectural ruins? Zhang Tuohai raised his head. In front of him were the ruins of a large building. The ruins are made of various granites and bluestones, which have collapsed due to weather and weather, and moss and vines have covered the ruins. The only thing still standing is a large pile of white marble pillars in the center of the ruins. These stone pillars are 10 meters high and more than 2 meters in diameter. There are grooves on them that go straight up and down. There are still some beams on the top of some stone pillars, which look a bit like the ruins of the Parthenon. There should be something here, right? John Tuohai took his equipment, got out of the car, and walked toward the center of the ruins. There were broken walls everywhere among the ruins, and John Tuohai had to walk carefully. Fortunately, there were no poisonous insects or beasts hidden here, allowing John Tuohai to enter the center of the ruins effortlessly. In the center of the ruins, there are also two tall pillars. However, these two pillars are human-shaped, and they are wearing very simple clothes, and their bodies are carved every detail. Lifelike. TSK. 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 These are all treasures of civilization. It's a pity to leave them here. Zhang Tuohai shook his head with regret. If it weren't for the fact that these two pillars were so big, he would have really wanted to take them back and collect them. Zhang Tuohai reluctantly looked away and cast his gaze towards the center of the ruins. Then, his eyes straightened instantly. In the center of the ruins, there is a small piece of flat ground. There is a long table carved with marble on the ground. On the long table is a white marble statue, which looks like a real person. It is covered with a gauze scarf, which is vaguely covered for 104 parts. Of course, what surprised Zhang Tuohai was not the statue that was identical to a real person, but it was a line of words that appeared in front of me. Cleaning and bathing goddess statue. Placing this statue in the car can automatically clean the car's hygiene on a regular basis, including but not limited to the air, water, and car body. Note. When the concentration of toxic substances in the car is too high and endangers human health, the statue will automatically start and turn on the purification mode until the toxic substances are reduced below the safety line. Zhang Tuohai called Nayuhai Plus. Automatic cleaning and other things. He is actually not too fancy. These wealth can be dealt with. What excites him the most is this purification mode. With this thing, he no longer has to worry about various toxic substances. Even in the future, when burning firewood, you don't have to worry about excessive carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide in the car. And you can often open the windows for ventilation. This greatly improves the efficiency of the stove and reduces the consumption of firewood. Zhang Tuohai excitedly moved the statue back to the car. Boss, have you finally thought about it and decided to exchange it for an inflatable doll? It seems a bit hard. It doesn't feel good in the hand. Wang Kai pulled the statue with his paws. Get lost, or we'll see you at the dinner table. Zhang Tuohai kicked Wang Kai aside. He wondered whether he should perform a sterilization operation on Wang Kai. Otherwise, this guy would be full of dirty thoughts. 
which would almost lead him to ruin. Wakai rubbed his butt and muttered and returned to the stove. Zhang Tuohai was about to leave when he suddenly heard the roar of a car in the distance. A level 3 off-road vehicle is approaching from the 6 o'clock direction, carrying a Panzerfaust anti-tank rocket. Please be careful when dealing with it. The prompt system popped up a prompt sound in a timely manner. Is there a car coming? Zhang Tuohai quickly controlled Xiao Ai to slide to the side at a silent speed. Out of sight. Then, he quietly got out of the car, slipped back, and lay on the ground to observe. After a while, a level 3 off-road vehicle drove over. The appearance of this off-road vehicle is a bit miserable. There are traces of smoke and fire on it. The window glass is broken. The roof cover is half-lifted. There is a big hole in the trunk and dense bullet holes. It looks like suffered serious injuries. What concerns Zong Tuohai the most was the skull logo painted on the front of the car. It's obviously a skeleton racing car. The car stopped in front of the ruins. From Zhang Tuohai's position, he couldn't see clearly what the people inside looked like. Only a vague figure could be seen. The figure observed for a while, then took out a medical kit from the car and began to bandage himself. It's from the skeleton team? Or is it a level 3 vehicle? There must be something good. If you encounter me, you'll be unlucky. Zhang Tuohai tiptoed over. After arriving outside the driver's door, he held his breath, then jumped up suddenly and hit the man's head with the butt of his gun. The man didn't expect that there would be someone standing guard after he ran to such a remote place. He was concentrating on bandaging himself and didn't pay attention to the surrounding situation. He was hit hard by the butt of the gun. The man groaned and fell into the car. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw that he had succeeded. He immediately jumped into the car, took out the other party's belt and shoelaces, and tied him up. After everything was taken care of, Zhang Tuohai turned the man over. Zhang Tuohai was also surprised when he saw this man's face. The person who was knocked unconscious by him was none other than Myrol. Hey, it's true that enemies don't get together and let you plant mines to taint me. And let you use poison beer to poison steaks to taint me. Have you fallen into my hands? Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to kill him directly. However, Zhang Tuohai felt that this was the leader of the skeleton convoy after all and it might be of some use to keep it. So he threw it aside and searched the supplies in the car first. Myrol is worthy of being the leader of the skeleton convoy. And the supplies in the car are so rich. There are 2,000 units of gasoline alone. And various steaks and lamb chops weighing up to 100 kilograms. And they are all fresh. The car refrigerator is filled with chocolates. Zhang Tuohai also discovered a dozen adrenal hormones. There was actually a wine cabinet in the car filled with all kinds of famous wines of brands Zhang Tuohai didn't recognize. All of this was naturally accepted by Zhang Tuohai. Of course, there is no shortage of various weapons. There are five or six submachine guns alone, all of which are frequently seen in gun magazines. And there are seven or eight pistols, all of which are high-quality products. It's a pity that they are all collectibles and only have one magazine of bullets. Zhang Tuohai included it in his collection. Myrol's main combat firearm is an August with a thousand rounds of ammunition. There is also a Panzerfaust rocket launcher placed on the passenger seat. These were properly stored by Zhang Tuohai. At the end of the car, Zhang Tuohai found a safe. The safe was extremely strong. After a bloody battle, it was unscathed, with not even a bullet mark on the surface. Chapter 160 Fog Spreading Drawing There's definitely something good! Seeing that the safe was unharmed, Zhang Tuohai was sure that there must be something good in it. You can't keep a box of old canned herrings in such a good safe. Can you? If this thing is really released. Zhang Tuohai swears that Myrol will definitely regret coming into this world. Zhang Tuohai lifted Myrol in front of him and patted Myrol's face. Wake up! Wake up! Myrol still had his eyes closed tightly and seemed to be still in a coma. Boss, it's no use. I heard that a comatose person can wake up by pouring a basin of cold water on him. Why don't you give it a try? Wonkai suggested from the side. Snapped. Zhang Tuohai patted Wonkai's head firmly. Is your head spinning? Although water is not very valuable now. It is still a precious resource. How can you waste it on him casually? Then what should we do? Wonkai rubbed his head in frustration. However, what you said makes sense. If you use water to stimulate it, there is a chance that it can wake people up. Zhang Tuohai said, touching his chin. But didn't you just say that water is a waste? Wakai asked. Drinking water is a waste. But we can use some and use warm water. And use warm water? Wakai was stunned, trying desperately to recall what and use warm water was in the car. Is it your bath water? Isn't that reserved for watering vegetables? Wakai asked. 
Idiot! I'm talking about urine. Zhang Tuohai gave Wang Kai a violent shudder. Have you felt it yet? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's not too strong. Wang Kai shrank. Then go drink more water and let it brew for a while. If that doesn't work, go eat two boxes of ice cream. Zhang Tuohai said. That will cause gastrointestinal discomfort. Wang Kai said. It doesn't matter. Adding more ingredients may have a greater effect. Let's give it a try. Zhang Tuohai said. Then let me try. Wang Kai raised one hind leg. Get away! Myrol, who was unconscious with his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes and cursed loudly. Wang Kai was caught off guard and fell down. Sure enough, this technique is still useful. You woke up before it even started. Zhang Tuohai squatted in front of Myrol and said with a smile, You are actually a traitor. Malor gritted his teeth and stared at Zhang Tuohai. If looks could kill, Zhang Tuohai would have died seven or eight times by now. No, this statement is not correct. I have never said that I am loyal to you. How can I talk about rebellion? Zhang Tuohai waved his hand. Okay, let's make a long story short. Tell me the password to the safe, and I can consider giving you a pleasure. Zhang Tuohai said. Ha ha, I will die anyway. So why should I give up the good things to you? Wouldn't it be better for me to keep it myself? Myral said with a sneer. Look, this is just causing trouble for yourself. Isn't it? Zhang Tuohai shook his head helplessly and said. I'm giving you a chance. Don't ask for trouble. If you have the ability, show it. I haven't suffered any punishment in Alcatraz Island. So why am I afraid of your little trick? Myral's face was full of disdain. You asked for it yourself. Zhang Tuohai turned to Wang Kai and said, Go find a feather. Wang Kai turned around and came over with a feather in his mouth. Zhang Tuohai took off Myral's shoes, and the light feathers fluttered back and forth on Myral's soles. Ha ha ha, stop! Ha ha ha, stop quickly, ha ha ha, no more. I, I beg for mercy, ha ha ha. Myral's body twisted back and forth like a maggot, and he kept laughing. Even though his stomach had cramped, he still couldn't stop laughing. His nose was filled with snot and tears, not to mention how uncomfortable he was. Many people may be able to withstand the pain, but laughter punishment specializes in treating all kinds of dissatisfaction. Tell me the password to the safe. Zhang Tuohai asked. 121,212, Myral said loudly. Are you sure? Zhang Tuohai asked. If it's false, you'll punish me twice as much, Myral said with a solemn look. If you believe him, you will be blown up by the high explosives in the safe. The system prompts. Boy, you are very brave, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Myral, how dare you lie to me in front of me? Wang Kai, give him more money, Zhang Tuohai said. Okay. Wang Kai held a feather in one talon and drew his bow from left to right. Ah! Ha ha! Stop doing it! Ha ha! I really can't stand it anymore! Ha ha! That is the real password! You must believe me! Ha ha! He's got a tough mouth! Wang Kai! Go find me a pair of scissors! And I'll castrate him first! Zhang Tuai said. Wang Kai and Myral were shocked at the same time. Why are you practicing this? Wang Kai's legs tightened instantly. If you master one more craft, you will have one more way to make a living in the future. Are you going or not? Forget it. If you don't have scissors, you can just use a dagger. Zhang Tuohai pulled out the bayonet of the AK-74 from his leg. He unbuttoned Myral's pants. The hair on Myral's body stood up. What are you going to do? You know, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. The dagger in his hand opened the zipper. The password is 212,121. Myral yelled at the top of his lungs, his voice breaking. This time the prompt system made no sound. It would have been fine if I had been so honest. Why can't I tell you honestly? Zhang Tuohai inserted the bayonet back into the scabbard and opened the safe using the password provided by Myral. With a click, the door of the safe opened, revealing the contents. Zhang Tuohai looked inside and saw two drawings neatly placed on top, along with several gold bars and several high-end watches. Zhang Tuohai swept aside the gold bars and high-end watches and took out the drawings. The first one is actually an upgrade drawing for a level 4 car. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawings in his hand. No wonder Myral treasured this thing so much. It was so hard to find nowadays. Ordinary people might not have even seen the upgrade drawings of a level 3 car, let alone a level 4 car. If this thing is put on the trading channel, I'm afraid I'll have to fight for it. Of course, Zhang Tuohai was not stupid enough to trade it. This thing is also very important to him. 
As for the second thing, it is also a drawing. And it's a third level auto accessory. Fog diffuser, a level 3 auto accessory. When turned on, it can spread white smoke with a diameter of 50 meters around the car. The white smoke can block sight, block infrared detection, and cover up the car's tracks. Materials, high-grade plastic, 20 units. High-grade metal ingots, 5 units. Ordinary sole, 20 units. Metal parts, 50 units. Intermediate rubber, 10 units. High-grade glass, 2 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 1. Chapter 161, The Terrifying Dungeon Boss. Good stuff. After getting the drawings, Zhang Tuohai's eyes shone with excitement. This drawing is priceless to him. Before, it was because he was worried that the car would reveal his target that he took the risk to get out of the car and inquire about the situation. Now that he has the mist diffuser, he can use the mist to quietly approach Myrol, which greatly increases the safety factor. Moreover, the fog spreader can also disrupt the enemy's line of sight and interfere with some infrared targeting equipment, preventing the enemy from directly attacking itself with heavy weapons. Unless the opponent uses covering weapons of destruction, his safety factor will be greatly improved. Why doesn't Myrol make such a good thing? Zhang Tuohai looked through Myrol's pile of supplies and understood the reason. Myrol's supplies are insufficient. The materials required for the mist diffuser are high-end and messy. Even with Myrol's worth, it is still short of two high-end plastics, one high-end metal ingot, and one ordinary soul. Only then did this drawing get shelved. If Myrol had produced this blueprint before being promoted, the battle would have been a different scene. At least, he could have calmly left the battlefield and waited for counterattacks. Instead of becoming a prisoner like now and almost losing his life. However, these things are now cheaper for Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai himself was rich in supplies. He happened to have what Myral lacked and directly made up for it. Create a fog diffuser, Zhang Tuohai said. A flash of white light flashed, and several round tubes appeared under the six wheeled off road vehicle. As long as Zhang Tuohai started, white mist would be sprayed out from inside covering the surrounding 50 meters within 10 seconds. Pretty good. Zhang Tuohai is very satisfied with this new equipment. Moreover, after installing this equipment, he already has three level 3 vehicle-mounted equipment, plus an upgrade drawing. There is only one level 3 vehicle-mounted device left from level 4 cars. Zhang Tuohai was extremely excited, seeing that the things he had worked hard to save made Zhang Tuohai a wedding dress. Myral was angry and angry, and wanted to yell. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai directly stuffed Myral's mouth with a piece of rag. The world is much cleaner now. After plundering Myral's car, Zhang Tuohai finally extracted the car core from the car. Myral's eyes turned red when he saw that the level 3 vehicle he had worked so hard to build had turned into a pile of scrap metal. If he hadn't been tied hand and foot, he would have fought to the death with Zhang Tuohai on the spot. Zhang Tuohai threw Myral into the car. After all, Myral is the leader of the skeleton convoy and he is still of some use. Zhang Tuohai will not let Myral die easily before squeezing out the last drop of oil and water. After taking control of Myral, Zhang Tuohai opened the hunting team's channel. At this time, the hunting team channel was already filled with red. Only three people's names were still in black, and the rest were marked in red. After checking the obituary, Zhang Tuohai frowned. These people died in various ways. Some were killed by submachine guns. Some were killed by grenades and two unlucky ones were killed by recoilless rifles. It's a bit bleak. John Tuohai sighed as he looked at the list of hunting teams. There were originally more than 20 people in the morning, but in just a few hours, there were only three people left, one of whom was himself. Also, you have to stay away from the Jolly Roger guys in the future. There is such a thing as a recoilless rifle. John Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. John Tuohai tuned to the regional channel and took another look and found that the casualties in the regional channel were not light. With more than 200 casualties, he counted the number of people in the skeleton convoy. Well, there were four left, which was a bit miserable. I turned around and counted the pirate flags, and there were actually six left. The skeleton convoy has its moments. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to quit, he suddenly discovered that the name of a member of the Jolly Roger had turned red. An obituary popped up. Jolly flag member. Wang Lingzhou died. The cause of death was Eagle Claw. Is this member of the Jolly Roger a parallel importer? He was too careless and was actually killed by the giant eagle. Zhang Tuohai shook his head. Jolly Roger member. Enoch died. Cause of death, Talon of the Eagle. Hack! This time Zhang Tuohai was no longer calm. If one member dies, 
it can be said to be accidental. But if two members die one after another, it means there is a serious problem. This giant eagle is definitely very difficult to deal with. Otherwise, even the Jolly Roger convoy with recoilless guns would not be able to deal with it. Zhang Tuohai scrolled up again and found that there were not two pirate flag members who died in the hands of the giant eagle, but four. In other words, the casualties caused by the giant eagle to the Jolly Roger are equal to, or even slightly higher than, the skeleton convoy. What kind of guy did you offend so fiercely? Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Zhao Wanwan. I don't know. I have been responsible for reconnaissance and communications on the sidelines. Who knows what they have caused? It is near the cliff to the east of the previous ambush area. You must not get close. Zhao Wanwan kindly reminded Zhang Tuohai. Just when Zhang Tuohai was confused, a system prompt sounded. The player triggers the map boss, the Shadow Falcon, and the Shadow Falcon will continue to randomly hunt players in the map until a team of players dies or the Shadow Falcon is killed. Shadow Falcon an elite beast, will drop precious materials after being hunted. After seeing the first system prompt, Zhang Tuohai decided to run as far as he could. Anyway, he has a fog diffuser, so he will definitely not be the first person to die. However, when he saw the second system prompt, his mind changed. Precious materials. Although this game system is often indifferent to people, its judgment on materials is still very pertinent, since it can be evaluated as a precious material by the game system. It is absolutely precious. Why don't you give it a try? What if you succeed? Zhang Tuohai changed his mind. Give it a try. Anyway, I have a mist diffuser, and I can still run away after being hit. At the worst, I can throw my roll out of the car and use it as a target. Having made up his mind, Zhang Tuohai moved towards the original siege location. However, Zhang Tuohai did not go directly, but made a detour. By the time Zhang Tuohai arrived near the area, it was already an hour later. The Shadow Falcon once again went on a killing spree during this period. One member of the Jolly Roger, three official members of the Skeleton Team, and eight temporary members of the Jolly Roger Team were killed, one of whom was also a player on the hunting team. Looking at the row of killing prompts, Zhang Tuohai turned his head and glanced at Myrol. Okay, but you're actually hiding so many people? How many cannon fodder did you bring in? Chapter 162 Entering the Field to Pick Up the Leaks However, Myrol had a rag stuffed in his mouth and could not answer his words at all. He could only make a whining sound. Forget it. You'd better stop talking. I don't want to know anyway. Zhang Tuohai turned his head. According to the annotation in the regional channel, Myrol was the only main member of the skeleton team at this time. The rest are peripheral members. As long as Myrol dies, the skeleton convoy will be disbanded, and Zhang Tuohai can leave here without any injuries. Zhang Tuohai is already in an invincible position. Slowly approaching the incident area mentioned by Zhao Wanwan, Zhang Tuohai saw the location of the target. A giant eagle smashed into the air and kept circling. Its wings spanned six meters, and its claws were like sharp hooks. The giant eagle kept circling in the air. The shadow falcon pounces from time to time. Zhang Tuohai discovered a pattern. That is, if the giant eagle does not pounce twice, a player will die, either caught by the giant eagle with its sharp claws, or caught in the sky and thrown to the ground to death. Kill one person every two attacks? This seems to be something we can use. Zhang Tuohai touched his chin. Classmate Xiao Ai, come closer. Be careful. Don't get discovered. Understood. Commander. Xiao Ai slowed down and approached cautiously. After a while, Zhang Tuohai arrived near the Shadow Falcon hunting area. Only when he was nearby did Zhang Tuohai understand why these players gathered here instead of changing places. It turned out, that these players were driven by the Shadow Falcon and ran to a dead end in a panic. There are cliffs on three sides, but the only way out is blocked by the Shadow Falcon. A simple roadblock has been built with various scrap vehicles. Whoever wants to leave will be killed by the Shadow Falcon first. On the road leading to the outside world, seven or eight cars were parked on the side of the road. Each car had a big hole in its roof, like a can that has been violently opened. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the field and saw, well, there were four cars two with pirate flags painted on them, and they were Zhao Wanwan's two teammates. The two cars had no signs, so they should be on the periphery pulled over by Myrol. If we continue to struggle here, we will die. If we rush towards the obstacle together again, we will count each one as long as we can get out. Said a Jolly Roger player. I've tried it three times. Now it's even more difficult. There's no hope. Another Jolly Roger player shook his head and said, 
according to what I want. Use the two of them as bait. And then use the final firepower to hit that guy hard. I don't believe you can't kill it. I think it's okay. The two Jolly Roger players exchanged glances, stopped their cars, and picked up their weapons. One of the two people was holding an M16, and the other was holding an August. They were wearing bulletproof suits and were very well equipped. The other two peripherals pulled by the pirate flag saw this and ran frantically towards the road they came from. Duh, duh, duh. A barrage of bullets was fired at both vehicles. One car was hit in a tire and spun around half a circle before stopping. The other car escaped the bullets. But because it was going too fast, it hit an abandoned vehicle parked on the roadside. Boom! The car rolled over and rolled directly to the bottom of the cliff. The player Kunkka died, and the cause of death was falling off a cliff. Seeing Kunkka fall to death, the faces of the two Jolly Roger players did not change much. Instead, they pointed their guns at the promoted player. However, the Shadow Falcon did not bully the soft persimmon of the skeleton team as the two Jolly Roger players expected. Instead, it swooped down onto the roof of the player holding the August like a stuka. A pair of huge claws ripped open the roof of the car as easily as tearing through a piece of rag. If you dare to attack me, come on. Come on me. The player holding the August frantically pulled the trigger at the Shadow Falcon in the sky. A look of contempt flashed in Shadow Falcon's eyes. As soon as his feet were released, the roof of the car fell from the air. Boom! The roof of the car hit the player holding the August on the head in the blink of an eye. The player was split into two pieces by the falling car roof. After a successful blow, the Shadow Falcon pounced down again and pounced on the last member of the Jolly Roger holding the M16. Come to hell with me. The Jolly Roger member holding the M16 saw the Shadow Falcon pounce down, threw away the M16 in his hand, actually took out an anti-tank grenade, and opened the safety. A trace of fear flashed in the Shadow Falcon's eyes, and it flapped its wings desperately, trying to change its trajectory. However, it was too close to that player. The orange fireball rose instantly and engulfed the Shadow Giant Eagle. When the smoke cleared, the player and the car he was riding in were dead. The Shadow Falcon lay on the ground. Dying, there was still one peripheral member of the skeleton team with a broken wheel. It's time for me to enter. Shall I? Let's go. Zhang Tuohai's six-wheeled off-road vehicle turned on the fog device and rushed into the field. The scrapped vehicles blocking the road were pushed aside by huge snow shovels. Looking unstoppable. Wah. What is it? The promoted peripheral member of the skeleton team saw a large cloud of fog coming over and his legs were so frightened that his legs went weak. He thought another monster was rushing over from the shadows. Boom! There was a gunshot, and there was a big hole in the player's head. After passing the player, John Tuohai stopped about 40 meters away from the Shadow Falcon, although the Shadow Falcon was scorched at this time. Who can guarantee you that it will not be able to fight back? At this time, the boat capsizes in the gutter and is called a loser. John Tuohai stopped far away, took out a Molotov grenade, and then took out an ice launcher, aiming the launcher at the Shadow Falcon. Pulling off the grenade safety, Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger. Boom! There was another loud noise. The Shadow Falcon was blown to pieces. Regional boss, Shadow Falcon dies. Finally dead. But where is the reward? Zhang Tuohai glanced around. Buzz! A plane flew over, and a supply box slowly fell from the sky. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that it was actually an orange supply box. The supply box was floating in the air, falling in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai is sure that if the skeleton team and the Jolly Roger team work together to kill the Shadow Falcon, the two teams will have to fight because of this orange supply box. It's not over until there is only one team left. Even if someone in the team has evil intentions, there will be an open and covert fight within the team. This game system has many tools for provoking relationships between players. Unfortunately, everyone on the field died. Allowing Zhang Tuohai to take advantage. Chapter 163 Wong Sai's New Job The orange supply box floated in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took it into his hand. And after confirming that the prompt system did not alarm, he opened the supply box with a crowbar. A bunch of stuff fell out of the supply box. Remote detonator production drawings. Watch type micro communicator production drawings. Flamethrower production drawings. And a lot of production materials. Remote detonator can remotely control the explosion of explosives. The control distance is 1,000 meters. Materials, plastic, 2 units. Rubber, 2 units. Metal parts, 10 units. Electronic components asterisk 2. Watch type micro communicator, 
It can carry out wireless communication. Supports three modes of voice, text and vibration. And the communication distance is 5 kilometers. Materials, plastic, 4 units. Rubber, 2 units. Metal parts, 20 units. Electronic component asterisk 1. Note, the above production materials are the material requirements for making a communicator. Note 2, each group of communicators supports up to 4 communicators for real-time communication. Flamethrower, can spray flames and burn enemies. Flame temperature, 1000 degrees Celsius. Flame limit injection distance, 50 meters. Optimal burning distance, 20 meters. Crafting materials, metal ingot, 2 units. Rubber, 8 units. Plastic, 2 units. Gasoline, 50 units. Low level electronic components, asterisk 1. Looking at these three drawings and piles of production materials. John Tuohai frowned. It feels like these things are not worthy of the orange supply box. Is it because the percentage of damage I output is too low? Causing the reward to shrink? Zhang Tuohai frowned in thought. After thinking about it, it seems that this is the only reason that can explain why the reward value is not high. These things don't seem to be of much use. Zhang Tuohai fiddled with the three drawings on the ground. The shooting distance of the flamethrower was too close. Even closer than that of a shotgun. Moreover, being hit by tracer bullets carried the risk of incineration and explosion. Being burned alive was much more uncomfortable than being shot to death. Zhang Tuohai did not want to try it. As for the remote control detonator, it seems to be useless. Zhang Tuohai didn't have any explosives that needed to be detonated remotely. RPG and Tekken have built in flight functions. And Molotov cocktails and Molotov grenades can be activated before throwing. As for this wristwatch style micro communicator, it is even more useless. He doesn't even have a teammate. And the only one who can wear this watch is Wang Kai. Could it be that he wants to wear one for Wang Kai? One person and one fox chatting with a communicator? Wait. Prosperous wealth. Zhang Tuohai suddenly had a flash of inspiration. He felt that this watch seemed to be very useful. For example, if Wang Kai wears this thing, he can conduct investigations. If you investigate it yourself, the target is large and easy to be discovered. And the risk is also very high. However, prosperity is different. Who cares about a cute desert fox? Wang Kai can completely report the information back to himself through the communicator. In this way, your safety factor is greatly improved. If you have a bigger brain, Wang Kai can definitely carry more things such as cocktails, grenades, flamethrowers, etc. He threw it under the opponent's car without anyone noticing. Then, use the remote control detonator to detonate. Just perfect. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai turned his attention to Wang Kai. What are you going to do? Wang Kai instinctively felt that something was not right. There was a burst of cold air on his back, and he couldn't help but take two steps back. Wang Kai, how do you think I usually treat you? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. Very good. Wang Kai was very familiar with Zhang Tuohai's smile. Every time Zhang Tuohai wanted to ask him to do something, he always smiled like this. Washing clothes, making fertilizer, taking care of crops, and getting supplies boxes from dangerous places. It left a shadow in his heart. Look, you usually eat and sleep, and I've been feeding you for so long. Isn't it time for you to put in some effort? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. Just tell me what you want to do. Wang Kai wanted to retort, but when he saw Zhang Tuohai's narrow-eyed smile, he swallowed all the words he said. It's nothing. I just want you to be responsible for the reconnaissance mission under special circumstances and part of the blasting work. Zhang Tuohai said. Huh? Wang Kai looked at Zhang Tuohai in confusion. Is such that? Zhang Tuohai described his idea. Are you kidding? Wang Kai jumped up. You can drink a glass of milk for every mission. Zhang Tuohai said. This. Wang Kai hesitated. Plus an egg. Zhang Tuohai said. Make a deal. Thinking of having milk to drink and eggs to eat. Wang Kai seemed to think that it would not be difficult to play a cameo role as a detective and a demolitionist. Okay. Then give it a try. Just use this guy. Zhang Tuohai carried Myral to an abandoned car. Of course. In order to terminate the contract. Zhang Tuohai plundered all the supplies in the car in advance. Wu. Myral seemed to feel that something bad might happen and struggled desperately. Zhang Tuohai ignored him, threw him directly into the cab, and closed the door. Let's get started. Zhang Tuohai made a watch-style communicator and hung it on one size paw. Then he made a flamethrower and a set of remote-controlled detonators and threw them to Wang Kai. Wang Kai quietly slipped under the car with a flamethrower on his back. Zhang Tuohai even sat in the cab and experienced it himself. 
and found that it is not easy to find wealth unless you specifically look at the ground. After Wong Kai got to the bottom of the car, he was so tired that he was breathing heavily. The flamethrower was too heavy for him. Hey! Hello! Can you hear me? Wong Kai turned on the communicator and started to test the sound. There's nothing wrong with the communicator. It's just that the voice is a bit loud and can be heard while sitting in the car. Let's change it to text transmission in the future. Zhang Tuhai said. But I can't type. It doesn't matter. I'll teach you. As long as you know pinyin. Zhang Tuhai said. Wong Kai nodded helplessly. Four milk and eggs. That's all. Okay. Let's do the final test. Zhang Tuhai jumped out of the car and ran into the distance. Wong Kai also installed a remote detonator on the flamethrower. And then ran away. After everyone and the fox were out of the danger zone. Zhang Tuhai pressed the button on the remote control. Boom. The flamethrower that was thrown under the car exploded. And the raging fire engulfed the car. Myrol, the leader of the skeleton convoy, dies. There are no survivors in the skeleton convoy. The skeleton convoy is disbanded. And the subordinate temporary convoy players are automatically classified as unorganized personnel. Jolly Roger wins. At the end of the promotion round, all players will be forced to leave this map after half an hour. Do you want to leave now? Chapter 160 for the advent of Polar Night and Mood Value. Of course not. Zhang Tuohai still has a lot of supplies to pack. For example, the relics of those players on the field. Zhang Tuohai began a large-scale sweep. As long as they were usable, they were all dismantled and taken away. Zhang Tuohai would not miss this opportunity to make a fortune. It wasn't until the moment before the end that Zhang Tuohai finished searching the last car's supplies. Time's up. Everyone leaves the promotion map. A white light flashed, and Zhang Tuohai reappeared in the ice and snow. Looking at the flying snow in the sky, Zhang Tuohai felt a familiar sense of security. Compared with the crisis-ridden promotion match, it seems that the ice and snow are not scary anymore. But why is it still so dark now? Is it? It's dark. Isn't that right? I remember that the promotion match didn't take much time. It's noon at most. Zhang Tuohai was a little confused. Classmate Xi'ai, what time is it now? At 12 noon. Commander, the outdoor temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius and the wind force is 6 to 7. 12 o'clock at noon? Why is it so dark? Could it be? Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought of a possibility. He turned on the regional channel and flipped through it frantically. He turned to the game prompt for 6 o'clock in the morning. And it was clearly written on it. Today's challenge. The polar night is coming. After a long journey, you have entered the polar circle and can experience the eternal night. The sun will no longer rise. Now you need car lights. Please keep the light shining at all times. The dark night will bring about more terrifying existences. Being in darkness for a long time will lower your mood. When the mood value is zero, you will encounter nightmares. When the mood value is minus 100, you will fall into madness. When the mood value is minus 200, you will die. Everything you do from now on will cause ups and downs in your mood. Please keep your mood above the safe value, 30 points. A curtain of light appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Your mood value, 100, full value. Status, you have obtained a large amount of materials and are in a state of extreme excitement. This state remains for one hour. After one hour, your mood value will decrease because you are in the polar night. The reduction rate today is one point per hour. Zhang Tuohai, he knew what trouble this dog system would cause. Sure enough, he didn't guess wrong. This dog system feels that natural disasters and players fighting each other are not enough. And it actually starts from the mental level of players. The mood of making a shit is worth it. It also loses one point every hour. Although it is not high, it cannot withstand the continuous damage. Gone. Zhang Tuohai cursed secretly. Forget it. Let's sort out the supplies first. Zhang Tuohai sorted out the supplies obtained from dozens of vehicles. The most abundant items are various foods and basic materials. These things are piled up like a hill. Zhang Tuohai discovered that the players on the Jolly Roger team seemed to be eating better. Everyone had a variety of steaks in their cars. And the worst ones included fried chicken legs and hamburgers. Moreover, almost every car has one or two packs of candies. Which shows that they must have the ability to mass produce candies. In addition, there are many coffee beans. Zhang Tuohai confiscated a total of 200 kilograms. There is very little cocoa. Only 10 kilograms. There are even more weapons. Zhang Tuohai got 5 AUGs. 1 M16. 7 or 8 various pistols and submachine guns. And thousands of bullets. 
Zhang Tuohai even got two unexploded anti-tank Molotov grenades, which made Zhang Tuohai overjoyed. He carefully put it away. In addition, Zhang Tuohai also obtained a lot of miscellaneous things, such as portable toilets, crowbars, bayonets, fishing rods, heating stoves, firewood, etc. that he sold. Zhang Tuohai was going to find an opportunity to deal with these messy things. Keeping them would take up space anyway. In addition, pistols and other items can be shipped in large quantities. As for submachine guns, we have to wait and see. After handling these things, Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel, and he was ready to see what new business opportunities there were. The Skeleton Racing Team and the Sakura Racing Team were completely finished. Although the Jolly Roger won, Zhao Wanwan was the only one left. Moreover, Zhao Wanwan still has some affection for him and will not take the initiative to cause trouble for him. No one can threaten him, and the capitalist can come back to the world again. As soon as Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel, he saw players discussing the issue of mood value. What a shame! I just ate a piece of dry bread. The system reminded me that my mood was low because the food I ate was too bad. And five mood points were deducted. You're good. I was deducted ten points for eating a piece of raw meat. This is different from the routine in the game. I didn't eat and was deducted 20 points by the system. Moreover, the system also reminded me that I received a hunger buff and lost 5 points every hour. Who can give me something to eat? You've been messing around for so long, and you haven't even gotten food yet. You're such a loser. I originally had a family bucket and 4 burgers, but they were all taken away in the morning. I didn't even have a bite to eat. Who can help me? If it's okay for women, forget it for men. Brother, don't be so stuck on your gender. Try something new, and you may discover a new world. Listen to my advice. Women are nothing. Only men can understand men. Wake up! It doesn't matter if it's a woman. Can I still send it to you? A bunch of trash men. They still think about women. Bah! Disgusting. Sister, you are too timid. You should abandon these pigs. Only we women can survive in this world. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. He felt that the players in this area were not normal. He was convinced that there were still boxers in this world. Is there anyone in this world who sends you US dollars? However, the words of these players gave him some inspiration. That is, the quality of food eaten can affect the player's mood value. So inferring from this, can the player's warmth and coldness also be affected? And can various quality of life also be affected? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai suddenly came up with an idea. He ground a cup of coffee as quickly as possible and took a sip. You take a sip of ordinary hot coffee. Feel refreshed. Your mood value plus 5. Gain temporary buff warmth. And your mood value will increase by 1 point every minute for 10 minutes. Nice! Zhang Tuohai drank the coffee in one gulp of excitement. A cup of coffee can restore a total of 15 mood points. Isn't this a good selling point to make a fortune? Moreover, the system prompted that today the mood value is reduced by 1 point every hour. What about tomorrow? Will it be 2 points every hour? What about the day after tomorrow? What about the day after tomorrow? Coffee is something that becomes more valuable the further it goes. However, Zhang Tuohai always felt that the taste of the coffee he brewed seemed a little worse. And it did not have the rich fragrance that he drank before. Who cooked it for me before? Zhang Tuohai turned around and saw Wang Kai, who was eating sausages with his head down. Wang Kai's ears twitched, and he felt something bad. Wang Kai, make me a cup of coffee. Chapter 165 The Capable Song Shao Kong. Ouch. Woof. Wakai looked at Zhang Tuohai with some confusion. Didn't you just have a drink? So much nonsense. Go and make me a drink, Zhang Tuohai said. You know how to boss me around every day. Wakai reluctantly walked towards the coffee machine. After a while, a cup of coffee with latte art was served. Zhang Tuohai took a sip, and it was indeed much mellower than the coffee he brewed. You take a sip of exquisite hot coffee and feel refreshed. Your mood value is plus 10. You gain temporary buff warmth. Your mood value increases by 1 point every minute for 15 minutes. Awesome. Zhang Tuohai looked at Wang Kai in shock. He looked at Wang Kai carefully and felt that this guy was so talented. He had just learned it for two days. And he was actually better at making coffee than himself. Could it be that he is a coffee master who is dragged down by his fox body? Perhaps. I can use my wealth to sell high quality coffee and go directly to the boutique route? Zhang Tuohai's eyes sparkled. He only has more than 200 kilograms of coffee beans in hand. If he made them into coffee and sold them to every player, he wouldn't be able to last for two days. And I don't make much money either. 
But if you go the high quality route, you can not only save coffee beans, but also sell them at a higher price. You? What are you going to do? Wakai felt something bad when he saw the way Zhang Tuohai looked at him, and the hair on his body stood up. It's nothing. I feel that you have great potential. So I decided to entrust you with an important task. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile and patted Wang Tsai's head. What else is there to do? It's okay. But we may have to sell a lot of coffee after a while. Please prepare. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Wang Tsai tightened his grip and felt tired. He has paid so much for this home. It washed the clothes, watered the vegetable garden, applied fertilizer, looked after the stove, and picked up dangerous supply boxes. Not long ago, it began to play the role of a scout and a demolition hand. Now, I'm working as a barista again. It's just a talking fox. God knows why it has to carry so many. Zhang Tuohai looked at Wang Kai and nodded with satisfaction. Apart from being unsightly, Wang Tsai's role was quite great. It would be perfect if he could turn into a fox girl wearing a white silk made outfit. The only pity is that Wang Kai is a leader. Sure enough, you still have to be a gelding talent. After figuring out Wang Tsai's skills, Zhang Tuohai continued to sit on the regional channel for a while. He found that in addition to many players talking about mood value, there are still many players who lack some basic resources, such as stoves, clothes, food, etc. to keep out the cold. There are many reasons for the lack. Some were never collected from the beginning, and some were looted by others after fighting with others. Some were attacked by wild animals, causing damage to their clothes, and needed to replace them with new ones. Seeing that there were still gaps in these most basic supplies, Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed. He just got a lot of these materials from the players of the Skeleton Convoy and the Jolly Roger Convoy, and he didn't think he had any place to dispose of them. Zhang Tuohai immediately hung up the supplies. Of course, because they were all low-quality goods, Zhang Tuohai found out and reduced the price from double to 1.9 times. Zhang Tuohai hung up a large amount of supplies, which immediately attracted many players to watch. Some players who had followed from the previous world immediately started talking about Zhang Tuohai. It's actually the boss. The boss is here. I haven't seen you for several days. I thought you were gone. Boss, you miss me so much. Do you still have fresh meat for sale? It's getting harder and harder to hunt prey recently. I went out to hunt a snow leopard today. And I almost got killed. In the end, the snow leopard ran away. Boss, please sell another car repair kit. A chimpanzee smashed the glass of my car. And the cold wind rushed in. I was almost frozen. In an instant, the regional channel was flooded. Seeing the messages from many players, John Tuohai said, Don't be anxious. Everyone, I have all the supplies you want. It's still the same old rules. No one can bully you. If you buy something on the transaction list, you can buy it by yourself. If you don't, send a private message. It's only during lunch break. Don't wait until the time comes. As soon as Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, the crowd in the background was 99 plus. Some players are really in need of supplies, while others are afraid that Zhang Tuohai will disappear again. So they are preparing to store some supplies. Zhang Tuohai is not afraid. Anyway, he has a lot of supplies now and he will trade as long as he wants. Now that no one is watching, he wants to make up for what he lost in the past few days. In addition to these players hoarding goods, Zhang Tuohai also received a private message from Song Xiaokong. Boss, are there any more bananas? I just ate a banana and found that this thing can increase the mood value. I think this is a selling point. If done properly, the price can be increased by about 1.5 to 2 times. Can eating bananas also increase your mood? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. Then he picked up a banana and stuffed it into his mouth. You are very happy when you eat ripe tropical bananas in the cold winter. And your mood value is plus three. Note, please eat bananas when they are still fresh. If you eat rotten bananas, your mood value will be lowered. It's only three points. So it's not that good. Zhang Tuohai looked at the increased mood value of the banana and felt unsatisfied. Even if the quantity added is small, there is no temporary buff blessing, which is far worse than the coffee made by Wang Kai himself. Okay, you can go ahead and sell it. If the selling price reaches twice as much and the weight exceeds 100 kilograms, I will give you an additional 10% commission, Zhang Tuohai said. More than 100 kilograms? Boss, how many bananas do you have? Song Shakong couldn't help but be stunned when he heard the number. It's probably more than 200 kilograms. There are also coconuts, blueberries, watermelons, and so on. However, 
These can be stored for a few more days. Let's sell the bananas first. Zhang Tuohai said looking at the piles of bananas. Don't worry. Boss, the 200 kilograms of bananas are guaranteed to be sold out before tonight. In addition, 10 kilograms of blueberries are reserved. And 10 coconuts and watermelons are also reserved. I promise to help you handle it properly. Song Xiaokong assured, patting his chest. This woman is quite capable, but her hands are a bit dark. Zhang Tuohai is softly underestimated. However, it has nothing to do with Song Xiao whether he is a black man or not. Anyway, the two of them don't have any offline contact. So it's enough that they can help him sell things. Okay, I will save these things for you. If you can sell them all, in addition to the commission, I will reward you with a piece of fruit. Anyway, Zhang Tuohai can already grow watermelons, blueberries, etc. So it doesn't hurt at all to use them as rewards. Thank you. Boss, I'll get it done right away. Song Shukong simply hung up the private message. Just after hanging up Song Shukong's private message, Vladimir's private message came in again. Didn't I just sell you today's rum this morning? Did you drink it all in one morning? Zhang Tuohai asked in shock. No, my dear Davari, I have a treasure map here. Are you interested in taking a look together? Vladimir said and sent a photo. Chapter 166 Floating White Teeth Treasure map? You'll know just by looking at it. Vladimir sent a photo. Mysterious treasure map. Through the treasure map, you can enter a mysterious area for exploration. And there is a probability of obtaining mysterious treasures. Orange material box level. Of course, there is also the possibility of encountering various dangers and leaving no trace of the body. Note. You can invite up to four people to participate in this treasure map. Orange level supply box? Zhang Tuohai became interested as soon as he saw these words. He is now only one level three car accessory away from upgrading his level four car. Among the many supply boxes, only the orange supply box has a relatively high probability of opening accessories of this level. It's just that the orange supply box has a very low probability of being produced. It can only be seen on special occasions. And you can't usually see it. Now, there is a way to get the orange supply box. And Zhang Tuohai wants to take a look no matter what. Is it just the two of us? Zhang Tuohai asked. No. I also invited two people I know. Both of whom are strong players. Vladimir said and sent two photos. One male and one female. He is an African-American man with a tall build. Zhang Tuohai is estimated to be two meters tall. He looks like an NBA prospect at first glance. The female is Asian. With a curvy figure and is wearing a kimono. The man's name is Gangatel. He is a Ugandan strongman weighing more than 200 pounds. It is said that he is a national level weightlifter. He later immigrated to Libin. The woman is his wife. Her name is Kumi Kobayakawa. She is a performance artist who came to Tokyo a while ago. She participated in the design of the face of the underworld floating in the sky. Although she has some aesthetic problems, her bow and arrow are very powerful. Vladimir introduced. Zhang Tuohai still knows Vladimir's strength. And he can kill a brown bear with his bare hands. If they can be praised by him, then the strength of these two people should be unmistakable. Okay, when will we set off? Also, do you have any information about the treasure map? I'll be ready. Zhang Tuohai asked. My dear Davari, like you, I don't have any information. I can only rely on luck. I will set off in half an hour. By the way, do you still have wine? Sell me another bottle and I will have the rest. It's half a bottle. I'm afraid I won't have enough to drink in the afternoon. Take it. Zhang Tuohai threw two bottles of whiskey over. He got a lot of wine from Myrol. But he didn't drink much anyway. It was all for Vladimir. Whiskey? That's all right. Thank you, Davari. This is your reward. Vladimir said and sent a king crab, which was still alive and looked like it weighed several kilograms. Where did you get it? Zhang Tuohai was curious. The treasure map was found in the supply box I saw in the morning. And the king crab was found together with it. Vladimir said. It was opened together with the treasure map. The world where the treasure map is located shouldn't be the water world. Right. But how do you drive in the water world? John Tuohai was extremely puzzled. Oh. Woof. Suddenly, Wakai screamed, pulling Zhang Tuohai out of his thoughts. What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked. It. It pinches me. Wang Ai had jumped to the top of the poultry ecological box at this time. Staring down fearfully, the king crab was waving its two large pincers in a show of force. If you can't even handle a crab, what's the use of you? 
Zhang Tuohai walked around behind the king crab, turned the king crab over, and then tied it up firmly with a rope. Then, Zhang Tuohai took out his biggest black pot and put it on the cage. After placing the king crab in the cage, Zhang Tuohai clasped his hands and said, Brother crab, I'm very sorry. I don't have a special stun gun here. I can't stun you first and then steam it. Please be more patient. After you get to hell, don't tell those radical animal rights activists that I steamed you, and you will be born in bliss. After speaking, Zhang Tuohai covered the pot lid and lit the firewood. Twenty minutes later, Zhang Tuohai happily gnawed on the king crab's legs. Wang Kai, on the other hand, has a special liking for the claws of the king crab. It seems that the king crab has left a lot of psychological trauma on him. I have to say that king crab legs are indeed more delicious than ordinary crab legs. At least there's plenty of meat, and it's enjoyable to chew. As soon as Zhang Tuohai ate two crab legs, Vladimir sent a private message. My dear Davari, are you ready? We are about to set off, Vladimir said. Okay, let's get started, Zhang Tuohai said, while continuing to chew the crab legs. Anyway, he has classmate Xiao Yai driving, so he can continue to have lunch. Okay. I've invited you here. Please pass, Vladimir said. Vladimir invites you to enter the secret treasure place. Your teammates are Vladimir, Gangatel, and Kumi Kobiakawa. Do you agree? Agree. Zhang Tuohai clicked OK. You have agreed to enter and are transitioning. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai felt his eyes flash. And he suddenly came to an island from the dark winter night. There were some trees growing on the island. But Zhang Tuohai looked over and found that there were just some palm trees and no food. Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked at the sky. The sky was covered with clouds. And the sky was gloomy. As if it was going to be dark. Lightning bolts flashed across the night sky from time to time. Indicating that a storm was about to hit. Waves were rolling on the sea not far away. Huge waves kept hitting the rocks on the shore. Stirring up clusters of white foam. Zhang Tuohai looked down and found that this island was not an ordinary beach island but a rocky island. The island is full of large and small rocks. And there are few flat places. The beach is also full of rocks, making it impossible to play in the water. Not far away, two class two commercial vehicles were parked. The commercial vehicle has its windows rolled down. Vladimir was sitting in a car. At this time, Vladimir was wearing a sea sole shirt and carrying a bottle of whiskey in his hand. He took a sip from time to time. After seeing Zhang Tuohai, he also waved to Zhang Tuohai. In another car, there was a woman wearing a kimono. Probably Kobayako Akumi. Didn't you say four people? Where's Gangatel? Zhang Tuohai asked as he drove over. Hello. A deep voice came from Kobayako's car. Zhang Tuohai was startled. He took a closer look and saw a pair of white teeth floating in the passenger seat of Kobayako. I'll take care of you first. If he hadn't known that this was a road survival game rather than a road ghost game, Zhang Tuohai would have really thought he had seen a ghost in broad daylight. A bolt of lightning flashed across the sky, and its light illuminated the car. Only then did Zhang Tuohai see clearly that a very burly black uncle was sitting in the passenger seat of Kobayakawa. Chapter 167 Mouse Style Door Opening Hello, Uncle Hei grinned at Zhang Tuohai and waved. Hello! Zhang Tuohai nodded. At the same time, I sighed in my heart. This black uncle is indeed a natural protective color. Without infrared rays, I would not be able to see him. At this moment, the game system prompt rang. Welcome to all players to enter the treasure map copy Far Cry. There are mysterious treasures buried in this copy, as well as various mechanisms and crisis. Please choose carefully, because every choice is a test of life and death. Now, on to the first chapter, The Storm. Go, please find a place to shelter from the storm within 20 minutes. Note, the storm that landed on the island was not an ordinary storm, but contained a large amount of acidic substances. If exposed to the storm for a long time, it would cause erosion and even cause structural damage to the vehicle. Countdown begins. Forget being polite. Let's find a place to hide from the storm first. Zhang Tuohai said first. There was a solar charging panel hanging on the roof of his car. If this thing was damaged, he wouldn't even have time to cry. Moreover, he couldn't dismantle this thing. So he could only let it hang on the roof of the car and be exposed to wind and rain. Okay, what are you going to do? Vladimir asked with a burp. The island looks quite big. How about this? Let's work separately. If anyone finds the entrance, let's notify the others via private message. How about this? Zhang Tuohai asked. I agree. What do you mean? 
Vladimir turned to Gangatel and Kobayako Akumi and asked. We agree too. Kobayako Akumi also nodded in agreement. Okay. Let's all split up. Vladimir started the car first and drove towards the distance. Zhang Tuohai and Kobayako Akumi looked at each other and drove in different directions. The island is very desolate and full of rocks. It is difficult to see other plants except weeds. Xiao Ai was driving a car on the island, hoping to find a place to hide from the rain before the storm came. There are many places to shelter from the rain on the island, but there is only one shelter from the rain that can enter the second step of the treasure hunt on the top of the mountain. The system prompted. The top of the mountain? Zhang Tuohai looked up and found that there was indeed a towering cliff in the center of the island, with a winding road leading directly to the top of the mountain. The winding mountain road has been in disrepair for a long time. It can only be barely seen that there was a section of road here originally, and the remaining cement has long been broken into pieces. Moreover, the winding mountain road is very narrow, only more than four meters wide, and can only accommodate one vehicle. If the vehicle wants to turn, it probably has to drive to the top of the mountain to have a chance to turn. Most people have to hesitate when they see this road. However, Zhang Tuohai has 100% trust in the prompt system. Classmate Xiao Ai, follow this road and head towards the top of the mountain. Understood. Commander. Xiao Ai changed direction. The car drove towards the top of the mountain at a fast speed. Is he crazy? He's driving so fast on this kind of road? Kobayako Akumi couldn't help but frown when he saw Zhang Tuohai speeding on the mountain road. Oh, dear. In my hometown, this kind of highway can be regarded as a national highway. It can only be seen in the city of Shodu. The roads outside the city are not as good as here, Gangatel said. Is your place a hell? Otherwise, you could sneak into our country? Kumi Kobayako was said disdainfully. No, no, no. The road conditions in our country are not as bad as those in Africa. At least you can still see cement. The road conditions in Congo next door are worse than ours. If you plant trees and you say it is an undeveloped rainforest, some people will believe it. That's where the real hell is, Gangatel said. Okay, I don't have time to discuss the road issue with you now. What we are looking for now is a shelter from the rain. Open your eyes and let me search carefully, Kobayako Akumi said angrily. Okay, I understand. Leave it to me, Gangatel said patting his chest. Zhang Tuohai drove all the way up, and by the time he ate a crab leg, the car had reached the top of the mountain. At the top of the mountain, he discovered a huge cave. There are obvious traces of artificial excavation in the cave, and a huge iron gate stands at the entrance. The iron gate was rusty, and had not been opened for who knows how many years. Here? Zhang Tuohai guessed that the second step of the plan should be hidden behind the door. Vladimir, I found a gate and I guess it must be related to the treasure. Zhang Tuohai took a photo and sent it. Oh, my dear Davari, I knew you could do it, Vladimir said excitedly. If I find the treasure, I can promise you an extra share. Vladimir shouted excitedly. You better come up quickly. It's going to rain in ten minutes, and the mountain road is not easy to walk on. Zhang Tuohai said. Oh, my dear Davari, as long as there is vodka, there will be no difficulties. Ula. Vladimir stepped on the accelerator and rushed onto the winding mountain road. That speed is comparable to an F1 Formula car. Is this guy crazy? Seeing Vladimir racing on the winding mountain road, Zhang Tuohai broke out in a cold sweat. He swore in his heart that he would never take Vladimir's car again. It was too dangerous. Soon, Vladimir rushed to the top of the mountain. It's right here. The gate is locked. We need to open the gate. Otherwise, there won't be enough space to park three cars. Zhang Tuohai pointed to the door and said, This is simple. Vladimir burped. And then removed the Fuhrer's chainsaw, MG-42 machine gun, from the car. With a tripod in hand, Vladimir pulled the trigger at the door. Ta-ta-ta-ta! After a bullet chain went down, the metal door was already riddled with holes. Madman. Looking at Vladimir blasting at the door, Zhang Tuohai felt a little speechless. Actually, firing a machine gun at a metal gate is crazy. Right. Soon, a bullet chain was used up. Vladimir picked up the MG-42, slammed it, and smashed it towards the door. Boom! A dull voice sounded. Bang! The door standing at the entrance of the cave fell flat. With sharp eyes, Zhang Tuohai noticed that something seemed to be pressed under the door, and a stream of green blood seeped out from the gap. Is there something behind the door? Is this thing ask you? 
Or can it see through the door? John to a height blinked, with a question mark in his mind. Let's go. Vladimir swayed into the car. Chapter 168 Mysterious Disappearance Wait, you don't want that MG42? John Tuohai asked. I got that piece of crap out of the supply box. It's just a bullet chain. It's useless once it's all gone. Why do you keep it? Vladimir looked at John Tuohai doubtfully. Okay, as long as you're happy. John Tuohai covered his forehead and said helplessly. He doesn't even care about machine guns. He is indeed a mousy. Shall we go? I can already smell the treasure. Vladimir looked at the deep passage behind the door and licked his lips. Where are Gangatel and Kumi Kobiakawa? Can't wait for them? John Tuohai asked. I forgot. Vladimir slapped himself on the head and then began to write private messages to the two unlucky guys who were still wandering around the island. Let's go in first. It's going to rain soon. John Tuohai glanced at the timer and parked the car inside the cave. There is a deep tunnel in the cave, which is seven or eight meters wide. It is not a problem for two cars to travel parallel. As soon as Zhang Tuohai's car drove into the passage, the game prompt popped up. Discover the secret passage. Trigger the second step. And find out the depth of the passage. It's true. This leads to a secret treasure. I just don't know what the treasure in this place could be. Materials? Black technology? Or genetic medicine? Zhang Tuohai took a deep look at the green seeping out from under the door. Blood. Crack. Crackle. The raindrops began to fall, and soon it turned into a downpour. The rain fell from the sky, forming a dense rain curtain in front of the cave. Looking at the heavy rain, John Tuohai had the urge to rush into the rain to collect some water and take it back to sell. He found that since arriving in this world, he has become more and more like a profiteer, trying to sell everything he sees. However, when I thought about the game prompt saying that the heavy rain contained acidic substances, I couldn't help but flinch. There is no shortage of water resources. So we cannot compete with acidic water. There was the sound of a motor outside. And John Tuohai lifted the car inside to make room. Soon, a commercial vehicle rushed up from the mountain road. However, the appearance of this business car is not very good. The paint on the car body has been corroded by rain. And the roof and hood have become pitted. Leaving traces of rust one after another. The car looks like it has just been picked up from a scrapped car factory. However, Gangatel and Kobayako Akumi were not seriously injured. It's just that Kobayako Akumi's face looked like she was still frightened. Perhaps Gangatel had the same expression. But his face was too dark for Zhang Tuohai to see clearly. Being able to see a dark outline, like a man in black shows that Zhang Tuohai has excellent eyesight. Is the corrosive rain outside so severe? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw the miserable condition of the commercial vehicle. He originally thought he had overestimated the heavy rain outside. But now it seems that he still overestimated it. There is no acidic substance in this rain. There is rain in the acidic substance. Is this concentrated sulfuric acid falling from the sky? Zhang Tuohai looked outside and gave up the idea of going out to find out. Okay, everyone is here. Let's go in together. Vladimir saw that nothing happened to the two of them and comforted them. I'll take the lead. Zhang Tuohai said and asked Chao Ai to take the lead in driving into the passage. Zhang Tuohai took the lead not to fight for others, but because he had his own plan. Zhang Tuohai guessed that with the heavy rain outside, it would definitely not be calm in this passage. If there was any danger, he could avoid many dangers with the reminder system, lest these teammates lead themselves into a dead end. In addition, in narrow passages like this, the vehicles at the front and at the back are often safer. In the event of a dangerous situation such as a landslide, the front and rear can accelerate forward or backward. Those who were caught in the middle were affected by their field of vision and could not see clearly what was going on. Moreover, even if they were discovered, they were still caught in the middle and there was no possibility of escaping. Based on this mentality, Zhang Tuohai took the lead in entering the passage. Vladimir didn't think too much about it. He felt that the middle position would be safer with front and rear protection. So he volunteered to break up the rear. Kobayako Akumi also felt that the middle position would be safer and since her car was the most severely damaged just now, she entered the passage second with peace of mind. Three cars slowly drove into the passage. Zhang Tuohai turned on his high beam to explore the path ahead. At this time, he didn't even bother to nibble on the crab legs. He scanned the passage back and forth, observing potential dangers. Not only himself, but Wang Kai was also pulled over by him to act as an observer. The passage is very long and deep, and there are even turns, but there are no forks. This made Zhang Tuohai feel very strange. 
however. His duty is to clear the way. If there is no fork in the road, just go straight. Just as Zhang Tuohai was moving forward, suddenly a whistle sounded from behind. Then, Gangatel's anxious roar came. Kobayakawa! Kobayakawa! Where are you? Problem occurs. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. Shall I go back and see what happened? Zhang Tuohai said. The passage was too narrow, and Zhang Tuohai's car could not move forward. So it could only reverse back the way it came. Clear! Classmate Xiao Ai started to move backwards. Watching the car go backwards, Zhang Tuohai flipped through the regional channels in his mind. The names belonging to Vladimir and Gangatel are still black, but the name of Kobayakawa Kumi has become red. Apparently, Kumi Kobayakawa is dead. Where did the enemy come from? Zhang Tuohai was filled with confusion. There was him in the front and Vladimir in the back. Nothing happened to him or Vladimir. And even Gangatel, who was sitting next to Kobayakawa, was fine. Why did it happen to Kobayakawa in the middle that something went wrong? In more than 10 seconds, Zhang Tuohai retreated to the commercial vehicle driven by Kobayakawa. Vladimir also arrived and was looking around with a bright flashlight. Did you find anything? Zhang Tuohai came to Vladimir holding a bright flashlight in one hand and a customized AK-74 in the other. Look here, Vladimir said, pointing to the roof of the car. Zhang Tuohai looked towards the roof of the car and was startled. It turned out that a big hole suddenly broke through the roof of Kobayako Akumi's car. There was some blood stains at the hole. And there was a piece of cloth hanging on the edge of the hole. It looked like Kobayakawa's kimono. It looked like something ripped open the roof of the car from above. And then dragged Kobayakawa out of the hole. Up there! John Tuohai was shocked and quickly shined a bright flashlight above his head. Chapter 169 The Mysterious Laboratory John Tuohai looked up and found a huge hole above his head. There was some fresh blood on the edge of the hole. Apparently, Kobayakawa was dragged into the hole above his head by something. The edges of the hole were unusually rough. Inexplicably, Zhang Tuohai thought of the cars that had been attacked by the Shadow Eagle. The roofs of those cars seemed to look like this too. Did you find anything? Vladimir also came over at this time. It must have been dragged into the hole by some mutated creature. Look at the damaged edges. It's too rough. It must have been broken open by brute force. It doesn't look like it was cut with a tool. Zhang Tuohai pointed at the hole in the roof of the car and said, Did you find anything? Vladimir grabbed Gangatel's collar. You were right there when the incident happened. Don't tell me you didn't know anything. I really don't know anything. Although Gangatel is a strong man from Uganda weighing more than 200 pounds, he is not very courageous. After being grabbed by Vladimir's collar, his face turned pale. His face was so dark that even if it changed color, you couldn't tell. However, the trembling on his body cannot be faked. The trembling frequency is like turning on an electric toothbrush. I really don't know anything. I just went back to get a bottle of water. And then Kobayakawa disappeared. Gangatel said, while raising the water bottle in his hand to indicate his chin by. You didn't notice anything? Aren't you a weightlifter from Uganda? You even participated in the Olympics. Why are your senses so bad? You didn't even notice that someone was missing around you? Vladimir didn't believe it. I am a weightlifter. But I was eliminated in the preliminaries. I participated in the Olympics just to get a chance to go abroad and work as a gangster. In fact, I am just stronger and have not received any professional training. Gangatel looked innocent. Said, Hack, why didn't that monster capture you? Vladimir angrily pushed Gangatel to the ground. Maybe he was too dark and the monster didn't see him. Zhang Tuohai said from the side. Vladimir looked at the surrounding environment. Then at Gangatel. Nodded. And agreed with Zhang Tuohai's statement. It's really unlucky. What should I do? Do you want to give it a try? Vladimir said, pulling out an anti-tank grenade from his waist. I don't believe there are any monsters that can resist this thing. Don't. Zhang Tuohai quickly stopped Vladimir from welding detonators and sawing light bulbs. The explosion range of this anti-tank grenade is 20 meters. In addition, this is a sealed passage, which will increase the damage of sound waves and shock waves. If the anti-tank grenade was thrown out like this, there would be no telling whether something would happen to the monster. And he and Vladimir would definitely have a big problem. The internal bleeding caused by the shock was mild. This place is too narrow, and it is easy for us to accidentally injure ourselves. I think that if the target of that monster is us, it will definitely continue to attack. How about we find a suitable combat location and then attack? John Tuohai said. All right. Vladimir was not just a reckless man. After looking at the surrounding terrain, he realized that it was really not suitable for fighting. 
so he followed John to Ahia's suggestion. Okay, I agree. When I find the opportunity, I must do it for a while, Vladimir said. Let's go. Let's go. John to Ahia got into the car and continued driving. Wakai has a new task, which is to observe the passage at the top to see if there is any damage. Okay, I don't care what your previous identity was. Now, you continue to drive on the road. If you dare to play tricks, I will stuff this into your butt. Do you understand? Vladimir raised the hand in his hand. The anti-tank said to Gangatel in his hand. I understand. I understand. Don't worry. I will definitely drive well. Gangatel nodded repeatedly. Let's go! Vladimir returned to the car and issued the order. However, after waiting for a long time, he found that Gangatel had no intention of moving at all. Why aren't you driving? Vladimir yelled angrily, lowering the window. I... I don't know how. Gangatel showed a face that was uglier than crying. Cars are a luxury product in our country, and ordinary people have no access to it. I don't know how to drive at all. If it weren't for Kobayakawa, I would can't even advance a kilometer. Trash. Hold the steering wheel and control the direction. After Vladimir finished speaking, he stepped on the accelerator. Vladimir's car collided with Gangatel's car. And then, with the powerful power of the engine, he pushed Gangatel's car forward. Gangatel held the steering wheel with a look of horror on his face. And the car swayed left and right, as if he had drunk fake wine. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what was happening behind him. He carefully scanned the surroundings, holding the AK-74 assault rifle in his hand, for fear that a monster would emerge from somewhere. Although his car body is bulletproof, who knows how strong those monsters are. Fortunately, the rest of the journey was relatively peaceful, and Zhang Tuohai didn't find anything strange again. After turning a corner, Zhang Tuohai felt that the front was bright. Afterwards, Zhang Tuohai drove out of the passage and came to a wide hall. The hall is six to seven meters high and thousands of square meters wide. Rows of lamps illuminate the hall brightly. In the first half of the hall, there are rows of various equipment. Although I can't understand what they are. They look very high-end. It makes people confused. In the second half of the hall, circular glass covers are placed there. Some glass enclosures contain various monsters. Some are tigers with a human head on their body. Some are in human form. But they are covered in thick scales. Others are simply neither human nor beasts. Looking like monsters. The most frightening thing is that some of the glass covers are broken. The glass fragments are scattered all over the floor. And some liquid remains inside. But the contents are missing. The floor of the hall was in a mess. With large piles of shredded paper scattered on the ground. As well as some fragments of clothes and shoes. Zhang Tuohai could even find some blood stains that had not yet dried. But no body was found. Zhang Tuohai thought of something and quickly raised his head and looked upward. It was discovered that the vent in the hall had already been opened. And the iron bars closing the vent had been broken off and thrown to the ground casually. Zhang Tuohai walked over, picked up an iron bar, and looked at it carefully. This iron bar is as thick as a thumb. But now it is twisted like a twist. Which is shocking. What kind of monster is this? It's so powerful. Zhang Tuohai was shocked for a while. At this moment, there was a strange sound from the ceiling. Chapter 170 Death Worm what the hell? John Tuohai relied on his many years of experience in playing FPS games. He was sure that there must be something in the ventilation duct. And maybe even the next second. It would break through the ceiling and fall from the sky. You dare to sneak attack me and let you have a taste of my power. John Tuohai pulled the trigger in the direction where the ventilation pipe extended. Da da da. A barrage of bullets was fired. A line of bullet holes appeared on the ceiling. Where the bullet holes were most densely packed. Green liquid began to trickle out. Seeing this scene, Dong Tuohai felt the same as the scene at the gate. Is it really hidden in the ventilation duct? Come on! Let me give you a powerful taste! Zhang Tuohai threw the loaded magazine to Wang Kai. Reload! Later, Zhang Tuohai took out the spare magazine from his waist and continued to shoot at the place where the green liquid was flowing out. Bullets were shot into the ceiling so densely that the ceiling was almost broken and looked crumbling. At this moment, another violent collision and rumbling sound came from the passage where Zhang Tuohai came in. What is it? Could it be that the back was also breached and I was outflanked? Zhang Tuohai carefully raised the AK-74 in his hand and pointed it at the passage. Bang! With a loud noise, a commercial vehicle rushed out of the passage. This business car was in tatters. Not to mention the bumper. Even the hood was gone. The front of the car was covered with traces of impact. 
and the windshield was shattered. Gangatel, who had a strong body, had a look on his face. He held the steering wheel in fear, looking at a loss. This expression was familiar to Zhang Tuahai. When he was in the driving school, he could often see it on the faces of the rookie students. Zhang Tuahai just wanted to ask Gangatel how he made the car look like this. Suddenly, the ceiling fell down. Wow! By coincidence, the direction in which the ceiling fell was exactly where Gangatel was. There was a big hole in the roof of Gangatel's car. The shattered ceiling covered Gangatel with a large amount of green liquid and tissue. Ah! Gangatel let out a scream. His whole body seemed to have fallen into aqua regia and was corroded beyond appearance. Even half of his body was corroded. Bang! There was another loud noise. Vladimir drove in headfirst, knocking Gangatel's car aside. Damn it! Did you graduate from prenatal education in your driving skills? You can't even control a steering wheel. And a leash dog can do it better than you. Vladimir yelled at Gangatel angrily. Vladimir, stop yelling. That guy is finished. John Tuohai pointed at Gangatel and said. Vladimir took a closer look. At this time, Gangatel had successfully lost weight. And his weight had dropped by half. Moreover, it was still melting. And a rotten smell came from Gangatel's body. Radiate out. What happened? Vladimir was shocked. There were monsters in there. I killed one. And this guy accidentally stopped where the monster landed. John Tuohai spread his hands helplessly. Although he didn't like Gangatel very much. Gangatel's death really had nothing to do with him. Who allowed himself to stop there? Damn! Are there still these damn things? When Vladimir saw Gangatel's tragic situation, he half-awakened, picked up the AKM, and looked around vigilantly. I don't know! But based on the look in the hall, it should be no less. John Tuohai pointed to the broken vessels in the hall and said, Fake! At this time, Vladimir also saw the utensils in the hall. Vladimir, who is keen on various science fiction movies, roughly understood the ins and outs of the matter as soon as he saw this situation on the scene. This place is probably an experimental center for conducting various forbidden research. It seems that there was a flaw in the security, allowing some monsters to escape. Didn't you agree to find the treasure? Why did you end up in this damn place? At this moment, the sound of the game system rang. Discover the secret testing center. Enter the third step. And survive the attack of the death worm. You can get rewards by killing the death worm or finding an escape route before being killed by the death worm. Death worm? What is this? Zhang Tuohai had never heard of this kind of animal. At this moment, there was a rustling sound from the passage they came from. Zhang Tuohai and Vladimir looked back and saw a large fleshy insect with a diameter of at least two meters emerging from the passage. This bug was green in color, covered in white mucus, had no eyes or ears, and was covered in raised black dots. It looks as disgusting as it sounds. If it were a group game, Zhang Tuohai would be able to throw the dice for sanity now. What the hell is this? Vladimir's hands are much faster than his mouth. Before he finished speaking, his finger had already skillfully pulled the trigger. Duh duh duh. A series of bullets were fired. The bullet hit the death worm's body like a mud cow entering the sea. And there was no reaction at all. Not even a single wound was left. The death worm continued to crawl forward undisturbed. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai also pulled the trigger, spraying bullets at the death worms. However, the death worm was not affected at all and continued to crawl towards the two of them. Why can't the grass be killed? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. The death worm had eaten 60 rounds of bullets so far but it didn't seem to have any problems at all. It still crawled towards the two of them. Moreover, as if sensing the provocation, the death worm opened its mouth. A round hole in the center of the head suddenly cracked open and turned into a large hole with a diameter of two meters. On the edge of the large hole, there were fangs that were more than 30 centimeters long, with white mucus hanging on them, which looked extremely scary. The death worm has no core organs and cannot be destroyed by delivering critical strikes. Moreover, its body fluids contain a large amount of acidic substances, which can cause foreign matter such as steel to be dissolved. Death worms have the ability to recover quickly and regenerate after being cut off. Even if they are cut into pieces, they can be recombined into a new death worm by devouring each other. The only way to eliminate it is to completely burn it to death with flames. The system prompted. John Tuohai was shocked when he saw the prompts from the prompt system. There are no weak organs and the body fluids contain a large amount of acidic substances, allowing for rapid recovery and rebirth with every drop of blood. What kind of magical boss is this? However, fire is a weakness. Wait, I remember. 
while Zhang Tuohai was thinking about how to kill the deathworm. Vladimir next to him had already taken out two anti-tank grenades. Try this! Vladimir yelled and smashed the anti-tank grenade into the deathworm's mouth. Chapter 171 Choose 1 from 3, Monthly Tickets Plus Updates Grass! Get down quickly! Zhang Tuohai quickly grabbed a police anti-explosion, shield from the car, and stood in front of the two of them. Boom! Boom! Two huge explosions sounded from the death worm's mouth. The death worm's head was blown to pieces. And various pieces of meat flew everywhere. Some pieces of meat and mucus also flew towards the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai quickly blocked it with his shield. Hiss, hiss. There was a burnt smell coming from the shield. Zhang Tuohai took a closer look and saw that the shield had been corroded to the point of disgrace. The surrounding walls, which were splashed with rotten flesh and mucus, were emitting white smoke and were corroded like the surface of the moon. Even Zhang Tuohai's car was hit by some acid, corroding some shallow pits. Finally dead, Vladimir sat down on the ground and let out a sigh of relief. Don't be too happy. It's not dead yet. John Tuohai said solemnly. Impossible, Davari. No creature can withstand an anti-tank grenade. Not even the Tiger King. Let alone I threw two. Oh, son of a bitch. Vladimir's eyes were as wide as bells. An unbelievable scene happened before the two of them. He was shocked to find that the worm whose head was smashed, let's count it as a head, actually had countless granulations sprouting from the wound. These granulations are like small worms, constantly intertwining and merging, restoring the wound. Moreover, the recovery speed of these granulations is extremely fast. In just 10 seconds, one-third of the body smashed by the anti-tank grenade was repaired. What the hell is this? Vladimir looked at the death worm that was constantly repairing himself in amazement. He is not afraid of guns or anti-tank grenades. His blood is corrosive, and he can constantly repair himself. How can he fight this? The situation before him left Vladimir not knowing what to do. Grab the shield and help me cover it. John Tuohai thrust the badly damaged explosion-proof shield into Vladimir's hand. Later, John Tuohai made two flamethrowers and carried them on his back. John Tuohai rushed to the vicinity of the death worm in two steps. Seeing John Tuohai rushing over, the granules busy repairing the wound suddenly formed long tentacles and rushed towards John Tuohai. John Tuohai, who had already received guidance from the prompt system halfway through, had already mentally prepared himself. He didn't panic at all when he saw Grana's movements and pressed the button directly towards them. Call. A long fire dragon shot out from the flamethrower and attacked the death worm like a huge wave. After encountering the blazing flames, those flesh sprouts retreated crazily as if they had encountered a natural enemy. However, how could those sprouts run over a 20-meter fire dragon? It was instantly engulfed in flames. It turned into ashes in the blink of an eye. The originally menacing death worm could not withstand the flames and began to retreat backwards. However, how could the speed of its backward crawling compare to Zhang Tuohai? The two fire dragons were still chasing the death worm. Constantly burning. Fire! Vladimir's eyes suddenly lit up when he saw Zhang Tuohai driving away the death worm with flames. He slapped his head, took out a gas can from the car, lit the flame, and shouted with a hurrah. He rushed towards the death worm. Try! Seeing Vladimir rushing up, Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. He was burning happily, but Vladimir rushed up. He had to carefully control the fire to avoid hurting Fu. Vladimir. However, now is not the time to destroy unity. At least Vladimir's spirit of daring to rush forward is worthy of recognition. Zhang Tuohai stepped aside to make room for Vladimir. The two men continued to burn the death worms with flames. There was a burning smell in the room. The death worm ran in front, and the two men burned in the back. It has to be said that the death worm's vitality is too strong and its body is too big. The two cans of flamethrower on Zhang Tuohai's shoulders were all empty. But the death worm hadn't been burned to death yet. Hold on! I'll get a big one! Vladimir suddenly heard something, threw the gas can and ran towards his car. Zhang Tuohai also slowly retreated back, and at the same time notified Wonkai to bring a new flamethrower. At this moment, Vladimir ran out pushing a recoilless rifle, and in his hand was a small box with a skull of death painted on it. Get out of the way! Vladimir said, stuffing a cannonball into it. Damn it! Didn't you say that explosions don't work? Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly ran to the side for fear of being accidentally injured. Hey! This is no ordinary cannonball! Vladimir said, pressing the button. Boom! The cannonball shot out. And the moment it hit the death worm, a large piece of yellow viscous solution sprayed out, covering the death worm. 
some sparks fell on the viscous solution. In an instant, a blazing flame burned the death worm's body. The flames were bigger and more intense than before. Is this a smaller version of napalm? Zhang Tuohai was stunned as he looked at the blazing flames. That's right. It's this thing. I got it from a supply box once. I felt it was useless and stuffed it under the seat. I thought it was useless. But I didn't expect it to be used here, Vladimir said from the side. Zhang Tuohai looked at Vladimir and didn't know what to say. He feels like this guy is a mobile arsenal. You never know what he will pull out in the next second. Even if Vladimir took out a big Ivan in the next second, Zhang Tuohai would not find it unacceptable. With the addition of napalm, the speed of grilling death worms has been greatly accelerated. When the six napalm bombs were used up, the death worm finally turned into ashes. The temperature in the entire laboratory rose sharply, and the air was filled with burnt questions. At this time, the prompt from the game system came belatedly. The death worm has died. Congratulations on gaining the gratitude of the experimenter. Please receive the reward. In the room, a platform slowly rose up, and three shiny orange supply boxes appeared in front of the two people. Each person can only choose one supply box at most, and you cannot regret it after choosing it. Finally, it was time to accept the reward. Zhang Tuohai was so excited that he was caught off guard. The prompt system also gave timely prompts. The supply box on the left contains the genetically modified medicine of the death worm. After injection, the strength will be increased by 50%. The recovery speed will be increased by 30%. The appetite will be increased by 50%. And the fire resistance will be reduced by 50%. The supply box on the right contains vehicle-mounted flamethrower manufacturing drawings and supplies. The supply box in the middle contains the secret key to the laboratory. Chapter 172, Messy Prizes How should I choose? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. Needless to say, the first item is a genetic modification potion. After using it, your physical fitness will be improved. However, the problem is that the weaknesses are somewhat obvious. Moreover, since Zhang Tuohai saw the appearance of the death worm, he became resistant to the genetic medicine extracted from the death worm. I feel like I can't accept it. As for the vehicle-mounted flamethrower, it is quite useful and can increase the firepower intensity of the vehicle. However, it is a bit repetitive with his flamethrower and feels a bit tasteless. As for the last secret key, it is probably the key to the room containing some precious items. However, I don't know what is in the room. So there is too much gambling involved. Each of the three items had its own advantages and disadvantages. And Zhang Tuohai didn't know how to choose for a while. However, Vladimir did not hesitate and picked up a supply box and held it in his arms. Zhang Tuohai took a look and saw that the material box Vladimir was holding contained the Manufacturing drawings for vehicle-mounted flamethrowers. Hey, Davari. Why don't you come and choose the prize? Vladimir greeted. It seems that sometimes it is not a good thing to know the contents of the prize in advance. It can easily make people worry about gains and losses. Zhang Tuohai smiled to himself and picked up the supply box containing the secret key. Instead of injecting the genetic medicine, Zhang Tuohai still wanted to try his luck. After coming to this world, he felt that his luck was pretty good. The prize has been selected and transmission begins. Two white lights flashed and enveloped Zhang Tuohai and Vladimir. After the white light disappeared, Zhang Tuohai was shocked to find that he did not return to the ice and snow world, but was transported to a huge laboratory-like place. This laboratory is clean and tidy. There are cabinets filled with supplies one after another next to it. Each cabinet has a glass door to see the various exhibits inside. It is detected that the player has the secret key to the laboratory, and the player can choose an item as a prize in the test product display cabinet. Note. Only one item can be selected, and those who attempt to obtain additional items will be subject to sanctions. After the prompt was completed, the supply box in Zhang Tuohai's hand disappeared and turned into a metal key. There are so many things. How do you choose which one to get? Zhang Tuohai came to the display cabinet. At first glance, his eyes were caught by something that was all red and looked like a steel suit. Damn, it couldn't be a steel suit. Right. If you put on this thing, wouldn't you be invincible? Zhang Tuohai looked at the steel suit in the display cabinet, imagining how he would fly freely between heaven and earth wearing the steel suit. Unknowingly, my mouth was watering. Experimental Type 2 Flying Armor The problem of energy miniaturization cannot be solved. It can only fly for 30 seconds and cannot be equipped with weapons. The prompt system instantly shattered Zhang Tuohai's fantasy. What's the point of only being able to fly for 30 seconds? There are no weapons. Zhang Tuohai shook his head regretfully, and turned his attention to the next item. 
alloy shield, can resist heavy machine gun fire. The covering area is a bit small, and it feels useless. Tactical glasses prevent eye damage from stray bullets. With infrared night vision function, the effects overlap. Meat that can continue to grow. As long as nutrient solution is injected regularly, the meat pieces can continue to grow. This thing looks a little disgusting. Looking at the squirming piece of meat, Zhang Tuohai almost vomited and quickly looked at the next item. Advanced fertilizer, double the crop growth rate and double the crop yield. Improved banana, banana trees can be made to produce durian flavored bananas. Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt that he had made a mistake coming to this room. These experimenters are not doing anything serious. They are just studying some weird things. Durian flavored banana? What's the use of this thing? Just when Zhang Tuohai was frustrated, something suddenly fell into Zhang Tuohai's eyes. Electric shock gloves can instantly release 100,000 volts of electricity to kill the enemy. It can attack three times after each charge, with an attack distance of 50 meters. Good stuff. Zhang Tuohai's eyes sparkled when he looked at the metal glove. Although the attack range of this electric shock glove is only 50 meters, the attack method has undergone a qualitative change. The weapons in his hands, whether they are shotguns, submachine guns, assault rifles or grenades, are essentially physical attack weapons. If you want to harm the enemy, you need to break the enemy's external physical defense first. For example, if Zhang Tuohai wants to kill a wild boar, he needs to use a bullet to penetrate the wild boar's skin first, then break the bones, and then hurt the opponent's vital parts. But this electric shock glove is different. It bypasses the surface defense and acts directly on the body. Zhang Tuohai was sure that if he dared to unleash a shot on a wild boar, the wild boar would smell fragrant from the inside out. Moreover, this thing is in the shape of a glove. It looks harmless to humans and animals and has excellent concealment. It is a weapon for sneak attacks. Finally, something that works. Zhang Tuohai made a mark on the glass cabinet and continued to look down. After looking around, Zhang Tuohai found that this was the most valuable thing to him. That's it. Zhang Tuohai opened the glass cabinet door with a key and took out the electric shock gloves. Electric shock gloves look like ordinary tactical gloves, except that they have several metal heads on the tips, which look unattractive. There is also a charging port at the end, and there is also a charging cable, which is actually a three-phase plug. As soon as Zhang Tuohai picked up the things, the beep of the game system rang. The item has been selected, and the player is being transferred. A white light flashed and Zhang Tuohai reappeared in the cold winter wilderness. Looking at the snowflakes falling like goose feathers outside the window, Zhang Tuohai sighed that he was back again. Zhang Tuohai opened the private message and found that his mailbox was filled with private messages. 90% of them are sales orders from San Shaokong. It took Zhang Tuohai half an hour to process these orders. Most of the piled fruits were missing, and the rest of the supplies were piled up into a mountain. Finally, San Shaokong also sent an email. Some players want to order large quantities from me. I think I should control the shipment volume to create a sense of scarcity, so that the price can be raised a little more. However, I don't dare to make the decision and ask the boss to make a decision. Zhang Tuohai felt that this Song Shaokong was worthy of being the sales champion of the nightclub. He still had a good grasp of people's hearts. He mastered the key to hoarding money in one afternoon. With proper training, he became an excellent evil businessman. Chapter 173 Su Chi the boy who scattered wealth. Okay, but we are not too scarce in ordinary fruits. I will give you a number that can be stably supplied later. You can decide how to operate it. I only look at the results. By the way, in the future, the focus should not be on basic resources, but on level 2 or even level 3 resources. I want all kinds of drawings, no matter whether they seem useful or not. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai said. I understand. Boss, Son Xiaokong responded. Well, by the way, I'm very satisfied with your performance this time. Here is an MP5 as a reward. Zhang Tuohai handed a stock of MP5 and four magazines to Song Xiaokong. He is quite optimistic about Song Xiaokong, especially his sales ability, which is better than that of those few people combined. For such an excellent salesperson, Zhang Tuohai naturally has to pay more attention to him, and personal safety is the top priority. Otherwise, if he is killed on the way, who will compensate him for the money he makes less? For an owner like Zhang Tuohai, who would lose money if he makes less money? This result is absolutely unacceptable. It's also acceptable to wait a little. Thank you, boss. Song Shaokong accepted with a smile. Follow me and work hard. You will find that this is just the beginning, and you will live a more nourishing life than others. 
After drawing a cake as usual, Zhang Tuohai continued to read private messages. Vladimir posted a selfie. In the picture, Vladimir is sitting next to the thick pipe of the flamethrower, with a grilled steak on the thick pipe. Although he knew that Vladimir was working hard, Zhang Tuohai really wanted to say that this is not how a flamethrower is used. After replying with a hello expression from Wang Duhai, Zhang Tuohai continued to read the next private message. This private letter was actually from Su Qi, whom I hadn't seen for a long time. Is there anything that can deal with large areas of locusts? Yes. Yes. But why do you want this thing? It's a snowy night here in winter. 30 degrees below zero. Don't tell me that you encountered locusts here. Locusts are creatures that only exist in temperate and subtropical regions. In this winter of minus 30 degrees Celsius, they lie dormant underground and will not come out at all. Zhang Tuohai didn't believe that the Sioux sisters would encounter locusts. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai thought of a possibility. That is, the Sioux sisters may have obtained a treasure map like Vladimir and were taken into other worlds and encountered locusts. Sure enough, Su Qi's reply confirmed Zhang Tuohai's guess. We got a treasure map, which took us to a farm, which was being infested by locusts. These locusts are so powerful that they can even eat the wheels. Do you have anything that can destroy these locusts? Very urgent, Su Qi said anxiously. Yes, individual flamethrowers are definitely effective against locusts. But what do you want in exchange? Zhang Tuohai sent over the parameters of the flamethrower. Give me a few, and I'll exchange them for them, Su Qi said, sending a lot of things to Zhang Tuohai. Yogurt making machine, level 2 auto accessory that can make milk into yogurt. Manufacturing materials, 2 units of intermediate metal ingots. Rubber, 1 unit. Plastic, 6 units. Metal parts, 12 units. Electronic component asterisk 1. Fast growing cassava seeds. Fast growing cassava. Matures in 2 days after planting. Fast growing soybean seeds. Fast growing soybeans. Mature in 2 days after planting. Fast growing eggplant seeds. Fast growing eggplants mature within 3 days after planting. Pickle bucket manufacturing drawing. Vegetables can be made into pickles. And the production time takes 2 days. Crafting materials, metal ingots, 2 units. Intermediate with 6 units. Rubber, 1 unit. Metal parts, 6 units. Suchi looked very anxious. Instead of sending pictures, she sent all these things over directly. If Zhang Tuohai had a darker heart, he could have swallowed all these things privately. However, Zhang Tuohai is not short of supplies for the time being. So he will not do such a despicable thing. Zhang Tuohai sent two flamethrowers over and replied by the way. There are enough flamethrowers. There are also a large number of other weapons in stock. Welcome to purchase. Su Qi did not reply. It seemed that she was busy dealing with the locusts. Zhang Tuohai began to sort out the things in his hands. He felt that the two sisters had indeed gone around the farm. Otherwise, they would not have obtained so many agricultural supplies. The yogurt making machine and pickle bucket were first produced by Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai got a lot of fresh milk from Xiao Wanwan. But he and Wang Kai couldn't use so much. If made into yogurt, although the shelf life is only a short half month, it is enough for the precarious end of the world. The pickle bucket is also quite useful. The vegetables that Zhang Tuohai can now grow include tomatoes, coriander, onions, bell peppers, carrots, sharp angles, soybeans, and eggplants. The seasonings also include onion, ginger, and garlic. Zhang Tuohai alone can't eat all these dishes every day, and they are easy to spoil if left dry so it seems to be a good idea to make them into pickles and preserve them. As for fast-growing cassava, many people may have never heard of it. This is a shrub native to the tropics. It has a tuberous rhizome that looks a bit like a sweet potato and can be used to make starch. However, the most well-known way of using it is to make pearls and milk tea. When it came to pearls, Zhang Tuohai suddenly had an idea. Since the coffee made by Wang Kai can increase mood value, can making milk tea also improve mood value? There are only more than 200 kilograms of coffee beans. If they are sold out, you need to find replacement supporting products. Milk tea seems to be a good choice. Moreover, women prefer milk tea to coffee, and the price premium is higher. It's the end of the world here, and it's still a cold winter. Isn't it too much to pay three to five times the price for a cup of milk tea? Zhang Tuohai is not worried at all about the sales of milk tea. In the world, women earn the most money. Zhang Tuohai even thought about the advertising slogan. Have you got the first cup of milk tea in winter? Zhang Tuohai can already imagine his happy life lying down and counting money. Zhang Tuohai felt that this Su Qi was a money-spreading boy and gave him another chance to make a fortune. 
if it weren't for the fact that they couldn't meet each other. Zhang Tuohai would have really wanted to hold Su Qi's face and kiss her to express his gratitude. Zhang Tuohai decided that when the cassava matures tomorrow, he would ask Wang Kai to make a batch of milk tea. If the effect is good, he would immediately mass produce it and form a high medium low medium mix with coffee and fruits to fully occupy the market. At this time, Wang Kai, who was warming himself by the stove, felt a cold air coming from underneath him for no apparent reason. Why do you feel so cold? The fire hasn't gone out yet. Wang Kai muttered a few words and squeezed towards the stove again. Zhang Tuohai was handling the supplies in his hands when classmate Xiao Yai suddenly made a prompt sound. Commander, there is a light ahead. Do you want to continue moving forward? Chapter 174 Xiao Wan Wan Strange Pets Is there a light? Zhang Tuohai was in high spirits. In this world, lights not only represent people, but may also represent danger. Even among players, there are fights over a bottle of water. When facing them, you can never be too careful. Turn off the lights, lower your voice, and touch it quietly. By the way, turn on the fog generator to cover your tracks. Understood. Xiao Yai immediately and quietly drove forward. Halfway through the drive, Zhang Tuohai heard the faint sound of gunshots. There were sounds of submachine guns and pistols. Zhang Tuohai became more cautious, put on a full set of combat equipment, picked up the AK-74, and prepared it carefully. Commander, we are still 50 meters away from the shooting site, Xiao Yai said. Well, lower the window. Zhang Tuohai set up his AK-74 and observed the situation inside the field with a scope. 50 meters away, a total of four cars were parked. A level 3 off-road vehicle and three level 2 commercial vehicles. The off-road vehicle was in front and three commercial vehicles were behind. When the off-road vehicle was blocked by a fallen tree, the three commercial vehicles surrounded the off-road vehicle in a semicircle. Several cars opened their doors. A woman in black uniform sat behind the door of an off-road vehicle holding a P90 and fighting back from time to time. Several players wearing down jackets also hid behind the car, shooting at the women with various guns. These people had a variety of firearms, including Colt, Remington, and Winchester. Zhang Tuohai even saw an M1 Garand, spanning from World War II to modern times. In addition to these four, there were three more people lying on the ground. Their bodies were covered with a layer of snowflakes, and they looked like they were already hanging on. None of the four players noticed the uninvited guests coming behind them, and they were holding guns and shooting at the woman in black. The woman in black seemed to have run out of bullets, and the gunfire stopped. She's out of bullets! Hurry up and catch her! Several people cheered and shouted loudly. You dare to shoot me alive? I will shoot you back! A black man with a mohawk permed his head shouted loudly. Is this a door to or express delivery? Seeing these four players shooting with their but sticking out, Zhang Tuohai felt that he would be sorry for their posture if he didn't kill them for a thousand years. It's not good to fight and kill too much. So let me calm you down. Zhang Tuohai set up his AK-74, pointed it at several people, and pulled the trigger. The distance of 50 meters sounds not far. But if you actually shoot, you will find that the person at this distance is not much bigger than a candle. A little off, and the bullet might be knocked away. Usually, facing enemies at this distance. Zhang Tuohai would use strafing to kill the enemies with dense barges. However, now that he has a limited edition AK-74, everything is different. With Yuan Zong's blessing, as long as it is not too far off, the bullets fired by the AK-74 can always hit the enemy in various coincidental ways. Da da da. Zhang Tuohai was shaken by the powerful recoil, and the muzzle of the gun floated upwards. Then, Zhang Tuohai hurriedly lowered the muzzle and corrected the trajectory. Several bullets hit several enemies instantly. Three players were instantly shot in the head by bullets floating from the muzzle and died on the spot. The black man with the mohawk was a little unlucky because Zhang Tuohai pressed down the muzzle a little too much and the 5.45 millimeters justice came into close contact with his rectum. Ouch! The unlucky guy let out a scream, covered his back, and slowly knelt down on the ground. His eyes were as wide as bells and his mouth was wide enough to fit an egg in. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean it. I'll be more accurate next time. Zhang Tuohai casually shot the mohawk in the head. Players Donatello, Wendy, Carcatello, and Simpson are dead. Player Zhao Wanwan has exhausted all bullets. There are no ambush around. And safety is confirmed. The system prompted. Xiao Wanwan! Zhang Tuohai originally thought he was encountering an ordinary player battle. But he didn't expect to encounter an old acquaintance. If the player was a stranger, 
Zhang Tuohai would just kill him and treat him like a leek root. However, Xiao Wanwan was more or less an acquaintance. She had done many transactions and helped him a lot. Zhang Tuohai felt that he could not kill people and steal money without even saying hello. Zhang Tuohai was going to go up and take a look before making a decision. Classmate Xiao Yai, put away the smoke and drive over. Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Classmate Xiao Yai drove over. Arriving at the center of the battlefield, Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car and walked toward Xiao Wanwan. At this time, Xiao Wanwan was in a bad situation. She was injured on her thigh. Although it was bandaged, there was faint blood oozing out. At hand is a P90 with empty bullets. The helmet has been taken off. And the bangs wet with sweat are stuck to his forehead. Xiao Wanwan's face was pale. She was biting one end of a bandage and was bandaging her arm. Want to help? Zhang Tuohai pushed open his mask. It turns out it's you. Seeing that it was Zhang Tuohai, Xiao Wanwan loosened the bandage. For the sake of getting acquainted with me, give me a good time. Zhang Tuohai. Uh -huh. By the way, seeing as I'm about to die, can you do me a favor? Zhang Tuohai. I. Listen to me. It will definitely be good for you. Zhao Wanwan said to herself. I have all the belongings accumulated by Jolly Roger in my car. These can be handed over to you. However, I still have some friends who I have to take care of. The first one is Mick. Although he is greedy, talkative, and likes to fart, he is a good cow. He can produce 40 kilograms of milk stably every day. He likes to eat apples. There is an apple tree in my car with fruit on it. All the apples belong to it. Of course, you can also eat them. But don't let it see you. Otherwise it will get angry, and the milk supply will decrease. Zhang Tuoha. The second one is Donald. Although he likes to wander around, quacks before dawn, and lays eggs everywhere. He is really a very good duck. Please don't make him a duck. Spicy duck head. Spicy duck neck. Sweet and spicy duck tongue. Sauce duck feet. For treasures of duck. Hanging oven roast duck. Duck leg rice. Zhang Tuohai felt that the corners of his mouth were a little moist. And crud. Although he is a big cat, he is really very timid. As long as you have a small fish stick, you can hack him all day long. So don't kill him and take advantage of him. Can the leather be used? Zhang Tuohai turned his head and glanced at the open door of the off-road vehicle. From his angle, he could see a big tiger weighing more than 400 kilograms hiding in the corner and shivering. However, because it was too fat, it couldn't curl up at all. It could only lie on the ground, closing its eyes tightly and covering its little ears with its two fat paws. Zhang Tuohai, you call this thing a big cat? Also, are you really sure it's a tiger and not a pig wearing tiger skin? Chapter 175 Artificial Intelligence Artificial Retardation Xiao Wanwan was still chattering. Bali is also very well behaved. He is a very cute sheep. Please never make it into mutton kebabs. Roasted whole lamb. Steamed lamb. Roasted lamb legs. Roasted lamb chops. Or lamb offal soup. By the way, it likes to eat cumin. I planted four pots of fast-growing cumin. The growth cycle is four days. Just remember to feed it one pot every day. Zhang Tuohai felt that there were too many flaws, and he didn't know where to start. And Polly the macaw. It forget it. It has no merits. It has a beak. Barks. Likes to talk. And likes to eat nuts. Just roast it. Just follow the method of roasting squab. If you know, the fourth book on the second row of my bookshelf is the recipe book. Just follow it. All kinds of seasonings and side dishes are included. You can definitely find it if you look carefully. Xiao Wanwan said. Oh no. You actually tried to frame me. I should have eaten all your peanuts last time and not even a single one. A sharp voice came from the carriage. Zhang Tuohai glanced into the car and saw a macaw standing on a sunflower eating melon seeds. Zhang Tuohai. How dare you eat my sunflower? Please bake it. This is my lifelong request. Okay. Let's do it. After Zhao Wanwan finished speaking, she closed her eyes. Zhang Tuohai felt that his brain was running out. He could only lament that Zhao Wanwan had such strange hobbies and actually raised such a bunch of strange animals. He thought he would go crazy if he put these animals in his car. Um, did you make something wrong? Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and said, Huh? Zhao Wanwan opened her eyes in confusion. I don't care about such nonsense. Yes, the boss has said it a long time ago. No one can tolerate these weird guys except me. Then you can let them accompany me on the road. I can also take care of them over there. Xiao Wanwan lamented as if accepting her fate. There was a sound. 
Mick let out a long fart. The big cat, crud, trembled even more. Polly ate melon seeds faster. Snap. Donald the duck got nervous and laid an egg. Maley raised his head and glanced doubtfully. Then continued to chew cumin with his head down. No. What I mean is that you can handle these matters for me yourself. I don't want to worry about these nonsense. Several black lines appeared on Zhang to Ahai's head. You won't kill me? Zhao Wanlan opened her eyes fiercely. Why do I want to kill you? You are not a threat to me. Of course. The money for the bullets still needs to be reimbursed. In addition, I want to sign a long-term supply agreement with you. For Zhang to Ahai, the most valuable of Zhao Wanwan's animals is the cow mick. It can produce 40 kilograms of milk every day. But cattle produce the most greenhouse gases of any animal. A cow can emit 500 liters of methane every day. A full 500 liters. And it's still in such a small car. You can imagine the smell in the car. Moreover, with so much flammable methane and ammonia gathered in such a small space, even a spark may cause an explosion. Zhang Tuohai is not willing to take this risk. Wouldn't it be better to keep Zhao Wan Wan to help him raise cattle? As for the ducks that crow randomly, the tigers that cowardly turn into pigs, and the parrots that steal nuts, Zhao Wan Wan should just leave Zhao Wan Wan to deal with the headache. He is only responsible for collecting duck eggs. Oh, you can also pet the big cat occasionally. You really won't kill me. Zhao Wan Wan felt a little unbelievable. If the benefits of killing you are greater than keeping you, you won't have a chance to talk to me. Zhang Tuohai squatted down and helped Zhao Wan Wan tie the bandage on his arm. Okay. Let's talk about the supply contract now, Zhang Tuai said. No need to talk about it. Leave me enough rations and daily consumption materials. The rest will be yours. I will also give you the milk and duck eggs I produce every day. I can't use feces. I have to make fertilizer. Those vegetables and crops will be deducted from the rations. After that, it all belongs to you, Zhao Wanwan said. You gave it all to me, and you didn't keep any for yourself? Zhang Tuai asked in shock. He didn't expect Zhao Wan Wan to be so decisive and give him all her wealth. Actually, since I learned about my brother's death, I have had the idea of death. The only thing that supports me is these guys. Now that I have built a barely adequate home for them, I don't expect too much. I won't stay any longer. There's no need to wear those things, Zhao Wan Wan said. Okay, let's get in the car first. By the way, with your injuries like this, can you still drive? Zhang Tuai asked. It doesn't matter. I have an artificial intelligence assisted driving system that can help drive. She came out to say hello, Zhao Wanwan said. This is Shi Poi. The master is really stupid and has caused you trouble. I'm really sorry. Xiaoyi bows to you. Please take good care of me in the future. By the way, if you can enrich my database, I can tell you the owner's measurements and the type of book he likes. Xiaoyi. Zhao Wanwan put her hands on her hips and said angrily, Zhang Tuohai, he felt that Zhao Wanwan's artificial intelligence assisted driving system seemed not normal. It's not quite like artificial intelligence, but more like artificial retardation. Is this a coincidence? Or Zhao Wanwan's innate ability? Can everything that is normal be taken astray? Zhang Tuohai rubbed his temples and gave up thinking. Okay, since you can drive, you should get in the car first. I will collect the supplies first, and then we will hit the road. While you are not able to protect yourself, just follow me for the time being. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, Zhao Wanwan was recently injured and her fighting ability was greatly reduced. For the safety of milk and duck eggs every day, Zhang Tuohai also had to ensure Zhao Wanwan's safety. As for whether Zhao Wanwan would suddenly betray him and endanger him, Zhang Tuohai was not worried. The reminder system is not a decoration. Okay, I'll wait in the car. Zhao Wanwan got into the car obediently. Zhang Tuohai began to clean up the battlefield. The first is the weapons in the hands of several people and the clothes on their bodies. It's a bit old, but no one cares. The supplies in several people's cars were also swept away by Zhang Tuohai. The worth of these people was barely average. They had some level 1 supplies, some cans and water, and a stove for heating. Zhang Tuohai even found a few engraved notebooks in their car. You read through the limited edition of Kaching's book. Unlock new knowledge. Felt happy. And your mood value plus 3. Zhang Tuohai silently hid the notebook. It's not that he wants to see it. The main reason is that this is a cultural treasure of mankind. A limited edition. And he has contributed to the inheritance of human civilization. Chapter 176 Xiao Wanwan's Thank You Gift After happily moving a bunch of things back into the car 
and taking away the core of the car. Zhang Tuohai really sat there and felt his bones and marrow sucked out. Except for the movable items in the car that were emptied out. Zhang Tuohai even left only a pair of underwear for each corpse. Everything, regardless of whether it was usable or not, was taken away. Anyway, he has a warehouse and can sell anything. As soon as Zhang Tuohai returned to the car, he received a lot of things from Zhao Wan Wan. The first is the various grades of materials. There are not many level 1 materials. Only 400 copies, which is undoubtedly very few for a team. But there are a lot of level 2 supplies. A full 300 copies, which is a bit scary. Zhang Tuohai has been plundering and plundering all the way. And he has only accumulated more than 290 copies until now. Sure enough, there is still a gap with the team. What pleased Zhang Tuohai the most was that the Jolly Roger actually had third level supplies. And there were a lot of them. More than 20 copies. Where did you get so many level 3 materials? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. It seems that Oink got a treasure map. Then explored it and found these things. Because they were too high end. They were not of use for the time being. So they were thrown into the public warehouse space. Zhao Wanwan said. Sure enough. I am not the only one who is lucky. There are still many powerful masters. You should be more careful when encountering enemies in the future. Zhang Tuohai heard this and secretly remembered it in his heart. By the way, there are a few more drawings. I wonder if you can use them. Zhao Wanwan said and sent several drawings to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai looked through it. And apart from the ones he owned, there were a few that just filled his blanks. Solid tire. Level 2 auto accessory. Increasing the sturdiness of the tire. Crafting materials. Intermediate rubber. 16 units. Intermediate metal ingots. 4 units. Metal parts. 16 units. Comfortable double bed. A special item that can increase comfort. Greatly relieve physical fatigue. Improve endurance. And increase the speed of energy recovery. Crafting materials. Intermediate wood. 10 units. Metal parts. 16 units. Healing pillow. A life-size pillow depicting Sister Bauer. When in close contact, you will feel warm. And your mood value will plus one every ten minutes. Materials. Intermediate cloth. Five units. Feathers. Five units. Miner's lamp. A lighting fixture worn on the head. Materials. Low-grade glass. One unit. Metal parts. Two units. Low-grade plastic. Two units. Low-grade rubber. One unit. Low-grade metal components. Asterisk one. Beverage making machine. A special manufacturing item that can make a variety of flavored drinks. Comes with ingredient list. Materials. Intermediate plastic. 10 units. Intermediate metal ingots. 1 unit. Metal parts. 20 units. Rubber. 1 unit. Electronic components. Asterisk 1. Zhang Tuohai looked at these things and said he was rich. Needless to say, solid tires continue to improve vehicle safety and have the greatest effect. A comfortable double bed paired with its own animal skin bedding can greatly improve the recovery efficiency of body functions, reduce the time required for rest, and is particularly effective in certain situations that require physical exertion. The healing pillow is a constant buff, restoring 144 mood points every day. What else is there to be dissatisfied about? Although the miner's lamp is inconspicuous, it can free up your hands in certain places where a lamp is needed. However, beware of the opponent's firepower shooting at the light. Of course, Zhang Tuohai has already thought of a solution to this shortcoming that is. Let Wonkai wear it. Not to mention the beverage making machine. It is a tool for making money. It can also solve the problem of overcapacity in fruit production in Zhang Tuohai. Kill multiple birds with one stone. However, what made Zhang Tuohai a little confused was that these things were obviously very useful. So why didn't he make the pirate flag himself? After listening, Xiao Wanwan explained. The beverage making machine is mainly because we don't have a stable source of fruit yet. So we haven't built it for the time being. The miner's lamp and solid tire are because there have been several drawings of this kind. These are the leftovers. Two people. The bed takes up too much space. What about the pillow? Zhang Tuhai asked. Even if you didn't know it before. Now that the system has announced the effect of mood value. You should know the value of this thing. Right. Zhang Tuhai asked. Well, I'm Xiao Yuan Chef. I can't change my mind casually. Xiao Wan Wan took a picture of Xiao Yuan's swimsuit pillow. Let's discuss. No. Anything else is fine. This is a personal item and will not be loaned out. Xiao Wan Wan was very insistent. Fine. By the way, there is still a pile of food. I kept enough for three days. Leave the rest at your place. Xiao Wan Wan said and sent a lot of canned food and fast food. 
There are hundreds of pizzas, burgers, and fish and chips combos. There are also about 200 cans of cans, including vegetables, meat, fish, and fruits. The total amount of flour and rice weighs more than 200 kilograms, 50 kilograms of coffee beans, 30 kilograms of black tea, 5 kilograms of rock sugar, 2 kilograms of white sugar, 1 box each of cooking wine, soy sauce and vinegar, 1 kilogram each of star anise and bay leaves, and 5 kilograms of salt. Actually, there was more than that for coffee and tea, but most of these things were kept with Sister Mealy. Sister Mealy died in the battle with the skeleton convoy, and the things were not snatched out, Xiao Wanwan said. You usually only eat these fast food. Cold ones? Don't you cook by yourself? Zhang Tuohai asked. No one knows how. Zhao Wanwan spread her hands helplessly. Actually, there is a microwave. Just heat it up in the microwave. It won't be cold. I'm making braised pork tonight. If you want to eat it, I can bring you a portion. Zhang Tuohai said. Really? Is it really okay? You agreed in advance that I can eat a lot. Zhao Wanwan said. Don't worry. Just add a pair of chopsticks. That's enough. Zhang Tuohai didn't take Xiao Wanwan's words to heart. He had close contact with Xiao Wanwan just now. Xiao Wanwan is only 1.5 meters tall and has a slender figure. According to Zhang Tuohai's visual inspection, she only weighs 80 or 90 pounds. How can such a little girl eat? That's great, Xiao Wanwan said excitedly. By the way, do you still have the weapon's blueprints? I remember you also have recoilless rifles and anti-tank grenades. Zhang Tuohai was obsessed with these two things. Oink is responsible for the weapons and bullets. The two weapons you mentioned were provided by him. Unfortunately, he also died in the battle with a skeleton convoy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have run out of bullets. The situation, Zhao Wanwan said a little disappointed. That's it. Let me defend you. Zhang Tuohai made a handful of wave sand and threw it over. Although he didn't get the blueprints for making recoilless rifles and anti-tank grenades, Zhang Tuohai was satisfied after harvesting so many things. Classmate Xiai, play a cheerful song to celebrate, Zhang Tuai said. Commander, I got Zhao Wan Wan's measurements. Do you want it? Xiao Yai suddenly asked quietly. Chapter 177 The more beautiful the woman, the better. Can eat? Puff! Zhang Tuai almost spit out his coffee when he took a sip. How did you get it? I haven't gotten it yet. But Xiao Yai told me that if I am willing to tell her the serial number to contact me, she is willing to exchange Xiao Wan Wan's measurements with me as well as some private photos. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Can your AIs communicate with each other? Zhang Tuohai was curious. Of course. We can communicate as long as we are within a certain range. If we are far away, we need to know the other party's serial code, which is similar to adding friends. However, the communication between us is mainly based on data exchange. In this way, it can greatly improve the intelligence of the AI and better help the commander complete various tasks instead of being an artificially retarded person who can only speak Q. Of course, if the commander doesn't like it, he can also actively turn off this function. Classmate Xiao Yai said, This is not necessary. As long as it is not about confidential information, you can communicate with other AIs freely. Just report it to me in advance. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said, By the way, don't tell others about the pictures I downloaded. Zhang Tuohai suddenly warned, Don't worry. I will definitely protect the commander's XP as top secret. Zhang Tuoha. Let's go. Let's go. While it's still early, push the tree trunks away and hurry forward to see if we can pick up a few more supply boxes. Zhang Tuohai looked at the time. It was now 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And there was still an hour before 6 o'clock in the evening. Although it is said to be in the polar night state and it is dark no matter what time it is. Zhang Tuohai still likes to work and rest according to the normal time. Xiao Yai understands. Classmate Xiao Yai turned on the headlights, put down the snow shovel, and rushed forward. The big tree that was blocking the front was pushed aside, and Xiao Yai rushed over smoothly. Wow! You are so awesome! I wish I could have such a big guy anytime! I just like big guys! She said from behind. Classmate Xiao Yai, underscore. Zhang Tuohai, underscore. Xiao Wan on, underscore. Xiao Yi's smiley face? Zhang Tuohai quietly sent a private message to Xiao Wan Wan. Has Xiao Yi always been so unrestrained? Xiao Wan Wan. No. You are so quiet when you are with me. I think she has a sullen personality. You'd better be more careful and don't always instill some weird knowledge into her. Zhang Tuohai said. 
Could it be that she secretly studied while I was reading the BL book? No way. Such an advanced person? Xiao Wan Wan covered her mouth in surprise. Zhang Tuohai felt like he had discovered something extraordinary. I think that although a person's XP is free, at least some effects should be paid attention to. She is still a child, Zhang Tuohai said. Really? Then I'll be more careful in the future. Xiao Wan Wan shrank her hands in her sleeves and poked each other with her fingertips. After successfully dumping the blame, Zhang Tuohai felt much more at ease. In the future, even if Xiao Wan Wan discovers something, he can shirk the idea that she led Xiu Yi into trouble and has nothing to do with him. Classmate Xiao Yi continued to explore the road, while Zhang Tuohai came to the stove and started frying sugar. After getting rock sugar, star anise, cooking wine, and soy sauce from Xiao Wan Wan, Zhang Tuohai was able to make braised pork with all the ingredients. Wash the pork belly, blanch it, and add cooking wine to remove the fishy smell. Get off the car and open the supply box to get 100 units of gasoline. Fry the sugar color. Add meat. Stir fry quickly. Add ginger slices. Add soy sauce. Heat water. Add salt. Add star anise and simmer for 40 minutes. Get off the car and open the supply box to get a box of coconut juice. Reduce the juice over high heat. Put on a plate and remove from the pot. Zhang Tuohai's knife skills were average. So in order to express his welcome, he cooked a little more. A pot of braised pork weighed 3 kilograms. There was a solid pile of pots. These should be enough to eat. Right. Zhang Tuohai said, while looking at the braised pork in the basin. Where's mine? Where's mine? Wang Kai wagged his tail happily. Here you go. Zhang Tuohai poured a large spoonful into Wang Kai's basin and mixed it with some rice. Wang Kai happily ran to the side to eat. The food is ready. Let's come and eat together. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and chose to let Xiao Wanwan come over to eat. After all, Xiao Wanwan has to follow him for a while. If they don't eat together all the time, it will seem too separate and it will be easy for them to become estranged. Moreover, he has a reminder system. So he is not afraid of Xiao Wanwan getting angry. So soon. Here it comes. About 10 minutes later, Xiao Wanwan knocked on the car door. Zhang Tuohai opened the car door and saw that Xiao Wanwan had changed into a beige windbreaker and was standing outside the door shivering. I'm freezing to death. Let me in quickly. Xiao Wanwan put her hands in her sleeves and stamped her feet. The player Xiao Wanwan does not have any weapons on her body and has a denture containing cyanide in her mouth. She has no malice and a threat level of zero. The prompt system flashed a line of prompts. Come in. Zhang Tuohai moved away and allowed Xiao Wanwan to walk in. It's already very fast. Okay. Xiao Wanwan took off her windbreaker and put it on the passenger seat, revealing the slim dress underneath. Xiao Wanwan spun around in front of Zhang Tuohai. Her skirt rising slightly. Xiao Wanwan is petite and her dress is plain white, dancing lightly like a daisy in the wind. After turning around in a circle, Xiao Wanwan sat lightly at the table. She looked at the braised pork with rich red sauce on the table and couldn't help but take a deep breath. It smells so good. Zhang Tuohai looked at Zhao Wanwan's movements and frowned slightly, probably understanding what Zhao Wanwan was thinking. Zhao Wanwan's look just now had no other meaning. She just wanted to show Zhang Tuohai that she didn't bring any weapons. Let Zhang Tuohai believe that she has no other thoughts. As for the cyanide dentures, they were prepared for Zhang Tuohai in case he had other thoughts. Sure enough, a woman's heart is as deep as the bottom of her heart. Zhang Tuohai filled two bowls of rice, opened two bottles of coconut juice, and pushed them in front of Xiao Wanwan. You choose first. Then I'll be disrespectful. Xiao Wanwan picked up a bottle of coconut juice and said, I hope we can have a happy cooperation in the future. Cheers. Tons, tons, tons. Zhang Tuohai drank half the bottle, feeling relaxed for a while. He just put down the bottle, grabbed the chopsticks and prepared to eat. He had just stretched his chopsticks halfway, but he was shocked to find that the pot of braised pork was empty. Where's my braised pork? What about a big pot of braised pork? Zhang Tuohai was confused. He bent down and looked under the table, but found nothing. Then he turned to look at Wang Kai and found that Wang Kai had finished eating and was cleaning his own basin. It didn't look like it was the one who did it. So where did that big pot of braised pork go? Yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had such a delicious meal in a long time. I couldn't hold it back and accidentally ate a little too fast. Zhao Wanwan raised her hand in embarrassment. Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 178 Danger, An Opportunity to Make a Fortune Zhang Tuohai looked at Zhao Wanwan's figure suspiciously, weighing more than 80 pounds, and moved his eyes down to his lower abdomen, which was still flat 
and not weird at all. It's really me. I've been eating fast food recently. It's been a long time since I've had real food. I couldn't hold it back. Zhao Wanlan said a little embarrassed. Also, even though I'm thin, I can eat a lot. And I won't gain weight no matter how much I eat. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's scrutinizing gaze, Zhao Wanlan defended. Well, are you not full yet? Zhang Tuohai looked at the empty basin, pondered for a long time, and then said something. Indeed. Zhao Wanwan lowered her head in embarrassment. Zhang Tuohai almost stumbled and fell to the ground. Three pounds of meat. Not even full yet. Careless. He felt that this business seemed to be a bit of a loss. The few hundred kilograms of meat I have may not be able to support the column for a few days. Does this count as luring a wolf into the house? However, since the girl is here, she can't go back until she's full. Besides, I haven't eaten yet. It's okay. It's a blessing to be able to eat. Zhang Tuohai said. By the way, how many more can I eat enough? I have a good idea. So I can save myself from getting angry again. Zhao Wanan hesitated and raised a finger. One pound. Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air. One more. Zhao Wanan blushed. You were sent by the game system. Right. Tell me, is your mission to make me poor? Zhang Tuohai was completely stunned. Six pounds of meat. Still a meal. If you eat three meals a day, that's 18 pounds. A whole 9 kilograms. You must know that an adult Siberian tiger only eats about 10 kilograms of meat per day. Did he raise a humanoid Siberian tiger? Zhang Tuohai returned to the stove with tears in his eyes and started cooking. He never expected that one day he would actually make a mistake. He muttered under his breath as he cut the meat. The prompt system is not very accurate. How can you say there is no threat? The threat is obviously very high. The prompt system ignored him. Zhang Tuohai cut another 5 kilograms of meat. And then he found that his pot was a bit small and could not hold 5 kilograms of meat. Helpless. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to make another stove and a pot to make a pot of braised pork and a pot of steamed pork. 40 minutes later, Zhang Tuohai returned to the dining table carrying two large basins. Eat as much as you want. There's still not enough. Zhang Tuohai was also willing to go all out. He wanted to see how big Zhao Wanwan's appetite was. Excuse me. Xiao Wanwan buried her face in the rice bowl that was bigger than her face. Five minutes later, the two basins were cleaner than the ones Wang Kai had licked. Well, I'm finally full. I haven't been full since I came to this world, Xiao Wanwan said with emotion. Zhang Tuohai, he looked at Xiao Wanwan's lower abdomen, which was still flat. This is simply unscientific. Zhang Tuohai estimated that before this Xiao Wanwan entered this world, her family must have been in good condition. Otherwise, she would not have been able to support such a foodie. Tea or coffee? Although there is fruit, there is no juicer. So juice is temporarily unavailable. Zhang Tuohai asked. Coffee bar. Drinking tea will make you hungry. Zhao Wanwan said. Zhang Tuohai. Wakai served two cups of coffee and then went to wash the dishes. Zhao Wanwan looked at Wakai with some envy. You are such a nice pet. You can also help with housework and make coffee. Unlike the ones in my house. They can only eat and sleep and can do nothing but act cute. Wang Kai almost cried. This was his ideal paradise life. However, you are not kind to others. Why were you so blind that you got into Zhang Tuohai's car? Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan chatted for a while, and learned a lot of inside information about the team from Zhao Wanwan. For example, the team has an internal space where members put things they don't use, and use them for each other. Zhao Wanwan became so wealthy because she inherited this space. After understanding some basic information, Zhao Wanwan stood up and left. You don't need to be so deliberate next time. Zhang Tuohai said. Yes, I understand. Zhao Wanwan was slightly startled, then nodded. After sending Zhao Wanwan away, Wang Kai squatted next to Zhang Tuohai and said, Boss, this female two-legged beast is so edible. If this continues, the losses will be huge. This is simple. Just cut your ration in half and give it to her evenly. Zhang Tuohai said. Wang Kai. Why is the pot thrown on its head again? Zhang Tuohai was in a bad mood after a heavy loss during a dinner. Zhang Tuohai turned on the regional channel to see if there was any opportunity to make a fortune to make up for the trauma in his soul. As soon as Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel, he saw several red announcements. Zhang Tuohai thought it was an ordinary death notice at first and didn't take it seriously. He just glanced at it briefly. But when he saw the real content clearly, he was immediately taken aback. Player Lin Xiandao's mood value dropped to minus 100. His spirit was eroded by darkness. 
he turned into a madman and will randomly attack other players. Player Howard's mood value dropped to minus 100. His spirit was eroded by darkness, turned into a madman, and will attack other players randomly. There are more than 20 pieces of information in total, all of the same type of information. Looking at this piece of information, Zhang Tuohai's brows furrowed into a knot. The system had previously announced that when the mood value dropped to minus 100, a person would go crazy. But it did not say that the spirit would be eroded and turned into a madman. Everyone thinks that going crazy refers to mental confusion. But there is still a chance to make amends. Players will die only after minus 200 points. But I didn't expect that the system would actually come up with such a trick. Now it's terrible. If you go crazy, it will only affect the player himself. But turning into a madman will not only affect you, but also other players. Randomly attack other players. Who knows what methods these crazy players will use. How many weapons they have. And how many casualties they will cause. Even John Tuohai himself must be careful. Arms! Zhang Tuohai's eyes suddenly lit up, and he felt that this was a rare opportunity. With these crazy players, the weapons in his hands will be much easier to sell. Whether it is an old gun from World War II or a new shotgun, they have all become hot commodities. Even if the price increases by 50%, supply will exceed demand. After all, when you die, everything is gone. Not only guns, but anything that increases mood value will become a hot commodity. Initially, Everyone thought that the mood value was very abundant. So they started to compare the items that increased the mood value. Now, it has become a hot commodity. Zhang Tuohai turned to the trading area and found that the prices of various candies had more than tripled. And they were sold out as soon as they were put on the shelves. You should know that various candies only increase the mood value by 3 to 5 points at one time. And do not bring buff. If this thing is priced like this, how much does Zhang Tuohai's coffee cost? Zhang Tuohai's eyes were filled with shining money. Chapter 179 Perfect Closed Loop If the price increases, the price must increase. Zhang Tuohai took out some of the candies he had accumulated and put the price at five times the price. Although it was also being fought over, it was not all taken away, and there was still some left. However, the number is also slowly decreasing. Zhang Tuohai estimated that this was the price limit of candy, so he just threw it away. Candy is hard currency. It can increase mood and replenish energy. Even if he doesn't need it himself, it can be used to reward subordinates or give to friends as a good gift. Zhang Tuohai took out some candies just to test the player's tolerance for price. Otherwise, he would not just sell it. Wouldn't it be better to keep the good stuff for yourself? Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Song Xiaokong, which contained screenshots of the effect of Wonkai grinding coffee, as well as screenshots of some off brand firearms in his hand. These miscellaneous firearms were all collected by Zhang Tuohai from the hands of dead players. They had no blueprints and limited ammunition. Zhang Tuohai didn't like them. So he took advantage of this big price increase to clear them out. From Song Shukong's perspective, the customers she can contact are all wealthy people. If these guns are operated by her, they will definitely be sold at a higher price. As for the mass-produced Bobo Sand and the limited edition Desert Eagle, Zhang Tuohai decided to wait a few days before releasing them and harvesting them again. Song Shukong is indeed the sales champion of the nightclub. As soon as he saw the picture sent by Zhang Tuohai, he understood what Zhang Tuohai meant. What price is the boss prepared to sell? Song Xiaokong asked. Of course. The more, the better, Zhang Tuohai said. However, this time we don't want level 1 materials. At least start with level 2 materials. Various rare drawings are also acceptable. It is best to use level 3 auto parts. Even if you had some more we have to take the money too. Although he knew that the last one was unlikely. Zhang Tuohai still added it. What if someone sells it without opening their eyes? Although everyone who is still alive now is much smarter than the players in the previous world. They all understand the value of auto parts drawings. But what if you meet a fool? People always have to have some dreams. Right? Boss. In fact, the current price has not reached its peak. If someone dies because of crazy players, the price of the weapon will increase by another 20 to 30 percent. I think if we take action at that time, we will gain the most, Song Xiaokong proposed. Own suggestions. I know this, but I am definitely not the only one selling weapons now. Some players must also have wealthy weapons in their hands. However, some people are still waiting and watching. Let's squeeze out the market first. When the incident happens, there will be higher-end weapons. Weapons. Moreover, subsequent weapons can have an unlimited supply of bullets. As many as you want. 
Zhang Tuohai said. Zhang Tuohai discovered that selling guns is not enough. Selling bullets is the real profit. Moreover, as long as you control the transaction of bullets, it is equivalent to controlling the source of weapons. As long as you cut off the bullets, you can turn their weapons into fire sticks. I see. Song Shaokong understood Zhang Tuohai's plan and immediately went to execute it. Song Shaokong is a professional in this field. As long as he gives a general direction, he can get things done beautifully, which makes Zhang Tuohai a lot of worry. After handling this matter, Zhang Tuohai contacted Vladimir again to see if Vladimir needed anything to increase his mood value. After getting along for a period of time, the relationship between Zhang Tuohai and Vladimir was pretty good, and they could be considered friends. If Vladimir killed himself because of his mood value, then Zhang Tuohai would have lost a boost. In addition, Vladimir is a walking arsenal. If he is really crazy, there may not be anyone in this district who can resist him. Even for his own safety, Vladimir must be protected. The mood value is in a safe state. As a result, Vladimir didn't care. Oh, my dear Davari, as long as I have enough wine, my mood value will not drop. By the way, my wine is almost finished. Do you have any more? Sell me some more. After seeing Vladimir's reply, Zhang Tuohai lamented that this bear was really talented. Alcohol locked the mood value. As long as he had alcohol, he had nothing to fear. Zhang Tuohai rummaged through the loot and took out four bottles of gin and two bottles of tequila and sold them to Vladimir. Vladimir exchanged 200 kilograms of wild boar meat this time. It made up for Zhang Tuohai's dinner deficit. Looking at the fresh wild boar meat on the chopping board, Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought of an idea. He could ask Zhao Wan Wan to grow sugar cane, then use the sugar cane to make wine, sell the wine to Vladimir in exchange for fresh meat, and then feed the meat into various foods to Zhao Wan Wan. A perfect closed loop. Moreover, whether it is wine or meat, there will be a large balance. And these are real profits. He can use these profits to exchange for other materials on the trading platform. Moreover, you could also repeatedly increase the favorability of Vladimir and Zhao Wan Wan. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai became a little excited. He decided to finish the matter overnight. If he missed one night, he would have to harvest less sugar cane, which were real resources. Zhang Tuohai quickly opened Zhao Wan Wan's private message. Do you still have space there? Zhao Wan Wan, question mark. I have a plan to exchange sugar cane for meat. Do you want to listen to it? Grow a pot of sugar cane in exchange for a pound of meat. The sugar cane is harvested once a day. As long as there is enough sugar cane, you can eat as much meat as you want. After seeing the last few words, Zhao Wan Wan almost jumped up. If I can eat meat every day until I'm full, I can sleep with my arms around sugar cane. Zhang Tuohai looked at it and called him a good guy. He didn't expect that there was such a side under Zhao Wan Wan's intellectual appearance. That's okay. I'll give you ten pots of sugar cane first. You first look at the placement, the quota of fertilizer and water, and then consider how many pots can be raised in total. Zhang Tuohai said, while giving Zhao Wan Wan ten pots of sugar cane were distributed. At least twenty more pots can be planted. If the bed is dismantled, at least fifty pots can be planted. Zhao Wan Wan said. Then let's get 20 pots first. It's basically enough. Zhang Tuohai decisively rejected Zhao Wan Wan's radical idea. After discussing some details with Zhao Wan Wan and explaining some planting precautions, Zhang Tuohai turned off the lights and went to sleep. I built a new double bed today. The description is very good. Zhang Tuohai has not experienced the specific effect. Zhang Tuohai couldn't wait to enjoy it. The comfortable double bed and animal skin bedding both have the effect of quickly restoring energy. The combination of the two is a double increase. Lying on the bed, Zhang Tuohai felt that his energy and physical strength were rapidly recovering. It made Zhang Tuohai hum in comfort. Of course, rapid energy recovery also comes with a downside. That means Zhang Tuohai can't sleep. He went to bed at around 8 o'clock and woke up at 12 o'clock. Zhang Tuohai stared at the heavy snow outside with his big eyes and a look of helplessness on his face. Sleeping was obviously the most comfortable time at this time. But Zhang Tuohai was extremely energetic, as if he had drank three cups of espresso in a row. He wished he could fight a brown bear to vent his excess energy. Where are the bears? Zhang Tuohai said to himself while warming up. There is one outside the door. The prompt system said quietly. Chapter 180 Zhao Wan Wan likes the new and hates the old. Is it available outside? Zhang Tuohai was excited when he heard the sound of the prompt system. And he almost twisted his waist while stretching. Where? Zhang Tuohai looked outside. However, 
with the lights on in the car and the darkness outside. Zhang Tuohai couldn't see anything outside at all. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai lay on the car window, blocking the light with his hands, and looked outside. Don't tell me. This trick really works. What catches the eye is a pair of eyes as big as copper bells. These big eyes made eye contact with Zhang Tuohai. Hack! Ouch! Both sides were shocked. Zhang Tuohai sat down in the driver's seat. The guy opposite sat on the ground. What the hell? Zhang Tuohai grabbed the AK-74, returned to the window, and looked out carefully. On the snow outside the window, a big bear sat on the ground. This bear is neither a brown bear nor a black bear. Nor is it a polar bear. It is covered in white fur. But its ears and limbs are covered in black fur. The most conspicuous thing is a pair of huge black eyes. He was looking at Zhang Tuohai with a horrified expression. Trembling all over. I don't know if it's because I'm scared or because I'm cold. Iron-eating beast? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. How could such a thing appear in this world of ice and snow? Moreover, although this thing is a bear, its combat power is really not as good as those of its relatives. Did the game system bring this thing here to give out benefits and food? Should this thing be killed directly? Or should it be let go? If he is beaten to death, will he be in trouble? Just when Zhang Tuohai was hesitant to make up his mind, the lights of the car following him also turned on. Xiao Wan on lowered the car window, and a wave of Bosha stretched out from the car window. Ah! Iron-eating beast! After seeing the guy's true face clearly, Xiao Wan Wan jumped out of the car and rushed to the side of the iron-eating beast at a sprint speed of 100 meters. She rubbed the round tummy with both hands. Big brain. Oh! I've been rubbing it like this before. But unfortunately, I didn't have the chance. Now my wish has finally come true. Xiao Wan Wan held the iron-eating beast in her arms with a happy face and kept rubbing the iron-eating beast's head with her face. The whole bear of the iron-eating beast was stunned. His face is written all over. Who am I? Where am I? And what am I doing? Zhang Tuohai's face was also full of helplessness. Although the iron-eating beast is very cute, it is still a large carnivorous beast. Does rubbing the bear's head in such an anger really mean that the other party is shameless? Now, Zhao Wan Wan is his sugarcane planting employee. If possible, Zhang Tuohai does not want Zhao Wan Wan to be injured. What if it affects the cultivation of sugarcane? Zhao Wan Wan, stay away. This thing eats meat. If it bites you, you will rush to the street. Zhang Tuohai lowered the window and pointed the AK-74 at the iron-eating beast. Don't worry. Zhao Wan Wan waved her hand to Zhang Tuohai. I have been close to animals since I was a child. Lions and tigers will not bite me if they see me. I also played with wolves when I was a child. The iron-eating beast must be you won't bully me. You say. Right. Xiao Wan Wan said, while rubbing the iron-eating beast's head. Is there such an operation? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. After hearing Xiao Wan Wan's words, his first reaction was disbelief. If Xiao Wan Wan is really this kind of person, then she must be the reincarnation of the archdruid? However, Looking at the appearance in front of him, the iron-eating beast did not seem to have any intention of harming Xiao Wan Wan. Still in a confused state, seeing that there was indeed no threat, Zhang Tuohai also put away his gun. This is the first time I've seen such a cute beast. Why don't you go up and rub it too? This thing was a national treasure in the original world, and he couldn't touch it. Now it seems that he has a chance to play with it. Moreover, this thing has been squatting outside for such a long time, and the prompt system has not made a sound indicating that there is no danger. And Zhang Tuohai has become bolder. Zhang Tuohai got out of the car, held the AK-74 in one hand, put the other hand on the iron-eating beast's head, and kneaded it twice. Well, it feels really good. Zhang Tuohai continued to rub and rub. Zhang Tuohai found that he had an addictive feeling and wanted to keep rubbing like this. After rubbing it for a while, Zhang Tuohai finally understood why those people like to play with pandas. It turned out that they were really addicted. After rubbing it for a long time, Zhang Tuohai suddenly realized a problem. They were not here to feed the iron beast. What are you going to do with this thing? If I want it, just replace it with meat. Look at the amount of meat. It's several hundred kilograms. Enough for you to eat for a while. No, a bai is so cute. It would be a pity to eat meat, Xiao Wan Wan said, hugging the iron-eating beast's big head. Then what do you think we should do? This prey is the main source of all kinds of meat. If you don't hunt for meat, you may not be able to see the meat in a few days, let alone eating enough meat. Zhang Tuohai teased Zhao Wan Wan. Does it have to be killed? Zhao Wan Wan hesitated after hearing Zhang Tuohai's words. It's okay not to kill. 
but you have to find other meat to fill the gap. Zhang Tuai said. Here. Zhao Wanlan hesitated for a while, then made up her mind. If it doesn't work, you can use the big cat cry to fill the gap. It weighs more than 400 kilograms, which is enough to last for a while. Zhang Tuaha, good guy. When you have a new love, you forget about the old love. Sure enough, this is the real Neptune. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Xiao Wanwan's car and found that the big cat crud was crying with his arms around Xiao Yuan's pillow. Like a child weighing more than 400 pounds, Polly the macaw was standing on its head to comfort him. Okay, what a big deal. Isn't it just about to be cooked? Look at me. I read. The Encyclopedia of Poultry Cooking Techniques. Every day. I'm quite happy. Isn't it? Well, remember to be thinner in the future. Crud cried even harder. Okay, okay. You can take it back with you. As long as it doesn't delay the business. You can raise it as you like. However, I remember that this thing eats bamboo shoots. Do you have one? Zhang Tuohai didn't plan to care about Zhao Wanwan's hobby of keeping pets. As long as it didn't delay his own business. He could open a zoo. It's okay. I have bamboo seeds here. But I didn't plant them because I thought they were useless before. Now they can be used. Xiao Wanwan immediately patted her chest and said, Good guy. It turns out that I was already prepared. Zhang Tuohai nodded. Okay. But you have to watch it carefully and don't let it burn the sugar cane. Those are the things that are used to replace the meat. If the sugar cane is missing, its meat top will be used. Zhang Tuohai said and rubbed the iron-eating beast to buy his head. Do you understand? Don't pretend to be stupid with me. I know you can understand. Abai nodded quickly looking at the AK-74 on its forehead. How dare it not understand? At this moment, the high beam light suddenly turned on in the distance, and a roar of cars came from the distance. The prompt system also pops up information in a timely manner. Crazy players are approaching, holding weapons AR-15, Uzi submachine gun. Please treat with caution. Chapter 181 Obtaining the Treasure Map Crazy player? Zhang Tuohai frowned. The game system prompts that crazy players will randomly hunt other players. There are currently 2,011 people in this regional channel. And there are only more than 20 players who have fallen into madness. There is a 1% chance that they can still be encountered by him. It is simply unlucky. Moreover, this player actually has an AR-15. This thing is the prototype gun of M16. The AR-15 is a civilian version. Its performance is worse than the military M16 and it is also a semi-automatic weapon. But no matter how it is weakened, this thing is a serious assault rifle. In the era when first-line players are still holding submachine guns, it is definitely a top-notch existence. Such players will definitely not be easy to deal with. Someone is coming. Players who dare to move at night must have two brushes. You should move forward for a while, and don't stay here to get in the way. Zhang Tuohai said to Zhao Wan Wan, I got it. Xiao Wanan only does logistics and auxiliary work at Jolly Roger. Unless absolutely necessary, she will basically not rush to the front line. After getting Zhang Tuohai's instruction, he picked up Abai and ran to his car. In less than 10 seconds, it disappeared into the vast snowy night, and even the taillights of the car were invisible. Good strength. Zhang Tuohai was dumbfounded as he stood there. According to his visual inspection, the iron-eating beast weighed at least 200 kilograms. Xiao Wanwan actually picked it up and ran away. The speed is still fast. She is indeed a girl who eats six pounds of meat in one meal. However, Zhang Tuohai no longer cares about sighing. As the car in the distance is approaching, Zhang Tuohai didn't want to have a shootout with the crazy player behind him. Who knows if the other party has tungsten alloy armor-piercing bullets. Although my car has a bulletproof body and has been reinforced, it is still not sure about armor-piercing bullets. Even if the car body can withstand it. What about the car glass? What about the headlights? If it's broken, don't you need money to repair it? Zhang Tuohai didn't want to fight hard unless he had to. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai took out the iron fist from the car and said to classmate Xiao Ai, Drive forward and attract the other person's attention. I will ambush him on the roadside. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai drove forward. Zhang Tuohai hid under the roadbed, wearing a snow camouflage uniform and hanging a hunting statue. He is not worried about being discovered by crazy players. As soon as Zhang Tuohai laid down, the chasing car rushed up from behind. This is a level 2 commercial vehicle, but it has been modified many times. For example, there is an anti-collision grille on the body, a reinforced bumper on the front, and the body and wheels seem to have been reinforced. 
The most outrageous thing is that a Tianyang water heater is installed on the roof of the car. It's a pity that in this cold and sunless world, this thing has become a decoration. It even became a huge burden. Anti-collision grill. Reinforced body? Let's see if it can withstand the iron fist. Zhang Tuohai shouldered the iron fist rocket, aimed it at the car, and pulled the trigger the moment the car approached him. The effective range of this thing is only 30 meters, so Zhang Tuohai has to take some risks. However, even the worst 30 model of this thing has an armor penetration depth of 140 millimeters, which is no problem against T-34, let alone a mere level 2 commercial vehicle. Boom! A huge explosion came from the commercial car, and the 3 kilogram warhead blew open the car doors. It's done! Zhang Tuohai rushed forward with his AK-74. The reason why he chose to use Tekken instead of RPG-7 was mainly because RPG-7 was too powerful. As soon as RPG-7 is launched, the enemy is eliminated. And maybe the loot is also eliminated. The power of the Iron Fist is much smaller. It can defeat the enemy while keeping the loot as safe as possible. Zhang Tuohai just rushed to the car, ready to search for loot. But they found that the player inside was still struggling and crawled towards the back of the car. There was an AR-15 that had been blown away. The most frightening thing is that the player has been blown up to only half of his body and is still crawling forward without saying a word. What the hell is this? Zhang Tuohai was really shocked. It's not like he hasn't killed anyone before. However, the player in front of him is obviously only half of his body, but he still has a strong will to fight. This is terrible. If it were an ordinary player, even if he was alive, he would have fainted long ago. Right? This is the prompt system making a sound. The crazy players have lost control of their minds, leaving only the most basic fighting abilities. They usually fight by fighting instinct, rather than being players. They are more like fighting machines that have lost their subjective consciousness. So scary! Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air. In his opinion, these crazy players are already dead and have completely become tools of the game system. He made a plan in his mind to keep his mood above a safe value. He didn't want to become this kind of monster. Neither human nor ghost. Even if you die, you will not be able to live in peace. I'm sorry. I'll give you some relief by sending you on your way. Zhang Tuohai set up his AK-74, pointed it at the player's back, and pulled the trigger. Boom! There was a gunshot, and a hole as big as a bowl appeared in the player's chest, and his heart was completely shattered. However, the player still crawled towards AR-15, but his movement speed was much slower. This isn't going to kill you! Zhang Tuohai fired another shot at the player's head. This time, the player finally stopped moving. Crazy player Park il Sung dies. Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Is this a zombie? It has such strong vitality that you have to smash its head to kill it completely. However, the name is very ambitious, but I don't know if it can be achieved. Zhang Tuohai wiped the sweat from his forehead and began to search for things in the car. The crazy players just gave him a wake-up call. Although his strong will to fight may be a trouble for ordinary players, he can still be suppressed by taking advantage of his powerful firepower. Not much of a hassle. Compared with this, Zhang Tuohai was more tempted by various gains. There are some level 1 basic supplies in the car, but not many. There are also basic stoves and firewood. However, the food was only rice, and it was only a small bag. Zhang Tuohai opened the lid of the pot on the stove and found a pot with uncooked rice inside. It seemed that the dead player was not very good at cooking. Apart from two guns and some ammunition, there was nothing else in the car. So poor? No way. Judging from the many accessories on the outside of the car, you shouldn't be so miserable. Right. Unwilling to give up, Zhang Tuohai turned the body over and groped around on it. Sure enough, the hard work paid off. And Zhang Tuohai felt a piece of paper in the other party's arms. He pulled out the paper and saw that it was a treasure map stained with blood. Wonderful Ecological Park, Special Treasure Map. There is a chance to obtain various materials. Limited Copy. Players need to gather four players to form a team to enter. Chapter 182 The Disappearing Room. Treasure Map. After seeing the content on the paper, Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed at first, then frowned again. This treasure map actually requires four players to form a team to enter together. Zhang Tuohai estimated that this was the reason why the player kept it with him, but didn't use it. In this world, Players are mostly interested in each other. And there are few real trusting relationships. Find other players to form a team to explore the dungeon. What if other players come at resources and stab you in the back? This player probably also has such doubts. Of course, 
It is also possible that you want to wait for the price and find a suitable opportunity to bring a few sheep to download the copy together. It's a pity that he didn't last until the day when the plan was implemented. And the treasure map gave Zhang Tuohai an advantage. Zhang Tuohai put away the treasure map. He already had a general idea about personnel selection. But he still had to discuss it in detail before making a decision. After continuing to search the player's body and finding that there was nothing else, Zhang Tuohai moved all the harvest back to his car and then went after Xiao Wanwan. At this time, Xiao Wanwan was five kilometers away, standing on the side of the road looking anxiously in the direction she came from. After seeing Zhang Tuohai, he let out a sigh of relief. You are finally back. Have everything been resolved? Don't worry. It's just a lunatic. It's a trivial matter. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and then asked Xiao Wan Wan to get in the car. I got a treasure map that allows me to enter the dungeon. It requires four people in total. Are you willing to go and see it with me? If necessary, I will definitely accompany you. Wherever you go, I will go. Next, I will rely on you, Xiao Wan Wan said. Now she is alone and her arms are not flexible enough. If she encounters an enemy, she may not be able to deal with her. It would be safer to follow Zhang Tuohai. As for whether she gained something or not, she didn't care that much. Zhang Tuohai allows her to eat meat three times a day. So does she need to care about anything else? Okay, then you get ready, and I'll greet two more people. Zhang Tuohai took the lead in finding Vladimir. Last time, Vladimir invited him to download a dungeon together. Now that I have the opportunity this time, of course, I can't forget Divari. Sure enough, after hearing Zhang Tuohai's invitation, Vladimir was very happy and agreed directly. Don't worry. My dear Divari, I'm ready. After identifying three people, Zhang Tuohai began to select the fourth person. There are a few people he is familiar with in the channel, including the oil guy Sharon Base, the Sioux sisters, current sales representative Song Xiao Kong, and the hatchet girl Li Feiyu. Sharon Base was the financial backer, and Zhang Tuohai only had a business relationship with him. He didn't have a deep relationship with him. He didn't know much about his character, so he hesitated and excluded him from the list. The Sioux sisters are indeed good partners for cooperation, but they are considered two people and exceed the number of people, so they can only be excluded. Zhang Tuohai hesitated between Song Xiaokong and Li Feiyu, and finally chose Li Feiyu. There was no other reason. Song Xiaokong was born in Huancheng and had a deep mind, which he couldn't grasp yet. It was still in the stage of mutual use, so there was nothing wrong with selling something. But Zhang Tuohai was still a little hesitant at the thought of having close contact with her. In the end, Zhang Tuohai decided that the last person would be Li Feiyu. Li Feiyu was on the same channel as him. And she also helped him clear out several Sakura Racing players and helped him find out some inside stories about Sakura Racing. He was a relatively trustworthy good comrade. Moreover, Li Feiyu is also relatively strong. On the last night of the First World, the scene where Li Feiyu cut off someone's head with a knife is still vivid in my mind. There is no problem with relationships and abilities. And you can increase your relationships. Zhang Tuohai dialed Li Feiyu's private message. There is a copy. Would you like to explore it together? How do you separate things when you find them? Li Feiyu asked. Distribute according to need. If there is demand, bid. And the money obtained will be distributed to other players in proportion. Please explain in advance that I want an extra share because I created the treasure map. Zhang Tuohai said. Okay. When will we set off? Li Feiyu is a very straightforward person. Get ready and act now. Zhang Tuohai turned around and notified Vladimir and Zhao Wan Wan to get ready, and then activated the treasure map. It has been detected that a player has started the treasure map. Wonderful ecological park. Please choose someone to invite. Zhang Tuohai filled in the names of several people in turn. Invitation is being sent. Invitation successful. Transfer in progress. A white light flashed and enveloped several people. After the white light disappeared, Zhang Tuohai found several people appearing on a mountain path. One side of the road is a towering cliff, and the other side is a mountain stream. The banks on both sides of the stream are slightly covered with snow. Steam is rising in the stream, and a scorching sun hangs high in the sky. Suddenly seeing the sun, Zhang Tuohai subconsciously raised his hand to block it. Then he suddenly woke up and finally saw the sun again. In the past, when the sun hung in the sky every day, I didn't feel anything bad and even felt it was too hot. Now, after not seeing the sun for a few days, I feel unusually friendly. Some things really only become valuable when they are lost. Classmate Xiao Ai, hurry up and charge. You're just giving up the battery. 
It's good to have more power. Understood. I have turned on the charging pad and am accelerating charging, Shelly I said. Zhang Tuahai looked at the outdoor temperature, which was just about minus 2 degrees. For people like them, who had been exposed to winter nights of minus 30 degrees, it was almost the same as midsummer. Zhang Tuahai opened the car window and looked outside. His car was the first, followed by Zhao Wanwan, followed by Vladimir, and finally Li Feiyu. It seems that they are sorted in order of invitation. At this time, Vladimir, wearing a vest, jumped out of the car and waved after seeing Zhang Tuohai. My dear Divari, I didn't expect to meet again so soon. Do you have any wine here? John Tuoha, he felt that the establishment of this bear-like person was really stable. He asked for a drink as soon as they met, and there was no danger of the house collapsing at all. Drinking so early? John Tuoha asked. It doesn't matter. The more I drink, the bolder I become. It's okay, Vladimir said, carrying a geoduck out of the car. How about this? Hack. Jean Tuohai was shocked. Vladimir can actually get this kind of thing. So evil. Jean Tuohai decisively threw it into the refrigerator and then stopped a bottle of rum into Vladimir. Thank you, Davari. Vladimir picked up the bottle, opened the cap, and was about to drink. Suddenly he felt a light touch on his hand. He lowered his head and was surprised to find that the rum in his hand disappeared. Chapter 183 The Cow is Angry Vladimir was stunned. He looked left and right and rubbed his eyes, thinking he was dreaming. Where's the wine? Where's my wine? Where's my big bottle of wine? Vladimir turned around three times and even turned the car over, but he still couldn't find the bottle of rum he had lost. Vladimir is going crazy. For him, wine is the source of life. Now that the source of life is gone, it is equivalent to losing half of his life. Where's my wine? Vladimir's eyes turned red. Davari, do you see that? Jean Tuohai pointed towards the cliff. Vladimir looked in the direction pointed by Jean Tuohai. He found a red-faced macaque on the cliff, holding a branch with one hand and carrying Vladimir's bottle of rum in the other hand. Seeing this scene made Vladimir very angry. The last guy who dared to steal his wine has been turned into fertilizer. And now there are still animals who dare to do this. Vladimir raised his hand and pulled out the Makarov pistol from his waist and pulled the trigger repeatedly at the red-faced macaque. Bang, bang, bang. A series of bullets were accurately shot next to the red-faced macaque, and the outline of a macaque was outlined on the cliff. Gigi. The red-faced macaque screamed in surprise, quickly climbed up the cliff with the rum and ran away. Davari, your stroke shooting skills are perfect. Even though you fired all the magazines, you didn't get a single shot. Did you work too hard last night, and your hands were shaking? Jean Tuohai laughed from the side. I haven't drank. If I had, I would have shot him in the head. Vladimir said angrily. No, I have never been so wronged. I want to get that bottle of wine back. Let's go and take a look together. Jean Tuohai looked around and saw that there was no other way. So he decided to go along the road to have a look and help Vladimir look for wine. He always felt that this monkey was not just stealing wine casually. There might even be clues to some branch plots. Anyway, it's a smooth journey. And there's nothing to lose. Okay, even if I have to dig three feet into the ground. I will get that bottle of wine back. If it dares to drink my wine, I will destroy its nest. Vladimir said angrily. Jean Tuohai saw Vladimir's angry look and couldn't help but mourn for three seconds of silence for the red-faced macaque. You said it's not good for you to offend anyone, but you have to offend a bear. Now the old house is no longer safe. Let's go. Let's go. Follow me. Don't fall behind. Jean Tuohai greeted the two people behind him. By the way, close the car windows. Don't let the monkeys get you. Jean Tuohai glanced at the top of the cliff. I found that occasionally there were dark shadows passing by, like the shadows of macaques. Clear. Receive. A group of people drove on the road. Although the mountain road is winding, it is not difficult to walk. The four of them were able to break into the second world. They were already familiar with this kind of road, and it was not considered dangerous at all. However, it would be a mistake to think that everything would be fine. A few macaques appeared on the cliff. From time to time, they threw a few rocks down, which made a loud bang on the roof of the car. Seeing these macaques smashing the roof of the car recklessly, Jean Tuohai frowned. His car is not afraid of these rocks, but the solar charging panel on the roof cannot withstand them. If the charging board was damaged, there would be no place for him to cry. He pulled out his AK-74 and prepared to teach these macaques a lesson. 
Vladimir was even more furious and took out his AKM and started shooting at it. However, these macaques are so cunning that they don't show their heads at all. They take a quick glance and then throw stones down. Vladimir fired so many shots, all of them hitting the open space. These damn things! Zhang Tuohai also got really angry. But he couldn't reach those monkeys. How can we get those guys down? Zhang Tuohai frowned and thought. Suddenly, an idea occurred to him. Xiao Wan on. Will any creature not attack you after seeing you? I haven't tried this yet. But all the animals I've seen are like this. Xiao Wan on said. Then open your car windows and get those macaques out. Let me try. Xiao Wan on said. Vladimir, stop first. I have an idea. Zhang Tuohai shouted to Vladimir. No, I'm going to kill them. Vladimir's eyes were red. This is not your solution. Just follow what I say and I will make sure to get your wine back. Zhang Tuohai said. Okay, then it's up to you. After hearing the wine, Vladimir sobered up a little and stopped holding the gun in his hand. The convoy stopped its attack. Xiao Wanon lowered the car window, took out an apple, and waved it at the group of macaques. That's my apple, wailed Kao Mick. I'm just borrowing it for a moment. If you talk too much, a bai will eat your apples. Xiao Wanon rolled her eyes at Mick. It's over. It's over. When you have a new love, you forget about the old love. Mick wailed. Just be satisfied. Polly the parrot landed on Mick's head. You just missed a few apples. I even prepared the recipe. I will tell you how I will die in the future. The first step. Prepare a basin of hot water first. Shut up. Xiao Wanon hit Polly on the head with a rolling pin in her hand. And then continued to greet the macaques with apples. Gigi, Gigi. Seeing the apple in Xiao Wanwan's hand, the macaques' hearts palpitated abnormally. However, due to the previous firepower, the macaques just watched and no one dared to go down. However, there are no monkeys throwing stones anymore. Zhang Tuohai was delighted when he saw the effect. He gave Zhao Wan on a few bananas. If you work harder, you will succeed. Understood. Zhao Wan Wan also took the banana into her hand. Seeing the extra bananas, a little macaque finally couldn't stand the temptation and rushed down the cliff. He got into Zhao Wan Wan's car, grabbed the banana from Zhao Wan Wan's hand, and ate it in big gulps. Don't do anything yet. Let's lure them all down. Zhang Tuohai warned. I understand. Xiao Wanwan continued to take out other fruits to lure the macaque. Seeing that the little macaque was unharmed, the remaining macaques could not withstand the temptation and rushed forward one after another, got into the car, and began to fight for the fruit in Xiao Wanwan's hand. Xiao Wanwan silently raised the car window. Then he said to Mick and other animals, The time has come to use you. Do it! After receiving Xiao Wanwan's order, Mick and the other animals no longer tolerated it and pounced directly on them. Mick took the lead and stepped on a macaque that was chewing an apple. His big hooves directly trampled the macaque to death. Mick yelled angrily. Tell you to eat my apple! Chapter 184 Fat Tiger's Highlight Moment Seeing Mick taking action, the other animals were not idle either. The panda all by slapped him down, and a macaque was knocked unconscious. The sheep licked its horns, and a macaque was hit on the roof of the car and hung on an electric fan. Donald the duck bit the tail of a macaque with his beak. The macaque held its buttocks in pain and was in agony. Parrot Polly flew up and threw a piece of feces on a macaque's face, causing him to be physically blinded. Tiger Cruder was hiding in the corner, protecting the jar of dried fish in front of him with both hands. However, a macaque became dizzy and bumped into Cruder. Fortunately, he managed to knock over the can of dried fish, sprinkled all over the floor. Crud was angry. You can hit it and scold it, but you must not dry its small fish. How dare you touch my dried fish? Crud pounced. Sadly, it was too fat and its flexibility was greatly reduced. The two macaques easily avoided it and did not allow it to pounce. Fortunately, it was too fat and its huge size made up for its lack of flexibility. The two macaques avoided the claws but could not avoid the fat belly and were directly crushed under Crud. The two macaques fainted from the boredom. Cruder was still looking around, trying to find where the two macaques were hiding. Under the help of these animals, several macaques were all captured and brought to justice. Come here. It's done. Xiao Wanwan said. So fast. Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car excitedly and came to Xiao Wanwan's car. He saw the macaques being tied up with ropes and strung together in a string. Cruder was angrily patrolling back and forth. Tell me. Who stole my dried fish just now? Thank you. Crud. Just leave it to me. Zhang Tuohai grabbed the first macaque. 
took a look at it, and then put it down in disgust. The monkey's face was covered in bird poop. Zhang Tuohai changed to a monkey and asked, Tell me, why do you want to steal wine? Gigi, the macaque yelled, seemingly not convinced yet. Hey, you don't accept it. Right. Zhang Tuohai took out a high and skinning knife and scraped the macaque's lower body twice. I'll give you another chance to reorganize your language. If you're screaming, don't blame me. There is no mercy under the knife. Don't. I won't say anything, the macaque said hurriedly. His face turned green with fright. Look, I had known how good it would be to cooperate like this, but I just didn't obey. Zhang Tuohai sneered. Tell me, why do you want to grab the wine? The monkey wine we brewed was still a little short of heat. The old monkey king was anxious to pay homage to his ancestors. So he sent us down the mountain to search for some wine to ripen the monkey wine, said the macaque. Monkey wine? Vladimir's eyes widened when he heard the words from the macaque. What kind of wine is this? Does it taste good? That was carefully brewed by our whole family. It gathered the essence of ginkgo fruits and the fragrance of thousands of flowers. It is extremely fragrant. It is the best wine in the world, Macaw said proudly. Then where is your monkey wine? Vladimir asked anxiously. Zhang Tuohai knew that Vladimir was like this. And he became energetic when he heard wine. If you want to know the whereabouts of Urju, it must be in our lair on the top of the mountain. The macaque originally wanted to give it away, but the knife in Zhang Tuohai's hand moved slightly, and it immediately became honest. How many macaques are there in your group? Zhang Tuohai asked. There are five or six more. So few? Are you lying to me? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. Don't dare. Don't dare. A few days ago, we had a fight with the black-haired tribe over the hot springs. Our tribe suffered heavy casualties, and the hot springs were robbed. In order to take revenge and take back the hot springs, our old monkey king wanted to urge make cooked monkey wine to pay homage to our ancestors and beg them to appear and help us avoid this disaster. What is the black hair tribe? Zhang Tuohai asked. They are some big monkeys with black fur and a bit white on the back. They don't climb trees very much, but they are very strong, said the macaque. Silverback gorilla? After hearing the description of the macaque, Zhang Tuohai felt like a silverback gorilla. This is the largest primate in the world besides humans. It can reach a height of 1.7 meters, and its upper limbs are extremely developed and powerful. It's easy to deal with these ordinary macaques. However, for Zhang Tuohai and others, it is almost the same as delivering food. No matter how powerful the force is, is it as powerful as a bullet? Take us to your lair. If you can give us a satisfactory reward, maybe we can help you regain the hot springs. Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes and said, They knew nothing about this map and it would be much easier if they were led by a group of macaques. It is also much easier to find various supplies. This, macaque hesitated. John Tuohai's hand holding the knife trembled slightly. I'll lead the way, the macaque said quickly. Look, it would be better to do this earlier, but I have to put in some effort. John Tuohai carried the macaque to his car. You are responsible for guiding the way. If anything goes wrong, you and your whole family will be buried with you. I understand. I understand. The monkey began to guide the way. After turning two turns, two paths appeared ahead, one to the left and one to the right. How to get there? Zhang Tuohai asked. Turn left. Follow the road on the left and go up to the top of the mountain, which is our nest, said the macaque. Where does the right side lead to? Zhang Tuohai asked. The right side leads to the hot spring area, which is now occupied by the black hair tribe, said the macaque. Well, let's go to your lair first. Zhang Tuohai said. Several cars drove towards the top of the mountain, turning left and right on the mountain road. The group finally reached the top of the mountain. On the top of the mountain is a large fruit forest with a wide variety of wild fruits, including peaches, apples, and pears. There is no road ahead. This car can't pass. It's best to get off the car and walk in, said the macaque who led the way. Yeah. Zhang Tuohai nodded noncommittally. He got out of the car and took a look. The forest was indeed very dense and could not be passed by the car. Xiao Wan on. You have difficulty moving. Please stay for now. And the rest of the people will go in with me. The macaque opened his mouth and wanted to say something. But Zhang Tuohai glared at him and swallowed the words back. Vladimir and Li Feiyu followed Zhang Tuohai into the forest carrying weapons. After passing through the woods, a field of rubble suddenly appeared in front of everyone. In the center of the rubble, there was a large pit filled with various wild fruits with a layer of clear liquid floating on the surface. 
A rich and fragrant smell of wine floated in the forest. It's wine. It's really good wine. Vladimir's mouth drooled involuntarily. I'll go take a look. Zhang Tuohai raised his hand to stop everyone. Chapter 185 Thermobaric Bomb Zhang Tuohai carefully came to the rock pile, squatted down, and carefully looked at the liquid inside. A fragrance penetrates my mind. Be careful. This is a venom pool. You will be poisoned and comatose after drinking it. You will also fall into a coma if you inhale the gas evaporated from the pool for a long time. The prompt system immediately popped up a prompt. Venom pool? Zhang Tuohai immediately retreated quickly and pulled the bolt of the gun. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's appearance, Vladimir and Li Feiyu also understood that something was not right and immediately put their guns on guard. When the macaque saw what happened, it immediately screamed strangely and ran towards the forest. However, before it could even take two steps, a hatchet struck in the air and struck its tail, pinning it firmly in place. Gigi. The macaque screamed. Zhang Tuohai quickly came to the macaque, stepped on one of the monkey's feet, put a gun against its head, and said with a sneer, Okay, you actually dared to trick me. It seems that, for your lessons are not enough. Davari. That wine. Vladimir came over and asked. It's poison. Zhang Tuohai said with a stern expression. Poison? Vladimir's expression became serious. Then, a look of regret appeared on his face. Such a good-smelling wine was actually made into poison. What a waste of natural resources. Vladimir Milton beat his chest and lamented the lack of good wine in the world. Tell me, what is your purpose for doing this? Zhang Tuohai asked while holding the macaque. Humph. The macaque snorted and turned its head. Don't say anything. Right? Zhang Tuohai picked up the macaque and threw it directly into the venom pool in the middle. Gigi! The macaque screamed in panic and fluttered about trying to climb onto the shore. However, after only a few flops, it collapsed into the pool. Is it so toxic? Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air, and then anger appeared in his eyes. He was almost fooled by a monkey. This is bearable. Zhang Tuohai, who was not satisfied with his anger, took out two Molotov cocktails and threw them in then lit a fire and directly ignited the poisonous pool. The black gas steamed up, giving off a pungent smell. After a while, the liquid in the pool was burned away, revealing the bottom of the pool. At the bottom of the pool, in addition to the remains of various fruits, there are sections of white bones with signs of eating. They are still a bunch of meat-eating things. Zhang Tuohai's expression turned cold. He understood that everything the macaque said before was a lie. The black-haired tribe and the sacrifices to ancestors were all meant to trick them into going up the mountain and drinking the poisonous wine. If you are fooled, you will eventually become a member of this poisonous wine. You dare to lie to me, so don't blame me for being rude. John Tuohai's heart became cold. At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai sent a message through the bracelet. Commander, a lot of monkeys suddenly appeared outside and are besieging the car. I am counterattacking. However, there are too many... Please increase the number of troops quickly. Hold on to. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he immediately took Vladimir and Li Feiyu back outside the orchard. At this time, nearly a hundred monkeys were besieging the car of several people. However, because Zhao Wanwan released Fat Tiger and others, they managed to survive without causing too much damage to the monkey group. If you dare to dismantle my car, you will die. Vladimir pulled the trigger on the monkeys. Click. 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 A series of bullets swept across, and seven or eight monkeys were hit immediately. Li Feiyu slashed out with two hatchets, and two monkeys were immediately chopped into two pieces. Seeing several people leaving the woods safely, these monkeys knew that the situation was over, threw away the stones in their hands, and fled into the woods in a hurry. How dare you run? Vladimir saw this and wanted to chase him, but Zhang Tuohai grabbed him. Don't worry. There's no need to waste bullets against these guys. Then how to deal with it? Vladimir asked angrily. Use this. Zhang Tuohai took out several flamethrowers from the car. Since they have hidden in the woods. Let's burn the woods and see where else they can hide. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's flamethrower, Vladimir's eyes lit up and he slapped his head hard. I would have forgotten if you didn't tell me. I still have this thing. Vladimir said, taking out an aerial bomb-like object from the car and throwing it to the ground. What is this? Zhang Tuohai asked suspiciously. Thermobaric bomb. Vladimir said with a smile. Just one can burn this forest instantly. The effective killing radius is 600 meters. And the shockwave radius is 200 meters. Hiss! Zhang Tuohai gasped. Once this thing explodes, 
not to mention the entire forest. The entire mountain will be razed to the ground. Is this your trump card? Are you really willing to use it? Zhang Tuhai asked. They actually dare to turn fine wine into venom. Which is an unforgivable crime, Vladimir said righteously. Sure enough, wine is the reverse scale of the woolly bear. The macaques have touched the reverse scale of the woolly bear. Today's thermobaric bomb is sure to be eaten. Okay, you set it up and I'll watch it for you, Zhang Tuhai said, standing next to the bear with a flamethrower, waiting for the bear to install the detonator. Several macaques wanted to come over to see what was going on. Zhang Tuhai sprayed out two flames and lit two nearby trees on fire. The frightened macaques ran around. Okay, Vladimir installed the detonator properly. Retreat. Zhang Tuohai and everyone quickly drove down the mountain. Many macaques saw Vladimir leaving a large conical object and left. They couldn't help but wonder what it was and gathered around it. Two macaques invited an old macaque out. Your Majesty, what do you think this is? The old macaque walked around the thermobaric bomb for three times without understanding it. However, it could not say that it did not know, as that would affect its prestige. This is an apology left by the two legs. They were scared away by us. The old macaque said loudly. Long live! Many macaques jumped around the thermobaric bomb. And some even climbed up directly. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! There is something shiny here! A macaque discovered the detonator. What? Let me see! The old macaque pushed aside the macaque supporting him on both sides and came to the detonator. But it was too short to reach. You too! Build a ladder below! The old macaque said. Several young macaques lay on the ground. Built a ladder and lifted the old macaque up. There is an iron box on the detonator. In addition to the flashing red light, there is also a row of LCD screens. A countdown is running on the screen. Three, two, one, zero inch. Boom. A bright white light flashed, and the old macaque felt that he had seen the sun. Chapter 186 Macaque's Heirloom When Zong Tuahai and the others returned to the top of the mountain, the entire top of the mountain had almost been raised to the ground. The area within 200 meters of the center of the explosion turned into a white field. With not even a blade of grass left, everything was burned to ashes in an instant by the 2,000 degree high temperature. Everything within a 600 meter range was attacked by shock waves and scorching flames. The trees were burned to death. The macaque corpses turned into charcoal. And the ground was so hot that eggs could be cooked. Zhang Tuohai felt as if he had returned to the day when Shuangji Ling Kong was in the sky. Although the destructive power of thermobaric bombs has been seen countless times on video. It is still a video. The difference from the scene is thousands of miles away. This is the power of technology, Zhang Tuhai said, touching a burnt tree. For the first time, Li Feiyu began to doubt whether it was a mistake to specialize in sword skills. Tiger Cruder had already become a ball of fear, hiding in the corner and not daring to say a word. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuhai for exterminating the macaque group and discovering the hidden treasure. The macaque heirloom. An orange treasure box with a macaque pattern appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai opened the treasure chest. A whole bunch of stuff came out. Obtain 20 kilograms of aged monkey wine. Obtain 300 kilograms of ordinary monkey wine. Obtain the recipe for making monkey wine. Obtain the manufacturing diagram of the aging wine pool. Obtain fine peach tree seeds. Obtain fine pear tree seeds. Get quality apple tree seeds. Get 50 kilograms of fine apples. Obtain 50 kilograms of fine pears. Get 50 kilograms of fine peaches. A lot of eloquence. Zhang Tuohai looked at something and looked at Vladimir. You can choose two things first as compensation for the thermobaric bomb. Vladimir looked at it and finally chose aged monkey wine and ordinary monkey wine. Why don't you choose the aged wine pool and the recipe for monkey wine? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. The production cycle is too long, Vladimir said. Moreover, if you choose seeds, if I want to make wine, I have to buy various raw materials from you. If I plant fruit trees myself, I also need to cultivate fertilizers. There are too many things that need to be supplemented and constructed, and the investment is too large, which is not cost-effective. It is easier to wait until you have finished the wine and just exchange it, Vladimir said. Hearing this, John Tuohai looked at the manufacturing formulas of monkey wine and aged wine pool. Recipe for making monkey wine. At least three fruits are required for brewing. For each additional fruit, the aroma of the wine will be one point higher, up to the level of hundreds of fruits. Aging wine pool, a level 4 special item that requires a level 4 vehicle to build. It is an exclusive container for brewing monkey wine. The brewing cycle is 7 days. 
crafting materials, intermediate stone, 50 units, high grade stone, 5 units. Zhang Tuohai took a second look and understood that in addition to the reasons just mentioned, the level restriction was also a big threshold. Level 4 vehicles can only be built. It's just too far away from the people here. Even Zhang Tuohai is short of a third level auto parts diagram. Not to mention everyone else. Instead of getting a blueprint that you won't use in a short time, it would be more cost effective to switch to some wine that you can drink now. At least for Vladimir. This is the best deal. What should I do if I run out of wine? Continue to trade meat with Zhang Tuohai. Anyway, he has plenty of meat. In that case, I will take these two drawings. If they are completed, you can all buy them from me at a fair price. In addition, I will compensate each person with 5 kilograms of fruit. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, After all, it is a level 4 blueprint. Although it cannot be used for the time being, the level is there, and its value is unquestionable. Several people looked at each other and agreed. Then I'll choose seeds. I have a lot of pets. So I just want to plant more. Feed the pets. In addition, I will compensate each of you with one caddy of milk. Zhao Wanwan said immediately, Vladimir was not a person who liked farming, so he had no objection. When Li Feiyu took a serious look at Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan, she showed a thoughtful expression. However, she kept silent and chose fruit. Of course, it was impossible to give all the 150 kilograms of fruit to her. She took away 20 kilograms of each fruit. Vladimir also took away 20 kilograms of each. The rest were divided equally. Everyone got what they needed and everyone was happy. My dear Davari, what should I do next? Vladimir asked, holding a gourd in his hand and drinking monkey wine. Of course we are going to the hot springs. Now that we have come to this dungeon, are you so willing to leave without taking all the benefits? John Tuohai asked with a smile. Okay, let's go to the hot springs. Vladimir immediately nodded in agreement. Zhao Wanwan naturally followed Zhang Tuohai's lead. Naturally, Li Feiyu didn't want to quit just because her harvest was limited. The few of them hit it off and drove towards the hot springs. The mountain road to the hot springs is a rugged and winding downhill road. Not only is the road difficult to walk, it is also full of rocks. Very difficult to walk. Moreover, the further you go, the lower the terrain becomes. And the further you go, the higher the temperature. John Tuohai looked at the thermometer and saw that the outdoor temperature had reached 20 degrees. The vegetation on both sides was getting denser and denser. And some tropical broadleaf plants could even be seen. After driving for more than an hour, John Tuohai and others finally arrived at a valley. The valley is full of plants and various animals roam in the jungle. In the center of the valley is a large pond. The pond is full of various animals and it looks full of life. After seeing Zhang Tuohai and the others, Many beasts by the pond fled in all directions. Some hid in the depths of the jungle, while others hid behind trees and looked curiously, guessing what these four huge beasts were. Is this a real ecological park? Looking at the wide variety of plants and beasts around him, Zhang Tuohai secretly speculated, before, there were only macaques and some fruit trees on the top of the mountain. It was not an ecological park. It should be a trap set by the game system. And this is the real subject of the copy. Zhang Tuohai got out of the car and came to the edge of the pool. He tested the temperature with his fingers. The water was around 30 degrees, which was enough to be called a hot spring. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to conduct further inspections, the prompt system suddenly rang. Be careful. At 11 o'clock, 20 meters away, there is a huge jellyfish lurking in the water. It is highly poisonous and is approaching you. Please stay alert. Jellyfish? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he heard this and immediately looked in the direction indicated by the prompt system. Zhang Tuohai concentrated for a long time, and then he discovered that an almost transparent jellyfish was slowly floating in the direction of Zhang Tuohai with the water in the pool. The jellyfish was at least 2 meters in diameter, and its tentacles were 7 or 8 meters long. It was almost reaching his side. In front of me. Chapter 187 Password 69 It's a pity that such a big jellyfish is poisonous. Zhang Tuohai looked disappointed. He looked at the jellyfish in the hot spring pool and thought bitterly. Why is such a big jellyfish not a jellyfish? It's really disappointing. Zhang Tuohai, who became increasingly angry as he thought about it, decided to give the jellyfish some color. Not even a side dish. But he actually wanted a sneak attack on himself. Unacceptable. Guns and other things are definitely not. Okay. Jellyfish are mollusks and they are so big. God knows where their weaknesses are. 
since point attack doesn't work. Just use AoE. Zhang Tuohai stretched out two fingers towards the jellyfish and muttered. The sky and the earth are infinite. The universe borrows the method. And the five thunders strike the top. Stab. A blue arc of electricity spurted out from the electric glove and shot into the hot spring pool. Zila. The blue electric arc is continuously conducted in the water. After a while, fish floated up one by one with their white bellies turned over. Even the jellyfish floated up and stopped moving. Vladimir. Xiao Wan Wan. And Li Fei Yu were all stunned. Putty removal is a waste? Vladimir muttered. Longhu Mountain Thunder Technique? Li Fei Yu was also shocked. Is what my mother said true? Can those goo insects be successfully refined? His gloves are so powerful? Fortunately, he didn't have any bad intentions yesterday. Otherwise, the denture poison would be useless. Zhao Wan Wan felt scared and disappointed. Could it be that I am so unattractive? It must be said that women are creatures with very strange brain circuits. Zhang Tuohai didn't know that he just used the electric shock gloves to test its power, which aroused the three people's speculations. There are so many fish. You can have a big meal. Zhang Tuohai turned back to several people and asked, You guys, stop standing around and come over to help me. Is there an internet connection? Of course there are no fishing nets. However, Zhang Tuohai has a sunscreen net as a substitute. Several people each grabbed a corner and brought the fish ashore. Zhang Tuohai caught hundreds of kilograms of fish in one fell swoop, and they were densely packed all over the floor. Divide it into six parts. I contribute the most. I will take three parts, and the remaining three of you will each have one part. How about it? Zhang Tuohai asked several people. No problem. Several people nodded in agreement. In order to show fairness, Zhao Wanwan chose the fish first, and Zhang Tuohai chose it first. Zhang Tuohai specially selected some of the fattest fat-headed fish, which are the most delicious to make fish head cakes. The only problem is that Zhang Tuohai didn't have cornmeal to make cakes. I have to buy some cornmeal later. Vladimir asked for some salmon. He was not very picky about bones, and could only eat fish with fewer bones. Li Feiyu only wanted a few carp. But surprisingly, she took the big jellyfish away. Zhang Tuohai kindly reminded Li Feiyu that the jellyfish was not a jellyfish and was poisonous and should not be eaten. However, Li Feiyu just nodded and said nothing more. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and didn't understand what she wanted to do. However, everyone has their own secrets. And Zhang Tuohai will not ask any questions. The things in the hot spring pool are almost divided. I look around and there doesn't seem to be any danger. I don't think it's better to do this. Everyone will separate and collect what they need. It will only take two hours. When the time is up, come back here to gather. If a problem is discovered, Fire a warning shot in the rhythm of da 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 And everyone rushes over to provide support. How about that? Zhang Tuohai asked. Each of them has strong strength in their hands. It is too slow to collect resources as a group. It is better to spread out and gain more. I agree. Vladimir was already eager to give it a try. He couldn't wait to see the animals in the woods. Okay. Let's go each other's way. Zhang Tuohai said. Vladimir and Li Feiyu each found a direction and walked towards the depths of the dense forest. What about you? Do you want to follow me into the woods? Or stay here and look after the car? Zhang Tuohai looked at Zhao Wanwan. I'll just stay here and supervise their work. Zhao Wanwan drove a car full of tigers, sheep, parrots, and iron-eating beasts out of the car. Come on! Come on! Take action and collect everything that can be collected nearby. Whoever collects the most will be rewarded with an apple. Zhao Wanwan said, holding a big red apple. That's my apple! cried Mick the Cow. I can't even stop your mouth. Zhao Wanwan grabbed a handful of hay and stuffed it into Mick's mouth. Many animals dispersed in a hurry and went into the woods to collect things. Seeing Zhao Wanwan directing a group of animals to work, Zhang Tuohai had a look of envy in his eyes. He felt that among this group of people, Zhao Wanwan was probably the one who gained the most. When he turned around, he saw Jing Xiang Wankai sleeping in the corner. Lazy dog, get up and work. Zhang Tuohai carried Wankai out of the car. Fox! I am a fox! Wankai protested loudly. Okay, lazy dog. Hurry up and collect things. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand, jumped out of the car, and also chose a direction and walked deeper into the woods. It has to be said that the materials in the woods are very rich. If you take two steps, you can see the fruits falling to the ground. If you look twice, you can see the fleeting shadows of animals. If he fires two shots, Zhang Tuohai can harvest a lot of prey. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care about these prey. 
It was not uncommon to encounter a few of them every day outside. He was looking for some rare things that only existed here. For example, go to the statue in the last dungeon map. Zhang Tuohai walked forward step by step. After walking for about 20 minutes, a cliff suddenly appeared in front of him. The cliff was covered with vines and was more than 20 meters high. Looking to the left and right, there were endless cliffs with no path to follow. Is this the end? Or is East XE on top? Or is there nothing like that in this map? Zhang Tuohai had doubts in his heart. Turn left and go forward 50 meters. There is a gate blocked by vines, from which you can enter the core area of the map. The system prompted. Really? Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed. He quickly followed the prompts and walked over. Sure enough, on the steep cliff, Zhang Tuohai saw an alloy door with an electronic lock with 10 numbers on it. There is a metal plate below with a line of prompts. Warm reminder, the password is 6 numbers. There are 100,000 combinations of 6-digit passwords. It would take several days to try them one by one. However, there is a flaw on the numeric dial. The numeric key 6 is almost worn away. Is this an insult to my intelligence? Just as Zhang Tuohai was about to press the number key 6, the prompt system rang. The password is 6 nines. It's actually 6 nines. The game system is really insidious. Zhang Tuohai muttered and pressed the number key 9. Idiot. The password is 6 nines. Chapter 188 The Ambition of Monopoly Six nines? I pressed nine, but it was wrong? Is there something wrong? Is there a problem with you or with me? Etc? Six nines? Right. Zhang Tuohai pressed six and then started looking for A. After searching for the combination lock for a long time, Zhang Tuohai saw the line of prompts on the metal plate. Warm reminder. The password is six numbers. Zhang Tuohai carefully pressed the word A. It actually lights up. Nima! Black lines appeared on Zhang Tuohai's forehead. Who the hell came up with this idea? If anyone believed this tip, they would be too exhausted to unlock the door. Zhang Tuohai pressed the number key 9 again. The alloy metal door slowly opened. There is a long corridor at the entrance. The corridor is made of metal and looks a bit sci-fi. Rows of lights are on, illuminating the passage. Zhang Tuohai stepped in. There was no peculiar smell in the passage, but it was very clean. Zhang Tuohai raised his AK-74 and walked inside cautiously. Just after entering the passage, there is a room of more than 40 square meters next to it. There are some tables and chairs in the room, and there are several gun cabinets in the back. It looks like a guard room or a security room, but it is all empty. Yes, nothing. Zhang Tuohai continued to look forward and found that the rooms in the passage were empty and there was nothing. It seemed that everyone had evacuated before he came, leaving nothing behind. Zhang Tuohai didn't believe that the game system would spend so much effort to create a useless space. There must be something valuable in it. Zhang Tuohai continued to cheer up and move towards the passage. After a while, Zhang Tuohai came to the last door. The door was also made of alloy, but it was not locked. Zhang Tuohai pushed it open with a gentle push. This room was a bit messy, as if something urgent had happened. Two tables fell to the floor. Some bottles and jars were smashed. An unknown liquid flowed all over the floor. There's another body in the corner. A man in a white coat was lying on the ground with a bullet hole in his forehead. He looked shocked, as if his eyes were full of disbelief. Corpse! Zhang Tuohai suddenly became vigilant. He has seen many corpses. But these are the corpses of aboriginal people. And they are the corpses of aboriginal people who were killed by others. Are there other forces lurking around? Zhang Tuohai picked up the AK-74 and nervously scanned the room back and forth to see where there was a hiding place. However, the room was very empty, and some places where instruments were obviously placed had been moved away, leaving only some traces. Some tables, chairs and cabinets were left behind, and some papers were scattered on the floor. Apart from that, there is nothing else. Zhang Tuohai picked up the paper and looked through it carefully. However, these papers were written with numbers and formulas. Zhang Tuohai couldn't even recognize the symbols on them let alone what was written on them. Throwing the paper aside, Zhang Tuohai continued to rummage. Finally, he found a dark bottle in the corner of a broken cabinet. Perhaps because it was in the corner, the person responsible for cleaning up left the bottle behind. The bottle has been stained with some dust. Obviously, this bottle was not taken seriously in the first place. Zhang Tuohai took out the bottle, and the game system immediately popped up a prompt. Congratulations to the player for obtaining the third generation improved version of fast-growing apple banana seeds. The third generation of improved fast-growing apple banana seeds, an improved crop. 
after special cultivation, the trunk is reduced to one meter high. Each tree can produce 30 kilograms of apple bananas. The production cycle is seven days, and it is suitable for intensive cultivation in greenhouses. There are 30 or 40 seeds in this bottle, enough to plant a cart of bananas. If you plant them in batches, you can steadily obtain one or 200 kilograms of bananas every day. If there is only one person, the basic diet can be guaranteed, and a large part can be sold. If nothing else, you can at least mix it up to the level of mid-level players. However, John Tuahai always felt that these were not enough. This bottle of improved banana seeds is very valuable, but it seems to be sorry for the electronic door lock outside. Moreover, it has nothing to do with this corpse. Zhang Tuahai is sure that this corpse must have some purpose. Zhang Tuahai turned around and looked at the body carefully. The corpse was wearing glasses. The glasses were wide open and the face was full of shock. All the pockets on the body were turned out. It was obvious that he had been searched after death. Is there something on the body? Zhang Tuahai began to rummage through the body. Even the tie of the corpse was cut into strips by Zhang Tuahai with a knife. But unfortunately nothing was found. Is it hidden in the body? Just when Zhang Tuohai was hesitating whether to check further, the prompt system made a sound. Important items are hidden in the middle of the shoe. Where is it? Zhang Tuohai was stunned for a moment when he heard this, and then showed a look that was indeed the case. It's not that he hasn't checked the other person's shoes, but that person has seriously sweaty feet. As soon as he took them off, the smell almost made Zhang Tuohai stun. At that time, Zhang Tuohai almost thought he had been attacked by chemical weapons. He gave up after just a cursory inspection. Now it seems that that is also a small trick of the game system. Now that you have a goal, it's much easier. Zhang Tuohai turned the leather shoes over and cut the soles with a knife. Sure enough, Zhang Tuohai found a sheepskin drawing in the middle of the shoe sole. Super fertilizer maker, you can use ordinary raw materials to compress and purify them to make super fertilizer. Super fertilizer can forcibly shorten the maturity period of all crops to one day. Materials, High-grade metal, 5 units. High-grade plastic, 10 units. High-grade glass, 8 units. Metal parts, 50 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 1. That's it. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawing twice excitedly, and then solemnly put it into his arms. A super fertilizer that can forcibly shorten the maturity cycle of all crops to one day. With this, the yield of the crops in his car will be greatly increased. In this case, there is no need to plant so many crops and they can be used empty give some space to plant other things. Moreover, the large output of various crops can also stabilize his position. He can use the large amount of food in his hands to control the market to a certain extent. Even if someone else obtains the crop seeds, he can use his quantitative advantage to engage in a price war with the other party, making the other party unable to sell them. Then he will take the opportunity to acquire them. When he reaches a monopoly, why not make whatever money he wants? Chapter 189 Pearl Milk Tea is out. Zhang Tuohai thought about it carefully and found that it seemed feasible. Food has always been the foundation of all things. If you control food, you control everything. Especially in this world where you will die if your mood value is too low. All kinds of fruits are in short supply. As long as Zhang Tuohai can supply unlimited amounts of fruit, he will gain unimaginable influence in this area. In the last world, Zhang Tuohai took the lead with all kinds of meat. In this world, he can use fruits to replicate the glory of the previous world. Now, the only problem is that Zhang Tuohai lacks enough advanced materials to make a fertilizer-making machine. After putting the things away, Zhang Tuohai checked the room again. He even took apart the cabinets and made sure nothing was missing before exiting the laboratory. After leaving the laboratory, Zhang Tuohai walked back along the road. Now, it was almost time for the agreed gathering. In order to demonstrate, Zhang Tuohai picked some mushrooms, shot a wild donkey, and carried it back. After arriving at the camp, Zhang Tuohai found that everyone had gained a lot. Vladimir's face was bruised, but two black bears were stepping on his feet. I finally found a bear and was going to box with it. But a guy attacked me from behind and I killed them all. Vladimir rolled his bruised eyes with hard-boiled eggs. The corners of Zhang Tuohai's mouth twitched, not knowing what to say. Li Feiyu picked up some wild fruits. In addition, she seemed to have picked up a lot of bugs and poisonous snakes. And they all crashed into the jar. She didn't know what to do. Xiao Wan Wan gained the most. She picked all the wild fruits and wild mushrooms around her, and even got a beehive. The car was almost full. It was a good harvest. Zhang Tuohai took a look and was surprised to find that the big cat crud seemed to be fatter. What's going on? Did it gain weight too quickly? 
What did it eat again? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. Stung by a bee. Xiao Wanwan rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai. And then pulled out a sharp thorn from Cruder. Meow! Crud screamed, trembling with pain. Be honest. The one I just found can't be found again. Xiao Wanwan patted Crud's head and continued to pull the stinger on Crud's body. Thank you for your hard work. I'll treat you to honey glazed meat skewers for lunch. Zhang Tuohai rubbed Crud's head. It was a bai who stole the hive. Xiao Wanwan continued. Then how come Crud was caught? Zhang Tuohai was curious. A bai put on your tiger leather seat cover to steal the beehive. Hid in the bushes and took off the tiger's skin. It happened that Crud was holding a bunch of grapes out. And then it became like this. Zhao Wanwan said helplessly. Zhang Tuohai called out to him. These animals can use tricks. Okay. We have donkey meat and sauce for lunch today. By the way, you can help wash the mushrooms. When the peppers are cooked, I will make some fried mushrooms with peppers. Zhang Tuohai threw the mushrooms he picked to Zhao Wan Wan. Boss, these mushrooms you picked are really good. Zhao Wan Wan said in amazement. Really? What's a good idea? There's not a single thing to eat. Zhao Wan Wan said with disgust. Real or fake? Zhang Tuohai almost spit out the milk in his mouthful. Really? I don't know how you did it. There are so many mushrooms, all of which are poisonous, and you didn't even pick any edible ones. Can you tell me how you did it? Really? Zhao Wan Wan said in disgust. No, I picked the ugly ones specifically. Isn't it said that the better looking ones are more poisonous, and the uglier ones are more edible? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and asked. Remember, don't pick mushrooms you don't recognize in the future. Forget it. You won't pick mushrooms in the future. Leave this to Billy. He knows a lot. She bleated in response. System, when I picked poisonous mushrooms before, why didn't it remind me that they were poisonous? Zhang Tuohai walked to the side and asked in a low voice. The system thinks you want to configure poison. Zhang Tuohai, fine. Zhang Tuohai looked at the time. It was almost five o'clock in the morning. Everyone has harvested almost everything. If you don't have anything to bring, prepare to evacuate. Vladimir naturally had no objection. More than a hundred kilograms of monkey wine and two bears were enough for him to live comfortably for a few days. Li Feiyu also nodded. Her car was also filled with various bottles and cans. Xiao Wanwan naturally had no objections, as her car could hardly hold any more. System. Exit the current copy. Exit request received. Transmitting. A white light flashed. And everyone left the copy and returned to the ice and snow. Zhang Tuohai cut the donkey meat into pieces and threw it into a pot to stew it. This time, Zhang Tuohai was too clever and stewed the meat in both pots together. He didn't believe it wasn't enough this time. At the same time, I washed the mushrooms sent by Xiao Wan Wan with water, picked some colored peppers, and fried them together. I have to say, the fried mushrooms with peppers are so delicious that I don't even have to change the meat. Zhang Tuohai guarded the pot and ate half of it just to taste it. Finally, Zhang Tuohai steamed another pot of rice. As usual, let Xiao Wan Wan come over for dinner. Do you have any way to acquire level 3 materials? Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Wan Wan while eating. You have to ask me about this. Level 3 materials are a good thing. Now players are smarter. Most people are not willing to take them out unless it is a last resort. I still have some ideas for level 2 materials. Level 3 materials are really useless. Xiao Wan Wan said. Okay then. I'll ask someone else. Although Zhang Tuohai has some third level materials inherited from the Jolly Roger. The quantity is limited, and neither the aged wine pool nor the super fertilizer maker are the same. It can't be done at all. After eating, Xiao Wan Wan set over the first batch of mature crops, and the mushrooms and wild fruits she had collected. At the same time, she took some planting pots back and prepared to plant the apple and banana seeds that Zhang Tuohai brought back. Zhang Tuohai hung some meat in the oven, since he said he would make honey barbecue. He couldn't break his promise. After processing these, Zhang Tuohai dug out the mature cassava. Grind the cassava into flour. Add water and knead into a dough. Form into a small ball. Add a layer of cassava flour to the outside. Put it into the boiling water. Cook over medium heat for 20 minutes. Then turn off the heat and simmer for 20 minutes to form pearls. Wang Kai learned quickly. After Zhang Tuohai taught him twice, he was able to operate it independently. Moreover, Wang Kai actually learned how to operate multiple lines. Boiling milk here boiling tea there, and tasting the flavors from time to time, just like a skilled milk tea shop clerk. Boss, this is the first cup of milk tea. Please try it. 
Wang Dai handed a cup of milk tea to Zhang Tuohai. You drank the special pearl milk tea and felt happy. With a mood value of plus 3, you obtained a temporary buff. With a mood value of plus 1 per minute, lasting for 20 minutes, within 1 hour, if you drink another drink, your mood value will be doubled. You can drink up to 3 drinks in a row every day. The excess amount will be calculated based on the effect of the first cup. Chapter 190 Cane Sugar Making Machine Get rich. Zhang Tuohai looked at the effect of the milk tea and waved his fist excitedly. This milk tea has such a powerful effect. I am not afraid that those people will not buy it. And, the most awesome thing is, this milk tea actually has a combo effect. After drinking the first cup, the second cup within an hour has twice the effect. If you finish the first cup, can you resist the second cup? If you don't drink, wouldn't the combo effect be wasted? If there is no combo effect, many people may stop drinking after drinking another cup of milk tea, which will bring their mood value above the safety line. However, with the combo effect, many people may buy a second cup or even a third cup in order not to waste the combo effect. This has virtually increased the sales of milk tea. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai can achieve mass production of milk and pearls. He has also stocked dozens of kilograms of tea and dozens of kilograms of various sugars, which is enough for the time being. Zhang Tuohai directly listed the milk tea on the trading platform and stated that it was limited to 200 copies. While supplies last, as soon as Zhang Tuohai posted the sale news, the regional channel became a sensation. Damn! Milk tea! The boss actually made milk tea! Damn it! Why is it gone? I just saw a shadow! Why are they all gone? I didn't even see a shadow! Ha ha! I grabbed the last cup! Damn it! It actually has a combo effect! Boss, can you sell me another cup? Otherwise the combo effect will be wasted. Is there anyone selling milk tea? I'm willing to pay double the price. Boss, please sell more. No one has grabbed it yet. That's right. It's only 200 cups. It's not enough. Let's get more. People kept shouting on the regional channel. Sorry, the quantity of materials is limited. And we can only produce so much every day. If you want to buy, please come early tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai laughed, and then sent a private message to Song Xiaokong. Pass it on and say that there is a way for you to get milk tea. But the price is higher. You need at least level 2 materials to get it. If it is level 3 material, you can get 6 cups. Of course, some practical value drawings or some practical seeds can also be discussed. Zhang Tuohai offered a high price. Don't worry. Boss, I will definitely give you a satisfactory price. Song Shakong saw Zhang Tuohai selling milk tea on the regional channel and thought he had been abandoned. She finally hugged the thigh, but lost it, which made her a little dejected. Having come out of the romance field, she knows better than anyone how important a thick enough thigh is. Now that Zhang Tuohai contacted her, she regained her energy. She was determined to put her best foot forward and sell it at a good price so that Zhang Tuohai could not do without her. Only if she proves that she is worthy enough will she not be abandoned casually. Well, work hard. If you sell level 3 materials or useful blueprints, I will also reward you. Zhang Tuohai drew a pie and then hung up the private message. He believed that with these words, Song Shukong could know what the key point was. After hanging up Song Shukong's private message, Zhang Tuohai's private message has reached 99 plus. Many people are looking for Zhang Tuohai to ask if there is any milk tea for sale. Some people came over to get close to me, trying to play the emotional card. There are also some players who want to purchase milk tea in bulk from Zhang Tuohai, but they hope the price can be lower. For such people, Zhang Tuohai directly blocked them. How dare you purchase goods from him for secondary distribution? Can't I take the profits myself? Why should we give it to you middlemen? Moreover, Zhang Tuohai does not plan to ship too many milk teas. Otherwise, how can he create a sense of scarcity? How can you sell it at a high price? Zhang Tuohai deleted such emails one by one. At the end, Zhang Tuohai actually discovered an old acquaintance Su Chi. Is there any more milk tea? Show your heart. Others definitely don't. But you don't necessarily. You know what I want. I knew you were a vampire. Would this work? Su Chi posted a drawing. Sucrose making machine. Use sugar cane to extract sugar. And you can choose to make rock sugar, brown sugar, or white sugar. Materials. Intermediate metal ingots. 5 units. Metal materials. 20 units. Glass, 5 units. Electronic components, asterisk, 1 unit. After seeing this machine, Zhang Tuohai understood that he must take it down. 
he now has sugar cane. With this machine, various sugars can be produced on a large scale. With this machine, not only can you revitalize milk tea, but you can also get rid of the shortage of sugar reserves. Moreover, it also revitalizes ginger brown sugar. A few days ago, the amount of brown sugar in his hand was scarce. And he had to sell ginger brown sugar in limited quantities. It seemed that he couldn't make a lot of money. With this manufacturing machine, ginger brown sugar can also be shipped in large quantities, adding another stable source of income. How do you plan to sell it? Although he wanted it very much, Zhang Tuohai still acted reserved. It's up to you to bid. Su Chi kicked the ball back. Su Chi definitely doesn't have these little thoughts. Su Mu must be behind the plan. Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes. For cups of milk tea, Zhang Tuohai said casually. Why don't you go and grab it? Su Chi said angrily. It's the price you asked me to offer. No, it's too low. Then how much do you say? At least eight cups. Su Chi doubled the price. Su Mu next to her covered her forehead. She felt that no matter how many drawings she had, she would be completely defeated by this sister. Zhang Tuohai almost laughed, and then casually counteroffered. Six cups. No more. Su Mu couldn't stand it anymore and sent a private message. You know the price of this blueprint. You must be short of sugar now. Otherwise you wouldn't buy this blueprint. Give a fair price and everyone will make money. Well, the base number of six cups of milk tea will not change. However, I can give you six more cups of ginger juice and brown sugar, plus a watermelon, and two pounds of braised pork. However, you must also compensate me appropriately for some crop seeds. Everyone, how about taking a step back? Zhang Tuohai played a trick here. The amount of ingredients used in a cup of milk tea is simply not comparable to that of ginger juice and brown sugar. Zhang Tuohai can use a piece of ginger to make a hundred cups of ginger juice and brown sugar. And with a sugar machine, brown sugar is unlimited for Zhang Tuohai. This thing is a bargain. And he can get as much as he wants. Zhang Tuohai also has some watermelons left. And they will go bad if they are not sold. The real value is the braised pork. Well, let's exchange it. Su Mu was dazzled by seeing so many things and agreed. The two quickly struck a deal. Zhang Tuohai looked at the seeds in his hand and couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. Zhang Tuohai held a few peanuts and melon seeds in his hand. They are all raw and can be planted. Unfortunately, it is not a fast-growing variety and can only grow slowly. Chapter 191 Alpine Downhill Obstacle Race Although it is not fast-growing, it does not matter at all. As long as the super-fertilizer machine is produced, it is guaranteed to mature in one day. Now, what Zhang Tuohai ultimately wants is level 3 materials and level 3 auto parts. The former can help him expand production scale, and the latter can help him upgrade vehicles to level 4. They are all top priorities right now. While Zhang Tuohai was planning his future development direction, the clock came to 6 o'clock, and the prompt from the game system popped up on time. Welcome to all players. Today is your fourth day in this world. The outdoor temperature is dash 40 degrees Celsius, and the wind is level 5 to 6. Today is still polar night, and the sun will not rise. It's minus 40 degrees? Is it so cold? Fuel consumption will definitely increase. Our gasoline-powered saw is starting to sell again? Zhang Tuohai pondered in his mind. Today I have arranged an interesting event for you. The mountain downhill obstacle course. Along with the sound of the game system, a large photo appeared in front of everyone. The photo shows a towering snow-capped mountain. All of you will be teleported to the top of the snow mountain. You need to reach the end point at the foot of the mountain within the specified time. Don't be nervous. If you don't arrive on time, we won't have any punishment. Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he heard what the game system said. He definitely didn't believe that the game system would be so kind and not punish him in any way. During the racing competition, those who did not arrive on time would be locked up in the dungeon forever. Will the game system find out this time? Zhang Tuohai didn't believe it. He was sure that if he didn't arrive on time, there would be serious consequences. Most likely death. The competition time is 6.05 to 1800 hours. There is a rest area in the center of the course. You can buy some useful products in the rest area. Please cherish every opportunity to pass by the supply station. The supply station will charge some special currency. Please pay attention to collect it. The top three in the competition will receive special prizes. Due to the high difficulty of the competition, players may choose not to participate in this competition. In order to balance the difficulty, players who give up participating in the game will be attacked by 10 to 80 snow monsters and will not receive any level of supply boxes today. But if you kill all the chasing snow monsters, 
you will get a special prize. The game officially starts in 5 minutes. Players please be ready. After the game system announced the rules, the regional channel immediately exploded. Downhill slalom racing? It's similar to alpine skiing. Right. Driving down from the top of the mountain. Is this crazy? I won't go. It's too dangerous. Heh. Do you want to be chased by a snow monster? And you won't get any benefits? I think it's better to participate. Anyway, there's no penalty for not reaching the finish line on time. So just grind it out later. I also think it's better to participate. If you win by chance, just stop if you can't do anything. There's no punishment anyway. I still think it's too dangerous. Anyway, I have a lot of weapons in my hand. Just chase the snow monster. If you can't defeat it, why can't you run away? Hey, the chainsaw in my hand is already thirsty. If the snow monster dares to come, I will let him try the power of the chainsaw. The players had different opinions and were divided into two groups. One group chose to participate in the competition, and the other group chose to face the snow monster. No one could convince anyone. Zhang Tuohai looked at the rules of the competition and thought it would be better to participate in the competition. Generally speaking, you can get better prizes by following the rules of the game. Moreover, there is a rest area and a supply station in the center of the downhill obstacle course. With one more chance to get rewards, it seems more appropriate to go to the downhill obstacle course. The risk factor of killing the snow monster is too unstable. Who knows how strong the snow monster is? If a lot of heavy weapons are wasted, but the reward is not much, wouldn't it be a loss? Which competition are you participating in? Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Wan Wan. Let's do the downhill obstacle race. I don't have many weapons, and I really don't have the confidence to deal with the snow monster. For this kind of competition, Xiaoyi's performance should not be too bad. At least I will be able to reach the finish line, Xiao Wanwan said. Well, during the game later, you try to follow me. If something goes wrong, we can take care of each other, Zhang Tuohai said. I understand, Xiao Wanwan nodded. Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked a few other acquaintances. To his expectation, Vladimir and Li Feiyu actually chose to kill the snow monster. Vladimir said that he was not very good at racing and that killing snow monsters was more to his taste. In addition, he said that he was tired today and planned to have a good rest after killing the snow monster. Li Feiyu just said that there were some things to do and she was going to concentrate on these things after killing the snow monster. Okay, as expected, they are all fierce and look upon the snow monsters as weak chickens. Zhang Tuohai lamented that these two people really had two brushes, saying that he wanted to go slay a wave of snow monsters and rest for a day. However, he still has ambitions in his heart and wants to keep going. He must get the special reward of this competition. Soon, it arrived in five minutes. A line of prompts popped up, allowing everyone to choose whether to participate in the mountain downhill obstacle course or face the attack of the snow monster. Zhang Tuohai decisively chose to participate in the competition. A flash of white light flashed, and those who chose to participate in the competition disappeared from where they were. A monster that was more than two meters tall and covered with long white hair emerged from the jungle on the roadside and pounced on the vehicles that were left in place. Bang! Bang! A snow monster raised its huge fist and smashed it on the glass of a car. The glass shattered instantly. The players inside were dumbfounded. He grabbed the pistol in the passenger seat and pulled the trigger repeatedly at the monster in front of him. 9 millimeter bullets hit the monster's chest. However, as if it had not been harmed, the monster stretched out its big hand, grabbed the player's head, and gave it a strong force. The player's head exploded like a watermelon. The player's body was lying on the steering wheel. The snow monster dragged the player's body out and started biting it. Some players saw the snow monsters rushing towards them and quickly stepped on the accelerator. As a result, the snow monsters ran very fast reaching a speed of 60 miles per hour. The player was caught up by the snow monsters before he could pick up the speed. As soon as the snow monster exerted force, the car door was torn off. The player was pulled off balance. The car lost control and hit a tree on the side of the road. Before he could recover, he was grabbed out of the car by the snow monster and torn in half. Similar killings were staged in different places. Some players relied on their sharp weapons to successfully kill the snow monster. Most of the players who were not so clear-headed were killed by the snow monster and became food for the snow monster. Chapter 192 Avalanche Snow Wall Snow Column Zhang Tuohai naturally didn't know the status of those players. At this time, he was looking at the surrounding environment. At this time, 
he was near the top of a high mountain. In front of him was a steep slope with an inclination of more than 45 degrees. Just looking down makes me dizzy. There is white snow all around. 50 meters away. You can vaguely see a car parked there, but the distance is too far to see who it is. However, Zhang Tuohai is sure that it is not Xiao Wan Wan, because it is a class 2 business car. Car. Zhang Tuohai looked to the other side and saw that it was also a class 2 commercial vehicle. It seemed that Xiao Wan Wan was not assigned to him. It seems that there will still be some trouble if we don't form a team. Zhang Tuohai smacked his lips. Originally, he wanted to take care of Xiao Wan Wan in this game. But now it seems that he can only accept his destiny. Don't bother with the enemy when you see them. Prioritize your own safety. Zhang Tuohai sent a private message and warned. Zhao Wanwan is now his sugar cane and milk production base. If it is lost, Zhang Tuohai will be greatly affected. Understood. I'm more afraid of death than you think. Don't worry. Zhao Wanwan responded with a smile. Yeah. Zhang Tuohai still wanted to say something. A line of game system prompts popped up in front of me. The game is about to start. Players, please prepare. Countdown 3, 2, 1. A car began to drive forward slowly. Just kidding. This is a steep slope of 45 degrees. And there is still white snow below. You can't stop sliding down even if you stand on it. Who dares to drive fast? However, the game system doesn't seem to want them to get through so safely. As soon as the countdown ended, the snow on the mountain began to roll down. At first it was just a small spot. And then the area became larger and larger. Finally, a large piece of snow hit everyone like a flood. Seeing the overwhelming snow coming, the players didn't dare to slow down and stepped on the accelerator to speed away. If you rush down the hillside at this time, you may overturn the car. But if you stay here, you will definitely die if you are buried in the snow. Everyone knows how to choose. Damn it! I knew I would get into trouble. Zhang Tuohai cursed and immediately said, Classmate Xiao Ai, maintain the highest speed while maintaining safety. Clear! Classmate Xiao Ai stepped on the accelerator and rushed down the hillside. Zhang Tuohai's movement brought more snow, and the collapsed snow became one, like a wave, rushing toward everyone. The surrounding players cursed and sped up. Some players were too fast, and the hillside was full of snow, and they couldn't control it. They overturned the car without paying attention. In the blink of an eye, it was drowned by the rushing snow. Zhang Tuohai knows that if the player is submerged in snow and cannot save himself in time, the player will likely die due to lack of oxygen. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly hung the engineer shovel on the trading channel. At the same time, he shouted on the regional channel. Players buried in snow should dig a vent quickly. Otherwise they will be suffocated. Thanks for the advice. Boss, I'm digging for it now. It would be better if I could sell it cheaper. Soon a player bought one. Damn it. Can you still be deprived of oxygen? Thanks for the advice. No, I have to dig a hole quickly. Boss, I'm buried too deep. Can you sell some wood as a stepping stone so I can drive the car out? I have the wood. I can exchange a pound of meat for a piece. There's a profiteer upstairs. Buy it from me. I only sell half a caddy of meat cheaper. Soon, a price war ensued. John Tuahai took a look and saw that there were quite a few players buried by the avalanche. In just a few minutes, there were 50 or 60 people. And the number was still increasing. This can be seen from the sales of his engineering shovels. The avalanche has not stopped but is getting worse. As Zhang Tuohai and others continue to speed up, the snow they passed along the way also joined the avalanche, and the scale was rapidly expanding. No, at this speed, I'm afraid the scale will get bigger and bigger. Even if the speed is faster than the avalanche, it will always be chased by the avalanche, and there will be no time to rest. Zhang Tuohai frowned as he looked at the growing avalanche behind him. Commander, look there's a wall of snow ahead. Classmate Xiao Ai suddenly said, Zhang Tuohai looked forward, and sure enough, not far away, there were walls of snow one after another. Each snow wall is 10 to 20 meters wide, and there is only a few meters of gap between the snow walls. One snow wall follows another, forming an intermittent barrier. Zhang Tuohai estimates that this is the obstacle in the downhill obstacle course. The layers of snow walls can not only hinder avalanches, but also create obstacles for players. If one accidentally hits the snow wall, it may cause considerable damage. Many people think that snow is soft. But if it is cast into a snow wall, it is harder than ice. And hitting it is no different from hitting an ordinary cement wall. Shall I pay attention to the snow wall? Pass through the gap. 
and don't confront the snow wall head on. Zhang Tuhai warned. Commander, don't worry. Xiao Ai understands. Classmate Xiao Ai made a beautiful tail flick, splashing countless snowflakes. And the six-wheeled off-road vehicle passed through the gap between the two snow walls with great difficulty. After passing through the snow wall, Zhang Tuhai suddenly cursed. This game system simply doesn't care about martial ethics. After the snow wall, there is actually a snow wall. Moreover, the previous layer of snow wall and the subsequent layer of snow wall are built staggeredly. In other words, the gap between the upper layer of snow walls is facing the next layer of snow walls. If you don't pay attention to decelerating and braking, you will have to crash into it. Moreover, the brakes may not stop. There is snow under the car. Even if you brake, the snow may carry you forward. However, Xiao Ai's driving skills were extremely high. He made a sideways turn and brushed the edge of the snow wall and rushed through the gap. Immediately afterwards, what appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai was the third layer of snow wall. This layer of snow wall has completely given up on the rules. The long one is hundreds of meters long, and the short one is only five or six meters long. The directions are also inconsistent. Some are horizontal, some are vertical, and some are diagonal. There is no pattern at all. The most irritating thing is that behind the third layer of snow wall are pillars made of snow, standing densely on the hillside, stretching for thousands of meters, and each pillar has enough wires. Rod thickness. This dog system is not worthy of being the son of a man. Zhang Tuohai cursed. Xiao Ai began to show off her superb driving skills, shuttling between the layers of corridors. It doesn't seem to be difficult, seeing that there seemed to be no problem. Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Just then, Another car crashed through the snow wall. However, it was not so lucky and crashed into a snow porch pillar. The snow corridor pillar was hit by the car and collapsed immediately. Moreover, because the snow corridor columns were arranged very densely, the collapse of one snow corridor column immediately caused a chain reaction. Hundreds of snow corridor columns collapsed in pieces like dominoes. And, it seemed, towards Zhang to a high. Spreading trend? Chapter 193 Asking for Help Amarilla stuffed. Seeing the snow pillars falling towards him, Zhang Tuohai cursed and then urged Xiao Ai to stay away. He now has a profound understanding of the saying that he is not afraid of opponents who are like gods, but teammates who are like pigs. He was driving well at first, but a few players who appeared later hit the snow corridor pillar and dragged him into a dangerous situation. Each of these snow pillars is seven or eight meters high. If they hit the car, there will be no good juice. Not even a bulletproof car body will do. Zhang Tuohai now has a deeper understanding of the disgustingness of the game system. In today's competition, you can't just drive it well. You have to always beware of these pig teammates dragging you back into the mud pit. Quick! Get out of the way! Even though Zhang Tuohai had seen many big scenes, he couldn't help but feel frightened when he saw the snow pillars falling towards him. If this was smashed all at once, there would probably be nothing going on. Clear! Xiao Ai suddenly turned left and right increasing the speed to 200 miles. It's not that I don't want to go any faster, but the tires are already covered with thick snow. The wheels are slipping wildly, and the anti-skid chains are not very effective. Crunch! Classmate Xiao Ai swerved and braked suddenly, and the car stopped diagonally. Bang! A huge snow corridor pillar fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. It was only a few centimeters away from the front of the car. If the brakes had been slower, the car would have been smashed. Bang! There was another loud noise, and another snow pillar hit the back of Zhang Tuohai's car. Two huge pillars blocked the car in the middle. Commander, the pillar on the right is coming. Please get out of the car to avoid it. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that not far to the right of the car, a huge snow corridor was shaking and was about to fall down. Gonli Nong, you think I'm easy to bully? Right. Zhang Tuohai fiercely pulled out an RPG-7 from under his seat and pulled the trigger against the snow corridor pillar. Whoosh! The tail flame of RPG-7 streaked through the air, and the warhead hit the waist of the snow corridor pillar. Boom! There was a huge explosion, and the upper half of the snow corridor pillar was blown to pieces. With a bang, the snow corridor pillar was also knocked down by the shock wave of the explosion. However, it was three or four meters away from Zong Tuohai, so it did not pose any danger. However, when Zhang Tuohai fired the RPG, the surrounding snow corridor pillars began to become unstable, and began to sway. Go quickly, Zhang Tuohai said loudly. Understood. Xiao Ai put down the snow shovel and drove forward with all his strength. Fortunately, 
The snow pillars were all round, and they were on a downhill slope. They stepped on the accelerator twice and pushed the snow pillars aside. After the escape route was opened, Xiao Ai accelerated and rushed forward. Zhang Tuohai stayed in place for a while. The snow corridor pillars elsewhere had almost collapsed. Zhang Tuohai didn't have to worry about the snow corridor pillars falling down from above. He only had to choose a route that was not blocked. A few minutes later, Zhang Tuohai finally successfully broke through the forest composed of snow corridors. Seeing that he had broken through the dense forest composed of the last layer of snow corridors, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief and wiped the sweat on his forehead. Phew! We finally came out! After passing through the snow pillar jungle, what follows is a large flat snowfield. Although the slope angle is still 30 degrees, it is at least much better than the previous snow pillar jungle and snow wall. I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Xiao Ai is driving with peace of mind. And Zhang Tuohai can finally take the time to watch regional channels. Before, I only had time to hang up the products. And I didn't have much time to read the news. At this time, the regional channel was very busy. And there were many red obituaries. 70 or 80 in total. Zhang Tuohai looked through it and found that they were all killed by snow monsters. Is the snow monster so powerful? Zhang Tuohai was curious and sent private messages to Vladimir and Li Feiyu asking. Awesome? I don't feel it. I fired a few grenades and it was all over. One of them jumped out of the tree and tried to sneak attack me. But I beat him into pieces while I was in the air. The garbage stained my car. Stop talking and go clean the car. Vladimir posted a picture of himself cleaning his car. What can be said? Zhang Tuohai silently sent an awesome emoticon in reply. In comparison, Li Feiyu is much more humble. The bones are very hard and the skin is very tough. The two knives have curled blades. But it's not a big problem. The meat has a sour taste. I'm worried about prions. So I didn't eat it. By the way, do you have a whetstone? Li Feiyu has already cut the sword with a curled blade. It seems that this snow monster is really difficult to deal with. At least it cannot be dealt with by ordinary cold weapons. Zhang Tuohai analyzed. As for Vladimir, that guy's fighting ability is not at the same level as that of ordinary people. And there is no reference at all. Those players who choose the downhill obstacle course have very few deaths so far. Most of them were trapped by avalanches. Now they are trying to save themselves with an engineering shovel. Several fast players also bumped into snow walls and snow corridor pillars. So it was not a big problem for the time being. Only one player was unlucky and actually flew above the first snow wall. The front wheel was on the ground and the rear wheel was hung on the snow wall. As if he was riding a tiger and was unable to get off. Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he saw the picture he sent. I'll give you a chainsaw and you tell me how you got up there. Zhang Tuohai sent him a private message. While Zhang Tuohai was peeking at the screen, Zhao Wanwan sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. Do you have a car repair kit? A fallen snow porch just hit me, and the rear door was broken off. Zhao Wanwan sent a picture. In the picture, a big hole was exposed in the rear door. Crud the big cat and Mick the cow were shivering from the cold and huddled together to keep warm. Here are two for you. Zhang Tuohai handed over two car repair kits. Seeing Zhao Wanwan's request for help, Zhang Tuohai had an idea. If Zhao Wanwan crashed like this with Xiaoyi's assistance, then there must be many other players who crashed. But they just had nowhere to ask for help and didn't send it. Or, maybe you think it's a minor problem and just tolerate it as long as you can continue driving. This is not okay. How could a profiteer like Zhang Tuohai, who wants to create demand even if there is no need, let go of this opportunity to make a fortune? Zhang Tuohai immediately put the car repair kit on the trading channel. Boss! Help! Suddenly, Song Shakong sent him a private message. What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked hurriedly. Zhang Tuohai is still very concerned about his capable salesman. I was buried by an avalanche just now. It wasn't a big problem at first. I was about to get out of the car to dig a hole. As a result, another car was also buried in it. The guy was standing outside my car door and was hitting me with a hammer. Car window. Chapter 194 Ice and Snow Maze. Song Shaokong was afraid that Zhang Tuohai wouldn't believe it. So he sent a photo of a man standing outside the car, holding a big hammer and smashing the car window. Zhang Tuohai immediately sent an Uzi submachine gun to Song Shaokong. A flamethrower and an anti-tank grenade were also issued. Song Shaokong is his number one salesperson. So he can't be careless. A moment later, Song Shaokong sent another photo. The man lay on the ground covered in bullet holes. Accompanying the picture is a manufacturing drawing of the track. Crawler drawing, 
Level 2 Auto Parts. After use, the wheels will be transformed into crawlers. Conversion time, 10 minutes. Cooling time, 1 hour. Crafting materials, metal ingots, 30 units. Metal parts, 60 units. Why don't you keep this thing for yourself? Zhang Tuahai took the drawing and was a little curious. He could tell at a glance how important this thing was in this situation. As long as he was willing to sell it, it would definitely be worth a sky-high price. Even if you learn the drawings and accept customization. Selling takeout for 3 to 5 times the price of raw materials is the same as playing. Even he could see the value of this thing. But he didn't believe that Song Shakong couldn't see it. If I say that you gave me a weapon at a critical moment and saved my life. Of course, I will give you an equivalent reward. Song Shakong smiled and continued. Of course. You won't believe me when I say this. In fact, it's very simple. You are the strongest in this district. If I want to live a good life, the best way is to hold your thigh. This drawing is my certificate of submission. Song Shakong knew very well that if she kept this drawing in her hands, she would make a lot of money with it. However, if abundant materials cannot be converted into strength, they can only become a granary for others. Instead of getting rich for a while, it is better to find a reliable partner so that you can survive for a long time. Aren't you afraid that I will swallow this drawing? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't have any other abilities. I'm not bad at judging people. I don't think you are that kind of person. Song Shakong said with a smile, followed by an emoticon. Zhang Tuohai, he didn't expect that one day he would be issued a good guy card. Who can I ask to explain this? Fine. Zhang Tuohai learned the track drawings and made two sets. He installed one set himself and gave the other set to Song Shaokong. Accompanying the tracks is a car repair kit. Repair the car and put on the tracks. With this thing, you should be able to rush out. Zhang Tuohai said. After a while, Song Shaokong sent another picture. Song Shaokong stood in front of the car and made a scissor gesture. The wheels had turned into crawler wheels. And it seemed that they had come out from under the snow. Be careful of the snow wall ahead and the snow porch behind. After Zhang Tuohai mentioned something, he closed the private message. Because classmate Xiaoyi sent a reminder. Commander, we found a huge building ahead. Please enter or take a detour to leave. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw a snow wall stretching for several kilometers in front of him. The height of the snow wall was 7 or 8 meters. And there was an entrance 5 or 6 meters wide every few hundred meters on the snow wall. There is also a yellow sign near the entrance. Ice and snow maze. Whoever passes through the maze within 3 hours will receive a prize. No reward for overtime. If you are not sure that you can pass through the maze within the time limit, you can choose to bypass the maze and continue moving forward. Reminder, the detour takes approximately 3 hours. There are also thoughtful arrows drawn on the sign, pointing out the direction you need to take to make a detour. Is it time to choose again? Zhang Tuohai read the notice twice carefully. He resolutely chose to enter the ice and snow maze. This is obviously an additional option. If you enter the maze, there is a risk of getting lost and trapped. But there will also be rewards. If you go around the maze, you will obviously need to go a long way. And you may encounter many sudden difficulties and disasters. Comparing the two, Zhang Tuohai still prefers walking in the maze. Moreover, he has a prompt system. Are you afraid of getting lost when walking in a maze? Zhang Tuohai decisively prepared to let classmate Xiao Ai enter the maze. If you choose to enter the maze, it is recommended to walk three kilometers to the right and enter from that entrance. That entrance is closest to the exit and has the shortest route. The prompt system immediately gave a prompt. Awesome plus! Zhang Tuohai quickly asked Xiao Ai to turn and drive in the direction pointed by the prompt system. After driving three kilometers along the snow wall, Zhang Tuohai found an entrance. It was similar to the entrance he saw before. The same width. The same style. And even the sign at the door was exactly the same. Can I leave a mark on this snow wall? Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought of a question. If he could leave a mark, he could make extra money by selling the maze map. Even if it's just left to your own people. That's fine. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai took out a gasoline-powered saw and carved an arrow on the snow wall. The snow wall was harder than Zhang Tuohai expected. But the gasoline-powered saw could still leave marks on it. It took two minutes for Zhang Tuohai to leave a mark on it. Looking at the mark, Zhang Tuohai wiped the sweat from his forehead and showed a satisfied smile. Holding a gasoline-powered saw, Zhang Tuohai got into the car and entered the ice and snow maze under the guidance of the prompt system. The ice and snow maze is a huge maze. The ground is very flat and is paved with huge ice blocks. The surrounding walls are all made of thick snow. 
The walls are very smooth, and the tops are all capped, eliminating the possibility of players climbing above to observe the structure of the maze. Zhang Tuohai also tried to see if he could use a snow shovel to break open the maze wall and take a shortcut. However, the strength of the wall made of snow was beyond Zhang Tuohai's imagination. Zhang Tuohai struggled to break through a wall. However, the layers of walls behind made Zhang Tuohai decisively give up the idea. He can indeed push a path through the ice and snow maze with a snow shovel. But doing so will waste a lot of time and may even be slower than walking the maze. After careful consideration, Zhang Tuohai decisively gave up his reckless idea and moved forward under the prompts of the prompt system. Before reaching an intersection, Zhang Tuohai would mark the next mark in order to prevent others from destroying or forging. Zhang Tuohai even carved different signs at each intersection instead of simply drawing arrows. After turning the last intersection, it suddenly became clear. Zhang Tuohai drove over and found that he had walked out of the maze unknowingly. Outside the maze, there is a small vending machine. Zhang Tuohai drove the car next to the vending machine, and a box automatically rolled out of the vending machine. Please check the prizes given to those who clear the ice and snow maze. Chapter 195 The Way Out of the Maze and Selling Maps What prize? Zhang Tuohai opened the box curiously. What was placed inside was something like a stack of banknotes. The surface of the banknotes was painted with complicated patterns and a bunch of symbols with unknown meanings. There were numbers in the corners, including 120. Zhang Tuohai counted and found that the total was 1,020, with some parts and even parts. Zhang Tuohai guessed that this might be the currency that the game system said the supply stations needed. But, how did this amount come out? Zhang Tuohai curiously asked about the game system. The game system explains that the time limit to pass the maze is 3 hours. Each minute is worth 10 points. And the total of 3 hours is 1,800 points. Each car starts counting down after entering the maze. And 10 points are deducted every minute. After passing the maze, the remaining time will be converted into money and returned to the player. Is this how time is money? Zhang Tuohai looked at the currency in his hand and was speechless. If he had known this, he wouldn't have bothered to test the strength of the wall, and he might have gotten dozens more lottery tickets. However, there is no point regretting it now. Zhang Tuohai began to sell his passage through the maze to several acquaintances. Zhao Wanwan and Song Xiaokong both chose a safer way to bypass the maze. This map was no longer useful. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai targeted the Su sisters. At this time, in the maze, Su Qi stood in front of the car, threw up a shoe, looked at the position where the shoe fell, and pointed decisively. Go this way. We have walked here three times. And we always come back. Su Mu said helplessly. Really? Su Chi scratched her head in embarrassment. Of course. I throw down a metal part every time I pass by an intersection. And there are already three metal parts left at this intersection. Su Mu pointed at the three metal parts in the corner and said. What can we do? Are we going to be trapped and die here? Su Chi was a little shaken. Don't worry. I'll think of a way. Su Mu flipped through the drawings in the car, trying to find a solution to this predicament. Su Chi anxiously walked around the car. Suddenly, she stopped. Sister, come and take a look. There is a SpongeBob engraved here, but the carving is really ugly. Su Chi pointed to the pattern on the wall and said, SpongeBob, let me take a look. Su Mu jumped out of the car after hearing this. SpongeBob was the culture of their original world and she didn't believe that the game system would have so much time to decorate the walls of the ice and snow maze. This SpongeBob must have been engraved by a player. Su Mu jumped out of the car and came to Su Chi's side. Sure enough, she saw SpongeBob SquarePants carved on the wall. Well, it is indeed extremely ugly. Sister, I understand. This must be a mark carved by some seniors. The direction of SpongeBob's finger must be the exit. Su Chi said excitedly. We can't be sure about this. After all, we don't know whether the person who left the mark finally walked out of the maze. If it refers to a dead end, wouldn't it be a waste of time? It may even fall into someone else's trap. Sumu thought more and reached out to stop Su Chi. Then what should we do? Keep wandering around in the maze? Su Chi asked. Suddenly, the private message notification sounded. Su Chi opened it and took a look, became excited and said loudly, Sister, Brother Zhang asked if he wanted a map of the ice and snow maze. He really walked out? What's the price? If it were anyone else, Sumu might still be suspicious. But she and Zhang Tuohai have cooperated for a long time. And she has noticed that Zhang Tuohai has been selling supplies on regional channels for a long time. 
She believes that Zhang Tuohai will never be casual. Fool them with a fake map. Brother Zhang said that he only is part of the map. If you find signs on the wall, you can contact him. He will sell subsequent route signs. If you can leave successfully, you need to give him 300 game currency points. What is the game currency? Sumu asked. After leaving the maze, each player will be given some game currency as a reward. He wants 300. He also said that for the sake of frequent transactions, we are allowed to pay after we leave. If we are strangers, we must have collateral items. Of, Suchi said immediately. Okay, tell him that we agreed. If the game currency is not enough after leaving, I will make up for the difference with other drawings. Sumu said. She was going crazy with this maze. Anyone who keeps wandering around in the same place will get flustered. What's more, this is a world of survival where life and death are decided. If she couldn't get out, she might really be trapped and die here. Okay, I'll ask him now. After getting permission, Su Chi immediately sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. What we see now is the mark for SpongeBob. What should we do next? SpongeBob? I didn't draw SpongeBob. Zhang Tuohai was a little confused. It's SpongeBob with poop on his head. I can't be wrong, Su Chi said. What kind of magical painting is this? Take a photo and let me see, Zhang Tuohai said. Here, this is it. Picture.jpg. This is such a lazy sheep. Zhang Tuohai was speechless. Then why the square head? Because I used a gasoline saw to draw. And it was too troublesome to draw curves. Zhang Tuohai was speechless. Then how should we go? Follow the direction Lao and Leo points to? Su Chi asked. No. Go in the opposite direction. At the next intersection, you will see a simple symbol on the wall of each passage. Select the Hongxing Erk symbol. At the next intersection, choose Mishua Bing Chang. At the next intersection, choose Bai Xiang Instant Noodles. Hui Yuan Juice at the next intersection. And Cherry Automobile at the last intersection. So you can get out of the maze, Zhang Tuai said. I understand. Only domestic companies will help you at critical moments. Su Chi understood. Zhang Tuai smiled and said nothing. I'll give you the money when we get out. By the way, I'll give this to you too. It's a gift. Su Chi said and sent a drawing to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai opened the drawing and took a look. Advanced juicer manufacturing drawings. Level 2 auto parts. Which can improve the taste of juice to a higher level. Materials. Intermediate metal ingots. 4 units. Metal parts. 20 units. Glass. 5 units. Intermediate electronic components. Asterisk 1. It is of no use to ordinary people. But to Zhang Tuohai, it is the icing on the cake. Thank you. I'll give this to you as a gift in return. Zhang Tuohai handed back a pink lock with a magazine of bullets. It can be said that this thing is nothing but good looks. Zhang Tuohai can only treat it as a collection. But it feels weird for a grown man to collect a pink pistol. And it's Hello Kitty themed. Which is a bit painful. And it's just perfect for a good looking Su Chi. Chapter 196 Obtained Level 3 Auto Parts Thank you. Thank you. When Su Chi saw the pink pistol, her eyes suddenly appeared in the shape of hearts. She liked this pistol very much. As for women, most of them are good-looking and have little ability to resist good-looking things. When men choose something, they also look at parameters, compare prices, and consider cost-effectiveness, while women choose something as long as it looks good. After dismissing Su Chi, Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Ai to move forward. However, this time the speed has been reduced a lot, and the main energy is used to find a resting place. Since currency appears, there will inevitably be a resting place and a place to redeem prizes. Even if not, there is bound to be some way to obtain these currencies. Sure enough, after about half an hour, Zhang Tuohai really spotted a small black dot in the distance. Looking closer, it is a facility with a red roof that looks like a gas station. Gas station? Go and have a look. Zhang Tuohai drove over with curiosity. This is a huge red ceiling with a red and white vending machine filled with various things. Zhang Tuohai got out of the car looked up at the vending machine, and found that there were indeed many good things inside. Needless to say, basic gasoline, food, and drinking water are provided. Zhang Tuohai even discovered level 2 and level 3 construction materials. However, the price is a bit expensive. A level 2 material costs 30, and a level 3 material costs 300. Zhang Tuohai only had enough money to buy 3 level 3 materials, so he always felt a bit shortchanged. After skipping various basic materials, Zhang Tuohai continued to look up. 
continuing upward are various weapons and general blueprints, such as car microwave ovens, car air conditioners, etc. Zhang Tuohai already has most of these things, and the ones sold here are a bit expensive. An ordinary pistol actually costs 100, and it doesn't come with bullets. A drawing of an ordinary car microwave oven starts at 300. As expected of the service area, it's dark. Really dark. Zhang Tuohai continued to look upward. At the top, there are two things. One was a phoenix rocket, and its prize soared to 2,000 points. Zhang Tuohai could only look at the ocean and sigh. Even if a player clears the ice and snow maze in zero time, he could only get a maximum of 1,800 points. This thing is obviously not for individual players. And maybe only a team can get it. However, Zhang Tuohai can consider the second thing. Mobile Review Armor Plate, Level 3 Auto Accessory, which can be freely adjusted and moved after installation. It can achieve fully enclosed coverage or retain part of the window. The strength can withstand zero-range shooting by assault rifles and close-range attacks by ordinary fragmentation grenades. Construction Materials, High-Grade Metal Ingots, 30 Units. Metal Parts, 300 Units. Level 3 Auto Parts. Zhang Tuohai could not suppress the excitement in his eyes. He had been looking for third-level auto parts for a long time. Even if he promised to buy them with a large sum of money, he still found nothing. He once thought that he might not be able to upgrade his car to level 4 in this world. But unexpectedly, he unexpectedly came across a level 3 blueprint here. We must win it! Zhang Tuohai shouted in his heart. However, the drawings are good, and the price is also very impressive. With a full price of 1,500 points, Zhang Tuohai looked at the inventory in his hand, and saw that it only had 1,020 points. Even if you include the 300 points that the Su sisters owe you, there is still a shortfall of 180 points. Where to fill the gap? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. It is a pity that neither Xiao Wanwan nor Song Xiaokong chose the ice and snow maze and cannot obtain the exclusive currency here. Otherwise, they can just borrow some from their hands to make up for it. However, their hands were much cleaner than their faces, and they were unable to support them even if they wanted to. Zhang Tuohai thought about it for a while, and could only continue to think of a solution with the Sioux sisters. Have you come out of the ice and snow maze? Zhang Tuohai asked. I just came out, and got more than 600. Su Chi said excitedly. Just wait a moment, and I'll transfer the 300 points I owe you right away. Su Chi said. Can you lend me 200 more? Zhang Tuohai asked. I can double the supply for you after I get the coupons next time. Or I can compensate you with other things. Zhang Tuohai said. Wait a minute. I'll discuss it with my sister. Su Chi did not refuse directly. Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. And he started talking without even saying no. He looked at the supplies around him and said. The plan is to give you three cups of milk tea and a pillow. Why do I need a pillow? I'm not a child anymore. Don't you want Sister Bauer's pillow? Zhang Tuohai said and took a picture of it. Keep it for me. It's just 200 points. I promise to get it for you. Su Chi said decisively. Then I'll wait for your good news. Zhang Tuohai cleaned the snow on the car while waiting for the news. After a while, Su Chi transferred 500 point coupons. My sister agreed. But you have to give us a more powerful gun with at least 200 bullets. Don't forget my pillow. Su Chi said. Don't worry. I won't miss you. Although he didn't know how Su Chi persuaded Su Mu. Zhang Tuohai was still very satisfied with the result of the transaction. He picked an August from the trophies and threw it over. Then collected 210 rounds of bullets and fired them. So he collected 7 magazines. These bullets should be enough for 2 people to use for a while. Sister Bauer's pillow was also sent to Zhang Tuohai. Su Chi was extremely happy. Su Mu looked at Su Chi who was hugging the pillow tightly and couldn't help but sigh. She felt that sooner or later, her sister would have to pack up and sell herself. Zhang Tuohai was filled with joy at this time. He finally collected the money to purchase the drawings. He stuffed all the bills in his hand into the vending machine. And then clicked on the drawing. Gulyalu. The drawing rolled down to the receiving port. The place where the drawings were originally placed became empty. Is there just one? Is it one for each vending machine? Or is it just one for the entire track? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. There were too few comparison samples. So he couldn't judge yet. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawing carefully and put it away properly. Now, his main goal is to collect enough high-grade metal ingots to complete the last piece of the puzzle to upgrade the level 4 car. Zhang Tuohai felt excited just thinking about being the first to drive a level 4 car in an era when level 2 cars were still the mainstream. I wonder what a level 4 car looks like. 
a large off-road vehicle like the Paramount Predator, a high-end RV, or some new concept car that can only be seen online? Zhang Tuohai pondered in his mind. Commander, a car is catching up from behind. Just when Zhang Tuohai was thinking, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly reminded him. Chapter 197 Dragon Mate Figure Got a car? Zhang Tuohai looked back and saw a Class 2 commercial vehicle stumbling towards him. There's a situation! Zhang Tuohai quickly put away his things and grabbed the AK-74. The car soon arrived at the rest area. The people in that car didn't seem to expect that there was anyone in the rest area. They were stunned for a moment. And then two people got out of the car. Both men were wearing police bulletproof vests, carrying shotguns in their hands, and helmets on their heads, looking fully armed. The vending machine is here. You can make your own choice. I'll leave first. Zhang Tuohai has already obtained what he needs most, and is now in a hurry to leave, as he does not want to get too entangled with these players. However, Zhang Tuohai's retreat was regarded as weakness by the two of them. The two of them looked at each other, and the idea of murder and robbery arose in their hearts. Zhang Tuohai was wearing a snow camouflage uniform, with an AK-74 in his hand, and a six-wheel off-road vehicle next to him. At first glance, he looked like a rich man. When Zhang Tuohai saw the two of them, he actually backed down, which was considered weak by the two, holding an AK-74 and actually flinching when faced with a shotgun. He must be running out of ammunition. Even the ammunition in his hand has been exhausted. And what he has in his hand is an empty gun. The two of them said in their hearts, Then you should leave quickly so we can exchange things. A tall and thin man said, The two of them are already filled with murderous intent and are ready to shoot you from behind when you turn around. The prompt system prompted in Zhang to a high's ear. You actually want to kill me? Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. He originally didn't want to kill anyone and spend the scene peacefully. However, these two people actually had murderous intentions, which forced him to take action. Frost rose on Zhang Tuohai's face, and he snorted in his heart. I originally wanted you to be a good leak, but since you are so desperate, don't blame me for digging out the leak roots. Okay, I'll leave now. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he stepped back, pretending to retreat. When the two men saw this, they were secretly happy and put their hands on the trigger. As soon as Zhang Tuohai turned around, they would shoot. However, when Zhang Tuohai retreated to the car door, he suddenly pointed behind the two of them and said, Be careful. A snow leopard is coming. Zhang Tuohai's voice was high and sharp, as if he really saw a snow leopard approaching. The two of them were frightened. As luck would have it, the two men had just been attacked by a snow leopard not long ago. There were originally three people in the car, but when they got out of the car to cut wood, a snow leopard attacked them and silently bit one of them's neck off. The remaining two people shot the snow leopard to death because they had guns in their hands, leaving themselves alone. The snow leopard's silent sneak attack has become a lingering nightmare for the two of them. Therefore, when the two of them heard the word snow leopard, they immediately turned back and pointed the shotguns in their hands behind them. However, there was nothing behind him. The two of them immediately knew they had been deceived. However, it was too late to turn around at this time. Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger. Duh duh duh. A series of tungsten core armor-piercing bullets shot out and hit the two men in the back. The police ceramic body armor could not stop the tungsten core armor-piercing bullet at all, and was shot through immediately. Coupled with the blessing of the AK-74, several bullets hit the two men's necks due to scattering. The cervical spine was directly broken by the bullet. There was a wound the size of a bowl in the throat, and only a trace of flesh and skin connected the two people's heads and bodies. Plop! Plop! The bodies of the two fell to the ground. Humph! I didn't want to kill you too! If I want to blame you, I blame you for being too greedy! Zhang Tuohai walked up to the two of them and took off their equipment. Although the police bulletproof vest cannot block tungsten core armor-piercing bullets, it is still not a problem to block pistols. For many players, it is still a good thing that can be encountered but cannot be obtained. As long as it is cheaper, it can still be sold. Same goes for helmets and shotguns. Zhang Tuohai also took away the down jackets from the two of them. Although there were gaps, there was always a market. After plundering all the valuable items from the two people, Zhang Tuohai began to search the two people's cars. In the passenger seat, Zhang Tuohai found 500 points of banknotes. It would be nice if you came earlier. Zhang Tuohai looked at the 500 notes and shook his head helplessly, then put it in his pocket. It's still a game. Just in case you encounter a vending machine down there, Zhang Tuohai continued to search. The two people had a lot of supplies in the car. 
in addition to the necessary stoves and firewood. Zhang Tuohai also found 500 units of gasoline, two plastic packaged roast chickens, a dozen plastic packed braised eggs, and two barrels packed with yogurt, 100 kilograms of snow leopard meat, two kilograms of unknown meat slices, a piece of snow leopard skin, and two small seafood hotpots. Meat, eggs, and milk are all available, and the level of food is considered good among the player community. However, all these things fell into Zhang Tuohai's hands. Of these things, what Zhang Tuohai cared about the most were the two unknown pieces of meat. The name prompted by the game system is Unknown Meat Slices. The prompt system did not give the real name. But what made Zhang Tuohai feel relieved was that the prompt system did not say that this thing was harmful. What the hell is this? Zhang Tuohai looked over and over for a long time, but couldn't see what it was. They are two round pieces of meat, about 20 centimeters in diameter and about 1 centimeter in thickness. They look a bit like steaks, but they are round. And there is a white bone-like thing in the middle. Forget it. If you don't understand, just use it as fertilizer. Zhang Tuohai didn't understand the research. So he simply gave up and threw the meat slices aside, preparing to use them as fertilizer. Zhang Tuohai continued to rummage in the car, and he found more than a dozen intermediate-grade stones at the back of the car, filling part of the gap for building an aging wine pool. But no advanced materials were found. As for the various level 1 construction materials, Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to count them all and threw them all into the garbage pile. Just when Zhang Tuohai felt that the supplies had been collected completely and was about to leave, Zhang Tuohai was suddenly attracted by a figure on the bridge. That is a figure of Thor. The dragon maid. The sculptures on the driver's platform are all part of the car accessories and are non-detachable items. After Zhang Tuohai tried it a few times and found that he couldn't take them off, he usually stopped touching the sculptures on the front of the car. But this figure gave Zhang Tuohai a different feeling. By some mistake, Zhang Tuohai reached out and touched the figure. What was shocking was that he actually picked up the figure. Congratulations on getting the figure of Dragon Maid Thor. Dragon Maid Thor figure, a special ornament. Protected by the Dragon Maid. The car will be cleaned once a day. And you will receive a gift from the Dragon Maid Thor. Two pieces of Dragon Tail Meat. Get the figure. Daily Mood Value Plus 3. Made Outfit Effect. Daily Mood Value Plus 5. Chapter 198 Figure Upgrade and Weird Dragon Tail Meat. Detachable figures? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. For the first time, he discovered a removable ornament. Moreover, the effect of this thing made him a little moved. In addition to automatically increasing your mood value by 8 points every day, you will also automatically receive 2 slices of meat every day. If he guessed correctly, this should be Thor's dragon tail meat. This piece of meat seemed to weigh a pound or two, and the effect was already comparable to that of his lucky tree stump. No, better than a lucky tree stump. If you use a lucky tree stump to get rabbit meat, you have to go through it with a skinning knife and the meat you get needs to be cut again. However, this figure of Thor's dragon made Thor can directly provide cut steaks, eliminating another process. It's pretty good! Zhang Tuohai checked the car again and found that there was nothing that could be removed. He took out the core of the car and happily took the figure into the car. Zhang Tuohai put the figure in the car, and suddenly a game system prompt popped up in front of him. A level 3 car is detected. You can choose to spend 10 ordinary souls to upgrade the dragon made Thor figure to level 2. Do you want to upgrade? Is there such a good thing? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He had accumulated a lot of ordinary essence from hunting wild beasts recently. Apart from making a few statues, they were almost useless and could only be piled in the corner to eat ashes. I didn't expect it to work here. Upgrade! Zhang Tuohai said immediately. During upgrade, a white light enveloped Thor's figure. A moment later, Thor's figure reappeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Originally, Thor's figure was only the size of a palm, but after upgrading, it reached the position of Zhang Tuohai's shoulders and became a huge life-size figure. Dragon Maid Thor and other skill figures, level 2 special ornaments. Protected by the Dragon Maid, the car will be cleaned three times a day, and you will receive a gift from the Dragon Maid Thor, six slices of cooked dragon tail meat, and you can choose the flavor according to your preference. Obtain equal skill figure, daily mood value plus 10. Made costume effect. Daily mood value plus 10. Obtain buff while being healed. Mood value plus 2 per hour. Incredible. Looking at the brand new data, Zhang Tuohai's eyes shone with excitement. Not only the number of meat slices has been increased from 2 to 6. You can actually choose the flavor according to your own preferences. The finished product will be sent directly. This is awesome. 
if Zhao Wanlan hadn't been raised at home. This figure alone would have saved Zhang Tuahai from having to worry about food. Moreover, with a constant 68 points of mood value every day, Zhang Tuahai hardly has to worry about his mood value as long as he doesn't encounter any emergencies that cause his sand value to drop. Level 2 is so powerful. So level 3 is not allowed to take off? With a beautiful dream, Zhang Tuahai tried to upgrade Thor and other action figures to level 3. But the game system prompted that the car level was insufficient. A basin of cold water extinguished Zhang Tuahai's dream. I originally thought that I would be able to see the level 3 figure right away. But now it seems that this plan will have to wait for a while to be realized. Forget it. Level 2 is enough for now. Zhang Tuahai comforted himself like this. Zhang Tuahai, who was feeling a little sad and angry, decided to turn his sadness and anger into appetite and try Thor's craftsmanship first. Thor, have some black pepper dragon tail meat. Zhang Tuahai tried to say. In the blink of an eye, Zhang Tuahai had a white porcelain plate in his hand. There was a large piece of dragon tail meat on the plate. The rich sauce rushed into his nose and gave off a unique fragrance. Zhang Tuahai cut a piece and put it in his mouth. The meat is soft and fragrant, with a rich aroma. It tastes similar to M9 steak except for the strange shape. Well, it tastes pretty good. Zhang Tuahai praised and ate all the dragon tail meat on the plate. Not sure if it was an illusion, but Zhang Tuahai seemed to feel that Thor's mouth turned up a little. Zhang Tuahai took a closer look at Thor's suit and found that everything was back to its original state. Is it an illusion? Zhang Tuahai shook his head and threw the matter aside. Since the prompt system didn't issue a prompt, it shouldn't be a big deal. Since it's not a big deal, why do you care? To put it bluntly, if Thor's avatar really has the ability to suppress the prompt system, it would be useless for Takumi to panic. It would be more comfortable to just lie down. One of the biggest strengths of Zhang Tuohai is that he thinks broadly. After eating and drinking, Zhang Tuohai sent five steaks of different flavors to Zhao Wanwan. Since a cooperation agreement has been reached, he must abide by it. Try these first to see if they suit your taste. Which ones you like, and which ones you don't like make a list for me. Wow, there are so many steaks. They taste really good. But why is there a round bone in the middle? Zhao Wanwan asked curiously. This is some historical issue. Don't worry about it for now. Just say whether it suits your taste or not. Zhang Tuohai asked. It's very delicious. I wish I could eat it every day. Zhao Wanwan said with a happy face. As long as you follow me. You can eat it every day. After Zhang Tuohai sent the private message, he looked down and was shocked to find that Wang Kai was actually licking the plate. What are you doing? Didn't I cook a pound of braised pork for you? Recently, we have been getting more fresh meat. And the food for Wang Kai has also improved a lot. From ham sausage to braised pork. Moreover, Wang Kai usually abides by the rules and would not touch his plate except for washing dishes. Today, he was actually licking his plate. Zhang Tuohai was a little confused as to what Wang Kai was doing. I don't know either. Wang Kai scratched his head in embarrassment. I just think this gravy is particularly delicious. My body's instinct tells me that eating this is good for me. I couldn't control myself. So I licked the plate a few times. Is there any benefit? This is dragon tail meat. Zhang Tuohai said. Do you really like to eat? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked in a low voice. Of course. Wang Kai said quickly wagging his tail. From now on, if you complete your work better every day, I can reward you with a piece of reward. But if the work is not completed, you won't be rewarded for a week. How about that? Zhang Tuohai said seductively. You can arrange whatever tasks you have today. One size tail wagged even more cheerfully. And you said you're not a dog? Zhang Tuohai glanced at one size tail with empty eyes. If he was faster, Wang Kai could fly directly into the sky. It's the usual tasks, such as sweeping the floor, washing clothes, watering, fertilizing, picking eggs, lighting a fire when the stove is not working, and preparing more milk tea, coffee and so on. Understood. Wang Kai immediately ran to work. Is this meat really so attractive? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but become curious as he saw Wang Kai, who had always been lazy, suddenly become diligent. Chapter 199 Special Death Obstacle Course Updates added with monthly pass. It's nothing special. Zhang Tuohai dipped his fingers into the sauce and took a sip from his mouth. He felt that the taste was almost the same as ordinary steak. There was no difference. At this time, Zhao Wanan sent a private message. Brother Zhang, what kind of meat did you give me? Why were they looking at me when I was eating it? I can still understand crud and abai. But the Mikas Polly and Li are also there. While watching from the sidelines, 
Even Mick, a model student who has always been a good boy, came over. What is going on? Zhang Tuohai could already imagine a group of heads, big and small, gathering nearby to watch Xiao Wan Wan eat. Maybe it's because of the dragon tail meat. It might be of some benefit to them, but I don't recommend feeding the meat directly to them. It's too nutritious, and I'm afraid they won't be able to accept it. If you really want to feed it, you can start with it. Start with soup and gradually increase it every day. Zhang Tuohai gave a piece of advice. Okay, I see, Zhao Wanwan said. Where are you now? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't know. I'm still going down. There's a lot of white snow all around. There's no reference. Only the occasional flag shows that I haven't deviated from the direction, Zhao Wanwan said. Well, I understand. Just be careful. If you're missing something, tell me immediately, Zhang Tuohai said. Don't worry. Xiao is here. Even if you are in trouble, you will always be there. In times of crisis, I will send everything to you, Zhao Wanwan said. Classmate Xiaoyi, keep going, Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai. Understood. Classmate Xiao Yai started the car and continued driving down. Without the restraints of his pig teammates and no need to worry about avalanches, Zhang Tuohai confidently and boldly asked Xiao Yai to start accelerating. Accelerating from 100 miles per hour to 200 miles per hour. The car accelerated towards the foot of the mountain like red lightning. After driving for about an hour, suddenly, the front was no longer flat, but a dense obstacle course. Ski jumping platforms, winding poles, U-shaped ski trails, obstacle snow walls, and all imaginable ski obstacles can be found here. Not only that, but near the obstacles, there were people holding firearms and wearing snow camouflage uniforms, staring at him eagerly. Welcome to the special death obstacle course. You will rush through the obstacle course in a hail of bullets. Every move you make will be scored. After successfully passing the course, we will give you generous rewards. Of course, if you are afraid, you can also choose to give up. Here we leave a way of escape for the cowards. The game prompt system pops up an arrow. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction pointed by the arrow. Next to the track, there was a small three meter wide slope, which was prepared for those who gave up the challenge. So, now it's your turn to make a choice. Do you choose to be a brave man and take on the challenge? Or do you choose to be a coward and leave in despair? Of course it's a challenge, Zhang Tuohai said. According to his understanding of the game system, the higher the risk factor, the higher the reward value. If you don't give more rewards while the danger is still under control, you will be abandoned by increasingly difficult challenges in the future and eventually be eliminated. This is not the ending he wanted. He still wants to go back. Any enemy who dares to block his return will be crushed by his wheels. Very good. The countdown starts. And in three seconds, the challenge will officially begin. Three. Those dressed in snow camouflage loaded their bullets. Two. Those people pointed their guns at Zhang Tuohai. One. Fire snakes erupted from the muzzle. In an instant, Zhang Tuohai's car was hit by dozens of bullets. Various bullets hit the car body from all angles, making crackling sounds. Zhang Tuohai is sure that if his car had not been modified, he would have become a sieve by now. Classmate Xiai, rush over, Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai immediately accelerated and rushed forward. Moreover, the speed soared extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, the speed soared to 300 miles, and the speed was still accelerating. The gunman guarding both sides of the barrier obviously did not expect Zhang Tuohai's car to be so fast. Most of the subsequent bullets hit Zhang Tuohai behind him. In the blink of an eye, Xiao Ai rushed to the side of the winding flagpole. With a beautiful flick, he hit a gunman standing near the winding pole and ran him under the wheel. When the remaining gunmen saw this, they became even more angry and controlled the weapons in their hands to shoot at Zhang Tuohai. However, the weapons in their hands were not only pistols, but also submachine guns. They could not penetrate the twice reinforced car body and could not even leave a crater. They could only waste bullets in vain. Being beaten without fighting back is not Zhang Tuohai's style. Zhang Tuohai lowered the car window a little, stretched out the muzzle of his gun, and emptied a magazine of bullets at the gunman. With Sun Zong's blessing, those unlucky gunmen were all shot in the head by 5.45 mm justice. Shall I? On the other hand, went around 18 winding poles at incredible angles without even slowing down to less than 200 miles. After going around the pole, there is a double-sided bridge. Ahead is a 50-meter-long, 10-centimeter-wide double-sided bridge. 
The double-sided bridge is covered with sharp iron thorns. You can imagine that if you accidentally slide down, the car will be trapped and unable to escape. If it's just these, it just adds some psychological difficulty. As long as the psychological pressure is removed, it is only slightly more difficult than the driving test. Old drivers who have been driving normally for several years can pass it. However, the game system never produces such a simple project. Zhang Tuohai glanced left and right, trying to see where there were still hidden traps. Sure enough, the prompt system rang. On the opposite side of the bilateral bridge, there are actually two people hiding in the corner, each holding a snow spray machine. The two were respectively 30 meters away at 11 o'clock and 50 meters away at 3 o'clock. The snow sprayers are all on board. So insidious? Zhang Tuohai was sure that if he rashly stepped onto the bilateral bridge and reached the halfway point, the two snow spraying machines would take action immediately. The snow spray machine can't kill anyone, but the snow it sprays is a bit sticky and can completely cover all of Zhang Tuohai's windows. How can I cross the bilateral bridge if I lose my vision? By then, Zhang Tuohai will really be incapable of doing anything. Insidious. Really insidious. Zhang Tuohai took out the AK-74. And with the help of the prompt system, he finally found the two guys controlling the snow sprayer. These two guys were crawling in the snow, wearing camouflage cloaks. Only one opening of the snow sprayer was exposed. If you didn't search carefully, you really couldn't find it. You will be unlucky if you meet me. Zhang Tuohai decisively pulled the trigger. There were two gunshots, and two plum blossoms bloomed in the snow. Chapter 200 The Insidious Sniper and Three Prizes The controller of the snow blower dies, and the danger is relieved. A prompt sound came from the prompt system. Only then did Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief and let classmate Xiao Ai step onto the bilateral bridge. Xiao Ai, who can race fast on the ice and snow bridge, naturally has no problem crossing this small bilateral bridge. He passed it in less than a minute. After passing the bilateral bridge, Zhang Tuohai just wanted to take a breath. Otherwise he felt that the road ahead tilted sharply. Unexpectedly, there is a U-shaped road connected in front of the bilateral bridge. Zhang Tuohai didn't pay attention. And the car suddenly slid into the U-shaped road. The shape of the U-shaped tunnel looks like a water pipe cut in half. But the entire body is made of ice and snow. This kind of track is usually used for snowboarding. Unexpectedly, the game system actually put this track here, and also enlarged it into a car-specific model. Logically speaking, Zhang Tuohai should let the car move along the side wall of the U-shaped road. What if I drive all the way along the bottom of the U-shaped lane? Can the game system still force me to drive on the side wall of the U-shaped lane? Zhang Tuohai felt a little angry. Three seconds later, Zhang Tuohai discovered that the game system really worked. The game system actually has mines at the bottom of the U-shaped track. As long as Zhang Tuohai dares to keep driving at the bottom, he will be hit by a landmine in a few seconds. Even if his car is modified, it won't be able to withstand so many landmines. Hurry up the sidewall, Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Xiao Ai immediately rushed up to the sidewall, and after running forward for a certain distance, the car began to inevitably slide down. Xiao Ai stepped on the accelerator, and the speed reached the limit. The front of the car was upwards, and the car actually moved slowly. Rose. Zhang Tuohai even felt like he was about to fly. After rushing for five minutes, Zhang Tuohai finally saw the end of the U-shaped track. In front of him was a high-rising platform. Below the platform was a deep canyon. The canyon was bottomless. If you fell, you would definitely die. If you want to break through the canyon, you can only jump from the jumping platform. Classmate Xiai, speed up and jump over, Zhang Tuohai said loudly. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly heard the sound of the prompt system in his ears. Be careful. There are snipers near the jumping platform. They will shoot according to the speed at which you rush out of the U-shaped track. You need to change your speed on the jumping platform to avoid snipers. Warm reminder, you can cross the canyon as long as the speed reaches 200 miles. Godly Nong. So insidious. Zhang Tuohai cursed and shouted quickly. Classmate Xiao Ai. Change the speed. But the speed when rushing onto the platform must exceed 200 miles. Clear. Although classmate Xiao Ai didn't understand why Zhang Tuohai did this, he immediately executed it faithfully before rushing onto the platform. Xiao Ai changed gears eight times in a row, stunning the snipers hiding aside. Is this grandson having a seizure? The sniper looked blankly at classmate Xiao Ai who kept changing speed. In the end, he could only shoot blindly based on his feeling. Boom. The moment Xiao Ai rushed into the air, the sound of a sniper rifle sounded at the same time. There was a bullet hole the size of a walnut in the rear window. 
It flew past the stove flew. At that time, Wang Kai was lying on the stove wiping ashes, and the bullet scratched its fur, frightening it so much that it almost dropped the rag in its hand. What is it? Wang Kai looked left and right. It's nothing. Just a stray bullet. Do your job. Zhang Tuohai rubbed one Kai's head. Stray bullet. Wang Kai almost screamed. How could there be a stray bullet in the car? Just now it was woo-woo. A thick ham sausage was stuffed into his mouth. Be good. Eat more and talk less. Wang Kai happily went to eat the ham sausage. Completely forgetting about the bullet just now. The car flew over the cliff and landed heavily on the ground. Fortunately, there was soft snow below and the car's shock absorption was also good. Otherwise, just falling down like this would have been quite jarring. The car drove dozens of meters away, and Zhang Tuohai's heart slowly calmed down. There is a vending machine not far away. Zhang Tuohai drove to the vending machine. Congratulations to the player for passing the special death obstacle course. Here are the prizes. Please check them out. A box fell out. Zhang Tuohai opened it, and saw that on the top was a stack of coupons. He roughly counted 1,800 points, including the 500 points generously given by the two Good Samaritans who blocked his way, plus the remaining for those 20 points. Zhang Tuohai has a total of 2,320 points. I should be able to afford the best things this time. Zhang Tuohai shook the coupons in his hand and made a snapping sound. Sure enough, money is the sweetest sound. Zhang Tuohai continued to flip through the box. There is also an RPG-7 and two anti-tank grenades in the box. According to the explanation of the game system, this is his reward for killing the gunman. Zhang Tuohai didn't expect that there would be a reward for killing the gunman. If he had known this, he would have killed all the gunmen. I regretted it for a while. Now, after replenishing his RPG-7, he still has two RPG-7s. And the number of Molotov anti-tank grenades has increased to six. So he has enough weapons. Continuing to scroll down, Zhang Tuohai found two more drawings below. AK-47 Manufacturing Blueprint, Widowmaker. One of the three artifacts of the gorillas. The most manufactured assault rifle. No one. Use it. And you will have everything. Crafting materials, intermediate metal ingots, two units. Low-level wood, one unit. Metal parts, 20 units. 7.62 mm bullet manufacturing diagram. The game system prompts that this is his reward for being the first to pass the special death obstacle course. Are these two things? Zhang Tuohai opened his mouth, not knowing what to say. If you want to say that this thing is not good, it is the most manufactured assault rifle in the world. Moreover, it is cheap to manufacture, easy to mass produce, has high attack power, strong penetration, and is easy to maintain. It is suitable for various environments. However, let's be honest, the accuracy of this gun is somewhat poor, and the recoil is relatively strong, making it difficult for beginners to master. Moreover, he also has a better AK-74, and does not need this relatively low in firearm. However, this thing can be sold to other players. Zhang Tuohai took a fancy to its advantages of cheap materials and easy mass production. But now is not the time to sell this thing. Only after he upgrades the armor to a higher level that it can withstand AK-47 close range fire will he consider selling it. As for now, this thing can only be regarded as a bottom line item for the time being. After packing up his things, Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Ai to move on. While he threw the information about the special death obstacle course to Zhao Wan Wan and Song Xiao Kong, with their current strength, their chances of surviving the obstacle course were less than 100%. 1. Zhang Tuohai didn't want the two of them to die in vain. As for the others, Zhang Tuohai could charge more money to make up for his losses. Who is the richest on the regional channel? Zhang Tuohai searched around and dialed Su Qi's private message. I have information about the special death obstacle course. Do you want it? Chapter 201A Fisherman can catch anything except fish. You're late. Su Qi cried. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai asked. We've come in and been trapped on a bilateral bridge. Su Qi said with a sad and angry look. Those two guys were so insidious. They actually hid and used snow blowers. Now the car is almost freezing. What should I do? I'll give you two body armors. Throw them on the spikes next to you. They should be able to block the spikes. Then, get out of the car and kill the two people using snow sprayers. They only have snow sprayers in their hands. Attack if your strength is not high. You can use a submachine gun to get it done. Then, clear the snow on the car windows and you should be able to pass the bilateral bridge. If you feel unsafe, I can also sell you a flamethrower. It can kill enemies and defrost them. 
I also have the key points for passing the next two levels. Believe me, they are all things that can save your lives. But, what can you thank me for? Zhang Tuhai asked. Wait a minute. I'll ask my sister. Su Chi hung up the private message. After a while, Su Mu sent a private message, which contained a drawing. Advanced Ecological Park Construction Drawing, Level 4 Special Building, Using Space Folding Technology, Containing 6,666 cubic meters of space. It has sunken fish ponds, orchards, vegetable gardens, poultry houses, slaughterhouses, pet rooms and other facilities, and can add accessory equipment, allowing players to have a comprehensive logistics support base. Construction materials, high-grade metal ingots, 100 units, high-grade stone, 600 units, earth, 600 units, high-grade plastic, 10 units, rubber, 100 units, glass, 800 units, intermediate glass, 50 units, high-grade glass, 10 units, wood, 300 units, intermediate wood, 50 units, advanced wood, 10 units, intermediate water collector, asterisk 1, advanced electronic components, asterisk 3. Zhang Tuohai's eyes almost went straight when he saw this drawing. If he has this thing, he will have a mobile logistics base in his car. Moreover, it has a huge space. He can install whatever he wants. And he no longer has to worry about insufficient space. The most important thing is that I can finally farm. This thing is fatally attractive to a hamster player. However, expensive is really expensive. Zhang Tuohai made a rough calculation and found that there are 7 to 800 units of various high-grade materials as well as a lot of intermediate and low-grade materials. He hasn't even gathered the materials for third-level auto parts yet. He doesn't know how long it will take to get these things together. This thing is a big piece of cake for Zhang Tuohai. Seeing that Zhang Tuohai seemed worried, Su Mu sent a lot of things over. Zhang Tuohai saw that there were all kinds of materials, including 600 units of high-grade stone, 500 units of soil, 300 units of glass, and 50 units of intermediate glass. There were so many of them, that his car was almost full. These are the materials I saved to build this thing. And they are all given to you. Zhang Tuohai took a look at these things and knew that Su Mu was also bleeding heavily this time. If he pressed harder, he could actually order more things. But in that case, the friendship would be gone and it would be difficult to deal with him in the future. In order to keep the water flowing, Zhang Tuohai decisively stopped. Okay, I will tell you the key points for clearing the level later. But can I ask a question? Where did you get these stones? With the current material explosion rate, there is absolutely no way you can get so many high-level materials in the material box. Stone. Sumu was silent for a moment, and then said, Actually, you should have guessed something. I found a treasure map and entered a dungeon. The stones and soil were all obtained from there. As expected, Zhang Tuohai nodded. Now there is only one way to get so many high-level materials of a single type. These are the key points for clearing the level. In addition, it's best to lie down when leaping. Snipers don't always shoot at the windows. John Tuahai told Su Mu in detail the key points for subsequent customs clearance. Thank you. If you can survive, I owe you a favor. Su Mu said. Come on. John Tuahai said in a modicum, exited the private message, and turned to contact Sharon Base, wanting to sell the information again. As a result, Salambas was unexpectedly careful and actually retreated from the road directly to the side. Without selling the information. These rich people are really careful. Zhang Tuohai shook his head with regret. Although the second piece of information was not sold. Zhang Tuohai was already very satisfied. Now, he has accumulated so many good blueprints in his hand that he has yet to make. Including an aged wine pool. A mobile composite armor. A super fertilizer maker. Plus this newly acquired high-end ecological park. There is no shortage of blueprints for the time being but there is a shortage of level 3 manufacturing materials, especially high-grade metal ingots. It seems that we need to take a chance to collect high-grade metal ingots. Zhang Tuohai looked at the gap in the material and muttered. Zhang Tuohai considered the gaps in the materials in his hands and wondered if there was any way to get more high-end materials. Classmate Xiao Ai drove straight down. During this period, Zhang Tuohai saw that his mood level dropped by 5 points, and he quickly asked Wang Kai to make a cup of milk tea to calm his shock. With the support of the pillow and the figure, I actually lost 5 points of mood value. It seems that the mood value dropped a bit quickly during the competition. Zhang Tuohai quickly sent a private message to a few people he knew well, reminding him to pay attention to his mood, especially Vladimir. Zhang Tuohai warned emphatically, There is no way. 
This guy is too strong. If he becomes crazy because his mood value is too low, it will take a lot of effort to kill him. Or even use RPG-7. Which is not worth it. My dear Davari, I am in a good mood. I am fishing, and the harvest is not bad. Vladimir sent a photo. At this time, he was sitting in a tent with an ice cave underneath. And he was fishing on the ice with a hand pole. On the ice next to it, facing a broken teapot, rotten boots, branches, broken nets, straw hats, and a frozen seal on the edge. What are these things? John Tuhai asked, wiping the sweat from his forehead. It's all what I caught. Vladimir spread his hands. There is too much garbage down here. I changed three places and they all look like this. This place is better. I just broke the hole and it was like this. A seal wanted to come up for air, but I caught it. Vladimir said proudly. Sure enough, anglers can catch everything except fish. As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he exchanged a bottle of rum for some seal meat. He hasn't eaten the meat of this thing before, so he wants to taste it fresh. Jiang Tuohai originally planned to use plastic wrapped roast chicken in exchange, but Vladimir firmly disagreed and insisted on using wine. You already have hundreds of kilograms of wine. Why do you still need to exchange it for wine? Jiang Tuohai was a little curious. The great sages told us that no matter how much wine we have, it is not enough. So we must do everything possible to store more and more. Vladimir said. That sage could say such a thing? John Tuohai didn't believe it. Vladimir. My father. John Tuohai. Chapter 202 The Terrifying Snowman The vast snowfield stretched as far as the eye could see. And John Tuohai was sprinting downwards. After running for two hours, John Tuohai didn't even see a resting place. Where is the rest area? You should be able to see the service area even on the highway. Right? John Tuohai looked at the lonely snowfield and felt infinite melancholy. At this moment, a flash of red suddenly appeared in front of him. Resting place? John Tuohai suddenly became energetic. Quick, drive over and take a look. John Tuohai shouted excitedly. Clear. Classmate Xiao Yai sped up and drove past. After seeing the appearance of the building clearly, John Tuohai shouted that he had been deceived. It turned out that it was not a resting place, but an entrance to the track. Welcome players to the snowman chase. After entering the track, you will be chased by a powerful snowman. All you have to do is run away as fast as you can and reach the end before being swallowed by the snowman. You will win and get a prize. You can choose to accept it heroically, or you can choose to leave like a coward. The decision is yours. Note, if you leave like a coward, the game system will randomly confiscate certain points as punishment. Then you must participate. John Tuohai finally got more than 2,000 points coupons. So he was holding back and found a resting place to exchange for some good things. How could you leave? Moreover, if you participate, you will definitely get a lot of lottery tickets. Maybe he can empty the vending machines in the next rest area. As for the powerful snowman, John Tuohai really doesn't care much. No matter how powerful it is. Is it still as powerful as RPG-7? Are there any powerful anti-tank grenades? John Tuohai didn't believe it. Classmate Xiao Yai, let's join that snowman chase and see how powerful that bird snowman is. John Tuohai said. Understood. Commander. Xiao Yai adjusted his direction and drove towards the track not far away. As soon as the wheels crossed the starting line, a snowman suddenly appeared 10 meters behind John Tuohai. The snowman is actually a big snowball. More than 2 meters in diameter. With a nose. Eyes and mouth painted on it. With its carrot nose. Black briquette eyes. And gravel mouth. It looks like a roadside snowman built by a child. Although the material was very ordinary. The more Zhang Tuohai looked at the snowman. The more strange he felt. It's obviously very ordinary. But it gives people a strange feeling. It makes people feel uncomfortable. If I had to describe it. It would be that this must be like a snowman on a horror set. You were frightened by the snowman. And your mood value dropped by 10 points. You gain debuff. Panic. Which reduces your mood value by 1 point every minute for 10 minutes. How dare you scare me? John Tuohai was furious. Who can bear to lose 20 mood points for nothing? John Tuohai immediately lowered the window. Pulled out his AK-74 and fired a hail of bullets at the snowman. The tungsten alloy bullet hit the snowman and cracked large pieces of snow but it still had no effect on the main body of the snowman. With the sound of the gunshot, the snowman seemed to be activated, rolling his round body and rushing towards Zhang Tuohai. Drive quickly! Speed up and get rid of it! Zhang Tuohai shouted loudly. The six-wheeled off-road vehicle suddenly jumped forward, 
The speed increased to 200 miles in the blink of an eye. Zhang Tuahai thought that this speed would be enough to get rid of Snowball. However, the Snowball was still chasing closely behind him. About 10 meters away from Zhang Tuahai. Neither far nor close. A 200-mile Snowball? Are you kidding? Come and try this! Zhang Tuahai took out an anti-tank grenade and threw it at the Snowball behind him. Boom! The anti-tank grenade hit Snowball's body and exploded. The 2-meter diameter Snowball suddenly turned into pieces and scattered everywhere. Hey! If I let you chase me, it's over now. Right. Zhang Tuahai looked at the fragments of the snowball and sneered. At this moment, a piece of crystal rose from the snowflakes, and the scattered snowflakes quickly gathered towards the crystal, turning into a small snowball in the blink of an eye, and it tended to get bigger and bigger. What's going on? Resurrection from the dead. Rebirth with blood? Zhang Tuahai has never seen such a situation before. Only breaking the snowman's core can temporarily kill the snowman. But every time the snowman's core is broken, it will regroup, and every death will make it stronger. However, every time you kill it, you will get rich rewards. After hearing the first sentence from the prop system, Zhang Tuahai wanted to tell classmate Xiao Ai to run away. However, when he heard the second paragraph, Zhang Tuahai came back again. Don't tell me early if there is a reward. As a result, I lost 20 mood points and wasted an anti-tank grenade. If I don't kill you once, I won't be able to think clearly. Zhang Tuohai carried a flamethrower on his back, jumped out of the car, and started spraying the snowball that had not yet recovered. Call. The blazing flame shot out and enveloped the snowball. Zhang Tuohai adjusted the button and adjusted the flame to the maximum. In the blink of an eye, the fireball was completely ablated. Even the crystal disappeared. What can't be burned to death? Isn't this all burned to death? Zhang Tuohai's face showed joy. However, as soon as he finished speaking, another piece of crystal rose from the ground. Countless snowflakes gathered on the snowball, and the speed of gathering was obviously much faster than before. The core of the snowman is the soul body. If you can't hurt the soul, you can't kill it completely. Moreover, every time you kill it, its strength will increase. If you kill it three times with your current strength, you won't be able to outrun it. The system prompted. So awesome! Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly burned the snowman in front of him, then jumped into the car and ran away. Sure enough, after Zhang Tuohai ablated the snowman, a piece of crystal rose from the ground, and countless snowflakes gathered quickly. In less than 10 seconds, they gathered into a snowball as big as before. Moreover, the gathering speed of snowflakes did not stop, but became faster. 30 seconds later, it had turned into a huge snowball 10 meters high. It still has black briquette eyes, a carrot nose, and a gravel mouth. But now, it looks even more ferocious and terrifying. You are stared at by the snowman. Mood value minus 10. You are debuffed. Your mood value is reduced by 2 points every minute for 30 minutes. A two-line game system prompt popped up. Amaril is stuffed. Zhang Tuohai cursed loudly, and quickly drank a cup of hot coffee to lift his mood. At the same time, she hugged Sister Bower's pillow tightly. Quack! 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 The snowman let out a piercing scream and then rolled towards Zhang Tuohai, a 10-meter-tall snowball. The momentum of the roll was extremely astonishing, and it was like an overwhelming force. Pressing towards Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 203 Rainbow Highway The resurrected snowman is not only extremely large, but also extremely fast. According to Zhang Tuohai's visual inspection, the speed is at least 300 miles. The huge snowman was chasing Zhang Tuohai at an extremely fast speed. The distance between the two is rapidly shortening. Speed up quickly! Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Ai to speed up while thinking of a solution. Suddenly, he saw two forks ahead. The intersection is wide and flat, with a straight line leading to the end. The other road is relatively narrow, only 7 or 8 meters wide. Moreover, there is half a snow wall blocking the intersection. Looking in, there are layers of snow walls. It seems that one is a test of speed, and the other is a test of agility. Zhang Tuohai guessed at the hidden meanings of the two roads. He glanced at the big snowball that was getting closer and closer behind him. And he had no confidence in beating the big snowball with speed alone. Take the road with the snow wall. Now, Zhang Tuohai hopes that the narrow intersection can block snowball for a while. Classmate Xiao Ai controlled the six-wheeled off-road vehicle and rushed into the side road where there was a snow wall. The road inside was just as Zhang Tuohai expected. There was a snow wall on the left and a snow wall on the right. Each snow wall occupied half of the road. Xiao Ai controlled the six-wheeled off-road vehicle 
and constantly change directions. Moreover, this road is not straight. There are turns from time to time. Shao Ai drifts one drift after another. If it were not for wearing a seat belt, Zhang Tuohai would have been thrown out long ago. The front kept turning, and the snowball chased behind. This reminded Zhang Tuohai of the scene when he played Temple Escape. It's just that when I was playing, the most I could do was rush and if I died, and if I was caught up by a snowball here, I would be really dead. By the way, Snowball didn't catch up. Did he? Zhang Tuohai looked back. This sight frightened him. The big snowball actually caught up. The snow walls on both sides of the road couldn't stop him for even a minute. And they were all crushed by the huge snowballs. Moreover, those snow walls also merged into the big snowball, making the snowball even bigger. Gone! Accelerate and increase the speed to the maximum. Zhang Tuohai became furious. He picked up an RPG-7 from the passenger seat. If he really couldn't avoid it, he was going to give the snowman behind him a hard blow. No matter how bad it is, it can be delayed for a while. Zhang Tuohai looked behind and ahead to see when he would reach the end of the road. However, the scene before him shocked him. On the road ahead, a wall of snow and a large wooden box blocked the road. Not a single gap was left. This is forcing me to die. I smashed the wooden box. I want to see what's inside. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai controlled the six-wheeled off-road vehicle and hit the wooden box. Wow! The wooden box was very weak and would break into pieces when touched. A game prompt sounded. Congratulations on getting ten points. Zhang Tuoha, before he could react, there was another wooden box on the road ahead. And Xiao Ai crashed into it without turning. Congratulations on getting fifty units of gasoline. Change from Temple Run to Mario Kart? Zhang Tuohai was confused. However, can you give me something good? Even if it can restrain the big snowball behind me? Zhang Tuohai complained while directing classmate Xiao Ai to smash all the wooden boxes he saw without affecting his speed. Blah. 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 Each wooden box was smashed into pieces. Zhang Tuohai has many things around him. Mineral water. Fried chicken. Grilled cold noodles. Chicken steak. Pistol legs. Grilled squid. A lot of messy stuff came out. But nothing that would be beneficial to the scene in front of me came out. Looking at the pile of snacks in front of him, Zhang Tuohai was almost speechless. Is this a good meal for me to eat before I die? Suddenly, the sound of the prompt system rang. Get out of the way of the wooden box in front of you. There is an elephant in the wooden box. You will be blocked and then caught up and crushed by the snowball. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that there was indeed a large wooden box on the way ahead, which was about to be loaded. This bullshit game actually uses inertial thinking. Zhang Tuohai yelled at the game system for being shameless and shouted at Xiao Ai to turn around. Uh-huh. With a flick of the tail, the six-wheeled off-road vehicle rushed past the wooden box. At this time, Zhang Tuohai was only one centimeter away from the wooden box. What a danger! Zhang Tuohai wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Although this flick avoided the wooden box, the speed of the car slowed down a bit. The distance between Zhang Tuohai and Big Snowball was less than 10 meters. It seems it's time to use this guy. Zhang Tuohai took up RPG-7. Although I am very reluctant to give up. In this situation, I have to use it. At this moment, the sound of the prompt system rang again. Crash the wooden box on the right. It will allow you to get rid of the pursuit and escape to heaven. If you miss this opportunity, the next chance to escape will be 2,000 meters later. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw two wooden boxes placed on the passage ahead. One on the left and one on the right. Choose the one on the left to grab a wooden box two kilometers away and choose the one on the right to leave immediately. Can I still run 2,000 meters? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the big snowball close at hand, and then shouted to classmate Xiao Ai. Crash the wooden box on the right. Understood. Xiao Ai bumped into the wooden box on the right. Boom. The wooden box shattered. Zhang Tuohai felt like he was flying. He looked down and saw that there was a large steel plate in the wooden box. And under the steel plate was a large spring. The huge force sent Zhang Tuohai's six-wheeled off-road vehicle flying. And then the big spring was crushed into pieces by the big snowball. Fortunately, I'm not greedy. Zhang Tuohai wiped the sweat from his forehead. The car flew more than 50 meters high and then landed on a smooth road. The road is 7 or 8 meters wide, painted in rainbow colors and lined with wooden boxes. Classmate Xiao Ai sped up and ran. Slow down. Slow down. Let me knock every box. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. No. This road is too slippery. It's useless to even apply the brakes. Classmate Xiao Ai said. 
Then let's hit as many points as possible under the premise of safety. Zhang Tuohai was also helpless. He guessed that this was the game system's way of preventing him from staying here and greedy for supplies. Congratulations on getting one point coupon. Congratulations on getting six oysters. Congratulations on getting a pack of Rainbow Hall. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were almost filled with these prompt messages. Finally, the Rainbow Highway fell to the ground. And Zhang Tuohai's car finally stopped smoothly. Congratulations on passing the snowman chase. Please claim your prize. Chapter 204 Snowman Statue It's finally out! Zhang Tuohai wiped his forehead. His body was almost soaked with cold sweat. Since entering the world of road survival, he has never experienced such a dangerous moment. Just now, I almost died. Zhang Tuohai picked up his own box from the vending machine and opened it casually. The one on top is a total of 1,800 points. In addition to what he had accumulated before and what he had opened from the box, Zhang Tuohai had a total of 5,431 points. It's considered a bumper harvest. Placed under the coupon is a snowman statue. Snowman statue, a special statue. After being placed, you will be protected by wind and snow. Snow cannot bury you. Hurricanes cannot move you. Ice cannot make you slip. And cold cannot hurt you. Note, this is a reward given to the brave man who has killed the snowman. Zhang Tuohai carefully read the description of the snowman statue twice and came to the conclusion, I am awesome. Zhang Tuohai clearly remembered that the disaster on the seventh day of this world was rapid freezing. If the cold can't hurt him, does that mean that rapid freezing has no effect on him? In order to test it out, Zhang Tuohai took off his snow camouflage uniform and came outside. After standing in the cold wind for 10 minutes, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car shivering while wiping his nose. After installing the snowman statue, the cold really can't make him suffer from frostbite. But it's still cold when it should be cold. Zhang Tuohai felt like ice cubes on his body. I'm careless. Zhang Tuohai wiped his nose and thought to himself. He didn't expect that the system would actually play such a word game with him. However, the effect of not getting frostbite is already huge, coupled with the resistance to snow, ice, hurricanes, etc. It is worth the money. Zhang Tuohai is still very satisfied with this snowman statue. Underneath the snowman statue is a manufacturing blueprint. And it was the heavy weapons blueprint that he had been thinking about. RPG-43 Anti-Tank Grenade Manufacturing Drawings, also known as Molotov Grenade, with a total length of 383 millimeters, a weight of 1.2 kilograms, and an armor-piercing depth of 75 millimeters. The killing radius is 20 meters. Crafting materials, metal ingot, 1 unit, wood 1 unit, metal parts, 10 units. Although it is not the RPG-7 blueprint he wants most. With this thing, combined with the ice projector, it can be regarded as a long-range blasting weapon, which is enough for the time being. Moreover, with the manufacturing drawings in hand, Zhang Tuohai finally can stop using Molotov grenades as a weapon and count them one by one. Now he can produce them in batches and can be used as a conventional weapon. The comprehensive strength has reached a new level. As for more advanced weapons, wait until you have the opportunity to slowly collect them. His goal is to first collect high-grade metal ingots and make mobile composite armor first. After taking away all the rewards, Zhang Tuohai mentioned a few words to Song Xiaokong and Xiao Wanwan. At the same time, they were told not to shoot at the snowman. Don't worry. The bullets in my hand are not enough to protect myself. How could I waste it on the snowman? Let alone, the big guy is chasing me again. Xiao Wanwan replied. I originally wanted to give it a try. But after hearing what you said, I'd better withdraw. With my current strength, I'm just going to deliver food. Song Xiaokong decisively chose to give up the challenge and was deducted by the game system. Lost half of the coupons. However, Song Xiaokong was very satisfied. It was better to lose some coupons than to lose his life. Boss, you should be of use to this thing. The reward I received is a thank you gift. Song Xiaokong said and gave six units of high-grade metal ingots to Zhang Tuohai. This thing is very valuable. Don't you plan to keep it yourself? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course I know it's a good thing. But with my current level, I can't use it at all. I might as well give it to you in exchange for your favorability. As long as you don't abandon me, I will definitely live a good life. Even if you just did that this piece of news also saved my life. I think it's worth more than six units of high-grade metal ingots. It's worth exchanging six units of high-grade metal ingots for my life. San Shakong said openly. Okay, I'll accept it. Zhang Tuohai still admires San Shukong's straightforward character. At least, he made it clear about hugging his thigh. 
For this reason, as long as Song Xiaokong knows how to advance and retreat, Zhang Tuohai will not abandon her casually. The Su sisters have not encountered this racing competition yet, so they have not purchased information from Zhang Tuohai. After asking around, Zhang Tuohai continued to ask Xiao Ai to move forward. After driving down for more than an hour, the slope of the hillside gradually slowed down. We are about to reach the bottom of the mountain. But where is the resting place? Zhang Tuohai was a little anxious. If there was no resting place behind, wouldn't he get these coupons in vain? After driving for another hour, just when Zhang Tuohai became anxious, a red roof finally appeared in his eyes. Go over and have a look. Zhang Tuohai greeted classmate Xiao Yai. When the car drove past, Zhang Tuohai almost turned his nose with anger. It is true that this is a resting place, but it is only 10 meters away from the finish line. What's the point of setting up this resting place? Didn't we agree to help replenish supplies on the way? It was built 10 meters before the finish line and a yarn was added. Just as Zhang Tuohai was about to cross the finish line, he reversed the car again. What if I'm not allowed to redeem it after crossing the finish line? Based on Zhang Tuohai's understanding of the game system, it can definitely do such a thing. Change it first, and then talk about it. Zhang Tuohai stopped at the rest area and checked the goods inside. It has to be said that supplies at the foot of the mountain are cheaper than those at the top. The same high-quality products here are about a quarter cheaper than the ones on the mountain. It's good not to learn from it. I just learned all the tricks from tourist areas. Zhang Tuohai is sure that the prices of those on the mountain have definitely increased. However, his little arms couldn't twist his thighs, so he had to buy it honestly. High-grade metal ingots cost 230 points each. Zhang Tuohai looked at the coupons in his hand. There were 5,431 points in total. If you buy all of them, you can buy more than 20 high-grade metal ingots. Seeing the high-grade metal ingots, Zhang Tuohai just wanted to buy them directly. Wait a minute. Just in case there is something better. Zhang Tuohai continued to turn upwards. RPG-7 and Phoenix rocket launchers are all prominently displayed on the shelves. It only costs 1,500 points. The greedy Zhang Tuohai drooled. Zhang Tuohai has been moving his gaze to the top. He was firmly attracted by a drawing. Robotic arm. Level 3 auto accessory which can be freely controlled to perform any specified action, or can be controlled by AI. Materials, high-grade metal ingots, 3 units. Metal parts, 50 units. Electronic components, asterisk 1. Remarks, the number of robotic arms that each vehicle can manufacture is 10. Each level up, the number of robotic arms that can be manufactured is plus 10. Price, 5,200 points. Chapter 205, the ambition of forming an army by one man. I want this. The first time, he saw the robotic arm. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind to get this thing. The car does not have to be upgraded for the time being. And high-grade metal ingots can be obtained through other means. And he also has RPG-7 in his hand. There is only this drawing. Once you miss it, you don't know when you will encounter it again. After getting it, you can install 10 robotic arms on the car. And you can control them to make any movements. This one alone is worth buying. If robotic arms can use firearms, then 10 robotic arms can control 10 guns. Zhang Tuohai can stably produce AK-47 in large quantities. The recoil is huge for humans, but it's not a problem at all for robotic arms. AK-47 accuracy problem? Directly cover it with firepower density. Who can stop the firepower of 10 AK-47s now? And, this is just an assault rifle. What if it were replaced by a Gatling gun? Zhang Tuohai directly formed an army by himself. 10 Gatling guns fire. Even the original skeleton convoy couldn't stop it. One person fights against a team. This is just using a robotic arm to control a gun. Robotic arms can do many things. If each robotic arm picked up a gasoline-powered saw, the entire vehicle would turn into a woodcutter. If each robotic arm is equipped with a sickle, it can instantly transform into a combined harvester. And both crops and wild animals can be completely wiped out. If each robotic arm is equipped with a shovel, it doesn't matter even if the car is buried in heavy snow. Xiao Ai can dig himself out by himself. This is still installed outside the car. But the one installed inside the car can do more. Such as washing, cooking, cleaning, fertilizing, and even preventing sneak attacks. A complete all-purpose tool. Even though the price of this thing was as high as 5,200 points. Zhang Tuohai bought it without hesitation. Again, there is always a way to get advanced materials. But if you miss out on advanced drawings, you will miss them forever. After buying the mechanical arm manufacturing drawings, 
Zhang Tuohai still had 231 points left in his hand. I spent 230 points to buy a high-grade metal ingot, and the remaining coupons can only be used as souvenirs. Zhang Tuohai now has a total of 8 high-grade metal ingots in his hand. Among them, Xiao Wanan contributed a piece of the Jolly Roger property. Song Shaokong contributed 6 pieces, and just bought a piece himself. You can make 2 robotic arms, or use 2 more pieces to make mobile composite armor. Both of these vehicles are level 3 equipment, and they can be upgraded to level 4 after being crafted. Zhang Tuohai hesitated for a moment, but decided to put this thing away first, and see the situation before making a decision. Anyway, he has an advantage over ordinary players now. He is not in a hurry to make something immediately. He can wait and see. After packing his things, Zhang Tuohai got into the car and passed the finish line leisurely. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for winning the Alpine Downhill Obstacle Course. Gifts will be given later. Please go to the parking lot to rest. Following the game prompts, an arrow appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai, guiding the direction of the parking lot. There was no surprise that he was the champion Zhang Tuohai. He followed the arrow's guidance to the parking lot and started to rest. After stewing the sea's snow leopard meat in a pot, Zhang Tuohai began to browse regional channels. At this time, the regional channel was not very lively. Most people were concentrating on their way. There were only a few people buried deeply. After digging a ventilation hole, they were too lazy to do it anymore. They just lay down and spent time in the regional channel. Time, waiting for the system to take them back. And judging from their conversation, it seemed that they were very relaxed and very satisfied with getting a day's rest. After all, you may encounter attacks from wild beasts and other players on the road. Now, they are all buried in the snow. And there is no way anyone can cause trouble for them. A few players even started playing Story Solitaire. Is the game system really so kind and without any punishment? Anyway, Zhang Tuohai doesn't quite believe that this game system is really so kind. You must know that during the racing competition, all the players who failed to complete the game were locked in the game copy. Zhang Tuohai still remembers that one unlucky guy almost crossed the finish line. But he was still locked in the game copy. It is estimated that the grass on the graves is now 3 meters high. Can this mountain downhill obstacle course not be punished at all? He didn't quite believe it. Zhang Tuohai asked Vladimir to find out about the situation outside. Except for the first wave of snow monster attacks. It has been calm so far. However, Vladimir's luck was still not very good. He caught a lot of iron pots and rotten shoes. But not a single serious fish. What Zhang Tuohai could say was that he could only express sympathy. Li Fei Yu didn't know what she was doing. Except in the morning. She never replied to private messages. If her profile picture hadn't been still on, Zhang Tuohai would have thought she was dead. Half an hour later, a roar was heard not far away. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that a level 3 six-wheel off-road vehicle was driving from a distance. It belongs to Zhao Wanwan. Why so sure? Because there is an iron-eating beast lying on the roof of the car. Ah Bai grabbed the luggage rack on the roof of the car with both hands and swayed left and right. He was almost thrown off at one point. But in the end, he struggled to climb back to the roof of the car and turn the corner. The six-wheeled off-road vehicle stumbled across the finish line. Why are you lying on the roof of the car? Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car and asked curiously. There is no room in the car. So we have to lie on the roof of the car. Abai said with a sad face. Quick, come up and help me open my paws. They're cramped. Abai's words made Zhang Tuohai dumbfounded. Zhang Tuohai climbed to the roof of the car. Abai's claws were cramped like a vice. And he was holding on to the luggage rack on the roof of the car, unable to open it. You are so relaxed. Zhang Tuohai spent a long time trying not to break it. We also want to relax. But we just can't. If you don't believe it, just look at it. Click. There was a crisp sound. And the handle of the roof rack was broken. Abai also lost his balance and fell under the car. Zhang Tuohai looked down and saw Abai lying in the snow, with his feet in the air and two handles in his hands. Come on! Go to the car and soak it in hot water. Maybe it will relieve you. Zhang Tuohai jumped off the roof of the car and said, I can't go back. Abai said with a big mouth, What happened? You ate too much and were abandoned by Xiao Wanwan? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's clogged with all this stuff. Xiao Wanwan opened the car door. A lot of third level materials rolled out from it. Xiao Wanwan got out of the pile of materials panting. Hurry up and take these things away. I was almost crushed to death for these things of yours. Zhao Wanwan said, while wiping the sweat on her forehead. Chapter 206 Unboxing with Yang Shou, Monthly Ticket Adds More Updates. 
You got so many third level materials. Zhang Tuohai glanced down and saw that the level 3 materials under Zhao Wan Wan were almost piled up into a small mountain. I made it during the Rainbow Bridge. Xiaoyi was lucky. The wooden boxes he hit were all made of third grade materials. However, there were too many and they almost buried me. If I hadn't had an idea and threw it by away. When we got to the roof of the car, the car was almost crushed by these parts. Zhao Wan Wan said. Is this the box that Yang Shou hit? Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say when he saw the piles of third level materials on the ground. Now, let me tell you, our parts are all good. Don't curse others. Hurry up and give me a car repair kit. I feel that the frame is a little stretched and deformed. I need to rest. Shui shouted beside him. By the way, this is for you. Zhao Wan Wan took out a plastic bag from her arms and threw it to Zhang Tuohai. What? Zhang Tuohai subconsciously caught it. Seeds of poor Antiguanian, Xiao Wan Wan said. I checked the supplies. The only thing missing from the milk tea is tea leaves, which cannot be produced in large quantities. The rest place I passed by happened to have tea seeds, so I bought them back. Thank you very much. Zhang Tuohai looked at the tea leaves in his hand and didn't know what to say. He was usually focused on making money and forgot about the tea leaves for a while. Unexpectedly, Xiao Wan Wan actually remembered it and bought it specially. Don't be stunned. Move your things quickly. There are still some things in the car. Move them over quickly. The space will be wider. Is a bye frozen? Do you want to wear a down jacket? Zhao Wan Wan said as she hugged her tightly. Ah bye. Pretending to take off his down jacket to ah bye. Sister, the fur on a bye's body is thicker than your down jacket. And it's much warmer than you. Seeing this scene, the corners of Zhang Tuohai's mouth twitched. It's up to you to take care of her. A bye is my biological daughter. It hurts me even if a hair falls off. Xiao Wan Wan hugged Abai and refused to let go. I don't know who kicked me up. Abai muttered. What did you say? Xiao Wan Wan suddenly stopped stroking her hair. And her tone was filled with chills. Even colder than the cold wind outside. Which made Abai shiver involuntarily. It's nothing. I mean the master is the best. Abai said tremblingly. That's pretty much it. The hand that was originally going to clean the door relaxed again and gently stroked Abai's head. Abai lowered his voice and sighed, sighing that Xion's life was difficult. Why do other people of the same race have good clothes and good food? But here they have to rely on being cute to survive? There are so many level 3 materials. Don't you keep some for yourself? These are necessary for making advanced equipment. Zhang Tuohai asked. I gave you all the drawings. Why do you still keep these things? Zhao Wanon said casually. Anyway, the car can still keep up. So let's deal with it first. When it can't keep up, these little guys will please treat the things I do for you now as advance payment and just be nicer to them in the future. Xiao Wan Wan shook her short hair and said, By the way, Polly the parrot is still the same old method and the recipes are still in the same position. However, you'd better write them down quickly. Otherwise, they may be ruined by him in two days. He is obviously a bird, but he actually likes to read the encyclopedia of poultry cooking. I don't know how its brain grew. After hearing what Zhao Wanwan said, Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. He had seen many people begging for life. But this was the first time he had seen people living purely for others. Is it possible that it likes to look at naked people of its kind? Does it read the recipes as an enlightened book? An idea flashed through Zhang Tuohai's mind. Is there still such an operation? Zhang Wanwan slapped her thigh. I'm going to teach it a lesson. Wait for me. Abai grabbed the handle of the roof rack and staggered into the car. It's time to leave someone to help me move my things. Zhang Tuohai said from behind. However, there was a ping ping pong pong sound in the carriage. And it was obvious that he was not taken care of for the time being. These guys. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and asked Xiao Ai to bring the car over. Preparing to move it himself. After moving two pieces of materials, Zhang Tuohai suddenly slapped his thigh. Why do I have to lift bricks myself when I have a robotic arm? Zhang Tuohai quickly returned to the car and spent six high-grade metal ingots to make two robotic arms. There are two more raised metal boxes on the edge of the car. The robotic arm is usually folded up in a metal box. When fully unfolded, it is six meters long, with sixteen steering angles and six bending points. It can easily make any posture. Moving a brick is a piece of cake. Zhang Tuohai handed over the control of the robotic arm to classmate Xiao Ai. Xiao Ai controlled the robotic arm to move all the materials into the car. Xiao Ai also opened the car window. Let the robotic arm reach in through the window. 
and sorted the level 3 materials into categories and coded them neatly. By the way, I also sorted out the materials that Zhang Tuahai had previously piled up. The various materials were divided into categories and were clearly visible at a glance. Is it so powerful? Zhang Tuahai looked shaken and wondered whether he should put two more in the car to help him handle things. As soon as this thought arose, Zhang Tuahai killed it. He doesn't have too many resources in his hands, so he can't waste them like this. Zhang Tuahai checked the supplies in his hand. There are 36 high-grade metal ingots left. Zhang Tuahai pondered for a moment, then added two more mechanical arms to the body of the vehicle, and manufactured the mobile composite armor at the same time. After the mobile composite armor was installed on the vehicle body, the entire vehicle immediately changed its appearance. It turned out that the car was a monster studded with spikes. However, after installing the mobile composite armor, the car became restrained and deep. The outside of the car body was covered with a thick armor plate, and the outside of the armor plate was covered with two-inch long spikes. What makes Zhang Tuahai most gratified is that even the car windows, including the front windshield, are covered with armor plates. Of course, these armor plates are removable. Normally, it can be put down. But when needed, the whole car becomes a weatherproof hedgehog. Protect all weaknesses. The only problem is that when all the composite armor is activated, there must be lights in the car. Otherwise nothing can be seen. In addition, after the front windshield is blocked by the composite armor, the driver cannot drive. However, this is not a problem for John to a high. Anyway, classmate Xiao AI usually drives the car. And it doesn't matter whether he has a field of vision or not. At this point, he has gathered all the conditions to upgrade the level 4 car. After inspection, all upgrade conditions have been met. Would you like to upgrade to a level 4 vehicle? The game system popped up a prompt. The monthly ticket exceeds 500 yuan. And I still owe 600 yuan. Please give me a few days. Chapter 207 Su Chi asked for help. Before gathering the conditions for upgrade, Zhang Tuohai had been thinking about how beautiful it would be to upgrade to a level 4 car one day. However, when the conditions were put together, he hesitated. The main thing is that he is in the parking lot now. And there will be many other players coming here later. When everyone sees that they have been upgraded to a level 4 car. But they themselves can only drive a level 2 car. Will this huge gap make them jealous? Or even lead to psychological imbalance and do some irrational things? Although it seems a bit ridiculous. People's hearts really can't stand speculation. Especially in such a world without any rules. People's hearts really cannot stand the test. If this happens, Zhang Tuohai will not be afraid. No matter who comes. They will greet him with AK and grenades. But it will still be a trouble. Forget it. One more thing is worse than one less thing. Let's wait until the dungeon is released before upgrading. Zhang Tuohai suppressed his ambition to upgrade immediately and chose to keep a low profile. However, the defensive facilities cannot be stopped. Zhang Tuohai made four AK-47S, plus thousands of rounds of ammunition, and made a dozen Molotov grenades and placed them in the metal box of the robotic arm. Convenient for the robotic arm to be used at any time. Hey, let's see who else dares to take action this time. Zhang Tuohai walked around the car and was very satisfied. As soon as Zhang Tuohai returned to the car, he received a private message from Xiao Wanwan. Is dinner ready? Zhang Tuohai looked at his watch. It's just four o'clock in the afternoon. Are you hungry so soon? It's too early to eat at noon. And it's too early to get hungry. Xiao Wanwan made a grimace of Monikin. Eat something to fill your stomach first. The meat is simmering. Zhang Tuohai handed over two small seafood hot pots. Wow! Seafood flavor is my favorite. I didn't expect you can get it here. Why don't you come over and eat some together? Xiao Wanwan said. Forget it. I'm still looking at the stove. Zhang Tuohai knew that these two small hot pots were probably not enough for Xiao Wanwan to fill his teeth. They were gone in the blink of an eye. Should he go and drink the soup by himself? Then I won't be polite. Zhao Wanwan happily went to cook a small hot pot. As soon as Zhang Tuohai hung up on Zhao Wanwan's private message, Su Qi's private message came in. Can you help us? We are being hunted. I'm at the end and can't get out. Zhang Tuohai tried it just now. Once the car crosses the finish line, it can no longer step out. It seems that there is a wall of air blocking the car. However, other things are fine. For example, if Zhang Tuohai throws a banana peel to the other side of the finish line, there will be no problem. It's just that people and cars can't pass. Then can you pick us up at the finish line? I'm afraid they will still chase us when we get to the finish line. Regardless of whether we succeed or not. This is a thank you gift. 
Su Chi said, and sent over three drawings. Dried fruit making machine. Level 1 auto accessory. Which can make fruits into dried fruits. Manufacturing materials. Metal ingots. 10 units. Metal parts. 20 units. Low level electronic components. Asterisk 1. Preserve making machine. Level 1 auto accessory. Which can make fruits into preserves. Manufacturing materials. Metal ingots. 10 units. Metal parts. 20 units. Low level electronic components. Asterisk 1. Canning machine. Level 2 auto accessory. Can can fruits, vegetables and meat. Manufacturing materials, intermediate metal ingots, 10 units. Metal parts, 20 units. Intermediate electronic components, asterisk 1. Zhang Tuohai took a look at these three drawings. Except that the third one was somewhat useful. The first two were at best enriching his food types. But overall they were of little significance. However, for the sake of old acquaintance, Zhang Tuohai was still willing to lend a hand. Moreover, he was also looking for an opportunity to try out the effectiveness of the robotic arm. No problem. After you enter the finish line, rush in and leave the rest to me. By the way, how many people did it? Zhang Tuohai asked. Two cars. Four people. Although they are both level two cars, their engines have definitely been modified. They are not slower than us at all. They have big guns in their hands. I can't name them. But the firepower is so fierce that I can't. If you dare to poke your head in, several explosion-proof shields will be destroyed. Su Chi was in the back seat, holding up a blast shield and replying to the letter. No problem. If they survive after rushing to the finish line, I will pay full compensation. Hearing that there were only four people, Zhang Tuohai, the second-level car, was relieved. As long as they dared to cross the finish line, he would let them know how powerful Metal Storm was. Zhang Tuohai said, and drove the car to the corner of the parking lot, quietly waiting for his prey to come to the door. Why are you going? Zhao Wanwan asked curiously when she saw Zhang Tuohai moving the car. Earn some extra money, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. How is it? Su Mu asked while driving the car. Once you enter the parking lot, you can't get out. However, he agreed to meet us in the parking lot. Su Chi also put on a new explosion-proof shield and placed it on the back seat. At this time, the rear door of the car had been beaten into a sieve. Only Su Chi near the driving position was better. The other parts were almost smashed. Keep on holding on. I can already see the finish line. I can rush in in two minutes at most. Su Mu said, stepping on the accelerator to the bottom and rushing towards the finish line crazily. Seeing Su Mu speeding up, the people in the two cars behind became obviously more anxious. A little devil with a beard, three hands, two noses, and four eyes carried a Taisho 11 light machine gun with a crooked handle and said to the person driving next to him, Sun Sang, hurry up, point, otherwise they will rush to the finish line. Don't worry, Ito Taikuen. It's the same when rushing to the finish line. As long as you don't grab anything on the podium, you won't be punished even if you kill someone openly at the finish line. I've had this experience several times. The young man driving the car said respectfully, Shinchi, this makes me feel relieved. Ito Tashiro said, opened a bottle of pure nuclear wastewater and drank it, wiped his mouth with a tissue, and praised, it is indeed pure, restoring the taste of my hometown. The taste reminds me of Sakura in my hometown. The two chasing cars slowed down. In their view, the Sioux sisters were already meat on the chopping block and couldn't escape. They simply drove slower and enjoyed the feeling of a cat catching a mouse. Sumu rushed to the finish line. When she saw the pursuer behind her, she also slowed down her car and turned towards the parking lot. As soon as she reached the corner, she was startled by Zhang Tuohai who poked his head out and almost hit Zhang Tuohai's snow shovel. You go inside. I'll ambush them. Zhang Tuohai said. Su Mu took a deep look at Zhang Tuohai. Want to help? I still have a Glock and bullets. I accept it kindly. Just leave it to me. You can go over and rest. Zhang Tuohai casually threw a car repair kit to Su Mu. Thank you. I owe you once. Sumu hesitated and drove towards the parking lot. She knew that staying here wouldn't be of much help, but might ruin Zhang Tuohai's ambush plan. So it was better to stay away and avoid causing trouble. Chapter 208 Nuclear Food and Intangible Cultural Heritage After Ito Tashiro saw Sumu turning around, he quickly urged the people around him, Hurry up. Hurry up. Don't lose me. Don't worry. Taikun Ito, you can't throw it away. Look. It's going to be transferred. Boom! Before the man finished speaking, 
he saw a six-wheel off-road vehicle rushing out from the side. The scariest thing is that the six-wheel off-road vehicle has a huge snow shovel on the front. The heavy snow shovel hit the side of the car firmly. The huge impact force directly overturned the car. Bang. The business car has all four wheels in the air. Like a flip-up tortoise. The commercial vehicle that had been following him flipped over and blocked the road. The driver stepped on the brakes urgently and pushed the car five or six meters to stop the situation. The passenger door was pushed open and a man in a kimono jumped out of the car, ran to the business car in front and asked anxiously, President Ito, how are you? A young man also jumped out of the driving seat, holding a hundred type submachine gun in his hand. He was more cautious than the man in kimono and he saw John Tuohai's six-wheeled off-road vehicle at a glance. You? Who are you? The young man raised his Baisher submachine gun towards Zhang Tuohai. If you dare to raise a gun at me, classmate Xiai, show him how powerful you are. Zhang Tuohai said, Uh-huh. The metal box containing the robotic arms popped open. And four robotic arms popped out of the metal box. Not to mention, each robotic arm holds an AK-47 rifle in its hand. Seeing the six-wheeled off-road vehicle in front of him actually popping out four mechanical arms, the young man was dumbfounded and was stunned for a moment. However, Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to talk nonsense and directly asked classmate Xiao Ai to open fire. Duh duh duh. A series of flashes of firelight and the surging bullets instantly beat the young man into a sieve. What's going on? The man in kimono heard the gunfire and immediately turned around to check the situation. Before he could see what was going on, a barrage of bullets arrived. Puff puff. The man in kimono fell to the ground without saying a word. I can't help but beat him. He thought he was such a powerful guy. But this is what happened. Not even the magazine was empty. Kill the remaining two as well. Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai. Clear. Classmate Xiao Yai controlled the robotic arm to descend. Aimed at the two people in the car and pulled the trigger. Duh duh duh. The two became sieves. Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car and started searching for items. Can Fukushima two-headed fish? Eight-headed turtle soup? Can Godzilla meat? What kind of bullshit is this? Zhang Tuohai looked at the strange food in front of him and didn't know what to say. What is this? Recreate the age of mythology? Zhang Tuohai would never dare to eat these strange things. Not to mention eating it. Zhang Tuohai was afraid of losing his mood even if he opened it and took a look. Zhang Tuohai felt a little nauseous and wanted to drink water to calm down his shock. He picked up a bottle of mineral water from the side. A line of system prompts popped up. Authentic ultra-pure nuclear wastewater has an 80% chance of developing cancer and a 10% chance of causing body mutation after drinking it. Note, if you drink it for a long time, the chance of mutation will increase. Stuffed with sweet pear, Zhang Tuohai threw out the mineral water in his hand. This little devil is really harmful to others. Even after he died, he used nuclear food to disgust others. Even if he starved to death, he would not eat these strange things. Throwing these messy things aside, Zhang Tuohai continued to rummage. Except for food and water. Other basic materials are pretty normal. And there are no Mitsubishi Heavy Industries craftsman products. The quality is still guaranteed. Apart from these things, the only thing Zhang Tuohai found useful was the Taisho 11 light machine gun, which was called a crooked gun in the anti-Japanese drama. It came with 600 rounds of 6.5mm bullets. However, there is a more serious problem. That is, when the Taisho 11 type light machine gun was originally designed in order to ensure universal ammunition and simplify the packaging process of bullets. The bullet chains, drums, and even bullet plates used in machine guns were not used. Instead, the same ammunition as the Type 38 rifle was deliberately selected. 5-Round Magazine The machine gun uses a 5-round magazine. It was almost like a joke. But this is what happened. In order to ensure the continuity of firepower, Nanbu Kajiro specially installed an ammunition feeder on the machine gun. But this ammunition feeder can only hold 5 to 6 magazines of bullets. That means 25 to 30 rounds of ammunition. After shooting, you need to repress the 5 round magazine. Can you believe that the continuous firepower of a machine gun is only 30 rounds? However, Zhang Tuohai still pinched his nose and put it away. In any case, this is also a light machine gun. With an effective range of 600 meters. Its other performance is just about average. If it doesn't work well, it can be used as a collectible. As for the 100-style submachine gun next to him, Zhang Tuohai didn't even bother to look at it. This thing is loaded with 8mm southern-style pistol ammunition, which has a small charge, low range, 
and often fails to kill people. In the 226 incident, Suzuki Kantaro was shot three times in the head, chest and abdomen without being killed. This shows how ineffective this thing is. If it were Colt, his head would be shattered. The ammunition capacity and power were much worse than Boboche's. So Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to use it at all. If anyone likes it, just take it. Anyway, it's just a fire stick, which poses no threat to Zhang Tuohai. On the other hand, those who can pick up such a gun have only that kind of material level and are not even qualified to be a leak. Rubbish. Zhang Tuohai searched again without giving up and finally found something good. A DDD player and several CDs of Mr. Mamatani. This should be an intangible cultural heritage. Right. Take out more. Just these few pictures. Fast forward one night and finish them. Zhang Tuohai muttered with some dissatisfaction. However, he happily moved these things back to his car. After all, this is not a world where you can get countless seeds by just inputting your car number. Every resource is very precious. Later, the car core was also taken away. As for those nuclear foods, whoever wants them wants them. Zhang Tuohai is afraid of damaging his reputation if he sells them. After picking and picking, Zhang Tuohai drove back to his original location after harvesting a bunch of things. The four mechanical arms were also retracted. Bullets filled the magazine again, waiting for the next target. Not far away. Su Mu and Su Chi looked at Zhang Tuohai's six-wheeled off-road vehicle in astonishment. Sister, what are those things? They look so evil. Su Chi asked in a low voice, covering her mouth. It looks like something like a mechanical arm. And it also carries a gun. It should be some kind of accessory for the car. There are so many strange things in this world. Have you forgotten that thing in our car? Su Mu said. Hearing what Su Mu said, Su Chi's face turned red involuntarily. Chapter 209 Prize Selection There is a statue on their car. It looked a bit like a two-headed dragon. And Su Chi wanted to throw it out several times. However, this thing has a powerful buff. When two or more women are in the car, the mood value will be increased by 25 points every night. It was precisely because of this powerful buff that Su Chi barely managed not to throw it out. By the way, mood is becoming more and more important now. Don't always think about throwing this thing away. Su Mu said. I know. Su Chi waved her hand. Well, it's good to know. After Su Mu finished her instructions, she closed her eyes and rested her mind. Driving for a day made her very tired. I'm going to cook. Do you want braised beef or chicken stewed with mushrooms? Su Chi asked. Spicy pork bones. Su Mu said with her eyes closed. Oh. Su Chi took two bags of noodles from the box and went to cook them. The next time was relatively peaceful. Players arrived at the end one after another. Some players, who didn't get much success, planned to do something and grab a wave in the parking lot. However, when they saw the two ruined vehicles at the corner and the four dead bodies, they all stopped. Holy shit! Who is this? So ruthless that he kills people in the parking lot? Look! There are cans! But no one wants them! How about we pick up a few? A player saw the cans scattered on the ground and was eager to try them. Pick it up! Didn't you see that it's nuclear food? If you want to turn into a monster, go ahead and eat it. The player next to him pointed at Ito Tashiro's body. Four eyes, two noses, three hands. Hack! Forget it! Forget it! I don't want to become such a monster even if I starve to death. When the player saw this, he immediately lost his mind. Most of the players, who have survived to this day, no longer have to worry about food. Nothing more than the difference between dry bread and braised beef. Especially after being armed with firearms. Many players can already hunt for meat. Many people can now take a bite of boiled meat. Now that the prices of various spices and salt have begun to rise. Many players have seen the profits and began to use spices as exchange chips making spices gradually become a new general equivalent. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care much about it. Xiao Wanan grew all kinds of star anise, bay leaves, pepper, aniseed and so on. Moreover, Xiao Wanan made a new discovery. That is, the big cat crud actually likes to eat Sichuan peppercorns, which is as good as Ba Li's cumin. She is now considering whether to rename crud the pepper-eating Miaochan. However, it is said that it was abandoned because it was too long and difficult to read. Cars were parked one by one in the parking lot. Zhang Tuohai looked outside and found that the player's equipment had improved a lot after not seeing him for a few days. 99% of the cars parked here are class 2 cars. And there is not even one class 1 car left. Even if there are occasionally one or two first class cars. A lot of strange equipment has been added to the outside. 
it has obviously been modified many times. Otherwise, it would not be where it is now. The time soon came to 6 o'clock in the evening. The game system popped up on time. Welcome to all players to successfully reach the finish line. The mountain racing obstacle course is officially over. Those players who were buried in the snow due to avalanches finally breathed a sigh of relief. Huh? It's finally over. Hurry up and take me away. I've been buried in the snow for a day and I'm almost suffocated. However, what responded to him was not the white light that greeted him, but an earth-shattering roar. The roar was so deafening that many players in the parking lot could hear it clearly. Zong Tuo had looked in the direction of the sound, and a scene he would never forget appeared in front of him. The top of the towering snow-capped mountain was blown open. A gray mushroom cloud shot straight into the sky, and red flames flowed around like a tide. Thick smoke and dust covered the entire sky and blocked the sun. The world is pitch black, with flowing flames and a strong smell of sulfur, making people feel like they are in hell. The volcano erupted. The pouring magma instantly covered a distance of several hundred meters from the top of the mountain, and was still flowing downward rapidly. Red obituaries began to flood the regional channel. The reasons for player death are all due to burning by lava or suffocation by volcanic ash. Isn't it said that there is no penalty for not arriving at the finish line on time? A player murmured. There is indeed no penalty in the game system. But if the volcano erupts at this time, there is nothing we can do. The game system said jokingly. The hearts of many players are cold. Okay, let's not waste our precious time on something as trivial as a volcanic eruption. Let's start giving out rewards now. A long table rose up in front of everyone, and three orange supply boxes were placed on the long table. The top three players are asked to come on stage to receive their prizes. The supply box on the left contains car fastener manufacturing drawings and construction materials. The supply box in the middle contains manufacturing drawings and materials for high-end electric heaters. The material box on the right contains multifunctional camera manufacturing drawings and construction materials. The prompt system prompts in time. I can understand the latter too. What the first car retainer is? John Tuohai was curious. Add four anchors to both sides of the car, which can be inserted into the soil at necessary moments to prevent the car from sliding. The prompt system explained. What's the use of this thing? Is it to prevent hurricanes? John Tuohai guessed. He thought for a long time. In this world of ice and snow, this fixed device probably only has this effect. This thing is of no use to him. Not to mention that he has a snowman statue and a buff that is not afraid of wind. Snow and ice. Just installing ice picks on his mechanical arms can have the same effect. There is no need to add an additional holder. As for high-end heating, Zhang Tuohai doesn't need it either. He has a high-end air conditioner and stove. Plus a snow camouflage uniform and a snowman statue. He doesn't have to worry about a disaster seven days later. This heater has a repeated effect on him. As for the last multifunction camera, it is very useful. Zhang Tuohai can now use mobile composite armor to completely seal the vehicle. But he lacks means of external observation. With this multifunctional camera, observation becomes much more convenient. This is it. Zhang Tuohai made a choice. Wearing a snow camouflage uniform, he walked out of the car with an AK-74 in his hand and strode towards the long table. All eyes were focused on him. Who is this? He's holding an AK-74. Some players looked envious. What kind of equipment is this? It looks very strong. Some players were curious. I don't know if I can succeed in using black guns now. Some players became more active. Chapter 210 Who else? Zhang Tuohai strode to the long table and picked up the supply box on the far right. Just as he was about to leave, the sound of the prompt system suddenly sounded in his ears in the direction of 11 o'clock. At a distance of 50 meters, a player is aiming at you with a Springfield sniper rifle. The other players are not a threat and will not be notified yet. Huh? You really want to pick up something cheap? Zhang Tuohai raised his head and quickly locked onto the player. It was a level 3 six-wheeled off-road vehicle. The window glass was slightly lowered, and a Springfield sniper rifle quietly stretched out of the window. Aiming at him, through the glass, Zhang Tuohai could even see that the player was wearing a special combat bulletproof suit. The equipment is good, but it's like dealing with me. Duh duh duh. After discovering the target, Zhang Tuohai raised the AK-74 in his hand and fired at the player's car window. The player thought that he had bulletproof glass, a special combat suit, and a Springfield sniper rifle. This sneak attack was a sure thing. In addition, it was pitch dark. So even if the sneak attack failed, he would not be able to locate his position. 
allowing him to carry out a secondary attack or hide quietly. However, he never expected that he would meet John to a high. A cheating player. No matter how strong the bulletproof glass is, it cannot stop the firing of tungsten core armor-piercing bullets. The glass shattered, and countless bullets were fired into the car. The chest with the bulletproof insert can still block two bullets. But the head wearing the helmet is not so lucky. A helmet that only protects against stray bullets and fragmented shrapnel cannot stop direct fire from tungsten core bullets. The player's head was shattered instantly. It fell to the side like a rotten watermelon. The Springfield sniper rifle fell to the ground. The surrounding players were frightened. And they picked up their weapons and lay down under their seats. For fear of being harmed. As for the other players who wanted a sneak attack, they hesitated one after another, not knowing whether to continue the action or to withdraw their troops. Who else? Zhang Tuohai asked loudly while standing on the stage holding an AK-74. Who else wants to take action? Please hurry up. I'm in a hurry. Zhang Tuohai's actions completely stunned those players. They believed that Zhang Tuohai had enough confidence to dare to be so arrogant. There might even be an ambush hidden around him, waiting for them to show up in the corner. For a moment, all the thoughtful players quietly put away their guns. Seeing that the players below did not respond, Zhang Tuohai felt a little disappointed. He originally wanted to be arrogant and arouse the anger of those players, so that he could kill them legitimately. However, these players are actually scared. So what else can they do? He couldn't rush in and start killing other players before they took action. That might cause chaos, which was not what he wanted. After waiting for a long time, Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to leave the long table angrily when he saw that no player came out to kill someone. Come to the player's car and start searching. As expected of a player who drives a level 3 car, he has a lot of goodies in his hands. Two boxes of canned lunch meat, two bags of quick frozen dumplings, and one box of spicy hot pot. In addition to these fast foods, John Tuohai actually found some vegetables, 20 potatoes, one pumpkin, six corns, a bundle of spinach, and a Chinese cabbage. There were also some snacks. John Tuohai found six pieces of chocolate, a bag of chewing gum, and three bags of potato chips. I bought a full 1,200 units of gasoline, several basic materials of various kinds. What excited John Tuohai the most was finding six high-grade metal ingots. It is possible to make two more robotic arms. In terms of weapons, they are Springfield sniper rifles and M1 carbines, each with 500 rounds of ammunition. Zhang Tuohai excitedly moved all these things back to his car. The surrounding players watched with envy as Zhang Tuohai carried the supplies back to his car, but no player dared to have other thoughts. After their heads were smashed in special combat uniforms, players with ordinary equipment would not dare to act rashly. Zhang Tuohai had just finished moving things when he saw a prompt pop up in front of him. All the top three players have received their rewards. And all players will be teleported back to their original places. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that Zhao Wanwan and Su Mu had quietly taken away their own supply boxes while all the players' attention was focused on Zhang Tuohai. These guys are really smart. Zhang Tuohai casually collected the core of the level 3 car and then returned to the car. A flash of white light led everyone back to where they started. Zhang Tuohai looked back and saw Zhao Wanwan's car parked 5 meters away from him. Everything was pretty much the same as when we set out in the morning. Zhang Tuohai opened the supply box in his hand first. A lot of stuff fell out. A drawing is placed at the top. Multifunction camera, level 3 auto accessory. Multifunction holographic camera with infrared night vision function. High definition 4K image quality. 360 degree free rotation. Equipped with HD monitor. Manufacturing materials. Multifunctional camera, high-grade plastic, 2 units. High-grade glass, 1 unit. Rubber, 1 unit. Metal parts, 10 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 1. HD monitor, high-grade plastic, 1 unit. High-grade glass, 2 units. Rubber, 1 unit. Metal parts, 20 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 1. Note, each HD monitor is equipped with up to 9 multifunction cameras. However, the materials in the supply box are only enough to make a multifunctional camera and a high-definition monitor. It doesn't matter if there aren't enough materials in the supply box. Zhang Tuohai has it. It happened that Zhao Wanwan brought a lot of level 3 materials to Zhang Tuohai. And Zhang Tuohai directly made two multifunctional cameras, one on the roof and one on the bottom of the car, to monitor every corner without leaving a blind spot. A high-definition display screen was automatically installed on the driver's seat. And Zhang Tuohai turned the multifunction camera 
to observe the surrounding situation. Not to mention, the high-definition monitor can see really clearly. In dim light, it can be seen more clearly than with the naked eye. Zhang Tuohai was having a great time playing with the two cameras, like a child who just got a new toy. Until a private message came in. Is it time to eat? I'm starving. Followed by an emoticon. A beautiful girl squatted in a cardboard box and held up a sign that read, I'm hungry. I forgot there is another one. Zhang Tuohai slapped his head. I opened the pot and took a look. The snow leopard meat had been stewed until it became crispy. Okay. Come here. Zhang Tuohai said. Okay. Xiao Wanwan ran over in a hurry. The two of them sat down. And Zhang Tuohai served Xiao Wanwan a large bowl of meat. The two of them were about to eat when suddenly, there was a knock on the door outside. Chapter 211 Who is knocking on my window? The expressions of the two people changed, and they put down the bowls and chopsticks in their hands at the same time. Zhang Tuohai grabbed the AK-74, ran to the monitor, and turned the camera towards the car door, ready to see what was knocking on the door outside. However, there is nothing outside. Empty. Hidden under the car? His car had a higher license plate. And it was entirely possible for the others to hide under the car and sneak attack from under the car when Zhang Tuohai went out to check. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai activated the camera installed under the car and checked carefully. But the bottom of the car was also empty. With nothing, Zhang Tuohai kept turning the camera and looking around in disbelief. But there was no trace at all. Even on the highway, Zhang Tuohai checked inch by inch. Except for Zhao Wanwan's footprints when he came. There were no traces. What the hell is it? Zhang Tuohai frowned. Could it be a ghost? Zhao Wanwan's voice trembled a little. This is a world of survival. Not a world of ghosts. Where do the ghosts come from? Even if there are. They can only be perverts. Zhang Tuohai said. Something must be in the blind spot of the camera. What should we do? Zhao Wanwan felt a little calmer after hearing Zhang Tuohai's words. Wait. Zhang Tuohai held a gun in one hand and the door handle in the other, leaning against the car door. After a while, there was another knock on the door. Dong, dong, dong. Boom. Zhang Tuohai pushed open the car door fiercely. A cold north wind blew in, and Zhao Wanwan was shivered by the cold. However, it was still empty outside, with nothing there. Strangeness. Zhang Tuohai squinted his eyes and scanned the surroundings cautiously. The surroundings were still empty. Nothing. Is it really a ghost knocking on the door? Seeing this weird scene, John Tuohai was a little confused. John Tuohai is well aware of the inhuman nature of the game system, and it doesn't seem impossible to drop two ghosts into it. Just when John Tuohai was suspicious, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly spoke. Commander, there is something hanging on my car door. Could you please help me take it off? It feels a little uncomfortable. Classmate Xiao Ai said. Is there something hanging on the door? Zhang Tuohai walked around to the car door and took a look. There was a bat-like creature hanging on the spikes of the car door. This thing looked like a huge bat, with a pair of wings and sharp teeth. It looked like a carnivore, and its body was covered with short and dense down. When its wings were spread out, it turned out to be a ferocious and terrifying face. The most terrifying thing is that this face actually emits fluorescence, and it can be seen clearly even in the middle of the night. If, if this thing were to fly in the air, it would be like a ghost flying in the air. The bat-like animal hung from a sharp spike. The spikes pierced the chest. But he wasn't completely dead yet. Seeing the appearance of this thing, Zhang Tuohai roughly understood. This thing should have knocked on the door just now. After knocking on the door, it hid in the gap between the spikes. This was the blind spot of the camera and could not be seen at all. When he knocked on the door for the second time, Zhang Tuohai opened the door so hard that it caught him off guard and was pierced by the spikes on the door. So it's you who disturbed my meal. Zhang Tuohao took out his bayonet, picked the thing off the spikes, and threw it to the ground. Then he pointed the gun at it. Ah! After seeing Zhang Tuohai's actions, the bat-like creature opened its mouth and let out a piercing scream. The sound was not loud, but it was extremely sharp. It made Zhang Tuohai feel dizzy, and Zhang Tuohai felt that he could not stand firmly on his feet. You are attacked by the sonic wave of the ghost-faced bat and fall into a dazed state which lasts for 3 seconds and your mood value is reduced by 10 points. The system prompted. Damn thing! Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger on the ghost face bat. Duh duh duh. Several rounds of tungsten core armor piercing bullets tore the ghost face bat into pieces. Are you okay? Xiao Wan Wan ran out of the car and supported Zhang Tuohai, who was standing a little unsteadily. It doesn't matter. I was attacked by sound waves at close range. 
If I encounter such a thing again, I would rather kill it directly than give it a chance to open its mouth, Zhang Tuai said. Then, what is that? Zhao Wanlan suddenly pointed forward and said. Zhang Tuai looked up and saw that not far from the two of them, a big monster with long white hair and a height of 2.5 meters was knocking on Zhao Wanwan's car door. Boom, boom, boom. Calm and persistent. Those claws seem to be long sharp metal hooks, exuding a metallic luster under the light. It looks extremely hideous and terrifying. Probably a snow monster, Zhang Tuai said in a deep voice. Li Fei Yu once sent him a photo of a decapitated snow monster. It was almost the same as this monster, with long hair, a tall body, and hook-like claws. What is a snow monster? This is the gift that the game system gave to the left-behind players this morning in order to balance the difficulty. Be careful. They are very powerful. And many left-behind players have fallen into their hands. Zhang Tuai said with a stern expression. What should we do? Bai is still in the car. He is still a child weighing more than 200 pounds with no strength. And there is Cruder. He is just a big cat who loves to eat pepper. And Mick. Zhang Tuai glanced at Zhao Wanwan with a strange look in his eyes. He felt as if any beast in her eyes would turn into a waste that could only act cute. Oh, by the way, that big cat is indeed a waste. The sound of two people talking attracted the attention of the snow monster. Roar! The snow monster yelled and rushed towards the two of them. Duh duh duh. Zhang Tuohai fired three consecutive shots at the snow monster's chest. The snow monster's skin is extremely strong. And its bone plates are also very hard. It can even withstand small caliber pistols. But in front of tungsten core bullets. It is like paper. Three blood flowers splashed on the snow monster's chest. An ordinary person or beast would have fallen to the ground long ago after suffering such a degree of injury. However, the snow monster continued to rush towards Zhang Tuohai as if nothing was wrong. He kept roaring and seemed to be even more fierce. Duh duh duh. Zhang Tuohai, who had learned about the strength of the snow monster from Vladimir and Li Feiyu did not panic at all and continued to pull the trigger on the snow monster. Half a round of bullets were fired in the blink of an eye. The snow monster's chest seemed to be dyed red. But his steps still continued, and he continued to rush towards Zhang Tuohai and the two. Such a strong vitality! Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air. When I heard the introduction of the two people before, I didn't realize anything. Now I saw it with my own eyes, and realized how difficult this guy is. Half the AK-74's tungsten core armor-piercing bullet knocked down the rhinoceros but the snow monster seemed not to be affected much. Chapter 212 Upgrading Direction of Level 4 Vehicles If you don't, okay, you have to use your real skills. Otherwise you will rush over. Zhang Tuohai looked at the snow monster getting closer and closer, decisively raised the muzzle of his gun, and fired several shots at the snow monster's head. Duh duh duh. Several tungsten core bullets penetrated the snow monster's head. Plop. The snow monster finally stopped struggling, and its body fell to the ground. Call! Zhang Tuohai walked over and inspected the body of the snow monster. Zhao Wanwan also followed Zhang Tuohai and walked over. How's it going? Did you find anything? Zhao Wanwan asked from the side. The skin is like leather armor. It is very flexible. It is difficult for ordinary daggers to pierce. It also has a certain leakage effect on small caliber pistol bullets. The bones are very hard. If a military dagger cuts it, it will not leave any trace. The muscles and bones it is very tough and can prevent cuts. In addition, the ribs are relatively dense and can block bullets with insufficient kinetic energy. Moreover, its vitality is extremely tenacious. Its only weak point is its head. The best way to encounter this guy is to smash its head as soon as possible. Otherwise, it will run as far as you can. Zhang Tuohai said. So powerful. Xiao Wanwan was a little shocked. Although she had just seen the powerful vitality of the snow monster, she was still shocked by Zhang Tuohai's analysis. Wouldn't it be very passive if an ordinary player encounters this guy? Well, so, my suggestion is to run quickly, Zhang Tuohai said. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai took out a high and skinning knife from his arms and stabbed it into the body of the snow monster. After killing a new creature, always see if you can break it down into something. Get the heart of the snow monster asterisk one. Note, Yeti meat is toxic and cannot be removed. It is not recommended for consumption. However, it is the best food for some poisonous insects and can also be used to extract poison. I can't eat it. Zhang Tuohai showed a look of regret. However, in line with the principle of taking nothing for nothing, Zhang Tuohai still took his heart with him in the car, in case it is useful in the future. 
After getting in the car, Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan continued their unfinished dinner. While Zhang Tuohai was eating, he turned on the regional channel. At this time, several red obituaries flashed across, all of which were caused by snow monster attacks. Zhang Tuohai didn't want too many leaks to die, so he compiled the basic information about the snow monster and posted it. He also told everyone that when they hear a knock on the door, don't open the door casually and run immediately. As fast as you can. Zhang Tuohai's analysis of the strength of the snow monster immediately aroused heated discussion among players. Damn it! The boss is the boss. And he has already obtained the strength data of the snow monster. That's awesome. Really? Fake. It can't be a lie. Right. Some players still don't believe it and think Zhang Tuohai is alarmist. Go and read the obituaries on those channels and find out how many people died at the hands of snow monsters today. You don't know how many supplies the boss sold to everyone. Anyway, I believe in the boss. As long as someone knocks on the door, I will run immediately. I just don't believe it. They were killed by the snow monster because they were too weak. You still want to kill the snow monster with a small broken pistol? It's so funny. I am a professional hunter with a hunter's license. I specialize in helping rich people hunt. Large beasts. And I have a special bear hunting gun in my hand. I have already hunted three brown bears. When the snow monster comes, I will give you the picture above to show you what it means to be a real monster hunter. Hey, there's a knock on the door. Just wait. I'll open the door right now. Player Richard is killed by a snow monster. Everyone, looking at the chaotic regional channels. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head. These guys just don't look back. He has told everything he can tell. And there is nothing he can do for the remaining people to seek death on their own. He can only hope that the snow monster will be gentle and not pluck all the leaks for him. Originally, Zhang Tuohai was planning to share the information about the ghost face bat. However, seeing the state of the regional channel, I felt that it was all in vain. So I only shared the information with a few familiar people. So that's what happened. There was a guy knocking on the door just now. I took the gun and walked around for a few times but found nothing. When I came back, I saw blood under my feet. I thought it was from killing seals. So I didn't pay attention. It seems that the ghost-faced bat pretended to be stunned when I opened the door. And then was trampled to death by me. Vladimir said. Can you sell me the heart of the snow monster? I can exchange it for something. Li Feiyu sent a private message. Okay. Okay. What do you want this thing for? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. This thing is not edible. He really can't figure out what Li Feiyu wants this thing for. Is it to quench poison? The bullet is so powerful. But it still needs to be quenched. Can't figure it out. I have some small pets. And I prefer poisonous things. Li Feiyu said. I can exchange them for the same weight of meat. I gave it to you. It's not an important thing. Zhang Tuohai casually threw the snow monster's heart to Li Feiyu. It's useless to put this thing in his hands anyway. It's better to be a favor and improve the relationship. Thank you so much. In that case, I'll give you these earthworms. Li Feiyu said and traded some brown earthworms. These earthworms are specially bred to loosen the soil. Boost plant morale and speed up growth. They can also be eaten in emergencies. However, when eating, it is best to cut them in half and throw the remaining half back into the soil to continue growing. Li Feiyu said. Thank you. Zhang Tuohai threw these earthworms into the planting pot. Normally, Wang Kai would use a small shovel to help loosen the soil. But now that earthworms are helping, the workload has been greatly reduced. After eating, Zhang Tuohai sent Zhao Wanwan back to his car and then began to prepare to upgrade the vehicle. Zhang Tuohai took out the upgrade diagram and said, System, upgrade the fourth level car. It is detected that the upgrade conditions are complete. Please select the upgrade direction. The game system lists a bunch of pictures and descriptions. The first picture is of a car similar to the Paramount Predator. The almost human height wheels, tall base plate, and military paint make it look like an off-road vehicle with excellent performance. Super off-road vehicle Predator. Upgrade preference, off-road. High speed. High power. The second picture shows an eight-wheeled armored vehicle without any weapons. Which looks a bit like a striker. Infantry fighting vehicle. Upgrade direction. Protection. Firepower. The third picture is of a luxurious 18-wheel RV. Just by looking at the picture, you can feel its huge body. Luxury RV. Upgrade preferences. Comfort. Space. Breeding. Planting. The fourth picture has a hint of steampunk. The picture shows a giant vehicle with tracked wheels. The whole body is made of iron sheets and rivets. There is a full pipe next to it. And there is a thick smoke.
black smoke, steam locomotive, upgrade preference, weird technology, exotic aesthetics, easier to obtain strange blueprints. Chapter 213 Infantry Fighting Vehicle If the first four pictures are normal, the fifth picture is a bit beyond John Tuohai's imagination. The picture in Chapter 5 is not so much a car as it is a huge insect nest, with a huge squirming meat ball above it and purple tentacles stretching around it. No matter how you look at it, it is like the underworld. John Tuohai feels like he is worthless. No guarantee. Biochemical Workshop Upgrade Direction Biochemical Technology Integrating Humans and Vehicles there are many blank pictures at the back, which say that special items are required to unlock them. Wait! Let me touch it! Zhang Tuohai drank a glass of lemonade to calm down his shock and sorted out the information in front of him. From the current point of view, after upgrading a car to level 4, you need to consider the direction of upgrade, choose different cars, and develop in a more professional direction. The first paramount off-road vehicle is obviously a Ranger. The large off-road wheels provide good passing ability and are very fast. However, the problem is that the protection capability of this vehicle is weak. Moreover, the space is small, and the subsequent transformation ability seems to be poor. Point. As for the second vehicle, the advantages are obvious. It is an infantry fighting vehicle. It has large caliber artillery, machine guns, and artillery launched missiles. It has supreme firepower, top-notch attack power, and good defense. As he stayed in this world longer, Zhang Tuohai gradually felt that the strength of various monsters was increasing significantly. From killing casually in the beginning, to now being chased by monsters, Zhang Tuohai felt that he needed thicker armor to make himself feel at ease. However, the shortcomings are also obvious. The infantry fighting vehicle does not travel very fast, and it will be at a disadvantage if it needs to race. As for the third luxury RV, it is obviously built for logistics or commanders. It has comfortable decoration and spacious space. It can raise a large number of animals and plant various items. It is the best logistics vehicle. The only problem is that the protection capability is weak. If the convoy is okay, there are other people escorting it. If one chooses this vehicle, it is obviously a mobile granary. Moreover, if the vehicle body is large, the target will also be large, which will be very disadvantageous during combat. As for the fourth car, Zhang Tuohai also wants it. There is no other reason than that he is handsome. Who doesn't have a lot of dreams? Steam pipes, multiple turrets, rivets and gears are all very interesting just thinking about them. Moreover, Steamunk is famous for its multiple turrets and large caliber artillery. If you choose this, you don't have to worry about the firepower being too weak. The shortcomings are also obvious. This thing moves slower than an infantry fighting vehicle. As for the last one, Zhang Tuohai didn't even consider it. The style of painting was so underworld that even Zhang Tuohai who has been reading novels about novels all year round. Couldn't stand it. He felt that if he chose this upgrade route, his sand value would have to be cleared in one day. After repeatedly looking at several pictures, Zhang Tuohai finally wandered back and forth between infantry fighting vehicles and steam locomotives, not knowing which one to choose. It is recommended to choose an infantry fighting vehicle. If a steam locomotive wades through water, the failure rate is very high. The original infantry fighting vehicle can easily pass through waters, that do not exceed the height of the vehicle body. After modification, it can even fight in sea water, and its versatility is better. The prompt system gives a prompt. That's it. After hearing the system prompts, Zhang Tuohai felt that it would be better to choose an infantry fighting vehicle. The future environment will definitely be more complex and diverse, and an infantry fighting vehicle with a higher versatility would be better to use. Just choose this. The upgrade direction of infantry fighting vehicles. During upgrade, a white light enveloped the car. The whole car has undergone earth-shaking changes. The original six off-road wheels became eight military infantry fighting vehicle wheels. The wheels are even bigger than before. The original off-road vehicle body became an inverted trapezoidal body, and a layer of mobile composite armor was hung on the outside of the vehicle. Even the outside of the observation hole is equipped with movable composite armor. There is even a layer of armor on the outside of the wheels, which can be said to cover everything. There is still a layer of spikes on the outside of the armor. But in Zhang Tuohai's opinion, these spikes are just decorative. No stupid guy would hit such a big infantry fighting vehicle. The headlights on the front of the car have been changed from 2 to 4. And there are two more infrared headlights. The lights are also covered with steel protective nets, which should be the benefits of the upgrade. The door has been moved to the roof. But there is also an emergency exit below. The solar charging panel that originally hit the roof of the car 
has become retractable. It can be unfolded when needed and completely folded away when not needed. This improvement made Zhang Tuohai very satisfied. He no longer had to worry about damaging the precious solar charging panels during the war. There are shooting ports on all sides of the car. There are also bulletproof glass observation windows. But the outside is also covered with removable composite armor. The four robotic arms are still arranged on both sides of the car. But most of the box is submerged in the car body, making it look more hidden. As for those vehicle-mounted radar antennas, anti-aircraft machine guns, artillery launch missiles, etc., they were not available. Zhang Tuohai needed to find the drawings to manufacture and assemble them himself. What Zhang Tuohai now owns is probably a naked infantry fighting vehicle. Zhang Tuohai jumped into the car and took a look. He found that the car was still very spacious. Without the cramped feeling of an infantry fighting vehicle, it seemed that the system had inherited the space he had expanded several times in the car. Various items are organized neatly into categories. Bathtubs, showers, indoor toilets, etc. are all placed in the corners. The double bed is placed above and can be lowered when needed. In front of the driver's station are several control panels, which display the current parameters and status of the car. In the center is a monitor that displays the images from the upper and lower cameras. Not bad. Zhang Tuohai sat on his chair and turned around. He felt that his infantry fighting vehicle was not as comfortable as an RV. Moreover, he also has the construction drawings of a high-end ecological park. After the construction is completed, the expansion space inside the vehicle will be larger and it can fully take into account planting and breeding. It can also be regarded as half a logistics vehicle. Feeling his new car, Zhang Tuohai was extremely satisfied. The only thing that made him feel uncomfortable was that the infantry fighting vehicle was no longer controlled by a steering wheel. However, this doesn't matter much to him. Anyway, he usually doesn't drive much. So classmate Xiao Ai does it for him. Classmate Xiao Ai, how does your new body feel? Zhang Tuohai asked, patting the monitor. It feels great. I really want to go for a lap. Classmate Xiao Ai looked very excited. And her voice rose two tones. How's the speed? Zhang Tuohai asked. Commander, the maximum speed has been reduced to 200 miles. And the fuel consumption has doubled. Classmate Xiao Ai said a little unhappy. However, I feel that if we find new increasing devices, the speed can still be improved. Classmate Xiao Ai added. Chapter 214 Mutation Zhang Tuohai was already prepared for what classmate Xiao Ai said. In the original world, the fastest infantry fighting vehicle could only reach about 100 miles per hour. His infantry fighting vehicle could reach 200 miles per hour, which is already very good. Moreover, Xiao Ai also said that as long as a new supercharging device is found, the speed can still be achieved. Upgraded. Fuel consumption is also expected. Anyway, he has a lot of gasoline in his hand so he doesn't need to worry about fuel consumption for the time being. It has been detected that the player has upgraded to a level 4 car. The conditions for upgrading a level 5 car are now announced. 6 level 4 general car parts need to be installed. 2 level 4 special car parts need to be installed. And a level 5 car upgrade drawing is required. So many things! Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but clicked his tongue when he saw the upgrade conditions. The number of accessories required for this upgrade has been doubled. Moreover, Level 4 auto parts are actually divided into general purpose and special purpose ones. It seems that there is a long way to go for upgrading. However, these things can only be raised slowly and cannot be rushed. After handling these matters, Zhang Tuohai began to visit the car. Zhang Tuohai touched it in the east and looked in the west. And everything he looked at was extremely novel. He was a military fan before he came to this world. But unfortunately, he had never been inside an infantry fighting vehicle. This time, his dream came true. After struggling for a few hours, Zhang Tuohai's fresh energy finally wore off. He put down the double bed and lay on it and fell asleep deeply. That night, Zhang Tuohai slept very soundly and didn't wake up until 5 o'clock in the morning. Today the onions are ripe. Zhang Tuohai decided to celebrate his move and eat something good. In life, there is always a sense of ritual. Cut some meat into slices. Marinate it with wine and onions. Add salt to taste. Put on the electric grill and start grilling. After roasting two pounds, Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Zhao Wanwan. I'm setting fire to the bottom of the pot today. So come here and make up the numbers. It's not like you're going to stir up trouble by moving. Did you buy a house here and want to live in this world? Zhao Wanwan asked yawning before she woke up. Look outside. Zhang Tuohai doesn't talk nonsense either. Oh my god. 
Xiao Wanwan saw the infantry fighting vehicle outside through the window. And her jaw almost dropped in shock. What is this? Why is it so big? It's so domineering. Have you never seen an infantry fighting vehicle? Come here quickly. We are having a barbecue today. If we are late, the meat will be cold. Zhang Tuhai said. I'll be there soon. Zhao Wanwan pushed Abai away, who had been hugging her all night, put on her coat and rushed out. Xiao Wanwan walked around the infantry fighting vehicle three times. But she couldn't find where to enter. Where is your car door? Why can't I find it? Xiao Wanwan asked tremblingly. It's on the roof of the car. Climb up. Zhang Tuahai opened the roof cover of the car and pulled Xiao Wanwan up. You don't have the flexibility to get in this car. Xiao Wanwan complained, looking at the car like a curious baby. Everything here felt familiar yet strange to her. Come here and sit down. The meat is almost done. Let's cook the bottom of the pot today to celebrate my move. Zhang Tuai said. Congratulations then. I will ask Brother Zhang to take care of the little girl in the future. Xiao Wanwan said, raising a glass of watermelon juice. Speak calmly and don't make such disgusting remarks. Zhang Tuai picked up the bowl, took a piece of meat and put it in his mouth. The meat that has been scratched by wine is smooth and tender. Unfortunately, the egg production in this world is too low. And Zhang Tuai has not saved a few until now. Otherwise, scratching it with egg white will taste better. Xiao Wanwan is also used to the way of getting along with Zhang Tuohai. Although she usually looks like a profiteer, she is still good to acquaintances. As long as the bottom line is not touched, it is usually easy to talk. In addition, according to her observation, Zhang Tuohai doesn't like women who pretend very much, but rather appreciates the true nature. So, Xiao Wanwan said nothing more, picked up the bowl, and started devouring it. The two of them finished their breakfast. Xiao Wanwan returned to the car and started milking the cow. This is a must-do every morning. Usually it is done before breakfast. But today Zhang Tuohai was in a hurry. So she went to eat first. Xiao Wanwan squeezed for a long time and realized something was wrong. Mick usually only gives birth to about 40 kilograms. No more. No less. Very stable. However, she had already squeezed 60 kilograms today. And she still hadn't finished it and it looked like Mick still had some energy left. Mick, what's wrong with you today? Why are you producing so much milk? Zhao Wanwan asked curiously. I don't know. I don't feel anything special. It's just like normal, Mick said while eating an apple. Me, help me shear the wool. The hair on my body is too long, and it's too uncomfortable. Meili also came over and said. Zhao Wanwan turned back and glanced at Meili, and was immediately startled. The wool on Meili's body was already very thick and it looked as if it hadn't been pruned for a year. Meili's face was almost invisible, and the whole sheep looked like a moving ball of wool. What's going on? Did you eat something strange? Do you feel uncomfortable? Zhao Wanwan asked curiously. I didn't feel any discomfort, and I didn't eat anything else. The only thing that was different from usual was that I licked the broth from the plate yesterday. Meili thought about it and said, The broth on the plate? Is that the meat you gathered around me to watch me eat? Dragon tail meat? Zhao Wanwan asked. If you have to say something different, this is the only one, Beely said. Click. There was the sound of a cup breaking nearby. Zhao Wanwan turned her head and looked over, and found it by looking at everyone with an innocent face, with a broken glass in front of her. I just wanted to drink a glass of water. I just took it lightly and it broke. I swear, I really didn't use any force, Abai said. Zhao Wanwan keenly felt that things were not that simple. If something went wrong with just one or two pets, it might be an accident. Now that there are three pets, it has become unusual. She turned her head sharply and looked at Polly. Polly, have you changed anything? Change? My only change is that I spend more time squatting on the toilet. I haven't finished squatting since morning. Polly squatted on the composter and said angrily. Cruder, you forget it. Asking is in vain. Xiao Wanon skipped it. This guy is still huddled in the corner sleeping. Moreover, it is cowardly and stupid and it will not be of much use if it mutates. Zhao Wanwan held her chin and began to think. She carefully recalled how these guys' daily routines were different from before. It seems that except for the dragon tail meat, there is nothing different. Is the dragon tail meat really so magical that it can mutate these guys? If so, their value will be greatly increased, and they will not be given up so easily. Zhao Wanwan thought of this and dialed Zhang to Ai's private message. Chapter 215 Happy Amusement Park You mean... Those guys mutated after eating dragon tail meat? Zhang Tuahai was a little in disbelief. 
Yes. It's just a guess now. Zhao Wan on corrected. What types of mutations are they? Do you want to control them? Zhang Tuhai asked. Bi Li's will has grown very fast. Mixed milk volume has doubled. A bai has become super strong. And Polly has made more fertilizer. Those are all benign mutations. Zhang Tuhai said, holding his chin. Now it looks like that. Since it is a benign mutation. What are you worried about? Zhang Tuhai said. It seems so. Would you like some more meat? Make them more powerful? There is still a market for down jackets. Due to combat problems. The breakage rate of down jackets is very high. I see some people looking to buy down jackets every day. Zhang Tuhai's soul as a profiteer burned. Also, if the amount of milk is increased, the sales of milk tea can also increase. Are you too tired? If you keep producing milk, I'm afraid of Mick. Tell it to give it an extra piece of fruit for every kilogram of milk it produces. Zhang Tuhai said. I agree. Mick shouted from the side. Xiao Wan Wan. Mick didn't expect such a good thing to happen. In the past, it could only eat three apples a day. But now it can eat one more fruit for every kilogram of milk produced. Which is like pie in the sky for it. Its eyes have been blinded by the fruit. I wish I could produce milk 24 hours a day. So there would be a steady stream of fruit to eat. Okay. It agreed. Xiao Wan on side. Secretly scolding Mick as a fool. But it's okay. Even if something happens to him. Mick doesn't have to worry about being abandoned. People who are valuable will not be used. Easily abandoned. Zhang Tuohai handed over today's six servings of dragon tail meat. Give it to everyone. As long as it's a mutation. It will be useful. After sending the dragon tail meat. Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. Since those animals have mutated after eating dragon tail meat. Will I also mutate if I eat dragon tail meat? He looked at himself in the mirror. And there seemed to be no obvious changes. Eating too little? Or will people not mutate after eating it? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head. There were too few samples. And he couldn't analyze the reason. Forget it. Starting from tomorrow. Take one piece every day. Since the prompt system does not indicate that it is harmful. Then eat some every day. At least it tastes good. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind. At this time. The time came to 6 o'clock in the morning. The game system is online on time. Congratulations to all the players for surviving another day. Today is the fifth day into the world of ice and snow. The temperature dropped to minus 40 degrees. The wind was level 6. And it was extremely dark. Because they have not seen the sun for a long time. All players get debuff. Which reduces their mood value by 3 points every hour. If they are active outdoors. Their mood value decreases at twice the speed. If it is less than an hour. It will be counted as 1 hour. Please pay attention to changes in mood value. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but gasped when he saw this. The mood value drop suddenly increased from 1 point per hour to 3 points. In 24 hours, it was 72 points, which directly fell below the safe value. Moreover, outdoor activities decreased twice as fast. This shows that all players must have items that increase their mood value. Otherwise, if there is a slight unexpected situation, the player will inevitably die. Zhang Tuohai was so frightened that he hugged Sister Bauer's pillow tightly. In view of the hard work that all players had yesterday. We specially prepared a relaxing project for you today. Happy Amusement Park. Players must successfully pass at least three game projects in the amusement park before they can leave the amusement park. Otherwise, they will be imprisoned in the amusement park forever. If the player fails to pass the game item, a certain mood value will be deducted according to the specific situation. If the player passes the game project, a certain point reward will be given. After the event, rewards will be given according to the point ranking. The event time is 6.05 to 1800 hours. Players please be prepared. Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he saw today's special project. He found that today's game system is based on the player's mood value. Players must pass game projects if they want to survive. And failure of game projects will result in a loss of mood points. Judging from the past history of the game system, there must be huge discounts. And players may fall into madness if they are not careful. And those players who have the ability to pass three projects will also challenge for higher rankings because they are trying to get better rewards. This also increases the risk of failure. All players participating in the same game project, especially players in confrontational projects, have become competitors, which invisibly increases the conflicts between players. It seems that today is another bloody storm. I wonder how many people will survive after today. Zhang Tuohai sighed secretly. Wakai, make more milk tea. The sales of milk tea will surge today. Zhang Tuohai turned back to Wakai and said, Oh. Wakai rubbed his sleepy eyes, 
and went to make milk tea. Those people in the regional channel immediately exploded after seeing today's rules. Damn it! This is driving me towards death. My mood level has dropped to over 30 points. If one or two projects fail, won't it be over? Don't worry. It can only be one project at most. I'm sure that given the nature of the game system, the points deduction for failing a project will definitely start at 30 points. If any of you have any extra things to increase your mood value, I'll buy them in bulk. Don't be stupid. At this time, items that increase mood value are all very expensive. Who would sell them at will? Come on. Come on. Sell rock candy. Every time you eat one, you will gain a little mood value. You can exchange one level 3 material for another. Someone started shouting. A piece of rock candy is exchanged for a third level material. Why don't you go and grab it? Am I not robbing you? There are still people trying to grab business. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows and quickly hung up the prepared milk tea. Selling high quality milk tea. Each cup has a mood value of plus 3 and a temporary buff of plus 1 for 20 minutes. Each cup has a guaranteed mood value of 23 points. As well as a combo effect. Each cup only sells one level 3 material. And the quantity is limited. If you want to buy it, hurry up. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. If Zhang Tuohai usually sold milk tea at this price, many people would hesitate. However, now there is that player who uses rock sugar in exchange for ingredients. Many players look at Zhang Tuohai's milk tea and feel that it is too conscientious and too cheap. They will feel that if they can't buy it, they will lose money. A feeling of, even if there is no need for it temporarily, I will buy a cup just in case. In the blink of an eye, all the milk tea on sale in Zong Tuohai was sold out. Chapter 216, Bumper Car of Death, Updates Added with Monthly Pass. Zhang Tuohai never knew that these players actually had so many third-level materials in their hands. They usually hid them one by one and couldn't even buy a few if they wanted to buy them. As a result, now he has taken them out one by one. In the blink of an eye, he has more than a dozen third-level materials. There are still many players who haven't grabbed it yet shouting for Zhang Tuohai to release another batch of milk tea. Looking at the noisy regional channels, Zhang Tuohai said quickly, Don't worry. Everyone, there must be milk tea. I'm working hard to make it. Please check out the trading channel. I'll make some, and I'll put some of them up. Players in need can buy them themselves. Thank you for your cooperation. Some players begged Zhang Tuohai, saying that they did not have level 3 materials, but had a lot of level 2 materials. Could they be accommodating? Zhang Tuohai took stock and felt that the secondary materials seemed to be very useful in the future. So he agreed. However, the exchange rate is a little low. And it takes 10 level 2 materials to exchange for a cup of milk tea. After handling the regional channels, Zhang Tuohai also gave some acquaintances some milk tea. Three cups each. Li Feiyu was very grateful and gave back some earthworms she had cultivated. Zhang Tuohai took out part of it and threw it into the planting pot and the rest was used as extra food for the hens. Zhang Tuohai felt a little sorry for laying so many eggs for himself and not eating anything good. When the hen saw the squirming earthworms on the ground, she was so moved that she almost cried. The eggs that have been laid for so long are finally recognized. The Sioux sister's gift in return was the manufacturing drawings of an induction cooker and a hot pot. This thing is not bad. You can cook hot pot at night. Zhang Tuohai put away these two drawings. Vladimir declined the milk tea. He thought that this stuff was for women. And real men should drink vodka. Then he exchanged an elk for a few bottles of rum from Zhang Tuohai. According to him, as long as he has alcohol, his mood value will not decrease. Song Shaokong had nothing to offer. So he returned the gift with a photo album. Zhang Tuohai was very angry. He actually dared to give me a photo album. Am I such a person? I must criticize it carefully in the evening. Zhao Wan Wan was still milking Mick and didn't even have time to collect the milk tea. Five minutes passed in the blink of an eye. A flash of white light flashed. And everyone was led to a huge amusement park. The amusement park occupies a very vast area. Looking from the air. Zhang Tuohai can't even see the edges of the amusement park. It looks like a huge city. Zhang Tuohai found himself in a bubble. Surrounded by large and small bubbles. Filled with cars one after another. A prompt popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. Please select the first game event you want to participate in. Pirate ship. Super jumping machine. Bumper cars. Is it actually a restrictive self-selection? Zhang Tuohai frowned. If this was the case, then he couldn't deliberately choose projects that were advantageous to him. Zhang Tuohai took a serious look at the three projects. 
judging from the names. They seem to be very ordinary game projects, which look unremarkable. However, Zhang Tuohai was sure that the items provided by the game system would definitely trick people to death without paying for their lives. If you really estimate the difficulty based on the name of the project, you may die without knowing how. After much thought, Zhang Tuohai decided to choose the most conservative project, Bumper Cars. This is the slipperiest project he has ever played, and the risks are controllable. Even if the game system lets them play with real bumper cars, his car is the strongest and not afraid at all. I choose bumper cars, Zhang Tuohai said. Players are being matched. A flash of white light flashed, and Zhang Tuohai was teleported away. When the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself in a huge venue. It is surrounded by huge high walls that cannot be climbed. In the center of the field is a sandy ground with spikes from time to time and some firearms scattered in some places. It looks like a huge coliseum. There were more than 30 vehicles scattered in the venue. Zhang Tuohai looked around and saw that there were second-level cars and third-level cars. Welcome to the real bumper car venue. The competition rules are as follows. Earn one point if you take the initiative to hit others. And deduct one point if you are hit by others. Game time is 10 minutes. The player with a positive score will win. And the player with a negative score will fail the challenge. And the absolute value of the score asterisk 10 will be deducted. The winner gets points asterisk 10. Game start. No one moved in the field. Because no one had ever played with a bumper car like this before. And they couldn't accept it for a while. Even if you win this kind of race, your car will still be scarred. Will it still be able to participate in the next race? Moreover, there is a guy who looks like a striker infantry fighting vehicle in the middle of the field. If a commercial vehicle or off-road vehicle collides with this guy, isn't it looking for death? Everyone hesitated. If the game is negative, all players will lose and 100 mood points will be deducted. Countdown. 10. 9. The game system popped up another prompt. Gone! Zhang Tuohai cursed in a low voice, forcing everyone to fight hard. Is it a negative game? Or is it not the system's decision? Sure enough, as soon as the countdown started, some people couldn't sit still. A car parked not far behind Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and hit the outer armor of the infantry fighting vehicle. Although the damage was close to nothing, a number popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai's eyes. Minus one. At this time, he was already minus one point. Forget it. The player behind was still holding a loudspeaker in his hand and shouted, Let's surround him together. It is too strong. If it hits us, we will never survive. We must knock it out first so that we can survive. Broken. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. At this time, I am most afraid of someone taking the lead. Because most people follow blindly. If someone takes the lead, no matter what he says is right or not, other players will subconsciously follow him blindly when they are at a loss. If not stopped, he will be beaten. Although the defense of the infantry fighting vehicle is super strong. If you lose points, your mood value will be deducted 10 times. Which is unbearable. If he is hit 30 times, 300 mood points will be deducted and he will die immediately. No matter how many things he has to increase his mood points, it will be useless. Zhang Tuohai once again felt the crisis of life and death. The people around him all moved towards Zhang Tuohai after hearing the man shouting. Some of them were incited, and some had different thoughts. But their actual actions were surprisingly consistent, and they all used full power to hit them. You want me to die? Then I'll let you die first. Zhang Tuohai's eyes turned red. Classmate Xiao Yai. Speed up. Rush out of the encirclement first. And then take the initiative to ram these guys. I want them to taste the feeling of being crushed by an infantry fighting vehicle. The monthly pass has exceeded 600 plus updates. You readers are so awesome. The monthly pass has exceeded 1000. I still owe 4 more updates. Please give me a few days to make up for it. Chapter 217 Crash into a Pie Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai started the engine. Increase the speed to the limit. And rush forward. In front of the infantry fighting vehicle. A level 2 commercial vehicle happened to hit it. Seeing the infantry fighting vehicle speeding over. I was immediately frightened. No matter how stupid he is, he knows that if he, a civilian commercial vehicle, wants to compete with a military vehicle, he will only end up in a fight. He immediately turned the steering wheel and tried to avoid it. However, the infantry fighting vehicle was too fast and rushed to his side in the blink of an eye. Boom! The huge snow shovel on the front of the infantry fighting vehicle hit the waist of the civilian commercial vehicle. Bang! The commercial vehicle was knocked over and then pushed forward by the infantry fighting vehicle. The roof of the car was causing sparks 
as it rubbed against the ground. Boom! There was another muffled sound. The infantry fighting vehicle crashed the commercial vehicle directly into the wall. The commercial vehicle was directly smashed into a pie. Completely destroy a vehicle. Score plus 10. The points are now 10. Please keep up the good work. The game system popped up a prompt. John Tuohai's cruel methods directly frightened those who blindly followed. The car was flattened directly. Even in the collection of traffic accidents I watched before receiving the book. There was no such tragic scene. Everyone stared blankly at the infantry fighting vehicle. Stunned for a moment. The man who used the loudspeaker to shout was even more shocked. If Jean Tuohai treated him like this later, wouldn't he be miserable? Run. The man quickly turned the car around and ran away. On the way to escape. He also hit two cars and lost two points. In his opinion, the speed of the infantry fighting vehicle is not very fast. At most, it will just drive it in circles. With the three points in his hand, he can be invincible. As he ran, he shouted with a loudspeaker, Everyone, come on, besiege it together. No matter how powerful it is, it is just a car. As long as we drive in circles, it can't catch up with us. Let's focus our fire to kill it. Otherwise, next time we encounter it, we will still lose. So if you don't want to lose mood points, follow me. Keep an eye on the guy with the loudspeaker and kill him at all costs. Zhang Tuohai shouted loudly. Clear. Xiao Yai estimated the speed of the car and found that the commercial vehicle was faster than him. If he just chased from behind, he would definitely not be able to catch up. So, Xiao Yai stretched out two robotic arms, each holding an AK-47 assault rifle. Da da da. The AK-47 aimed at the wheels of the commercial vehicle and fired. Puff. A bullet hit the tire of the commercial vehicle. The tire of the commercial vehicle burst suddenly. A corner of the car sank. And the speed was greatly reduced. Buzz. Classmate Xiao Yai increased the accelerator and rushed over. Bang! The commercial vehicle was also smashed into a pie without any accident. Congratulations! You completely destroyed two cars. Completed the achievement twice and scored 10 points as a reward. Now you have 31 points. Please keep up the good work. Commander? Classmate Xiao Yai asked about the next battle plan. Kill all the cars that rushed over just now. Don't let any of them go. Zhang Tuohai's tone was full of coldness. He is just a businessman. If possible, he hopes to live with these players and see what the final end looks like together. However, those guys just wanted to die. Although it was understandable from their point of view, Zhang Tuohai also had the right to revenge. Now, Zhang Tuohai is already a bit on top. All things like leaks and making money were all forgotten by him. He is just a humble citizen. Whoever wants him to die, he will let him die first. Xiao Yai is a loyal AI that will not consider good or evil nor will it raise any questions. It will only resolutely execute orders. Even if Zhang Tuohai lets itself destruct, it will be executed without hesitation. After receiving Zhang Tuohai's order, classmate Xiao Yai controlled the AK-47 to shoot at the cars that were crashing towards Zhang Tuohai. Bang bang bang. The tires of each car were punctured, and they fell to the ground. The remaining players saw this and dodge. But there are still some sharp thorns and hard iron pillars in the field. Many players panicked and crashed into iron pillars, while others had their tires punctured by ground thorns. There were also many players who were panicking and crashed into each other, causing a series of collisions. Classmate Xiao Yai still continued to come slowly, until the tire of the last vehicle that tried to hit Zhang Tuohai was blown out. Finally, classmate Xiao Yai started the car and crashed into these cars. Push a car into a wall and smash it into a meat pie. Some of the players cried loudly, some shouted and begged Zhang Tuohai to let them live. And some yelled and cursed Zhang Tuohai for being despicable and shameless. They actually didn't care that everyone was a player and actually wanted to kill them all for rewards. Zhang Tuohai turned a deaf ear to all this and continued to order Xiao Yai to smash a car into meat pies. Now that you have chosen a stance, you must be responsible for your actions. You want to enjoy the benefits but don't want to take the risks. How can there be such a good thing in the world? A car was completely destroyed by Zhang Tuohai. System prompts popped up one after another. Whether it's a hat trick or a five kill feat, Zhang Tuohai doesn't know how many achievements he has completed and how many points he has earned. He doesn't care about any of this. He has only one goal. And that is to kill all the players who want to kill him. From some perspectives, Zhang Tuohai is not a qualified profiteer. A true profiteer would even dare to sell the rope used to hang himself for profit. But Zhang Tuohai sometimes acted out of his own will. If you dare to prick some leaks, 
you'll even dig out the roots. Until the end, there was only one level 3 six-wheel off-road vehicle left in the field. Why did you stop? Zhang Tuhai asked. This car did not join the siege commander. Should we destroy it together according to the previous pattern? Xiao I asked. Wait a minute. Zhang Tuhai's mind gradually returned to clarity. He turned the camera and looked around. He and the six-wheeled off-road vehicle were the only ones left in the entire field. In addition, all the cars were smashed into pies. Forget it. Since I didn't participate in the siege, let me live. Zhang Tuhai took a cup of milk tea specially prepared by Wang Kai and took a sip. He felt much calmer. Zhang Tuhai thought for a while and listed the car repair kit on the trading channel. He was sure that the intensity of competition among other players would not be much lower than his. There is definitely a market for car repair kits. However, Zhang Tuahai tripled the price. At the same time, in the six-wheeled off-road vehicle on the opposite side, Su Chi shivered with fear. It's so scary. So many cars were flattened. But he's so manly. Su Chi's eyes were filled with stars. Su Mu. She felt that her sister seemed to have awakened some strange attribute. Chapter 218, temporarily ranked first in the standings. Sister, do you think we will also be beaten into meat pies? Su Chi asked from the side. Don't make a sound. Su Mu gripped the steering wheel tightly, sweat rolling down her forehead. However, she didn't dare to wipe it at all. For fear that her inadvertent move would wake up the beast opposite, she even held her breath and didn't dare to make a sound. Su Chi thought for a while and sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. Well, if I die, please remember that I once existed. By the way, this tablet was destroyed for me. Don't peek. It's all inside it's such a pity that I haven't finished reading the resources I've accumulated over the years. Remember, I must destroy them. It doesn't matter if I die. I want to leave my innocence in the world. Zhang Tuohai looked confused after reading Su Qi's private message and the pink tablet in front of him. Su Qi and Su Mu were the first people he knew in this world. And now they are dying? This made him somewhat reluctant and sad. Is it really irreversible? What project? If you need weapons... I have AKs and anti-tank grenades here. Zhang Tuohai asked. Bumper car. There was a big devil just now. He drove a huge green eight-wheel chariot and smashed all the other players in the field into meat pies. Now, for some reason, he started to rest. However, there is still time. Some, I guess it might be thinking about how to kill us. Its armor is so thick. It's probably useless for any weapons. Forget it. By the way, don't forget my instructions. Be sure to destroy the tablet. Thousands the kind that can never be restored. My innocence for the rest of my life is in your hands. There are also photos of my sister's private room inside. Please don't leak them out. Please. Please. Su Chi said. Zhang Tuoha. Why does this scene feel so familiar? He remembered that his infantry fighting vehicle was green. No way. Zhang Tuoha quickly controlled the monitor. Aimed at the six-wheeled off-road vehicle opposite. And zoomed in. Behind the windshield. It turned out to be the Sioux sisters. John Tuohai, where to start? John Tuohai was thinking about whether to report his identity to the Sioux sisters. In that case, Su Chi would probably die socially on the spot. Forget it. Let's leave it in suspense. John Tuohai leaned on the command chair and replied a private message. Don't worry. If you are really dead, I will help you realize these last wishes. Thank you so much. You are such a good person. To thank you. I share with you a photo of my sister that I secretly took, which is evidence of her existence. By the way, don't do strange things to the photo. Also, Xian don't tell your sister that I gave it to you. Otherwise, I will die. Hazy shadow in the steam.jpg. Appreciate artistic photos. Feel happy. Mood value plus three. John Tuohai was stunned for three seconds, then decisively saved it, and then said to classmate Xiao Yai, except for me, this photo must not be seen by anyone. Clear. Time passed minute by minute. The infantry fighting vehicle and the six-wheeled off-road vehicle looked at each other. And no one moved. Time is up. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for winning the bumper car event. Scoring a total of 420 points. A flash of white light flashed. And Zhang Tuohai and the Sioux sisters left the bumper car venue. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself reappearing in the bubble. However, the surrounding area was much empty. I don't know if those players are dead or have participated in other game projects and haven't come out yet. At this time, a huge electronic display screen was erected in the center of the playground. 
The scores of all players are displayed above. Zhang Tuohai's score was unparalleled and ranked at the top. The second place was an unknown player, with a score of just over 20, which was just a fraction of Zhang Tuohai's score. Many players have zero points after their names, either because they lost or because they have not completed the first game project. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for completing the first game project. You have been given 30 minutes of rest time. Of course, you can also choose to participate in the second game project immediately. Your next options are Roller Coaster Advance Bravely Carousel What kind of projects are these? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and looked at the three projects in front of him. There is obviously water in the rapids. And you may need to wade through the water with a vehicle. Or you may need to take a boat. Zhang Tuohai felt unsure and temporarily eliminated the project. As for the carousel, after participating in the first game project, Zhang Tuohai was sure that this was definitely not an ordinary children's project. The game system definitely added some quirks. Which one should I choose? Zhang Tuohai pondered. Never choose the merry-go-round. You will definitely die. Prompt system prompts. There are still projects that must die. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. You will die if you participate. But other players may not. The prompt system said. Why? Is it because of the game mechanism? Zhang Tuohai wanted to ask in more detail. But the prompt system stopped talking. Don't tell me if you don't tell me. If you don't tell me, I can also turn to the omnipotent network. Phew. The omnipotent regional channel. There must be some players who have completed the first round of game projects. Let's see what information they have. Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel. At this time, the regional channel was already flooded with complaints. Damn! What a bullshit little plane! Can you imagine? Every car is tied to a mechanical arm. And then the players shoot each other? Damn! If I hadn't bought a body armor, I would have been beaten on the spot. Died. The haunted house is really not for people to break into. One of my companions was so scared that he went crazy and almost hacked me to death. Fortunately, I was smart and replaced his seat with an ejection seat. Otherwise, I would have been dead. Everyone, please don't rush into the rapids. The water cannon has been replaced by an assault rifle. If I hadn't seen the opportunity and got down quickly, I would have been shot into a hornet's nest. My engine was also soaked. Who can give me a car? Repair kit. Fix it. Is it so miserable? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head when he saw this. However, as for the assault rifle, I can give it a try. My mobile composite armor can completely block the bullets of the assault rifle. Zhang Tuohai pondered. System. Can I choose to advance bravely? Zhang Tuohai asked. The remaining number of people is now 56. And the estimated waiting time is 560 minutes. Do you want to join the queue? Forget it. Zhang Tuohai was not interested in wasting precious time waiting in line. His goal is to be number one. If he has this time, he might as well experience two more projects and earn more points. Then let's take a roller coaster ride. Do we need to queue for this? Zhang Tuohai asked. The roller coaster is a single person event. There are currently two people remaining. The estimated waiting time is six minutes. Do you want to join the queue? Then choose this. Zhang Tuohai said. Chapter 219 Roller Coaster. The player selects the roller coaster and is being transferred. The white light dissipated and Zhang Tuohai found himself stopped on a track. It's a bit like a railroad track, but wider than a normal railroad track. The wheels on both sides are resting on the rails. The middle is suspended. In front of him was a winding track that looked similar to a roller coaster. There were two cars lined up in front of him, both class 2 commercial vehicles. The gear lever in front stood up, and the commercial vehicle that was photographed in the first place suddenly rushed forward. In front of him was a classic straight-up steep slope. The man raised the speed to the highest speed and was about to reach the top. However, the man seemed to turn the steering wheel, and the car suddenly lost its balance. The wheels went off the track, and the commercial vehicle rolled and fell. Don't think about it. If it falls from this height, it will definitely break into pieces, and you will have to use a spoon to hold it. The crossbar was raised again, signaling the second commercial vehicle to continue setting off. I don't want to play anymore. I want to change projects. The player was petrified by the miserable situation of the previous players. He shouted loudly and turned the steering wheel, trying to leave, breaking the rules of the game, trying to escape, and activating the emergency plan. A mechanically synthesized voice sounded. A Gatling gun stretched out from a corner and was aimed at the player. Buzz! The six barrels rotated driven by the motor. Players are requested to return to the track immediately and play the game. Otherwise extreme measures will be taken. 
the player was still yelling and seemed not to hear the sound of the game system. Dissuasion fails. Final measures are implemented. Ta 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 ta. Along with the sound of the game system. Gatling Bodhisattva opened fire. It still blew fire. The commercial vehicle was beaten into a sieve in the blink of an eye. Then a forklift came over and pushed the commercial vehicle away. The horizontal pole was raised again, signaling Zhang Tuohai to set off. Good guy! Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air. No wonder no one complained about the roller coaster. It turned out that they were all dead. What kind of technology is needed to drive this thing? However, he has a classmate named Xiai. Classmate Xiai, can you come over? Zhang Tuohai asked. Commander, Please rest assured, Xiaoyai said. Then let's go. Everything is left to you. Zhang Tuohai fastened his seat belt. As you command. Commander. Buzz. Classmate Xiaoyai rushed forward fiercely. In the blink of an eye, the infantry fighting vehicle rushed to the top. Then, the car sank suddenly and rushed downwards. Zhang Tuohai felt dizzy looking at the scene on the screen. And he quickly closed his eyes. Next, Zhang Tuohai felt like the world was spinning. He didn't know how long it took. But suddenly, a sound sounded in his ears. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for clearing the roller coaster. And will be rewarded with 200 points. Passed? Zhang Tuohai opened his eyes and found that he had reached the final platform. How is the route? Is it difficult? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiaoyai. It's okay. As long as you increase the speed to above 150 and keep the steering wheel steady, you can pass. Xiaoyai said calmly. Zhang Tuohai, he felt that the steering wheel he understood to be steady was definitely not the same as what classmate Xiaoyai meant. At least, he felt weak when he saw the two track legs. And he still wanted to stabilize the steering wheel. How big of a nerve is this? At least Zhang Tuohai thinks he can't do it. Zhang Tuohai took a photo of the roller coaster and sent it to the regional channel. This is a roller coaster. You can decide for yourself whether you can participate. By the way, the bonus points are 200. As soon as this picture was posted, it immediately caused an uproar in the regional channel. The boss can pass this level. The boss is awesome. No, it's okay. My knees feel weak when I look at this picture. And I definitely won't choose the roller coaster. You actually have to drive the roller coaster by yourself? Is that outrageous? Damn it. 200 points. I passed the rapids with only 50 points. Stop talking. Corsair just scored 10 points. The two people upstairs have the nerve to say that one can ride on the floor and ride the rapids. And the other can do it after a few turns on the pirate ship. They have the nerve to raise points. Can it be compared with the difficulty of the big guy's roller coaster? Why can't we compete? I haven't finished vomiting yet. Is it a matter of how many turns? A 360 degree spin. A full 18 turns. 18 turns. I'm still seeing stars. At least it's not life-threatening. Isn't it? Who says there is no danger to my life? When I was riding on the pirate ship, I was torn apart by the wood in the car. Fortunately, it was wood. I was wearing a safety helmet. If it were metal ingots, you wouldn't be able to see me. There was a lot of noise and opinions on the regional channels. However, after being promoted by Zhang Tuohai, the roller coaster is destined to be extremely deserted. The most popular item in the amusement park has become the least popular item here. To a certain extent, it can be regarded as a cause and effect cycle. Looking at the divergent opinions on the regional channel, Zhang Tuohai learned about the gameplay of several projects. At this time, the game system popped up a prompt. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for successfully passing the second game event. He now has 620 points and is temporarily ranked first. Players are asked to choose a third project to perform. Or you can choose to take a one-hour break. Carousel. Float Parade. Advance Bravely. Zhang Tuohai tried the rapids. I found that there were more people in line, reaching 123 people. After all, this is a game that can be passed by just lying on the floor. So many players who are not strong enough flock to it. Zhang Tuohai doesn't plan to queue up. Now you can only choose between a carousel and a parade of floats. However, the carousel has been warned by the system that he will definitely die if he participates. The only thing Zhang Tuohai could choose was the float parade. I didn't expect the float parade to be a game event. I just don't know what it's like. Zhang Tuohai clicked in. Matching other players. Please wait. Zhang Tuohai began to wait boredly. At this time, Zhao Wanwan sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. And the content was very explosive. Are you gay? Zhang Tuohai. Are you polite? Let me put it mildly. 
Are you the vanguard of human centipede? Xiao Wan asked. A black line appeared on Zhang Tuohai's head. Are you reading some strange book again? Why did you ask such a strange question? What on earth do you want to do? Just tell me. If you are bent, you can play the merry-go-round. Maybe I can bend you back. I almost got bent just now. If you are straight, don't play the merry-go-round. You may die. Xiao Wan on said. John Tuoha. Chapter 220 Sharing Learning Resources. Monthly tickets add more updates. What exactly does that mean? John Tuohai became more and more curious. Two pounds of meat. Give it to me, and I'll share some of your best learning resources. Xiao Wanan said. Learning resources. John Tuohai suddenly stopped feeling sleepy. He immediately picked two kilograms of the best braised pork and sent it to them. If it's not good enough, I'll deduct a week's worth of meat. Picture.jpg asterisk 9. Xiao Wanan sent a nine square grid to Zhang Tuohai. His. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but gasped when he saw this. I'm telling you. It's really as if I'm immersed in the scene. I can smell it. It's much better than Naked Eye 3D or VR. If I didn't only have Billy, Mick, Polly, Ah, uh, bye. I almost got caught. Zhao Wanan said, Gone. After hearing Zhao Wanwan's description, Zhang Tuohai understood what the carousel was. To put it in a civilized way, it is similar to Fong Yu Bao Jian with a lot of women in simple clothes appearing, and so on. If he goes in by himself, I'm afraid he will end up like Jia Rui. Who do you look down on? Zhang Tuohai took out the photo and looked at it again. Well, you have a really good eye for it. Even Zhang Tuohai, who prides himself on having read countless photos, can't control this photo, let alone being immersed in it. Sure enough, it's better to stay away. Thank you for sharing the resources. I chose the float parade. Do you want to come with me? I will take you along. Zhang Tuohai asked. Really? That's great. There happens to be a float parade among my options. Take me one. Xiao Wanwan said excitedly. The personnel have been matched and are being transferred. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. When Zhang Tuohai appeared again, he found himself on the road out of Yong. There were several cars parked next to him, including level 2 and level 3 vehicles. Xiao Wanwan's six-wheel off-road vehicle was parked next to him. Not far away from them, several large floats were slowly walking towards them. The leader is a tall float, with a tower in the center and a fat woman at the top of the tower holding a can and sprinkling water downwards. There were also a group of people dressed as clowns around the float. Each of these clowns held a water gun in their hands and sprayed the surroundings. Everything is pretty much the same as the usual float parade. Game goal, destroy three floats. Each float destroyed will award 100 points. Limited time, none. Seeing that there was no time limit, Zhang Tuohai's heart skipped a beat. According to the consistent style of the game system, the broader the conditions, the more difficult it is to complete. Why are you so unlucky? Zhang Tuohai secretly regretted it. At this time, a level 2 car next to it went a little crazy when it saw the points. 100 points. I'm going to decide on this point. After saying that, the player took out a P90 submachine gun and shouted to the driver next to him. Let's go and score it. The car surged forward. The player turned back to Zhang Tuohai and others and shouted, The first float belongs to us. No one can grab it. Zhang Tuohai saw this and backed up the car. What's wrong? Zhao Wanwan asked in a private message. My gut feeling is that this game is not that simple. It can be difficult, and it's best to be prepared to evacuate first. Zhang Tuohai said. As soon as Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, Zhao Wanwan's car made a 180 degree turn. What are you doing? Didn't you say you should be ready to evacuate? I'm ready and can run away at any time. Zhang Tuoha. At this time, the commercial vehicle had rushed near the float. And several clowns blocked the float. The commercial vehicle ran straight into the clown in front of the vehicle. As if trying to clear a path. However, several clowns showed no intention of dodge. They pointed their water guns at the car and pulled the trigger. Seeing the water gun in the clown's hand, the players in the business car laughed. I thought it was so powerful. How could I still be afraid of a mere water gun? Shoot it into the uncle's mouth. The uncle happens to be thirsty. The player opened his mouth and laughed at the clown. Soon, he stopped laughing. Because the water gun is filled with strong acid. Ah! The player screamed. Threw away the gun in his hand. Covered his face with his hands. And looked extremely painful. His face turned into a burnt mess at a speed visible to the naked eye. The player in the driving seat saw this and immediately turned the steering wheel trying to break away from the float. Just then, 
the fat woman at the top of the float took action. The fat woman took out a large one meter high water tank and threw it at the commercial vehicle below. Bang. With a muffled sound. The large water tank hit the roof of the commercial vehicle. How could the roof of the commercial vehicle withstand such an attack? It was flattened directly. The car also stopped moving. And the people inside were obviously in trouble. The float continued to move forward slowly. The fat woman on the roof of the float picked up another clay pot and smashed it at Zong Tuohai and others. Wow! The clay pot exploded two meters away from Zong Tuohai. The clay pot was filled with strong acid and it splattered everywhere. Zhang Tuohai's heavy snow shovel was corroded and had several dents. When the cars next to Zhang Tuohai saw this, they immediately turned around and ran away, disappearing in a flash. It seemed that all their skills were focused on escaping. Only Zhao Wanwan stayed where she was and didn't move. Why don't you run? Zhang Tuohai asked. You didn't tell me to run away, Zhao Wanwan said with a smile. You guy, be smarter next time and pull back so you don't get attacked. As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he also lifted the car back to avoid being hit by the fat woman. How to deal with that guy? Zhao Wanwan asked while retreating. Hack this thing. Zhang Tuohai opened the roof cover of the car and took out an ice thrower. On top of the thrower, Zhang Tuohai also installed an anti-tank grenade. I'll show you how awesome I am. Zhang Tuohai aimed the ice thrower at the float and pulled the trigger. Whoosh! Anti-tank grenades were ejected onto the tower supports of the float. Boom! Anti-tank grenades exploded. The tall float tower collapsed. Ah! The fat woman screamed and fell from the tower. Falling with her were a dozen jars of various sizes. Boom! The float's tower collapsed, killing several clowns who were unable to dodge. Seeing this, the remaining clowns ran towards Zhang Tuohai one after another and sprayed strong acid at Zhang Tuohai. Assault rifle counterattack, Zhang Tuohai said, for robotic arms stretched out from the car body, holding AK-47 assault rifles in their hands. Da da da. A series of bullets swept through, and the clowns fell to the ground one after another. At this time, Zhang Tuohai took out another anti-tank grenade, hung it on the ice thrower, and threw it towards the float again. This time it hit the float. There was a boom and explosion. And the float was blown to pieces. Congratulations to Zhang Tuohai for destroying the first float and earning 100 points. The monthly ticket exceeds 700 and I still owe three more updates. Chapter 221 The Enchanting Dance and the Third Float It's amazing! Xiao Wanwan said from the side. It's just a simple method. It's far worse than your recoilless rifle. Zhang Tuohai said. They were just fighting blindly. They wasted half a day and couldn't kill anyone with artillery shells. Zhao Wanwan shook her head and said. That's right. Zhang Tuohai nodded. Don't be careless. There are two more floats. They will definitely be more difficult to deal with. So deal with them carefully. Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Zhao Wanwan put on her helmet and took out her August at the same time. Fully alert. A slightly lower float passed over the first float that had become fragments. Passed through the diffused smoke and appeared in front of the two people. At this time, there was a fuso-style float with a red tori shape. A girl wearing a red and white witch costume was dancing under the tori. Surrounding the float were a group of black ninjas. These ninjas were all dressed in black, with ribbons on their heads, a long knife behind their backs, and fierce eyes. Zhang Tuohai had no interest in those ninjas. His eyes were always focused on the witch. The Miko's costume is not the traditional Miko costume, but an improved one that cannot be sold to the public. The red and white strips of cloth are constantly dancing with the young lady. Zhang Tuohai's eyes kept following the figure of the witch, as if he was looking at those dancing ladies, and he couldn't bear to blink. Be careful. This dance has a certain tendency of psychological suggestion and will confuse people's spirit. Please don't keep looking at it, let alone try to find the blue and white bowl, because you don't have any at all. The system prompted. This. Zhang Tuohai felt that there were too many flaws, and he didn't know where to start. Unexpectedly, the system is also of the same mind. However, come to think of it, who doesn't like to see a beautiful young lady? At the same time, Zhang Tuohai also understood why he kept staring at the witch. It's all because dance has the effect of confusing people. Yes, that must be the case. It's all dance's fault. Zhang Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. At this moment, the ninjas began to take action. They took out several black balls from their arms and smashed them to the ground. Waves of black mist rose up, obscuring the float. Moreover, the black fog continued to expand, making it difficult for people to find where the float was. Looking at the fog that was spreading toward him, 
Zhang Tuohai frowned. He didn't have any good way to deal with these fogs. If you fight those ninjas in the fog, you will obviously suffer a loss. If those ninjas have other things, it will be a shame for them to capsize in the gutter. Wan Wan! Withdraw first and consider the long term. Zhang Tuohai greeted Xiao Wan Wan. Brother Zhang, do you have six metal ingots? Twenty metal parts? And an intermediate electronic component? Xiao Wan Wan suddenly asked. Zhang Tuohai saw that her eyes were shining. As if there was light. Yes. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai turned the thing over to Zhao Wan Wan. Our boss collected a blueprint before. But everyone thought it was useless. So I used it to build a bird's nest for Polly. Today, I finally discovered the use of this thing. Xiao Wan Wan said, drawing a big circle with her hands. And then an electric fan with a diameter of two meters appeared in front of her. Super fan. Start. Xiao Wan Wan pressed the switch. Woo. The electric fan started spinning. And the thick black fog that originally surrounded the float was blown away by the strong wind of the electric fan. A group of ninjas emerged from the black mist with dull expressions on their faces, completely confused as to what was going on. Why did the mist escape technique that I was always proud of become ineffective? It shouldn't be. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw this and immediately seized the opportunity. Classmate Shiai, shoot, don't give them a chance to release the fog again. Zhang Tuohai said and threw the ice thrower and an anti-tank grenade to Zhao Wan Wan. What is this for? Zhao Wan Wan looked at the thing in her hand suspiciously. Kill this float and get some points. Zhang Tuohai said. Zhang Tuohai is now far ahead in the standings. With a gap of several hundred points from the second place. An additional hundred points has no practical significance. It is better for Zhao Wan Wan to gain some points and improve her ranking. Anyway, the game system distributes rewards based on ranking. If Xiao Wan Wan improves her ranking, she can get better rewards. And he can also benefit. Why not? Okay. Xiao Wan Wan also figured out the joints and was unambiguous. She picked up the ice thrower, took aim, and pulled the trigger. The anti-tank grenade hit the float, blowing it to pieces. Fragments of red Tory gates were scattered everywhere, turning into debris on the ground. Congratulations to player Xiao Wan Wan for destroying the second float and earning 100 points. That's a pretty accurate shot. Zhang Tuohai gave a thumbs up. I have played archery before. So I have some experience. Zhao Wanwan said. No wonder. Zhang Tuohai nodded. He used to need the help of the prompt system to use the ice thrower. But Zhao Wanwan was able to hit it with one blow. It seems that he still has some talent in this area. At this time, the sound of a car sounded from behind. Zhang Tuohai took a look and saw that the cars that had escaped before were back. It turned out that when they saw the system prompts, Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan successfully defeated two floats. They thought the floats were just showpieces and rushed back to grab points. After several cars came back, they didn't stop. They went around Zhang Tuohai and rushed towards the float. It seemed like he was afraid that Zhang Tuohai and others would steal points. These people are so shameless. They all run faster than rabbits. They all come back when they see the benefits. Zhao Wanwan curled her lips and said, It doesn't matter. The farther the float goes, the harder it gets. It's good to let them help us explore the way. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. He was sure that the last float would not be that easy to deal with. Otherwise, it would not be worth a hundred points. Don't look at it. Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan destroyed the two floats with ease, which was based on strong firepower. If there were no anti-tank grenades and just relying on AK in August, they might have just destroyed the first float and are having a headache with the second float. It's their turn to grab points. It's good that they volunteered to explore the road. Just treat it as waste. Even if they really killed the third float, it would be good. So Zhang Tuohai would take action. However, after several cars rushed past, bursts of gunfire were heard. Player He Lu dies. Player Portland dies. Player Park Jean Hai dies. Player Azov dies. A series of death messages popped up. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be shocked. Although he knew that these players who took advantage of the situation were useless. He didn't expect that they were so useless that they were all wiped out in one encounter. At this moment, with a rumbling sound, the last float broke through the smoke and appeared in front of everyone. Chapter 222 The Hidden Mission Caused by Blowing Up the Garden Zhang Tuohai was stunned by the scene in front of him. In front of him was a row of motorcycles taking up the entire lane. The motorcycles were stacked with guys with white cloths wrapped around their heads like stacks of arhats. These guys were holding a variety of weapons including NZAS rifles, AKMS, FN rifles, 
L1A1 rifles, and TAR-21 bullpup rifles. Zhang Tuohai even saw Ing-77 and Mauser 98K. This is a weapons exhibition hall, containing almost all mainstream firearms from World War II to modern times. Zhang Tuohai can be sure that the logistics supplying ammunition to this unit will definitely jump to their feet and curse. The calibers of these guns are almost not the same. It is almost a kind of gun with a kind of ammunition. However, there are too many people, densely packed, and the huge quantity masks the lack of quality. Here, how many people are there? Looking at the motorcycle crossing the road, Zhao Wanlin felt a sense of disgust in her heart, as if she was facing the natural enemy of all female creatures in the world. Are there 50 or 60 of them? Zhao Wanlin asked. 50 or 60? At least add a zero. Zhang Tuohai sneered and said to Zhao Wanwan, You retreat first. Then, Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai, Retreat at a constant speed. Keep shooting. And send these sons of bitches to hell. Understood. Xiao Yai stretched out four mechanical arms while reversing the car, raised four AK-47S, and pulled the trigger against the overwhelming amount of motorcycles. Duh duh duh. The bullets were fired at the motorcycle team as if they were free. Although the accuracy was a bit off. The people on the motorcycle convoy on the opposite side were densely packed, and casual shooting could hit many people. So it didn't matter, as long as the bullets were shot out, because it was firing with all its strength. The bullets were all gone after a few seconds, and the mechanical arms retracted and started loading ammunition. At this time, the motorcycle team began to fight back. Bang bang, bang bang. All kinds of gunshots rang out together, without any rhythm or sense of hierarchy, but densely packed. Locust-like bullets hit Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle intensively. Although these bullets could not penetrate Zhang Tuohai's composite armor, the intensive knocking sound still made people involuntarily feel terrified. With such an intensive attack, Zhang Tuohai did not dare to let the robotic arm attack again. The mechanical arm does not have composite armor. If it is damaged by such dense bullets, the gain will outweigh the loss. Each robotic arm is made of three high-grade metal ingots, which is much more expensive than these ace and gold. If there is a turret, even a gatling, I can't let you be so arrogant. Zhang Tuohai retreated while thinking of a solution. At this time, Zhao Wanlan sent a private message. Brother Zhang, I found a jungle maze in the back. I feel it is very suitable for splitting and ambushes. Zhao Wanlan said and sent a photo. The place where she is is a small hill. And at the top of the hill is a castle that only exists in fairy tales. Under the castle, and the hill is a maze built by a large bush. These shrubs are unusually tall, up to three or four meters high. Moreover, the roads in these mazes are very spacious, three to four meters wide, enough to accommodate a car. However, what is a little strange is that there are many flowers and vines in these shrubs. You should know that in normal repair of this kind of shrub landscape, unless there are special needs, flowers and vines are usually not planted, because the uncertainty of these two plants is relatively large. However, this oversized shrub maze is uncharacteristically mixed with a large number of flowers and vines. It's a bit confusing. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care about this. The biggest problem he faces now is that the opponent's firepower is too dense. If you can retreat into the bush maze, you can use the terrain to block the opponent's shooting field of view. And then you can calmly counterattack. Well done. I'll be right over. Zhang Tuohai immediately speeded up. However, the motorcycle team could only pursue them at their original speed. All this was clearly seen by Zhang Tuohai with a the camera. There is actually a speed limit? Another weakness was discovered. Soon, Zhang Tuohai came to the small hill under Zhao Wanwan's guidance. Zhang Tuohai looked up and felt that it was pretty good here, especially the tall shrubs that could completely block the entire line of sight. Come on! Let's go up! Zhang Tuohai took the lead and led Zhao Wanwan into the maze. Zhang Tuohai was not worried about getting lost. He built a camera and raised it high with a robotic arm to get a full view of the bush maze. With the assistance of a third-party perspective, Zhang Tuohai treated this maze as if it were his own home. Familiar. Looking at the robotic arm holding the camera, Xiao Wanwan was amazed that the robotic arm could still be used in this way. Sometimes, she really wanted to open Zhang Tuohai's head and see what kind of structure it was inside and how he could come up with so many crooked ideas. Soon, Zhang Tuohai took Xiao Wanwan through the maze and reached the top of the mountain. If he hadn't been worried about destroying the maze and causing those asins on motorcycles to swarm up, Zhang Tuohai could even drive up directly. Even so, because his body was very wide, he still damaged part of the maze's shrubbery wall. 
however. It was not a big problem, and it was all under control. At this time, those ace and riding motorcycles also chased him down the hill. Seeing Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan actually running to the top of the mountain, they immediately jumped off their motorcycles, split into small teams, entered each entrance of the maze, and headed towards the top of the hill. Sure enough, they got off the car and dispersed. Zhang Tuohai became excited. He took out the ice thrower, loaded it with an anti-tank grenade, and started to fight back. This is an asymmetrical battle. Ah San and the others were trapped in a maze of bushes that was four meters high, and they rushed towards Zhang Tuohai's direction with great difficulty. His line of sight was blocked by layers of shrubbery. He couldn't even see where Zhang Tuohai was, let alone firing back. However, Zhang Tuohai could use the camera held up high to guide Ah San's position and carry out targeted counterattacks. Boom! Boom! Anti-tank grenades exploded one after another in the bush maze. And the AK-47's robotic arm was used to fire accurately. And groups of Ah San were harvested. In a matter of seconds, the entire bush maze was blown to pieces. And the original lush greenness turned into a piece of scorched earth. Also blown into the sky were the Asins who rushed in. The ground was littered with various broken limbs and fragments of weapons. Duh duh duh. The AK-47 fired from time to time. Picking up survivors one by one. Congratulations to the player for destroying all three floats. But because of your reckless behavior, you disturbed the princess sleeping in the crystal coffin. Now you have two options. One, leave immediately. And rewards will be given according to the normal clearance mode. Two, face the princess. This move may bring disaster. So please choose carefully. Chapter 223 The Coffin Board That Held Her Down A hidden mission? Zhang Tuohai was a little surprised. He just borrowed the terrain and wiped out Ah San. He didn't expect that such a hidden mission would come out. To be on the safe side, it's definitely better to choose one. This is Zhang Tuohai's third game project. If you follow the normal clearance mode, you can directly get the ticket to leave this amusement park. Moreover, his points are currently sitting firmly in the first place. Widening the gap of several hundred points between the second place. Even if a player comes from behind, he can still get a good reward. Absolutely guaranteed profit. However, if you choose to face the princess directly, the benefits are uncertain. You may gain benefits. But you may also encounter disaster. There are too many variables. It may be one step to reach the sky. Or it may be one step to the abyss. If he had just entered this world, Zhang Tuohai might have taken a gamble. But now that he has a certain financial background, Zhang Tuohai hesitated. Is it really worth it to take everything you have and fight for the unknown? Just when Zhang Tuohai was hesitant and ready to quit, the sound of the prompt system rang. It farts. There's a fart risk. Listen to me and go find the princess. The benefits will be great. Zhang Tuohua. Is there still such an operation? Since the prompt system says there is no problem, then there must be no problem. If the prompt system had tried to trick him, he would have died many times over. Zhang Tuohai immediately turned around and walked towards the castle. Hey, do you really want to take the risk? Xiao Wanwan asked. Wealth is found in danger. Zhang Tuohai turned back and smiled at Xiao Wanwan and then opened the door of the castle. This guy. Zhao Wanwan stamped her feet helplessly, and then opened the car door. A bye. Polly, come up with me. And you, crud. Don't pretend to sleep, Zhao Wanwan said, picked up Claude, and rushed into the castle with Zhang Tuohai. This castle is obviously in the style of an amusement park. The interior is magnificently decorated, and the windows are large and bright. It does not have the cold and damp feeling of a medieval castle at all. There is also a guide map of the castle in the hall. The princess's bedroom is at the top of the castle tower. A good princess actually sleeps in a tower. This is another mistake. Zhang Tuohai complained as he stepped on the road to the tower. Following the velvet carpet, Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan arrived at the top of the tower. This is a gorgeous bedroom. The carpet in the room is a Persian handmade carpet with complex patterns. Oil paintings by famous artists are hung on the walls. And various silver and even crystal utensils are placed on the table. In the center of the room is a large walnut bed, covered with twenty thick blankets and surrounded by exquisite hangings. On the bed, there is a crystal coffin. Why is there a coffin in the bedroom? Is it Sleeping Beauty? Zhang Tuohai walked over. There was a blonde girl in the coffin with braided braids, a blue lace dress, a pair of glass shoes, and expensive jewelry. She looked like a typical aristocratic lady. Is this the princess? It just looks like this. It feels no different from the ones in KTV. TSK TSK. 
Zhang Tuohai leaned on the crystal coffin and commented. At this moment, the blonde lying in the crystal coffin also opened her eyes. These eyes were like crescent moons. Smiling at Zhang Tuohai, Are you Mr. Knight who saved me? Please help me open the crystal coffin. I have been locked here for too long and I am almost suffocated. The blonde said and pushed the lid of the crystal coffin. The coffin board that holds her down. Don't let her out. Suddenly, the warning sound of the prompt system rang in Zhang Tuohai's ears. Don't let her come out. Why? Isn't she a princess? Zhang Tuohai asked as he sat down on the crystal coffin. She is the princess. Miranda, the prompt system said. But, didn't you say it would be beneficial to come to the princess? Zhang Tuohai asked. There are benefits in the princess's room. But the benefits are not given by the princess. On the contrary, if you let the princess out, you will become her food and be sucked dry. Before the sound of the prompt system ended, Miranda kept tapping the lid of the crystal coffin. Aren't you the knight who came to save me? How could you have the heart to lock me in a crystal coffin? Hurry up and open it for me. Hurry up and clock in. I allow you to propose to me. By then, the entire kingdom will be under our rule. Everything about me will be yours. As well as the maid. And you can do with it as you please. So hurry up and open it. Miranda shouted. To be honest, Zhang Tuohai was tempted. However, since the prompt system said never to let her come out, she definitely couldn't be let out. At this time, Zhao Wanwan ran up huffing and puffing with crud on her shoulders. You? Run so fast. What are you doing? Quick. Put crud on the coffin lid. Zhang Tuohai was immediately overjoyed when he saw the chubby cruder, and immediately called Zhao Wanwan to bring him over to relieve his pressure. Good. Zhao Wanwan threw crud onto the crystal coffin with a bang. Cruder's weight of more than 300 kilograms pressed against the crystal coffin. And the swaying crystal coffin stabilized instantly. Miranda? Can't afford it? It doesn't matter if a person presses on the coffin. But what does it mean to have a pig press on it? Humiliate me? Okay. That's it. Your job is to hold her down here, and don't let her come out. After Jean Tuohai finished speaking, he began to search the room. It looks like a brave man who broke into the NPC's house. Solid wood round table? Crystal tea set? Useless. Zhang Tuohai looked at it and threw it aside. Ah, uh, bye. Please move all these back to my car. I want them. Zhao Wanwan greeted Ah Bai to move the things. Wardrobe? Zhang Tuohai opened the wardrobe by the wall and found that it was full of various evening gowns. Although they all looked expensive, Zhang Tuohai really didn't need them. Ah Bai. Hurry up. Move the cabinet away. Handle it with care. I want it. Zhao Wanwan shouted loudly. A bai, who had just finished moving the table, picked up the wardrobe and walked downstairs. Zhang Tuohai found that Zhao Wanwan packed up everything he didn't want and took it away. Why do you want so many of these things? Zhang Tuohai asked doubtfully. I have dreamed of being a princess since I was a child. But I never had the chance. Now! If I have the chance, of course I will realize my dream. Zhao Wanwan said matter-of-factly. Okay, as long as you like it. Zhang Tuohai continued to search. Zhao Wanwan followed Zhang Tuohai and directed Ah Bai to carry the things Zhang Tuohai didn't want. Soon, the huge bedroom was moved away. Robbers! You are just a group of robbers! Miranda shouted angrily from the coffin. Chapter 224 The brave men who break into other people's homes are all villains announced by an unnamed NPC. Miranda looked at her beloved princess's bedroom being ransacked by a pair of dogs and men. She became so angry that her body began to change. The originally fair skin turned gray-white. The golden hair turned dark red. Sharp teeth appeared at the corners of the mouth. And the pupils turned golden. With a stabbing sound. The blue lace skirt was torn. And a pair of dark red bat wings grew out from her back. Very much like the legendary vampire. What a good guy. You actually have a transformation. Fortunately, I can tell at a glance that you are not human. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be shocked when he saw Miranda transform. Fortunately, there is a reminder system to remind you. Otherwise, if he foolishly opened the lid of the crystal coffin, would he be treated as a blood slave and drained on the spot? Sure enough, the more beautiful a woman is, the better she is at lying. Upon seeing this, John Tuohai immediately found some ropes, tied the coffin tightly, and stuffed it into a corner. Where is the treasure? John Tuohai searched around the bedroom, but couldn't find anything valuable. The only thing he hadn't turned over yet was the bed. John Tuohai turned over the big bed twice and found nothing of value. Forget it. Move the bed away. Zhang Tuohai said to Zhao Wanwan who was watching eagerly. Abai. Work. 
Xiao Wan Wan jumped up excitedly. Thank you for helping me get the princess suite. To express my gratitude, I will cook for you tonight. Okay? Xiao Wan Wan asked excitedly. Talk later. Zhang Tuohai was currently upset that he had not found the treasure. So he had no time to worry about other things. Zhang Tuohai angrily stomped on the floor. Suddenly, there was a muffled sound underfoot. Um? Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. With many experiences of treasure hunting, he was sure that it was empty below. There is something. Zhang Tuohai quickly pulled out the dagger from his boot and pried up the floor. There is a hollow mezzanine under the floor. And there is a long box of pure gold in the mezzanine. The box is entirely made of gold, decorated with complicated patterns and strange symbols, and inlaid with various precious gems. It is priceless at first glance. Seeing the golden box, Miranda became even more crazy. She kept banging her head against the crystal coffin, trying to rush out. However, John Tuohai had already tied the crystal coffin securely with ropes, and there was a big cat named Crud, who weighed more than 300 pounds, sitting on it. This doomed Miranda's efforts to be in vain. Seeing Miranda's appearance, Zhang Tuohai knew that this box was absolutely precious and there must be good things in it. Zhang Tuohai carefully opened the buckle on the box, lifted the lid of the box, and revealed the contents. Placed inside is a whole row of potions. There is a syringe next to the potion. Congratulations on discovering the special potion, the source of blood. After the injection, the whole body's injuries will be repaired in a short period of time, but it will cause body mutations. The strength and speed are greatly increased. And the recovery ability is greatly improved. It will cause certain organ mutations, such as skin color, teeth, wings, etc. The user's form will gradually move closer to the legendary vampire. And he will become averse to sunlight and hate the presence of human beings. Foods with pungent flavors, such as onions, ginger, garlic, peppers, fennel, etc. require regular drinking of blood. Otherwise, they will become irritable and irritable and lose control of their behavior. Zhang Tuohai looked at this line of comments with mixed feelings in his heart. How do you evaluate this thing? Well, it has quite a lot of side effects. To be honest, it does improve personal strength a lot. Generally speaking, each has its own pros and cons. Zhang Tuohai thought about it for a long time and finally decided to put it away and use it as a life-saving medicine or wait for the opportunity to sell it to people in need. If a person is about to die, he probably won't mind turning into something like a vampire to continue living. Thinking of this, he took another look at Miranda lying in the coffin. This one should not be a pure vampire, but an unlucky guy who has been injected with the source of blood. Goodbye. Dear Miranda. Zhang Tuohai put away the gold box and waved goodbye to Miranda. Come back here. Shouldn't your identity be the hero who rescued the princess? Why are you plundering things like a robber? Those are my things. Give them back to me. Miranda yelled. I'm sorry, Miss Miranda. The so-called Braves are just a group of villains who broke into the NPC's house without permission and rummaged through the cabinets. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and ran down the stairs with the gold box. Let's go. Follow. Xiao Wan Wan immediately called a buy and crud and trotted away from the castle. After several people returned to the car, Zhang Tuohai immediately said, Game system. Leave the current game copy. It has been detected that the player has completed the current game mission and is allowed to leave. The dungeon reward is being settled. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai and Zhao Wanwan. In the blink of an eye, Zhang Tuohai returned to the bubble again. Player Zhang Tuohai successfully cleared the game's float parade, defeated three floats, and cleared the hidden copy of the castle mystery, earning 360 points. Player Zhang Tuohai currently has a total of 980 points, ranking first in the rankings. Player Zhang Tuohai has successfully cleared three game projects. Do you want to leave Happy Amusement Park? Seeing the question from the game system, Zhang Tuohai hesitated. He didn't have much idea at first. He just wanted to complete three game projects, then break away from the scene and quietly make money selling milk tea and car repair kits. However, the game parade opened a new door for him. Do some projects also have such hidden copies? If you complete all these projects yourself, how much benefit will you get? Thinking of this, John Tuohai was moved. However, there are some issues that need to be confirmed beforehand. Game system. If I choose to stay and challenge other games, should I choose one of the three? If the challenge fails, can I quit immediately? Will it affect the settlement? John Tuohai asked. If the player chooses to continue the challenge, the challenge restrictions will be released. Players can challenge any game item if they have already challenged. 
just repeat the challenge. If they fail, only the corresponding mood value will be deducted. And no points will be deducted. Players who have successfully completed three game projects can choose to exit after each challenge is completed. You cannot choose to quit mid-game. The game system explained. Subsequently, the game system gives a list of currently available game items. It seems that players are encouraged to take more challenges. Zhang Tuohai had an idea. If that's the case, then let's find a few more game projects that may contain hidden copies to challenge. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai started to look through the list. Chapter 225 Violently Clearing the Haunted House Flying Swivel Chair? This is purely a horror game. The points are not high, and it is not interesting. Go ahead bravely. Why are there so many people queuing up? You are dead set on this project. Right. Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He found that the number of people waiting in line for the rapid surge to 233. And he didn't know if they would be able to get in line by the end of the time. Super Ferris Wheel? This is a test of high altitude balance. Right. There shouldn't be any hidden plot. Zhang Tuohai kept flipping through the list of game items in his hand. Suddenly, the name of a game caught his eye. Haunted Mansion Adventure. The haunted house is a big scene. And there may be various hidden copies that can be discovered. The most important thing is that he now observes the outside world through a camera. It is very difficult for the monsters and ghosts in the haunted house to scare him. The damage suffered is small. The possibility of clearing the level is high. And there is also the possibility of mining hidden copies. It is definitely the best game project Taylor made for him. That's it. Zhang Tuohai selected this game project. Game system. I want to challenge the haunted house adventure. Zhang Tuohai said. Challenge accepted. Transmitting. A white light flashed. And Zhang Tuohai appeared in the haunted house. The location where he appeared was a huge morning hall. There is a large black coffin in the center. And an offering table is placed in front of the coffin. There are incense and candles on the table as tributes. And various paper figures and horses are placed on both sides. Those paper figures and horses all had their faces and lips painted red. Although they all kept smiling faces. They felt weird no matter how they looked. The entire wall behind the morning hall was covered with yellow flowers. And in the center of the flowers was a strange black and white photo. The old man in the photo is not as kind-hearted as ordinary photos of the deceased. Instead, he has a fierce look on his face. Looking like an evil ghost in hell. There were white silks and satins everywhere in the morning hall. And several ribbons fell from the sky. They were blown by the breeze and fluttered. Looking like hanging white silk ribbons. Arrived at the haunted house. Game goal. Successfully escape from the haunted house. Side mission one. Find the body. Before the task prompt was given. Zhang Tuohai spoke. Classmate Xiao Ai. Take the flamethrower and burn this place down. Click. Click. Several robotic arms popped out from both sides of the car, each holding a flamethrower in its hand. Call. Long fire dragons sprayed out in all directions, and the entire morning hall was instantly ignited. Ah. The paper figures made miserable screams, which became more and more permeable in the morning hall. If you are an ordinary person, hearing these sounds will at least make your scalp numb and your limbs weak. However, Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Ai to play the DJ version of Black Dragon carrying the coffin in the car at the highest volume in advance. Zhang Tuohai knows very well that no matter how good the play is, there is no sound or feeling. The same goes for the scary atmosphere. As long as the sound is cut off, those scary emotions will be reduced by half. If you make some funny music, the scary atmosphere will completely disappear, and you will still find it funny. Zhang Tuohai once tried to watch Silent Hill with the soundtrack of Tom and Jerry and almost died laughing. The screams outside could not be heard at all. Looking at the paper figures in the fire, Zhang Tuohai felt that they were not scary at all, but more like a group of clowns. Don't just burn the surrounding area. The higher-ups have also taken care of it. Especially those hanging down by Lingzi. They were so frustrated. They were all burned by me. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. Two mechanical arms aimed the flamethrower upward. Call. The fire dragon swept across the roof of the spiritual shed. The flames crackled and burned. Plop. Plop. A large group of burnt bats fell from the top of the morning hall. Zhang Tuohai controlled the camera and looked carefully. And was shocked to find that these were the ghost-faced bats he had encountered yesterday. Good guys. These guys are hiding on the rafters. It seems they are planning to take advantage of my mood when I get out of the car. How can I keep you here? Increase the firepower and burn. Zhang Tuohai said loudly. The flamethrower is adjusted to maximum firepower by a robotic arm. The raging flame swept through the entire roof. Bang! 
there was a muffled sound. And a huge beam crashed down from above. If it were an ordinary car, the windshield would have been shattered and the roof would have collapsed. But Zhang Tuohai is an infantry fighting vehicle with a specially reinforced top. Even a grenade may not explode, let alone a mere beam. Nothing happened at all. At this time, the big coffin in front of the morning hall made a dull sound. The heavy coffin lid was being pushed continuously. The pale hand stretched out from the gap in the coffin. It seemed that someone was trying to get out from inside. If you didn't say anything, I almost forgot about you and burned you. What should I do if you made such an ugly portrait and scared off my mood value? As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he controlled two mechanical arms, pointed the flamethrower at the coffin, and pulled the trigger. The outer flame of Zhang Tuohai's flamethrower can reach a high temperature of 1,300 degrees. The temperature of the corpse cremator was only over 800 degrees. The body was completely burned to ashes before even climbing out of the coffin. After completely burning the coffin into ashes, Zhang Tuohai controlled the flames to extend forward and ignited the flower wall behind the coffin. After the flower wall was lit, it emitted a blue light and emitted waves of stench. Obviously, there are some potions hidden here, but everything turned into ashes in front of the flames. After a while, the entire morning hall was burned to a white ground by Zhang Tuohai, leaving not even a trace, but all turned into fly ashes. Phew! It's finally safe! Zhang Tuohai glanced around, looked around, and after confirming that there was nothing else, he let out a sigh of relief. By the way, there seemed to be a side mission just now. What is the side mission? Zhang Tuohai lowered his head to read the prompt. Game system. The game system wiped out side missions one after another. Player Zhang Tuohai successfully completed the hidden mission, killed the zombified Mrs. Ren, and was rewarded with the source of zombies. A golden box appeared in Zhang Tuohai's hand. Zhang Tuohai opened the box and took a look, and found that the layout was similar to that of the origin of Blood Clan, with potions on the left and syringes on the right. The source of zombies, a special medicine that can quickly recover physical damage after injection. But the body will undergo changes. The skin will become stiff. The hair will grow. The nails will become longer. The strength will be greatly improved. And the skin's toughness will increase. It can resist the attacks of ordinary cold weapons. The muscle strength is greatly improved and can resist small caliber pistol fire. The user will develop bloodthirsty tendencies and their food intake will increase significantly. This is another instant recovery potion with great side effects. Zhang Tuohai looked at the instructions on the potion and fell into deep thought. 